imagine being a titan for the next 1,000 days, morphing into every faction in the multiverse. Once upon a time, there was a hero of the prophecy, one that was able to shift into 1,000 forms. Although his journey was filled with dangers and mysteries, he was able to bring peace and create a unified multiverse. Oh yes, the legend of the Meta Shifter, one that turned himself into the ultimate titan, right? Yes, but that's how he started. Have you ever heard of the legend of the buff panda? Yes, but maybe you can refresh my memory. Well, let's have a look at the past. Just imagine being a cute, adorable panda, and after eating a piece of bamboo, you transform into a buff panda. This is Hardcore Minecraft, and I'm gonna be surviving for the next 100 days as a panda. Now what you're looking at here is no ordinary Minecraft world. It's filled with new animals, deadly monsters, evil factions, just waiting to hunt you down. And it's not as happy as it seems. My fellow brothers, they're under the control of the brown panda. And this bear right here, he might look friendly, but I'm telling you, he's behind all of this, the whole thing. And the only way to find out is to watch till the end of this video. So my journey begins. But first, leave a like if you think pandas are cute. And help me and my Moose family reach 5 million subscribers by hitting that subscribe button. On day one, I spawned in as a big fluffy panda bear and ate a piece of bamboo. You know, this is uh, not, not really that appetizing. And looking over to my left and right, I noticed that I'm part of a panda tribe inside the jungle. Hey there, nice to meet you. Do you speak common English? Great, it's day one and I'm already going crazy. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Come on, buddy, it's a bamboo. And so, day two rolled around. I woke up to this evil looking brown panda standing in front of me, almost like he's the boss or something. I was trying to sleep, but he was persistent. Hey, stop it, stop it, no! I just kill the panda. He then started talking to me like I was his worker. Farm those bamboo, I'm hungry. Who even is this dude? This is our Lord, we must do what he says. Uh, our, our Lord? What are, you, what are you even talking about? Stop you two talking! Get me this bamboo or you will be turned into fertilizer! Well, there I was, doing whatever Lord Panda told me to do. I didn't want to turn to fertilizer on my second day. So, I continued working. Just breaking down bamboo, cleaning up the village, getting extra materials, and you know the drill, all, all that boring stuff. And finally, it was day three. One day of hard labor was enough for me. I started creating a way to escape the group. And they just like sneak past the brown panda. He's not even looking. He's just watching two raccoons do things. What's the, what's the point of that? And as I left the village, I found out that I can climb trees. I'm being praised by a raccoon. Sir, are you trying to kill me or are we friends now? I guess, I think we're, I think he's trying to shoo me away for some reason. Oh, oh, ch chill. Oh, no, 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 stop, stop it. Stop it. Bro, this raccoon's crazy, man. Wait. Hold on a second, I can climb trees! Are you kidding me right now? I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense, I, I, I am a panda. Yo, I can just keep climbing- Oh! No! Okay, I'm good. Looks like we, uh, learned a lesson today. Don't, don't ever mess with a raccoon. He's, he's still trying to kill me? What? What do you want from me? <laughs> you know, I gotta say, I'm, I'm kind of feeling a little bit guilty. You know, we the pandas, we must stick together. And leaving my boys back home just doesn't feel right. I gotta go back for them. I'm just extremely underpowered. On day four, I created a plan that could work for all of us. Become the Lord Panda. I mean, I, I guess it does benefit me a bit, but still, it's better than some evil Lord Panda punishing others for not doing work. Anyways, I had to get brainstorming. First, I had to figure out how to become stronger. I was far from it. I then left the jungle and finally came across a local village. I settled there and started working on my attacking skills. And on day five, after looking at a hummingbird flying around, I realized I suck at this game. I can't fly. I almost died to a zombie. I can't even defend my friends, let alone take out the brown panda. So I went mining for some iron. That's the only thing I can think of. And you've seen me do this for the past 20 videos. Just the usual stuff. But eventually I had everything smelted and I was ready for battle. And that's gonna do it. A full iron armor set to keep me safe. We also have 15 diamonds, not bad. Diamond axe and diamond pickaxe. That's gonna do it. Oh, what is that? Nope, nope, nope. Gotta go, gotta go, nope. Ooh, ooh. 
Bro, the water shot to kill me. On day six or seven, I was tired of being on the run. I decided it was time to create my own bamboo treehouse, a prime location for bamboo. And the more bamboo that I eat, the stronger that I get. And slowly, the house was coming along. I placed cobblestone as my flooring, and then moved onto the walls using jungle planks. And for the corners, I filled it in with some jungle logs. Couldn't forget about the roof, so I decided to go with hay bales. Eventually, I finished up and moved right onto the interior. I'm a panda. This should be pretty simple. We'll go with the whole furnace theme, use blast furnaces on the opposite side, fill it in like this, and a carving table right in the middle. And of course, my carpets. This is where I'll be sleeping. I literally sleep on the floor, and just maybe I'll use a furnace to make some breakfast. The best part is the sunset. Look at that. The next part was pretty unique. Climbing the trees was cool, but bamboo staircases. You ever heard of that before? Bam bamboo staircases? Only mooses know about my building skills. On days eight through nine, as I was looking outside of my base, I saw a weird blue bamboo just, just growing from the floor. It didn't make any sense. Well, why, why is a bamboo blue? And me being a curious panda, I decided to check it out. And as I was climbing down trees, I found Mandarin. There was also weird birds that I just never seen before. It kind of confused me. And as I walked towards the blue bamboo, it was guarded by an army of rattlesnakes. And then, in the distance, there was pillagers. Why were pillagers guarding this blue bamboo? I just couldn't figure it out. Nope, 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 nope. Not a rattlesnake. I'm not afraid of rattlesnakes, but I don't know. There's just, just way too many of them. Is that a baby rattlesnake? It's so cute. Wow. It's still trying to hiss at me, though. And what's up with these pillagers? I don't understand. Like, what, what are they doing here? Why are pillagers guarding blue bamboo? What's, what's so special about it? Does he want to hurt me? I mean, then again, why would you ever hurt a panda? Well, I guess let's chop this thing down and see what it has. Okay, blue bamboo. What is this? Just, just, just call it blue bamboo. Huh. As I started munching on the blue bamboo, it gave me a jump boost effect. I've never seen bamboo that gives you effects before. I then tested the jump boost ability and fought a bunch of mobs. And for the first time, I actually felt a little bit stronger. At least I could defend against pillagers. Oh, oh, no, 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 two and a half hearts. Two and a half hearts. Oh, 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 that was so close. That was so close. Bro, these rattlesnakes are no joke. I gotta go. I gotta grab all this bamboo so nobody else can have it. I killed this bamboo, get it to the wrong hands, especially not the Lord Panda. What is attacking me, bro? What's happening? No, no, no. Okay, five hearts. All right, it's not good. Not good. Is there a rattlesnake chasing me? Why? Why is it chasing me? Haha, <laughs> can't get me. I then went back and gathered all the remaining blue bamboo. And on days 10 through 15, I spent most of my time expanding out my base, building new bridges, leading to different treetops. I had a vision to create my own panda treehouse community, which pretty much consists of like different houses for different temperaments of pandas. Panda Hotel. I gotta say, not bad at all. And once I finish up with my build, the Lord Panda found my hideouts. He looked extremely angry. Like I could give this dude unlimited bamboo and it still wouldn't calm him down, let alone his Kung Fu Panda powers. Those nunchucks, they're, they're vicious. You dare backstab the panda tribe? You abandoned us, and now you're building your own tribe? I guess I'm the first one then. What you gonna do about it? So be it. I challenge you to a kung fu panda duel. You have five minutes to beat me. And if you do, I'll leave you alone. What is a kung fu panda duel? What does that even mean? <laughs> like the movies or something? <laughs> oh, no, okay. Yeah! Oh, oh. The tree just saved my fall. This dude is no joke. He's attacking me. Gotta go. Oh, even in my own panda community, I'm not safe. What was that? He just placed down bamboo. How's that possible? Okay, all right, I'm gonna die here. Oh, where's my shield? That's gonna do it. Come on. Oh, no, no, no. How is he doing that? Was that it? No. Oh, okay. Okay. Whatever that was. Fire. 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 Oh. Gotta go. No. No one heart. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. Let's go. Blue bamboo, baby. Jump boost, baby. Let's go. Dodge and weave. Dodge and weave. Watch the attacks. All right. Circle around. I can't even get a hit on him. I got one. He's running. Let's critical strike him. Yes. There we go. Oh. Nope. 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 What's he holding? A gold bamboo? What is that? Okay, as long as it's daytime, I should win the battle. Or it should be a tie at least. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Back to the treehouse. Back to the treehouse. Back to the treehouse. Back to the treehouse. Oh! Yeah. Jump, 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 jump. Climb faster. Climb faster. This dude trying to... No! I can't even outrun this dude. How 
was he so quick? But he's so thick. But finally, it became morning. That means that I survived the Lord Panda and the challenge was over. Not bad, young panda. I'll be back for what is mine. He's gone? Just like that? Look at him. Just, just running away. Like nothing ever happened. On day 16 through 18, I noticed that there was red bamboo growing near my treehouse. For a second, I was confused, and then I realized Lord Panda probably placed it down while he was trying to eat his food. What? What is? What is this? R red bamboo? This? This has to be a joke or something. It better not be covered in poop. Red? What? This doesn't make any sense. Why are there so many different colors of bamboo? Is he playing a joke on me? Is he trying to poison me? And as I ate the bamboo, it gave me strength and speed for 10 seconds. That's just gotta be a secret. I'm not saying that Lord Panda is thick, but I'm telling you, that dude is pretty quick and especially pretty powerful. I'm just wondering what other types of bamboo does he have? I decided to play it smart and started creating my own bamboo farm. I was afraid of the bamboo getting stolen by other factions out there. And those were the only types of pandas that could guard my bamboo farm. Days 19 to 23, just what I thought, that things just couldn't get any worse. I woke up to a pack of tigers. Who would have known that Minecraft had tigers in the jungle? They were swarming my base, and then one of them started climbing my tree. No, 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 back, back, kitty, stop, stop it, bad, no, 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 I'm out of blocks, I'm out of blocks, no, no, cover it up, C cover it up, eventually, I managed to knock it off, and run away just in time, I was so close to becoming tiger food, I seriously need some more pandas, being by myself is, it's, it's just terrible, dude, more pandas equals more security, a rogue eye, Give it to our ancestors for the knowledge of redstone. I then looted the jungle temple and managed to get myself ender pearls to craft a Pokeball catcher and launcher. With these Pokeballs, I could catch any panda that I wanted and bring them back home. Are you really enjoying that bamboo? Stay still. Send it! I can't believe I'm catching pandas with Pokeballs. This is really happening. Four pandas should be enough. Sorry, buddy. Boys, welcome! to the Panda Treehouse community. That's gonna be two, three, and four. You're so cute. Oh, you're so adorable, bro. Here's some bamboo, buddy. You are safe here with me, of course. You just sneeze on me, you just sneeze up. No, it's just kinda nasty. Pandas, we strung together. And for the rest of the night, I continue to bring the pandas by feeding the bamboo. On days 24 and 29, I placed on a few lanterns around my house just to make it a little more brighter. Ah, mornings like this, just super peaceful. You can hear the wind blowing and the pandas are chilling, you know, eating their food and stuff. And just lighting it up with some lanterns. It's so pretty. I just can't wait to see like the final product. It's just gonna look crazy. As the sunset was coming up, there was three pandas just casually chilling outside of my treehouse. Come on, boys, follow me up to the panda community treehouse thing. Listen, I, I'm, I'm still working on the name, okay? Hey, where are you going? Where are you going off to? Come on, I know you want the, I know you want the bamboo. Oh, oh. Panda language? Oh, oh, oh. Yes, good. Okay, no food. Well, well, well. Looks like we meet here again. <laughs> Yay! What, bro? You want, you want to square up? What? <gasps> it's a cute little baby panda. Come on, boys. Come on up. Follow me to the panda treehouse community. What? I'm still working on the name. <laughs> Almost there. Just a little bit more. And this panda's eyes are just like adorable. You just seem like a friendly panda. You almost got it. Follow the bamboo. And I pretty much spent most of the night trying to get the pandas up the treehouse. It was just ridiculous. It just wasn't working. You're all happy now. <laughs> you finally have your own treehouse community. And you can have unlimited bamboo. Literally anything you want. I can even protect you. Keep you safe from the Lord Panda. Anything you want. Here, I'll even give you a bamboo tree. Eat on up, buddy. There you go. I should probably introduce them to the other panda community over there. Did the baby grow up? No way. It's finally an adult. Aw, y'all are so cute. This was an iconic moment. The first successful birth inside the treehouse community. And that got me extremely motivated. I could see the vision of expansion. <laughs> it just grew up so fast. That was way too fast. I then gathered more pandas I could find, brought them back, and kept on feeding them bamboo. What's up, boys? I brought back some more pandas. It should be a total of four pandas. There we go. 
Welcome to the community, boys. I got a welcoming gift for everybody. Eat on up. Let's go. I can't believe we have so many pandas already. Um, welcome to Moose's uh, bamboo eating construction class. Things are pretty simple here. We must all meditate and eat um, bamboo. That's right. Sweet baby moose books. The baby's popping out everywhere. There's so many babies. Did you just sneeze and become an adult panda? All right, that's enough for today. That is enough. On days 30 to 35, I woke up to a sound of a wail in distress. This huge guy somehow got himself stuck inside of a patch of water in the desert. Why are there whales in the desert? I don't know. Relax, buddy. I'm coming to save you. How did you even get stuck? What? This just doesn't make any sense. Come on. I'm pushing you. I'm pushing you out of here. Nope. Oh, don't, don't eat me. Don't, don't do it. Don't eat me. I'm just a panda. Oh, there he goes. No, he's, he's, he's just getting more stuck, I think. I just need myself a diamond shovel. All right, let's go. Just, you know, usual day. Saving, saving a whale. What would you do without it? Your boy Moose, huh? What would you do? No one's there. Yo, yo, yo. I'm just staring at a whale. Just, just trying to escape. Great. Oh, oh. <gasps> there he goes. Mr. Beluga. Be free. See you later, buddy. If you just like casually wait, no, 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 don't, don't, don't swim back. Oh man, that was just a crazy start to my morning. And later that day, I crafted a boat and set sail, looking for treasure. I found multiple sunken ships and lured them. Whoa, that is insane. Huh? It's so peaceful out here, just middle of the ocean. Looking at a beautiful view. Hopefully a shark doesn't eat me. <laughs> That'd be terrible. <laughs> Heart of the sea. And a magical eye. Rogue eye. And this time, a black eye. I'm not really sure what this is for. Can I, like, use it? Oh. What? We're just... Where, where's, that, where's that going to? Huh. Interesting. Look at that. Oh. Ah, that's gotta hurt. Mm, that, is, that does not look pleasant at all. Hey, these sharks are vicious, but I guess everybody loves pandas. Woo! Hey, you, you scary. Well, I never thought that I would see whales and sharks eating things. On days 36 to 40, I finally returned home and started clearing out the jungle. I needed space to build my bamboo walls and expand my red and blue bamboo farm. As I watched my bamboo grow, it was missing something. I then created a staircase leading down to the desert. And I even added walking paths around. Now that is a lot of bamboo. And for this space here, I'm gonna place down my blue bamboo and expand out this colored bamboo farm. And while we're at it, let's mix in some red bamboo as well. <sighs> Finally, this should keep all the enemies out. I just need my aggressive pandas, like this guy over here. Are you stuck? You okay, buddy? <laughs> Where you at, boys? <laughs> There's just so many of them. And we got another one. Two aggressive pandas. You, my friends, are going to be guarding this entire place. All right, so y'all are in charge. Look, we even got a baby. Enjoy, boys. On days 41 to 43, as I was planting bamboo, a super adorable baby panda started talking to me. Hey, um, um, do, do you want a mine shaft? Uh, I, I'm, I'm over sir? here. What? what, what? You, you're talking to I the wrong one. I wasn't talking to you, sir. Uh, oh, sir? oh, okay. Sir? Uh, sir? <laughs> I mean, I. Sir? Yeah, what? 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 Sir? What do you. You are an annoying sir? baby, you know that? Sir? What? Stop it. Jeez. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll mind shaft with you. Let's go. Jeez. Can I also get a hug? Do you want a mind shaft? <laughs> now! <laughs> Yo, <laughs> chill. So, I follow the baby panda. And she literally led me to a mine shaft. At first, I thought it was a prank or a trap, but nope, she was being serious. So, is this the spot? Is this is it? Yeah. Hey, you weren't you weren't kidding. Yeah, you, you really weren't kidding. <laughs> I just don't fit in here, though. This just seems like a death threat. Look, look at this place. Well, if you think that you're in danger, then you're gonna be in danger. Yeah, but you're just like an innocent panda that like doesn't even know what's going on. Hey, for all you know, I could be manifesting your death. 
Uh, not, not that I am or anything. Okay. <laughs> Where are we going? Oh, wait. I'll just be leading the way. Come follow me. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. What is this? What I found. Potatoes? What I found. What? I found a chest. Ooh, uh, what do we got? It has absolutely something. Literally, literally nothing. Yup, we don't need it. Nope. But I'll, I'll take the brewing stand. There should be a chest right down here. Oh, there it is. There it is. I found it. Ooh. Hey. I am Ow. so... Ow. Ow. Yo, I could have fell down there and died. Chill. Yeah, but then you would have stolen the iron sword from the chest. I don't even no. need that. I have a diamond sword. What's this dude over here? A lever. Oh, a lever? Oh, oh it turns the light on. That's kind of nice. Are you, are you coming? sure? Are you coming? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm going, but I'm are you sure this place way. is... uh? You sure it's safe? Oh, instant help. Where are you going? Where are you? I'm just collecting all the gold in here and stuff. You I mean, this chest. Up. I don't want I don't want to pass the chest. Gold is nothing. We're, we're not peasants. We only we only take diamonds. Well, I don't have any diamonds. Well, obviously you are not winning at the game of Minecraft. Nope. Nope. Spawner. Spawner. Nope. Back up. Back up. Uh, take this. Ah. Well, thanks for the help, Miss Panda. Oh, that's not my job. <laughs> I told you I'll help you find find a Minecraft chest. I never told you I'll help you not die. So where'd you go? Are you like pranking me now? Oh, Hello? I just, I went home. What? What do you mean yeah. you went home? Yeah, I went home. You just dished me in here? Um, I, I, I told you I'd take you here. I, I never said I'll take you back. What? That baby panda just disappeared. That, that, I don't know where she went. So, I explore the rest of the cave. I found a couple chests. Luckily, the mobs didn't hit me, so I didn't have an issue. And suddenly, I started hearing screaming. Help! 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 What are you help, doing? Help, help, help. I thought help, you left! Help, waterfalls! What waterfalls? It's just... Oh, that that's thats the waterfall you're afraid of? Yes! <laughs> what do you mean? Here, take this take this shield, so this way nothing happens to you, okay? Grab that. Where oh, it's, it's, it's already down here now. It's down here. I can't touch water. I'm Where sorry, did you, I'll what do you? What do you mean? You're just a panda. You're just fluffy. Melt. Where did you take me to? I what is this place? What, what do you mean? I told you I'll take you to a Minecraft shaft. Y yeah, except this is a little bit, uh, a little bit. Oh, I found some diamond boots. Never mind. I'm happy now. Ah! Ah! What are you, ah, what are you doing? Ah, <laughs> oh, be careful. Ah, be careful. Ah, oh, don't, don't die. Ah, ah, yeah, ah, I think. All right. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. That was a close you. one. Yo, that yo, yo, don't. Oh, I did. It, it's dead. Just, just, just leave it alone. It, it, it's dead. Okay. Hey, are you oh, one of them? Notch apple. Notch apple. Oh, ho, ho. as I was traveling through the mine shaft, I started getting trust issues. I didn't really know what her plan was. Oh, what is this? Okay, I, I kind of trust you now. How are you finding all this stuff? How'd you know about this place? There's so much I good like stuff here. Exploring. So you just explore by yourself, just all casually. Yeah. It's like nothing ever happened to you. Uh, not, not yet, but like if you jinx me, it will. So uh, I, I don't want to jinx you. I mean, these, these enemies don't even hate us, so yeah, just don't try to attack them or anything. Because here is good vibes. Good vibes. Gotcha. Good vibes. <gasps> oh my god. What that is thing that? is huge. Ah! I don't know oh what that is. Is it going in the lava? Why is there so many legs? That is oh the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. Don't come nope, near me. I'm out. I'm out. You're on your own. And finally, the baby panda led me to the jackpot room. Protection four. Wow, you are kind of useful. Thank you. And a smithing table. I'll be taking that. Hey, if you want, you know, you can, you can live in my panda treehouse sanctuary. Um, that sounds really lame. What? But it's not lame. Hey, 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 hey. Do you want to go on another adventure? I, I guess. Is, does it involve bad people? Yes. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm stuck. On days 44 to 47, that same baby panda led me to an evil faction. I don't know where she was finding these places, but she knew what she was talking about. And supposedly, they control this entire jungle area. So, we stuck inside from the top. Ow. Ow. What is, what is that? Is that... Um, what, what are you taking me to? Where did you find this place? Robot golem? I don't know. You're the one that's supposed to know this stuff. Hey, hey, you, you hey, wanna, hey, You hey, want to hey, fight hey. it? I know what it is. It's, um... Uh, it's like Wally. Oh, oh, you know, careful. he's friendly. I don't think he's he friendly. A, he doesn't I don't bite. I don't think he's friendly. I, I'm telling you. Bite? Can I get a hug? I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that thing bites. I'm just saying. Come on. Break, break. Yes! There's so many chests inside. 
Look, oh, you see all this? Gold, and we got some iron oh, just, just gold. I'm fighting this thing. Hey, Let's go. Yeah. We're, we're yeah. Ow, 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 ow. Get, get, hit it. I'm oh, trying wait. to block the shots. I'm trying to. Oh. oh, we did it. I did it. Only for redstone? I mean, you, you kind of, yeah, you, you pulled that off yourself. Thanks. Here, help me break this entire thing. Let's steal the loot and get out of here. Okay, 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 okay. I'm telling you, these evil factions, they're going to get mad at us. Grab the obsidian. Did you don't have dime pickaxe? No. Ah, jeez. And finally, I broke through the obsidian, getting all the chests that was inside. Look at this. We got lapis, gold. It's, it's uh, you know, it's kind of basic stuff, but I got what? The holy water. Do you see this thing? It's got the most insane. I don't even know what it has, but it's got some crazy enchants. You grab the chests that are like underneath these small ones. You, you keep pushing me. You, you, you are a thick hey, panda, hey, and you're pushing hey. me. Another one. What is all this stuff? This is crazy. Yeah, there's a lot of gold there. I'm just looking for diamonds. That's kind of like the main thing. Uh, I, I don't see any. No, it doesn't seem to be any diamonds. Maybe like it's something underneath here. I think there's like anybody else in here. Uh, is there a girl? Oh, that's literally a... Oh, oh, oh my god, it's so cute. Hi, Hello? Hello? Uh, they seem to be kind of friendly right now. Can I trade with them? No, I can't trade with them. Interesting. There's ender pearls though. Ooh. And diamonds. Nice. You found diamonds? Yeah, there's all these like drinks in there too. Here, you grab those potions in here. Oh, there's so many ender pearls. Did you drink it? <gasps> you're glowing. What'd you do? Why would you drink Wait, that? I'm Are a you like glowing super? Panda? Yeah, and you <laughs> seem to be pretty powerful. Does that mean I can join the Avengers? I'm gonna I don't. Be the first I don't think that's how it works. Avengers. You're gonna be the first panda in the. You, you know what? You you good luck. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. You got that. Call, call me. Call me. Bat panda. The bat panda. Wait. Or panda. <laughs> The panda bat. <laughs> panda bat! Yeah, I like that. <laughs> All right, well, we're done with this place now. Let's do what we do best. Destroy everything. Hey, Evil panda. Hey, hey. Go, panda bat. Go. Hey. Ah, panda I bat. Yeah. Hey. Uh, yeah. Help, 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 oh, oh, help. Help, help, help. Help me, help me. I'm going to die. Whoa. I'm literally okay, going to die. to the rescue. Help. Go back away. I'm so sorry. And finally, I traveled back home and dropped off everything that I had inside of my chest. Are you giving belly rubs to my panda? Is yes. that? He's oh, so oh. Cute. What are you? What, what is? Belly what is? What is? What is, what is, go, what is going belly on here? Rub. <laughs> belly rub. Belly I think. I think. I'm pretty sure like he needs help. You know. <laughs> he just 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 feed him some bamboo and he'll be fine. Look, you oh. see, completely fine now. On days 48 to 52, the next morning, I looked out my window. And before I could even say bye, Baby Bat Panda just flew away into the sunset. It, it was honestly pretty majestic. And she apparently left me a message. It's time for me to go. I'm going to pursue my goal to become the first Baby Bat Panda. I'll stop crime and save lives. I'll see you around from Baby Bat Panda. Even though she was kind of annoying, it was literally not having a friend to talk to. Well, I'm pretty bored, honestly. I want to make diamond armor, but I don't want to use my diamonds. And my iron armor is almost broken, so it's kind of unfortunate. And boom, that hit me. I remember that I could craft worker blocks from 100 days as a witch, which can make this place feel more lively and automate wood cutting, ore mining, and of course, farming. Boys, our lives are going to get a lot easier. Just watch. Ores, okay. Logs, and of course, crops. Let's start with crops. Probably like the easiest thing, and we don't really need it, but I think preferably right here we should work. Look at this! Got a little panda! Look at this little guy! There he goes! And he's gathering for us bamboo! This is amazing! Why do I have even this farm over here? I literally got a bamboo gathering machine! And this one should bring us some ores! Look at that! Coal! Already gold! Stone! Iron! Are you kidding me? This boy is fast! Yeah, we should up sending it! And the last one is wood cutting. There we go. Got a little wood cutting panda. Oh, boy, no, no, guys, guys, chill, chill. Whoa, it almost rolled me off the mountain. <laughs> Look at him go. Collecting every piece of wood, even wood from the, the, the nether, apparently. Okay, it doesn't make any sense. Something tells me this place is about to change. Look at the little baby. Not today, Rattlesnake. And the next day, I went downstairs and checked the worker blocks. And what do you know? These little pandas, they knew exactly what they were doing. These guys were no joke. I'm telling you. My ore panda got me three gold, 41 coal, 24 ingots, and some redstone and lapis. It was not bad. And for my farming panda, got me blue, red, and even golden bamboo. What, what, what exactly was golden bamboo? I, I wasn't sure, but I was I was going to find out. As soon as I ate this thing, 
I started getting absorption, regeneration, resistance, fire resistance, and I felt pretty invincible. Like I could literally just jump off a mountain like like this. No. <laughs> literally nothing. You okay? I think you need a golden bamboo. Stop, stop, stop sneezing. Enjoy. And for my wood cutting worker, this little guy got me a bunch of wood. And some of it was from the nether, which didn't really make much sense. And the golden bamboo reminded me of the Lord Panda. I'm pretty sure I saw him using it before. That's probably why he was so strong. So, now days 53 to 55, I got a little bit risky. You know, why not travel to a snow biome? A, a panda going to a snow biome to recruit a polar bear. That was definitely never heard of, and I just want to be the first one to do it. I'm loose on a boot. Just swimming away. Zoom. Oh, wait, look at that. That's my previous build. There you go. You ever seen, like, a, a panda submarine? Yeah. And once I arrived, I got ambushed by a pack of snow leopards. Just look at what they did to this chicken. Uh, that thing is looking right at me. Oh, oh, if I stand still, it won't see or hear me. It's not what it looks like. I'm not food, just, oh, great. The ice is cracking. Are you kidding me? Oh, I think they're awake. Hey, guys, where, where are you going? Uh... Oh, no, 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 bad, bad snow leopard. Can it swim? <laughs> I don't think it can swim. Oh, man, I'm going to get shredded if I try to fight them. Nope, nope, yep. Ow, got bit by a leopard. What the heck, man? To them, I looked like a chunky pork chop, you know? And finally, I found what I was looking for, a polar bear. Okay, okay, uh, that's a little bit sus, but the bear... You know, we're, we're kind of a bear family, right? You know, we, we keep each other's backs, right? You know, I should bring him back home, but I don't really have snow in the jungle. It just doesn't make any sense. You need bamboo? No? You're not on a bamboo diet? Oh, you should get on that, bro. I'm telling you right now. It's fire. Here, got you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna build you a bamboo sanctuary. And then while I'm gone, this snow leopard, it can't... I mean, I don't think it's gonna eat you, but I, I, you never know. You know, I got, I got you. And you! Now that I got you here... Yo! Yo! Jeez! Oh. Yeah, pack would have shredded me apart. That, that's a fact. Wait, what's happening? What's happening here? It's like the National Geographic, but the, the Moose Edition. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? You, you speak, you speak, you speak Panda? Oh, hold, hold on. Whoa, 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 what are, you, what are you doing? Nope, 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 nope. Hey, all right. That's, that's, that's. Oh, 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 nature. Oh, there's some animal planet out here. I'm, I'm out. I'm out. That, that's it. I'm done for the day. I wish they had motors in Minecraft. Just got to speed up the boats. Just going way too slow. An ocean monument? No way. Oh, never. Nope, 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 nope. From these 56 to 62, this place just felt so empty. Too many pandas, not enough space. For all my lazy and sleepy pandas, I built them a yoga room so they can exercise their rolling techniques. It, it was so simple. You just cough on the floor and hay bales filled up my fences. A two-year-old with an iPad could build this. Next building was the Panda Hotel. This one, which is gonna be iconic. This time, building a hotel just for sleepy and lazy pandas so they could sleep all day. And for my third building, I thought it was pretty clever. The Save a Panda Hotel. Hey, hey, I'm, I'm looking at you. You, you, you want to you wanna save a panda? Listen, listen, let me, let me tell you about these pandas, okay? Subscribe. Subscribe to Save a Panda. That, that's it. Oh, and leave a like for bamboo to be delivered to your doorstep. Being that serious. And this place was for all the sneezing pandas that were extremely weak. Finally, for the last building, the Panda Smith, a place where all worried pandas can use their blacksmith and toolsmith skills. They just gotta make sure that they're prepared for all the thunderstorms. It gets pretty scary out there. The Save a Panda Hospital. On day 63, it was thunderstorming. All you could hear was an army of pandas just, just crying and sobbing away. It was honestly one of the worst days. Hearing all the pandas cry, it was just so sad. No! I just got struck by lightning. My, my panda just died in front of me. That's so sad. It's gonna be okay, buddy. Come on, it's gonna be okay. Here, take some bamboo. I, I don't think he even wants bamboo. Look at him, he's just crying away. And meanwhile, these dudes just don't care. They're just rolling away. I'm guessing everybody's okay here. What about the save a panda hospital? Everybody's all good, right? Just, just double checking. And on day 64 to 66, the thunderstorm finally stopped. And there was a beautiful baby panda that was born. Come here, little buddy. I got you. Here you go. 
Here's some bamboo, and you also get some bamboo as well. Welcome to the Panda Treehouse community. You guys all holding up good, right? Everybody's good? And day 100 was slowly lingering. I knew that the Lord Panda would eventually come back and cause destruction. I then took the bamboo and the emeralds to start crafting weapons. Bamboo pickaxe with 15 attack damage. That's better than my sword. Definitely gonna replace the diamond pickaxe. Now let's get a bamboo sword as well. Oh, okay. Not bad. And the last part is a bamboo hoe. Perfect. And with the bamboo hoe, it allowed me to plant unlimited types of bamboo. All types of colors. This pretty much meant like an unlimited food source. The sword looks pretty cool. The pickaxe is pretty awesome. And there's a hoe. I've been waiting so long for this moment. Oh, nope, 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 nope. I wasn't waiting for that. Yo, this dude is so crazy. I nearly two shot the iron golem. And a five shot. Oh, okay. All right, that was pretty good. Oh, st still kind of tough to kill him. This attack speed is insane. What? Way too easy. And the bamboo pickaxe just breaks chunks of blocks just as fast as the diamond pickaxe. That's going to make mining so easy. There it goes. Everything's gone completely. What you looking at? Y'all want some of this? That's what I'm talking about. I should stand a chance against the Lord Panda now. And the last set of bamboo armor. And all we need is just bamboo surrounding a block of emerald. The Kung Fu chest plate. Now, this should be just as powerful as I'm guessing netherite armor. And there we have it. So we got two diamond armor pieces and two kung fu pieces. <gasps> no! Are you alive? Hello? Are you dying? Why are you, why are you loving? What, what's going on here? <gasps> oh, it's working. I'm coming to save you for the second time. No, don't die. That's so sad. You're almost there. You almost, yes, I saved your life. Thank me later. On day 67 to 73, I felt pretty adventurous. I saw a castle in the distance and then traveled to it. I wasn't exactly sure who it belonged to, but my guess was uh, the Lord Panda. I mean, who else can control this place other than him? Or maybe another faction, I don't know. Now this looks a little bit intimidating. What's up with that banner? Hmm, interesting. I then into the castle and a boss named the Bell Ringer disappeared. Welcome to my challenge. I see you're the Kung Fu Panda. Let's test your skills. Is this like some sort of a joke? Like, I can't even reach this dude. Oh, what is that? Ooh, whoa, 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 oh, oh, what is, what the heck? Whoa, chill, chill. Oh, no. Okay, go back, boo. Go back, boo. Let's go, let's go. There we go. Perfect. I'm a serious buddy. Don't, don't, don't you worry. I got you. Where's he going? He's just teleporting. Ow, I can't even. I literally can't reach him. I don't have a bow. Yes, it's working. What's this? A flamethrower? What does what that even do? Am I, am I putting him on fire? Ah! Nope. Nope. Okay. Almost there. There we go. A couple swings on him. It's halfway down. Halfway down. Yo, this gold bamboo is so useful. Straight up. Let's go. Ah, dang it. How am I supposed to get you? You're literally... Oh, yes. You're a cheater. I totally forgot I can actually climb up things. This makes it a little bit difficult when you're getting hit. Okay, he can't even reach me anymore. Oh, there he goes. Uh, I lost him. How did I lose him? He's invisible. Come on, man. <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. Let's go. Ugh. Just a couple more hits, and I should have him out. There we go. Last two hits. Let's use my flamethrower. Maybe I can, like, push him down. Oh, he's behind me. No, no. My panda. Dang it. Are you serious? No. Oh, man. That's... That's so, that's so sad. A phantoplasm. Gold ingot and trident. Tome of a dying and a shield. Oh, well, I can't really see that was successful because my friend died. Well, and as I left the castle, I buried my panda friend. It was very sad to see him go. Day 74 and 75 were pretty chilly. It was snowing and I was traveling through the snow biome. And as I was traveling, I came across a pack of mooses. What a coincidence. If only they knew who I was under my panda disguise. You know, you know what? Minecraft should totally add in mooses. That would be the best update. Can I? Can I? Can I pet? Can I? Can I pet you? Can I? Can I? Nope! 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 
No, why are you so fast? Why are you, why are you so fast? Can I feed you an apple? Can I, can I feed you, can I feed you an apple? Just, just take, take the, take the, take the apple. Take, take the, no, no, okay, okay, all right, all right, gotta go, gotta go. And I pretty much ran away. Yeah, what, what a coincidence. Being chased by my own kind. Day 76 to 84. I spent most of my time decorating the interiors of my panda houses. First, I started with the Saving Panda Hospital. The reception definitely needs a bonsai. And then let's put down filing cabinet for, for all the smart pandas. And why not give them a sink? You know, this way they can actually wash their hands. Here's some seawater just in case. Cause you kind of looking a little bit sick. I'm just saying. And in case you're having an emergency, I got drums. I, I don't know, just, yeah, just, just drums. And here's a mini drum. <laughs> I'm a panda playing the drums. Yes. Woo. I got a cabbage barrel in case somebody needs some uh, ca cabbage. Fancy water thing. No clue what this does, but it was easy to make. Look at that. It's just water going down. Really satisfying. And a flamethrower. I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We're not going to do that. <laughs> Chest and a crafting table just in case. And here's some more cauldrons for whatever reason. I then moved on to the hotel, placing down a few wall decorations. And next was the panda smith. Come on, thick boy. You are in my way, my friend. Get, get, the, get, get that. There you go. Enjoy. That's some pretty cool decoration ideas here. And wood stove. Ooh, looks pretty cool. I like it. Now let's put coal and cook some uh, bamboo. Now that is sick. For the front, two armor stands would look perfect. Let's also move that sign. Panda Smith. There we go. Full gold armor set. Nothing too fancy. And the iron armor set. That's pretty cool. I like it. I also have stacks of gold ingots, so we're just gonna put them right here. Did you happen to know that pandas love cake? Like, they will swallow the entire cake. I mean, that's what the wiki says. Oh, my mooses. That's, that's a lot of cakes. That, that's a lot. It, literally every single type. No way this actually works. Three tiered cake. Um, oh, it's literally three tiers. So I crafted a few cakes for my friends and then placed them all around the village. Oh, he's eating it. Yo, he got an appetite, okay. Including the downstairs for my aggressive pandas. I then saw there was a golden apple cake. Now th that sounds pretty delicious, but, but once I ate it, I transformed oh! into a bunch just panda. <laughs> this is amazing. I'm huge. Look at me. I'm a buff panda. And look at me. I'm, I'm literally shredded. I finally have abs. I'm just way too big now. That looks so funny. Oh, go. Oh, okay. Huh. Well, good thing I have literally double the hearts. Find the smush. Hey, what you looking at, huh? You want some of this? I don't think so, bro. Yeah, I got a sword too. What you gonna do about it? Yeah. Hold me back. Hold me back. From days 85 to 91, I realized that uh, I had no abilities as a buff panda. I couldn't believe it. This was the first. So I traveled to a swamp farm looking for a witch. And I was hoping that uh, I could use those witchcraft powers to give me some powers as well. You know, just share the powers. And once I finally arrived to the witch hut, it was surrounded by alligators everywhere. These things are ferocious. Pretty sure that's the spot. I mean, you really can't miss it. It's a giant house surrounded by alligators. Yeah. Ow! Ooh, oh, hey, stop it! Stop biting me! Stop it! Oh, I'm not food! I'm not- I'm just a panda! I'm not food! On the right side, it's barely doing any damage to me, so that's- that's pretty good. Y'all want some of this? Huh? Oh! No! No! Ow! Okay! Yeah, they do damage! They do damage! Alright, flamethrower! Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Why am I flamethrowing? Oh, so many of them. Okay. Did I really forget my golden bamboo? I- I totally did. That's it! I'm done with- I'm done with this place! I'm, I'm over it! No more alligators! Yo, I can two-shot these dudes. Okay, nope, nope. As long as they don't bite you, you should be fine. If they do bite you, they start rolling around and trying to, like, bring you to the water. Ow, ow, there's so much damage. And finally, I went inside. Oh, no. Hey, get, get over here. I can't, are you kidding me? I'm stuck. Oh, oh, what kind of a witch is that? What? Yo! Huh, ah, well, we're safe now. Oh, some gold and some ingots. Diamond leggings. And that's it for the first floor. I hear witches underground. Interesting. Just some more gold and ingots. Oh, there it is! The new ability! Let's go! I, I knew they had something for me. It's got a hurricane on it or something. Interesting. 
Buff Hurricane. What is what is this? And let's not forget the enchanting table. Oh! What was that? Yo, that's crazy! I could just literally kick them in their face! Watch this! Yay! That's so cool! Y'all want some of this, huh? Y'all want y'all want some of Oh, okay, alright, alright, chill, chill, chill. You actually kill me. You you actually kill me. Nope. Nope. Okay. Alright. Oh! Oh, we are cutting it close. We are cutting it. Have a heart. Have a heart. That did not work. That did not work according to plan. Yeet! Oh! I <laughs> just launched that thing! <laughs> That's amazing. What you gonna do about it? Huh? What you gonna do now? <laughs> Where'd it go? I think it just flew away. And for the rest of the night, I tested out my hurricane ability. Combined with my sword, it was extremely powerful. On days 92 to 96, my fellow panda friend told me that he spotted Lord Panda heading to a new massive town. I quickly grabbed my golden bamboo and started following him. Hey little buddy, are you 100% uh, sure this is the place? Like, seriously, right? Alright, I'll take your word for it. Let's go. Could this potentially be the new panda tribe? I had to find out. So, I climbed on top of a tree and jumped inside. Then suddenly, I saw Lord Panda heading inside a building. So, I followed him. This is definitely the spot, but where's Lord Panda at exactly? There's his throne and his diamond blocks, but no Lord Panda. Huh, can be through here? Oh, he definitely can't fit through there, that's for sure. I can't believe he fit through there. He's not on the second floor, just chests in the middle. So what do we got inside this thing? Buff Fireball. And this is... Nunchucks? 25 attack! Oh! Nope! Nope! Okay, seriously, a trap? At least I hear the pillagers, but where's he at? I gotta find this dude w once and for all. Like seriously, put an end to the. That's a lot of creepers. That is that is a lot of creepers. Oh, oh no. Okay, all right. You know what? I, I should be, I should be fine. Okay, let's go. Here we go. Back up, back up. No, oh, there's there's so many of them. There is so there's just so many creepers. Oh no. No, 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 okay, all right, okay, all right, back up, Ugh. come on, oh, almost got him, okay, that was way, way too risky, oh, no, there's still more, there's still way more, he's got reinforcements, okay, all right, that's it, I'm out, I'm out, I'm running, I'm running, it turned out, this place was a trap, I, I was furious, I'm done. I'm storming into Lord Panda's village, and I'm gonna Kung Fu kick his face. On days 98 to 99, it was time to defeat the Lord Panda. I built an outdoor enchanting room and enchanted my gear, then traveled back to his panda tribe. I didn't want to have any casualties, so I had a plan to lure him out. What, what is this place? He's got two giant buildings now. Looks like the panda's just been putting in a lot of work. Hopefully everyone's okay. No one has died again. I walked up to the front of the door and knocked. One of his pandas opened the door for me. There was blocks of emeralds, diamonds and gold everywhere he then looked at me and said let's cut a deal join back my tribe and you can have all of this as my right hand man <sighs> I'm, in, I'm in too deep i have my own community and i can't let them down it, it's better than whatever you have going on here so be it you see moose i'm always one step ahead of you while you're out there trying to be a hero we are monopolizing this world it's either you are with us or against us what, what, are you, what are you talking about? What do you mean one step ahead of me? Do you not see what I'm wearing? I got full bamboo armor on. I have fireballs, hurricanes. What are you going to do about that, huh? That was... Oh! No! What, who is that? Okay. Okay. No. Get me out. The floor collapsed and I fell inside lava. But luckily, my golden bamboo saved me. The old-fashioned lava floor. Pretty clever. Ah, but listen, that's not gonna do anything to me. I've been waiting to test out these nunchucks. I'm ready. Where do you think you're going, huh? <laughs> Let's go. Oh, what is that? What is that gonna do? Oh, do it, do it. Do it. What is that? How is There's so much lighting. Don't kill the pandas. That's, that's messed up. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Get me out, get me out. Oh. Okay, fireballs it is. I don't want to hurt the pandas. S save the pandas. What is that purple effect that he has? Is he, is he like trying to drown me with eggs? What, what is that supposed to be? I got him in the lava. Let's hit him with the fireballs. 
Come on! Ah! How is he still alive? Okay. No, oh, he's about to kill me. Okay, no, no. I'm, I'm stuck. He literally trapped me in there. No, get me out. I can't even see what's going on anymore. No, here he is. I'm going in with the nunchucks. They're almost halfway broken. This is my chance. Knock him in the corner. Trap him in there. There we go. Charge with the nunchucks. And he's done for. And just like that, the Lord Panda was gone. Once and for all. And on day 100, in honor of becoming the new Panda King, I had to let the world know. And what better way to do that than putting a giant panda face inside of a mountain? I, I know what you're thinking. By far, one of my best ideas. I mean, I say that every single time, but th th this is it, boys. I'm, I'm telling you. No one is ever going to forget me now. More Moose doing 100 days for the next 100 days. Moose making 100 days videos in space. Moose making 100 day videos on the moon. And as the king of the pandas, I have one request for you. Hit the subscribe button and enable all notifications. And don't forget to watch my other 100 day videos right over here. It'd be so cool if it was like spin. It's like levitating <laughs> away. It's like five. Oh, no, what's happening now? Oh, Jeez. Incredible demeanor shifter. Although he seemed weak, demonstrated absolute confidence in himself, allowing him to adapt to any situation. That's right. Let's not forget he is no legend for no reason. This is where he truly started unlocking his powers. Oh yes, the legend of the buff fox. What follows will truly inspire even the weakest warriors in the face of adversity. Just imagine being a hungry fox searching for food. And after eating a sweet berry, you become a buff fox. Now, let me tell you about these chickens. They found a way to advance their genetics and become this, whatever this is. These flocks of chickens have one goal, kill all the foxes. This is Hardcore Minecraft, and I'm gonna be surviving the next 100 days as a fox. So, my journey begins. On day one, I spawned in as an adorable baby fox. And next to me was my trusty pack of foxes. And right away, we jumped into the water and hunted for fish. But somehow, I got stung by a jellyfish. I think this fox is trying to talk to me. Is that a seagull? Are we gonna eat the seagull? Oh! How'd you do that? That was crazy! I just stole food from a seagull. We then grabbed some sweet berries, ate them, and fell asleep. On day two, I chopped out my first tree. And what do you know? It fell on a wolf, accidentally killing him. Now his friend wasn't so fond of that. Oh, I, I, I didn't, I didn't mean to kill your friend. It, it wasn't. Are you friendly though? Oh, okay, that's not good. Oh no, 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 let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. No. Oh, I'm trying to kill me. I'm trying to kill me. Okay, okay, I got an idea. I didn't do anything. I still didn't do anything. I kept on running and then quickly hid inside of a weird cave opening. If that wolf bites me, I'm gonna die. I only have five hearts. Wait, what is this? Oh, there we go. Hi, spider. Oh man, there's spiders in here. While the wolf slowly searched for me, trying to smell me out. So for the rest of the night, I hid inside of a cave, separated from my pack, all alone, just hearing the wolf howl. On day three, I was having a nightmare and everything was pitch black, and all I could see was glowing red eyes. And suddenly, a giant fox with nine tails appeared in front of me and said, I will find you soon, little foxy. You and the packs of foxes no longer will be free while I sit and rot here. Uh, who are you? I am Karama, the nine-tailed fox, the most powerful beast in the world. I was just like you once, roaming the world. What? And I was imprisoned by your kind with the help of those pesky illagers. Okay, okay but what does that have to do with me? You're the key to setting me free. <gasps> I woke up <gasps> extremely paranoid. Sword, come on. Uh, one stick, two, two sweet berries. Yes, it works. I finally dug out of the cave and luckily the wolf was gone. Well, that's what I thought at least. And all of a sudden, he attacked me. Get back! Back off! Get, get off me! Get away from me, bro! I, I, I don't want any trouble, okay? Come on! Uh, fine. For the remaining of the day, I went exploring, seeking shelter. This world was extremely dangerous. But finally, I came across a village. Oh! Nature! You scary pink sheep! Oh! 
That's an angry. That's an angry tiger. Okay. All right. I gotta go. I gotta go. Oh, oh, oh it's really angry. It's whoa. What did you see that? Oh, that was crazy. Mm. On day four, I woke up inside the village, and as soon as I walked outside, I saw a deer just casually eating a blueberry. I then went over to him and stole it. Not that. Not bad. It tastes kind of funky. Why would anybody even eat this? And boom! I finally became an adult fox. And now that I was stronger, I was ready to fight anything. Even those brain-eating killer rabbits. On day five, I crafted myself a full set of sweetberry tools. Why didn't I think about this before? I, I literally made the sword, put nothing else. Ooh. Uh, oh, this is awkward. I'm just gonna walk away. We have no beef here, okay? Literally, no beef, just rabbit. I was ready to find other types of foxes. So I traveled to the freezing tiger bomb and found a new friend, a baby snow fox. You are so flipping cute. <laughs> what? I'm gonna call you Felix. And no, I'm not talking about PewDiePie, bro. We then got some pumpkins, shoveled some snow, and even placed on a campfire. And created a pack of snow golems to keep us safe for the night. Oh, get him. Felix, come on, get him, buddy. Get, oh, he's killing our snow golems. Wow. This is like really giving me those Hunter Day snow golem vibes. Get him, boys. Get him. Sickle. <laughs> Is it a seal? No way. Hey, buddy. Oh. Oh, there it is. Oh, and it's gone. Yeah, it's gone. Felix, Felix, chill. Felix, chill. No, nope, leave this. Leave the seals alone. You are one crazy. You just, you just. Uh, uh, that's not. That's not. That's not good. Oh, okay. And for some reason, Felix had an obsession with seals. No. 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 Go back. Go back to the base. Mike, stop. Go back to the base. Come on. This dude just doesn't listen. On day six, we had a genius idea. Sweet berries are awesome, but, but hear me out. Chicken hunting. Now that's a challenge for a fox. Whoever gets the most chickens gets unlimited sweet berries. Whoa! F Felix, what the heck is that thing? It's huge. Is that a giant buff chicken? You think this is a joke? What are you doing my turf, bro? Hunting chickens? Uh, yeah, that, that, that's, that's exactly what it looks like. I'm watching you and leave my chickens alone. The buff chicken launched through the air and he was gone. This man just supermaned out of here. I have never seen something like that before. But, but Felix, look, he left his chickens. And as soon as we attacked one, a flock of chickens just started attacking. How? Felix, run, run, run. Why are there so many of them? It's a flock of chickens. If you hit one of them, they call for reinforcements. Felix, they don't like me. They're trying to kill me. The flock of chickens are trying to murder me. Yo, chill. I broke my armor. Yes, there were just chickens. So we actually stood a chance against them, killing them off one by one using our pounce ability. From day seven through nine, I needed a safe place to start my fox pack. Now, do you know exactly what a hobbit hole is? It's kind of like an underground house built inside of a hill with an entrance, doors, and you know, the usual house stuff. Okay, anyways, so first I mined up the inside of the hill after moved on to the wood flooring. With every house, you need support beams. You don't want the entire house collapsing on you, right? Literally, any no good builders. Next, I placed down a few signs to distinguish the rooms. Kitchen, chest, four habitats, chicken farm, and a rabbit farm. Felix, I gotta say, buddy, these small little details just really makes the place pop. Finally, I started working on the front of the house. First, placing down two doors, adding in a bunch of leaves with flowers to make it look a little bit fancy. To keep the mobs out, I needed a light source. So I hanged up a few lanterns. All I was missing was just small details, such as railings and a doorbell. Bro, I'm so excited. Our new fox pack is gonna love this place. Just look at this. Habitat rooms for different types of foxes. Dude, we can even make an automated farm. Well, I was done for the night. Now, I can't say the same for Felix. That dude was wired in. He was working on some sort of an igloo. And from days 10 through 14, I woke up to a winter wonderland. Felix, have you been watching too much Frozen? Like, you understand, and you legit created a full snow biome as your house. Before further expansion, we needed some sort of a security to keep this place safe, especially with that buff chicken out there. So we set out on a recruit mission to find the Fennec Fox. I stacked up on some sweet berries and other materials. And after, Felix and I finally headed out all the way to the dry desert biome. Oh, oh, okay. All right, 
Felix, stay back. Wow, straight up nature. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, Crocky, look over there, Felix. It's a wild kangaroo. That was the worst Australian accent ever. You know, I always wanted a kangaroo in my backyard. So when I wake up and grab like a nice cup of coffee, there's just a kangaroo boxing. Yo, Rocky style. You know, I'm, I'm boxing here, bro. Now, I can't see the same for the Komodo dragon. That thing... It's just no joke. It, it, it will swallow you. It's like a living dinosaur roaming the earth. And at any moment, it's going to transform into Godzilla. While I was admiring all the weird animals, Felix ended up making friends with an ostrich. Felix, you, you know, we, we, we can't bring him back home, right? He, 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 he can't come back with us. Oh, okay, chill, bro. Relax, man. I mean, he seems friendly, bro, but still, we, we can't do it. Uh, did you just tame him? Felix, you're honestly a genius. That's all I gotta say, buddy. Felix, no, we're not breaking him. Come on, bro. You already got a lead on him? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Finally, we spotted that sneaky little dude, the Fennec Fox. He was a master of camouflage, and you can barely see this dude. So, what do we what do we feed him? I, I really didn't think this through. Are you sure, bro, bro, bro rabbit? This is gonna work? I mean, I'll, 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 give it a, I'll give it a shot. Oh, I think he smells it. Here. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come here. I don't run away from me. Oh, you got him. There you go, buddy. And luckily, Felix had a lead on him. And after, I brought him all the way back home. Come on, buddy. Come on. You're almost there, buddy. Almost there. Welcome to the Fox Den, a.k.a. the Hobbit Hole. I know, it's kind of weird, but walk, walk up to your crib. Does he not want to go in? Really? Is he, is he being serious right now? Just kind of push him in a little bit. Come on, buddy. You're almost there. He's like, not about it. I think he's just like a little bit shy. So do whatever you want and uh, just do not catch on fire, please. Days 15 to 18, I was looking for new items to craft. A mob catcher, a slingshot, and a spear. Two sticks, one diamond, and there we go. A diamond spear. Felix, fetch. So we were just missing ender pearls and a string. But instead of finding those items, I ended up running into a pack of raccoons. At first, you might think, what are raccoons gonna do to you? Just look at this. Not the sweet berry part, that, that, that's kinda cute. But this. Th that's scary. Felix, what is that thing doing here? That's the same evil raccoon that tried to kill me for 100 days as a panda. This guy's no joke, I'm telling you. While I tried fighting this dude, more raccoons just kept attacking me. And he managed, once again, to slip away. There's like only a few left as well. I, I don't know why they gotta be so vicious. And they have glowing eyes. Oh, Ben. No. Oh, he's got cheers. <laughs> Did you see that? What? It's not my fault that they're trying to shear us to death, okay? Look, they're not friendly at all. I'm telling you, raccoons are evil. Not the creeper. Not the creeper. Nope. Stay away from my base. Wait, what, what, what is that? What is this? This item right here is called Tail Whip. And no, I'm not talking about that Pokemon move. Whoa! That raccoon is just gone. Felix, just stay right there. Nope. Oh, I guess it doesn't work on foxes. I was just kidding, chill. I was kidding, relax, buddy. <laughs> on days 19 to 24, our hobbit hole was extremely empty. And we definitely needed more foxes to help us out. Especially after almost dying to a pack of raccoons. So I crafted another sweet berry sword with some iron armor. And went searching for more foxes inside the tiger biome. And bringing them home was going to be a little bit tricky without a mob catcher. Luckily, Felix had plenty of leads on him. Felix, they're sleeping. I wonder if they actually remember us. Oh, no, 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 come on. You're scaring them off, buddy. That's not how you do it. You grab the lead. I got the sweet berries. And don't scare them off. Oh, you got him. Nice. And now for the second one. Let's go very slowly. Just kind of creep up on him. There we go. Are we sleeping? And... Oh! Felix! We gotta run it! We, we gotta... We gotta run it! Hey! Get back over here, buddy! Come here! <laughs> I keep getting stuck in my own sweet berries. He's swimming away! Yes! Yeah! Come on! Eat! Please eat, my friend! I'm trying to save you! Don't run! There we go. That's gonna do it. Come on, buddy. Follow me. Let's go. <laughs> that was crazy! Our new fox pack was ready. We had them all on leashes and slowly transported them back to our base. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your new homes. Everybody eat some sweet berries and let's all be pretty peaceful here, okay? That was a long journey. Oh, we got a baby. Yo, we got our first baby. No way. Oh, Felix, look how cute. His just head is so big though. <laughs> He's even guarding
having a sweet berry. Come on, boys. Eat on up. Let's go. It's a second baby. Let's go. We grow big and strong. Felix, I feel like all we're missing is a new habitat. I mean, you, you already have a snow habitat covered, but these are not snow foxes. You know what I mean? I started building an entire mega tiger habitat inside of my base by placing down podzil, mushrooms, and more. And next, I built the community chest room to keep all my mobs inside. A bed right here for the finishing touches, and we can't forget about the sweet berries. There we go. That's, that should be plenty of it. Just don't want to get stuck in these things. Now, Felix, I think we should really start breeding more of them because our habitat is uh, it, it's going pretty good. And y'all, y'all gotta get off this lead thing. We don't, we don't need no more leads. Just don't be escaping the house and getting into trouble. You're so cute. You look how small it looks like you, Felix. And this one's sleeping next to a campfire. Felix, I think they're loving the new habitat. From these 25 to 27. I finally explored the village next door. There were some pretty cool structures that I hadn't checked out. And maybe the villagers were hiding something. Like a secret chest inside the house. You, you never know. You know, I just don't get it. A lot of the villagers just never have anything good. Like the blacksmith usually hooks it up, but everybody else here just kind of sucks. I'll be taking this. Thank you. Now that's going to look good inside of my house. The buff chicken had his own plan. He snuck inside of my base, turned to a tiny chicken, and stole my foxes, just running off with them. There we go, got the grindstone and the stone cutter. Pretty solid. Oh, it's the buff chicken. Hey, hey, get back over here. No, 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 my foxes, he, he stole my foxes. I got you, buddy. Come on, follow me, let's go, follow me. Unfortunately, I was too late. It hadn't even been a week, and we managed to lose our pack member to some KFC looking chicken. On days 28 to 31, I woke up to my fox pack going absolutely crazy. Mars, what's, what's, what's going on here? Why is everybody freaking out? What's happening? They're just running in circles and they're jumping on all my stuff here. Everybody, can we just please take a moment and relax? Oh, I think y'all are hungry. I'm going to guess y'all probably hungry. Here, here you go. Enjoy, enjoy. Take this. Come on. Eat on up. Let's go. There we go. Now we're talking. There you go. Felix, they're going a little bit crazy, you know, buddy? And they seem to love your... How, how'd you get stuck? What, what, do you, what do you... How'd you... What is this? It's like a secret meeting over here. Oh, there's so many of them. Felix, I think they've been, uh, you know, hiding here, buddy. Come on, everybody get out of here. It was upgrading time. I could not afford to lose more foxes for my pack. I had to get prepared for the buff chicken's return. And while my sweet berry tools just kept on breaking on me, I needed something a little bit better. So I went searching for Ruby Ore. Felix, I think this is it. I see a... Oh, oh Felix! Dude, be careful. You, you, you literally could have died. I mean, I don't think we take fall damage, right? Oh! Huh. Look, there's water down here. Nice. Dude, this place is huge. All I'm really seeing here is just like a bunch of rooms and that's about it. Have you found any chests? Yo, be, be careful. Don't fall in the lava or something. Oh, wait. I think I found something. Okay, what do we got? Oh, got some rubies. Felix, like, so I'm not really finding anything. I mean, I, I got diamonds at least. Oh, uh, there we go. Oh, I, I, great. I can't even, can't even mine it. M amazing. Oh, oh, you found some rubies. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. Felix, relax. Relax. Hold on. What are you, what are you, what are you screaming? What, what, is, what is that? Dude, what are you finding? Ah, this list looks a little bit sketchy. Are you sure about this? You, you really want, you want to go? I, I, got, I guess we're going. We're going on. We're going in. Oh, what's tripwire? What is this? It's like a bone. Huh, I got a bone. That's, that's kind of cool. Oh, some gold. Okay, now now we're talking. So what, what else are we gonna find in here? Just just watch out for any traps. You gotta be careful in here. Luckily, mobs don't hurt us, so we're kind of in a good spot here. Dude, what is all this? I'm just like finding random like flower pots or something, and a bunch of vases. What is that? A name tag. All this for a name tag? You gotta be kidding me. And a little bit of rubies. Not not bad. All right, come on, buddy. Let, let's get out of here. Oh, wait a minute. I see a secret chest. I just... Uh, uh, I think I found a secret. Nope. Oh, almost... Almost got it. Uh, uh, no, no. No. Come on. Power three bow. Not bad. Ow. 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 Finally, we returned back home with a decent bow and lots of rubies. Then, we crafted a full set of ruby armor and tools. All right. That should be the last of it. I think I'm missing something. Oh, I got it. A sword. I gotta forget about the sword. Now we're good. Not bad. Felix, it's time for my full set of ruby armor. Here's my old armor set. There you go. 
Oh, what's, what's going on? Wait, wait, what? What's happening here? <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> now, let's test this out. So, I get a Regeneration 2 buff when wearing a full set of armor. And let's throw away all my old items. Felix, I'm pretty sure it's like equivalent to like diamond armor or something. Wait, do you, you hear that? Oh, what was that? Hey, I think somebody's here. No! Felix, don't move. No, Felix! What'd you just do? You just got them angry. Well, what do you know? It was a good thing we got upgraded. Because these pack of wolves finally found my scent. And they must have followed me back home. I just couldn't let them tear apart my fox family. Felix, let's get him! Get off me! Get away! We gotta take every single one of them out, bro. We, we, we can't let them hurt our family. Ow. Ah, man. Dude, these wolves looking insane. Like, they, they legit look like they're feral or something. Oh, no. Watch out, buddy. They're, they're, they're on you. Watch out. Yeah. We almost got him. Yo, you're going in, Felix. <laughs> There's just so many of them. But luckily, at least the Iron Golem is trying to help us out. Look at him. Look at him go. No. Back up. No. Oh, man. They are so mad. They are so mad. No, nope, wrong, wrong guy. That, that, that's not me. Hey, hey back, back up. Come on, buddy. That's it. They're almost, they're almost gone. There's way too many of them. Yo. Ugh. I gotta eat some berries. I'm, I'm slowly dying here. This tail whip ability is still insane. Felix, watch this combo. <laughs> oh, wait, that's my lava. My bad. Days 32 to 35. I left my base to find chickens. And once I returned back home, there was a strange purple-eyed fox standing in front of my door. I wasn't exactly sure what she wanted. Hi, my name is Vixen, and I need a place to stay. And I heard that you were recruiting. Yeah, yeah, t t totally. But okay, I'm just, I'm just making sure you, you're not being followed, right? Uh, no. Wh what are you talking about? Nah, just, 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 just forget about it. C come on, let's go. Come on in, let's go. Just be careful of the foxes. I do have a couple of chickens, all right? I don't want nobody eating them, especially not you, okay? And you can, of course, stay here and do whatever you want. Just, just don't cause any trouble. Come on, chickens. Let's go. Just stay away from the army of foxes trying to eat you. Oh, man. They are ready. They are absolutely ready to kill my chickens. Whoa! Whoa! Hey, control yourselves! That is terrifying. Hey, Vix, could you just get me, like, a like a fence here real quick? Just please? Oh, well, thank, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I can't tell if she's just doing that so she can have the chickens for herself. I then started building a room just for the chickens and after a hole to keep the chickens inside. There we go, just a couple more glass blocks and that should do it. Hopefully none of y'all find a way to sneak inside, okay? That, that, that would be really bad. Now for the actual entrance, just in case we can like, you know, fox proof a little bit more. I'm gonna place like a couple spruce stairs here. Probably make this also look a little bit nicer. Yeah, much better. Chickens, don't worry, I got you some water. There you go. And here's a, I don't even know, just, just some hay bales. Enjoy. A chest right here. With all the seeds that y'all eat. There you go. Enjoy. Can't forget to fill up the water. Buddy, you trying to swim? Literally swimming already. I'm gonna put stairs here. Put ladders. There we go. And then a trap door. And this has to be chicken proof. We can do like a double trap door or something. All right, that's gonna do it. Unless like a future fox over here finds their way in. And listen, we're not, we're not chicken haters, right? Chicken farm. Felix, we're not like chicken haters, right? No? Okay, don't think I got something against chickens. My favorite chicken, his name is Philip. And him and I, we, we, we go back to the Pokemon and Moose Mons days. On day 36 to 40, I started my morning by letting my foxes roam free. Oh man, I'm, I'm telling you, this, this could end really badly. Be free! Oh, luckily they haven't killed any chickens. At least we got that out of the way. Next up was building my new fox habitat. I started off by placing down a bunch of sand, then adding in red sand. After some water, sugar canes for decor, and that's gonna do it. Why are they all watching me? What's going on here? My Fennec Fox is gonna love this place. I I'm, I'm telling you. Come on, buddy. So this entire habitat is all yours. Check this out, you got water, you got some sugar canes, you can go swimming, just do whatever you want. Enjoy. I think he likes it. I don't know. I can't tell. After, I moved on to building my kitchen. I used barrels as the cabinets. 
then added in campfires with blast furnaces and iron trap doors on top. For the sink, I just simply use a cauldron with a lever. And for the fridge, just a simple iron trap door setup with two dispensers. And for the rest of it, I place random blocks just to fit the theme. On base 41 to 43, my foxes were extremely hungry, so I made space for a temporary sweet berry farm. And once I collected enough sweet berries, I began breeding my fox army. There were so many baby foxes just popping up. At this point, we're gonna need a bigger place. I'm telling you, there's just so many foxes. Imagine what would happen if a chicken walked in. Th that would not be good, I'm telling you. All right, everybody, come on, baby, free, let's go. And at nighttime, our hobbit hole was surrounded by an army of zombies and phantoms. And as soon as I walked outside, there was a sign on my front door left by the buff chicken. Um, what's with all the zombies? And why is there a sign on our front porch? Soon, the foxes will stop killing the chickens. I'm, I'm done with this guy, man. It, it, it's gotta be him. I know it's the buff chicken. He comes here, steals our foxes, right? And then brings in an army of zombies now and phantoms. We have to put an end to this. There's no other way. Then it was defense time. I rang the bell and grabbed my army of foxes to help me fight the mobs. The massacre finally began. Felix and I, one by one, started killing off the zombies. Everybody just please stay safe and don't get killed. That's the last thing we need here. Yo, uh, come on, back up. I need help with the phantom, they're, they're killing me. Yo, I'm almost dead. Oh, come on. Regenerate! Hit him with a tail whip! It's working! No! Oh, oh, that creeper almost killed me. Just look at my foxes go. Saving us from the zombies. Now the phantom. They, they were extremely annoying. I, I was pretty much out of arrows, so, so I didn't know what to do. Yeah! Come on, bro. You're gonna be heated. Oh! Got another one. And I'm not dissing all my foxes. But I gotta say, surprisingly, they took out all the phantoms. And, and I literally didn't do anything. I'm, I'm telling you. Finally, it was daytime. The sun was coming up, and all the mobs were burning away. Days 44 to 50, my fellow fox friend quickly ran to me. Apparently, he was being chased by a flock of chickens. And, and no, you, you don't see that every day, I'm telling you. Felix, fire your arrows, buddy. We fired our bows. And that's gonna be the last of them. Good job, buddy. If the buff chicken saw this, I'm telling you, he, he'd be freaking out right now. Come on, buddy. Don't, don't be scared. I'm not going to hurt you. What do you got? A map for me? Interesting. It turns out that my fox friend had a map to the buff chicken's base. And without hesitation, I followed the map solo. Felix, what are you doing here? <coughs> but, buddy, you can't follow me. It's a, it's a solo adventure. I got to handle this. It's personal. <coughs> no, you, you can't. Come on, bro. I got... Listen, you're staying back. Okay? No, no exceptions. Come on, buddy. T t take some sweet berries. Come on. Ah, come on, man. He's, now he's getting all mad at me. He just doesn't get it. it it's, it's just personal. The map led me to the middle of nowhere with a giant castle. And finally, the buff chicken was outside, standing and waiting. Protein! What are you doing in my turf, bro? Did you even egg? What does that even mean? <laughs> this dude got some serious anger issues. Yo! Oh, he's throwing exploding eggs! How is that even possible? No, oh, no! Oh, I'm about to die! I'm about to die! Okay! Oh! Oh! Chicken versus foxes. Do our ants today. No longer shall we be eaten and turn into nuggets! No, oh, no, he's still attacking. Okay! Oh! Oh! Oh, that's awful. <laughs> that is awful. I'm done with you! You steal my fox pack and then try to kill me? Are you okay? Oh man, that does so much damage. That does literally like all my hearts. Got him with a bow spam. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. It can't be that difficult. He's just a chicken after all. He's still throwing exploding eggs. Are you kidding me? You got nothing better than that, huh? I'm way quicker for you. And I can tail with this dude. There we go. I really wish I had my sword on me. Are you running away? Get a little bit scared? Where are you going? He's just so thick, but he's still so quick for a chicken. How do you have abs when you're that thick? Like, look at him. He's shredded. It just doesn't make any sense. Go! Oh! Wow. That was just... Th that was way too easy. Seriously. Not only did I kill him, but I literally launched him on his death. Now, that's a tough way to go out. Ooh, Elijah Wings. Let's go. I'm gonna become the first flying fox 
Just mark my words. And all I need is fireworks. On days 51 to 54, I returned back home. Yet I was extremely exhausted. Dodging. Explosive eggs was not easy. Okay, this is kind of fun. I could just like fly and then jump in the middle of the air and keep gliding. I'm pretty much a flying fox. So what exactly is this place? It's, it looks like a shrine. Three diamonds. Hmm, not bad. And oh, blocks of diamonds. Okay, now we talking. There we go. You want you want sweet berries? What, what's what's your diet consist of? You want some some brains? No. How about how about an egg? No! 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 Stop it! Stop it! Oh! And he's gone. Just just completely gone. <laughs> Would you look at that? More fennec foxes. That's pretty cool. Let me grab my lead. Come on, boys. Let's go. You come over with me. I'm gonna take y'all to a new place. It's it's much nicer. Trust me. There's so many of them. No! Oh! Is that a giant mosquito? I definitely don't want to get stung by that. Finally, we arrived back home. Once I walked inside of my base, the vixen was just standing there on top of a table singing to the foxes. I wasn't sure what was going on. What does the fox say? Ring, 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 ding, 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 ding. Whoop, up, 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 down, down. I'm back. Uh, with some friends. This this is Vixen, by the way. Hi. So uh, what's going on here? <laughs> Come on, be free. Let's go. And please do not run into the actual berry bushes. Because I know y'all take damage. You're going to die. I have a surprise for you. Since you stopped the buff chicken, here is a gold berry for your reward. Uh, thanks, I guess. <laughs> so what's, what is this? It's not going to poison me, right? I don't think no? so. Oh, okay, okay. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just making sure. Hmm. Kind of, kind of tastes up. Uh, you know, <coughs> yeah, it tastes, it tastes awful. <laughs> Good effects, but <coughs> sorry, I, I don't know what, what's going on. <laughs> I don't feel so good. I don't, nope, 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 not at all. Nope, no thank you. Um, look at, I gotta, I gotta, <coughs> whatever I ate, transforming into the buff fox. At first, I felt nauseous, but after, it was a whole different story. Whoa. <laughs> I look shredded. You know, I really wonder what everyone else is gonna think. I walked outside and just, just became buff. It looks like I got some uh, new, new abilities. Uh, I don't fit anymore. Well, this is not good. Getting inside of my own house was honestly a pain. I had to redo the entire entrance. On days 55 to 60, I had to recruit the last type of fox known as the mushroom fox. And they're located in an extremely rare mushroom biome. And I bet you didn't know they go crazy over mushroom stew. Yeah, I, I hate mushrooms, just can't stand or smell them. Traveling like this was gonna be pretty awkward. I'm, I'm, I'm a buff fox trying to recruit foxes to my hobbit hole. Yeah, I, I classify that as grade A weirdness. Don't mind me, just just a buff fox, you know, in a, in a boat, swimming away. I finally reached land, and there it was, the mushroom biome. Uh, what is, what, is this Among Us? They literally look like Among Us characters. Are you friendly? You got like a weird looking eyeball and a, uh, ew! Is it a pimple? Oh, I just like press that button. He's gonna. Oh, you're kind of friendly. You're just innocent. You want to? Oh, are you my friend now? So where's this dude at? All I'm finding is just more Among Us characters. I just heard like a sniffling. It's gotta be around here. I got four mushroom stew, which is not bad. Oh, there we go. Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? Here's a here's a mushroom stew. Are we friends? Yo, we're best friends forever. Let's go. And another one. I'm gonna grab two of them. And this way, I can actually breed them. Uh, there's only room for two, so... Uh, can you just swim back? Yeah, sorry, buddy. I finally brought them back home on a boat. It, it, it was difficult. It was so difficult. Welcome home. So this is where y'all will be staying, okay? So it's pretty simple. Just uh, okay, watch out for a second. There we go. Come on, follow me. So over here is the kitchen. And we got a sleeping fox on a, on a stove. You know, th things get pretty weird here. I couldn't let the new guests just feel unwelcome. So I started building the mushroom habitat. First, I placed down some mushroom blocks, then lots and lots of mushrooms. After about a couple of tries with bone meal, I finally got a full mushroom inside of my house. So, what do you think, buddy? Not bad, right? I don't fit, but I, I, th I think you might like it. On day 61 and 64, Felix told me a story about this mysterious pink berry located inside a pink biome. At first, I thought he was going crazy, but then again, I'm over here eating golden berries that practically give me invincibility. Go! Oh. Not the seagulls again. Hey, back, back, get, get, get away. Get out. Hey, don't steal my berries. Hey, no. All right, Felix, you're the captain. So just lead the way. Let's go. I can't even see you. Where'd you go, buddy? <laughs> oh, there he is. He's under the boat. <laughs> Yo, we looking like a transformer right now, Felix. 
Oh, he's drowning. Oh, buddy, you're drowning. <laughs> Get out of the boat, buddy. Well, what do you know? He, he wasn't kidding. What's going on here? It's like the, the leaves are falling off the trees for some reason. Interesting. Oh, he looks... No, not, not the angry bee. Not the angry bee. Didn't your mama ever tell you not to mess with the bee? Huh? So, where exactly is the pink berries? These are just cherries. Yeah, cherries and cherry saplings. Did you, you find them? Felix? Oh! Oh, there they are. Look at that. It's exactly like a sweet berry, just pink. Now get them all, buddy. Get every single one. See, there's no more pink bomb. Yes, my evil plan. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> oh, I got regeneration and strength. It was about time that I created a berry farm. So I dug out another room and made it slightly deeper. After, I added in staircases leading downstairs. Designing the walls was kind of tedious. And I ended up dividing every single berry farm into a 6x6 slot with a 3x3 pathway. So this way I had a place to walk on. I then placed down sweet berries, blueberries, golden berries, and finally pink berries. Only problem I ran into was getting hurt while collecting berries. Ow. 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 Ow! This is just messing up my armor. Just, just completely destroying it. Alright, boys. Welcome to your new berry farm. Come on, follow me. Follow the berries. There you go. Keep coming. Look at that. Our first fox. What's up, buddy? Well, there they go. Look at them. Just going crazy over all the berries. Welcome, everybody, to the new berry farm. You can have all the food you want. You get berries. You get berries. Everybody gets all types of berries. Day 65 to 69, I was exploring this massive mountain biome. Just searching for new animals. Is that, is that Ho-Ho? Oh, that's, that's literally Ho-Ho from, from Pokemon. What? We're just fine. <laughs> that's crazy. Look at that. There's, there's another one. Sunbird's Blessing. So can I use like super? Oh, never mind. That's the, oh, I'm flying. I can fly now. Look at that. Oh, that's kind of cool. Not bad. And it looks like I found a barn. What is, is that a frog? That's a giant frog. Are you friendly? I can't tell. I'm gonna be nice with you. I don't want to hurt you. No, you seem kind of friendly. No! Okay. No, he's not friendly. No! <laughs> he's trying to eat me. Nope. Yep, you're dead. That's a big fly. That is an extremely big fly. <laughs> what is that? It's like some kind of like a goo? I don't know. I went inside the barn not knowing who it even belonged to. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on here? Why are you guys inside of a cage? I, I know you don't, you don't get stuck in cages, so I know you just jump out. I'm guessing they were probably searching for food or something. Not really sure. So what's inside? Fried eggs. Nice. And banana peels. Leather backpack. A curious knuckles and a depth star. Yeah, I think somebody lives here. I'm starting to... Where are you guys come from? Were you always here? What? Oh, look over there. Three beds. I should probably get out of here. This is probably someone's base. And what does this do? Oh! Okay, that blows up. That literally just goes... Just like that. I was off to a good start. At this point, I really was gonna be invincible. Mobs were becoming too easy, and I kind of want a revenge of the wolf pack. Don't think I forgot about them. A anyways, there they were, at their campsite, just clueless what was about to happen. Ooh! Get out of here! This is revenge for causing trouble. You see what happens? Wow, you guys are doing nothing to me. <laughs> literally, literally doing nothing. Get out of my face, buddy. Get out of here. You too. I'm taking everything you got. And no survivors. Oh, is that a platypus? Oh, we got phantoms. We got... Hey, nope. Now, these Wolverine Claws are pretty powerful. It's like an instant one-shot on anything. That's gotta hurt. Why do wolves need chests? What, what, what are they doing here? Berry bombs? What's a berry bomb? Is this what the wolf pack has been up to? Making berry bombs to use against foxes? Nope. Huh, nothing happened. So how does this exactly work? Uh, oh, it's literally a timed bomb. Should I try on that alligator? I wonder what my claws can do to an alligator. Let's find out. <laughs> I just, I just one shot an alligator. So if I use my claws, I can literally just one shot anything. That is, that's overpowered. Oh yeah. My final goal for the day was crafting this fox armor. It was pretty much stronger than netherite. And with a full set, I was going to be unstoppable. There we go. A full Fox Knight armor set. And let's see how it looks. Unfortunately, no more Ruby, but Felix. Felix, here you go, buddy. This, 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 and that. Enjoy. Full armor set, plus you got a new weapon. And let's see this armor set. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> now we're talking. What do you think, buddy? I look good? I, I think I look amazing. That is some detailed armor. Oh, yeah. Wow, it's, it, it's good enough to make Felix howl, apparently. That's That makes sense. I look squeaky clean and shiny. What would you do if someone looking like this just broke through your wall while you're watching TV? Yeah, what, 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 what are you going to do about that? Yeah, what would you do? Day 70, 73 were pretty chill days. I let the inner farmer fox in me take control. I placed our sugar canes by the lake to make it look nicer and turned this entire hill into a carrot, potato, and wheat farm with lots of water pockets. To finish up my day, I crafted three worker blocks so I could start automating all my resources. I dug out another empty room and built my usual design. So we got ores, logs, and crops. Perfect. The ore worker block. And we got a little fox companion. Look at him go. Just mining away. He's already got two coal. Not bad. And the wood cutting one. Now I never got chopped down a tree. I got a, I got a fox doing it for me. And this is going to be the little room. Our hobbit hole officially had its own adorable foxes helping out. Instead of just uh, <clears throat> stealing things and making a mess. Day 74 to 76. I was in the snow biome. Searching for snow foxes with Felix. And suddenly I saw a fox. Just casually get stuck in the snow. I thought my Minecraft was broken for a second. But turns out it's a real thing. Felix, look over there, buddy. It's your fox family. Just don't, don't, don't scare them off, though. Oh, you're, you're scaring them. You're kind of scaring them off. <laughs> hey, buddy, just give him some sweet berries and let, let, me, let me grab the leads. Steady, steady, steady. Yeah, got him. Oh, we got a runner. Hold on. Come on. Get your family, Felix. He's right behind you. What are you doing? Are you jumping with him? Nope. Come back here. Don't go in the cave. Yeah, he's gone. There he is. <laughs> he's running. <laughs> Come here. Let's start running away. Dude, he's so quick. He's so quick. Yes. Yeah. Gotcha. There you go, buddy. That's four of them. Uh, Felix, is a, that's a chicken. That's not your family. Uh. No. Oh! Okay. We're not gonna. We're not gonna talk about that. Come on. Let's go, buddy. No, oh, no, no, no. No. Bad day. Get away. He's trying to kill. He's trying to kill the family. That's not cool. Get out of here. Are you kidding me? Seriously, buddy. Yeah. And he's dead. I got you. Don't worry. I got you. Come here, kitty, 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 kitty. Yeah. Gotcha. Do cats get along with foxes? Is that a thing? That's it. All right. Have fun. You don't have to put him on a, on a leash. It's okay. He, he can run around and do whatever he wants. Felix, I'm guessing you're going to be a little bit occupied for the next few days with your family and stuff. You're so cute. <laughs> you're just adorable. I got an idea. We need our first baby snow fox. Oh, no way. It's another Felix. Felix. You have a brother now. Yeah. No! Um. Uh. Okay. All right. We're. Uh. Okay. That just happened. All right. Day 77 to 83. I gathered an army of rabbits and brought them back to the hobbit hole. If I made one mistake, it was going to end extremely bad. Especially if Felix didn't have the foxes under control. Finally, I brought them inside and started building my rabbit farm. I built the basic frame and placed down glass blocks. Inside, I put a bunch of hay bales and bone meal the floor so the rabbits got plenty of food to eat. Next, I created a small waterfall for them to swim in. And getting in and out was going to be extremely difficult for me. So, I had Felix help out. Oh man, this is... This is not going to end good. Nope, not at all. Okay, everybody get, get away from the door. Come on, get away. Why are they smelling the cat? What, 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 what's up with the cat? Look at this dude. Look at him. He's trying to sneak inside. Hey, get out of here. Get out. Get out. And at nighttime, it started thunderstorming. The foxes were acting a little bit different. Days 84 to 90. I began my morning by building a really simple fox head to show off my fox dominance. I started off by building the head using orange and white wool. I then used black wool for the eyes and moved on to the nose. Finally, to top it off, I used to have clodal blocks for both of the ears. Well, nobody can miss this place anymore. I mean, it only has a giant fox in front of it. I needed to enchant my new fox armor. So, I built an enchanting room with bookshelves, an anvil, and a chest. On breaking three. Wow, great way to start it off. You're just the worst enchantment. Fire protection's not bad. I mean, at least I don't have to catch on fire anymore. Air protection three. Ah, oh, dude, this is awful. Come on. No, oh, that's not bad. There we go. The boots are pretty good. That will do it. Nice. I just want to test something. So, what happens if I give a fox... A fire aspect sword. Let's see. There you go, Felix. Enjoy. Okay, now hit that zombie over there. There he goes. Come on. Oh, it works. Wow. 
That's sick. Days 91 to 93. During the morning, I went to the Lush Caves to find glowberries and mine obsidian from another portal. The Nether was one of the few places I hadn't explored yet. And who knows what we're gonna find in there? I wonder if foxes eat glowberries. No? Nothing? I mean, it doesn't taste that bad at all. Well, Felix loves it. Oh, they're eating it. Look, he hit the glowberry. Nice. There we go. Now that should look a little bit nicer, especially once it glows at nighttime. I then crafted a bunch of golden apples and fed them to my foxes. You gonna, you gonna eat that? And that's kind of expensive. You know, it's, it's not some regular food, okay? Hey, Felix, come here. Try this out, buddy. Try this out. Let me know how it tastes. Pretty good? Nice. Oh, they're eating it. Look at that. <laughs> and finally, travel to the nether. Felix and I were officially the first foxes to step inside the nether. Yo, <laughs> what is this thing? It's just like throwing a slingshot at me. Felix, I feel like the Hulk. Like literally the Hulk. I run, I jump, and I can just go anywhere. Okay, that was a close one. So what you think we're gonna find in here? What is that? It's got some kind of like a like a strider face on it. Stay here, buddy. I got an idea. There we go. Apparently the nether has mosquitoes. That's that's terrifying. That's a big mosquito. Felix, I think it's just a shrine. Yeah. Don't sting me. Oh! Hey! Ow! I sit out to sting me! Hey! On days 94 to 96, while exploring the nether, I ended up meeting a new friend. His name was Foxy. Hey, another fox. I need your help, quick. Uh, what is it, man? Where'd you just come from? Take this book. I need you to activate a respawn anchor for me. Oh, and here's the glowstone. Uh, is that, is that it? Oh no, I'm gonna be in trouble. I gotta go. Bye. I, I just, I literally just met you. You know, I'm not here to be doing all the dirty work for everybody. I don't understand, but... It is a fellow fox friend, I guess, so I gotta help him out. Well, he ran off, leaving me with supposedly a simple task. I wasn't exactly sure what Foxy from FNAF was doing here anyways, nor did I know where we were heading to. Yo! He looks, what is that thing? It's like a, it's like a bone serpent. Well, there's a pyramid over there, but this guy's guarding it supposedly. I mean, he doesn't seem to be, oh, he's kind of friendly. Is he hurt? Huh, really nothing. So what do you, what do you do exactly? Oh! That's it? Well, that was kind of easy. Here you go, buddy. Enjoy. You like bones? I don't know. Now this looks insane. Check this place out. Just look at this. This giant, like, glowstone pillars and... The sketchy... Oh, the Felix is already there. Okay, I guess we're just gonna go in. Are you sure this is safe? I don't think I can even fit through there. Uh, this is, this is kind of giving me the chills, buddy. It's giving me some creepy vibes. Okay, remember, it said open the door slowly. That was kind of slow, I guess. I don't know. And why are they... Oh, what is that thing? Are those mosquitoes? What's with the chest over here? Oh, netherite. That's that's kind of good. I mean, we, we don't really need it, but not bad. Six netherite. That's a pretty good score. Oh, Hoglin. What's up, buddy? Oh, no, no, no. I got him. I got him. I got him. I'm holding him back. Oh, that was a close one. Here, you break the spawner. Get the spawner. I got you, I got you, I got you. There we go. That will do it. No, no. Weird mosquito things. Yo, they put you on fire. Ow. Make sure you get your gold sweet berries, okay, buddy? Eat those things. They're, they're, they're really good for you. Look at these magma cubes. <laughs> good thing I can still launch them, though. Oh. Just flying out. That's crazy. Felix, I'm holding them back. Here, just break the spawners for me, okay, buddy? There's a lot of them. Oh, no. Come on. Yo, these Wolverine claws, they're, they're overpowered. I'm telling you. Look, 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 look at me go. Look at me. They're just shredding, shredding them apart. Okay, there's a little bit too many. Let me get that spawner. Get the other one. Oh, oh, thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. Why are there mosquitoes in the nether? Still doesn't make any sense. Let me just tail whip these dudes. That is so annoying. And is that an ore? What kind of an ore is this? An end crystal fragment. Interesting. So Foxy was saying that somewhere here is a lodestone that we have to fill up. So where exactly? Oh, there it is. Why is there a prison here? What's going on here? So we gotta grab four glowstone and just fill it up. One, two, three, and four. Just by activating that respawn anchor, I ended up breaking the magic seal which freed Kurama the Nine-Tailed Fox from his prison. Is that, is that Kurama? Uh, I, can't, I can't say anything. Felix, run away, buddy. Oh no. <laughs> you foolish foxes. I tricked you. You really believed you were helping Foxy, but instead, you freed me. Wait, 
Wh what? How did how'd you even pull that off? It doesn't matter. I should probably thank you, but I have bigger plans. Say goodbye to all foxes and villagers. Where, where'd he go? Felix? Felix? Felix, buddy? You all good? Come on, we gotta go. We gotta go. We, we, we have a big issue. We gotta, we gotta warn everybody. Come on. On days 97 to 99, as I went through the nether portal, I went searching for Kurama. He was destroying the village next door. Look at your world! Slowly falling apart! This is what everyone deserves! Felix! Sick him! Nope! 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 I'm on fire! I'm on fire! Don't, don't try that! Do not try that, Felix! I better keep my distance and use my bow! There we go! Come on, bow spam! It, it, it's it's kind of working! What is, what is that? What is he using? Nope! I'm on fire again! I'm on fire! Whoa! He just... He just blew up the entire floor! How, how is that possible? And now he's building up. Is this some kind of a joke? Nah, fire, fire, fire. I, I gotta get behind something. Ooh, ooh, no. Okay, okay. I gotta eat my sweet berry. Come on. Oh, uh, it's a lot better. Okay, the golden sweet berries. That's... Ooh, ooh, what was that? What was that? Oh, he just destroyed the building. Nah, fire, fire. Well, luckily, I'm immune, so that's good. Back to the bow spam. There we go, combos, let's go! He's using his fire ability. Oh, how'd he do that? Watch out! Felix, stay away from the buildings! He's destroying everything! No! He can just launch himself up like that! What? Oh no, no, don't tell me. I'm out of arrows. Oop, the house is gone, the house is gone. I'm out of arrows, the house is gone. I I'm immune to his fire abilities, which is a good thing, but he's still pretty powerful. No, oh, not the death grip! Put me, put me down! Can I pounce out of this thing? It worked! Oh, it didn't work. No, I'm just flying out. Why am I flying up? Oh! Yes! Where do you think you're going, buddy? Where do you think you're going? No! Oh, okay! Okay! No, 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 no! The funny thing is, he's barely doing any damage to me, but I, I just can't seem to kill him. Whoa! Oh, he's destroying everything! Oh, he's not stopping anymore. No! Oh, I thought he had a cooldown! Okay, I gotta go. I gotta run. I gotta run. No, it's not a good idea. It's not a good idea. I've come way too far to die so quickly. It's about to be sunset. God, how is he so strong? He can just wipe everything out. Look, look at him. Just no remorse. At this point, I'm telling you, he's going to kill the entire fox pack. I deeply underestimated Kurama. Not only was he able to wipe out the entire village with his powers, he turned all the grass into lava, slowly killing anything left alive. Moose, you have any ideas? Yeah. Felix, all I got is a po potion of poison. It, I'm, I'm not sure what that's even gonna do, buddy. Hey, hey, where are you going? F Felix? Hey, Felix, Felix, get back over here! Felix! Wait, stop! No, 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 F Felix! While Felix ran into the battle, Kurama force gripped Felix in the air and chucked him into the lava like a rat boy. No, Felix! He's dead. You, you killed my friend! Hold on! <laughs> Your next moose! Oh, hold, hold on a second! There's no point of killing me, okay? What if, what if I help you? Listen, I know where the elders are at. They, they trapped you. They didn't treat you right. You want to help me? I've never had anyone help me before. Only use me for my powers. I'm telling you, they, they have a massive fort. I, I know where it is. I have it memorized. Deal. Lead the way and don't try anything or you're dead. Okay, okay, fine, fine. But follow me, follow me. Well, I, I can't do that, but, but okay, fine. <laughs> On day 100, I don't think I've ever been this scared in Minecraft before. I, I might be a buff fox and I fought the toughest bosses out there. But there is nothing like Kurama. What he did to my best friend, that deeply hurt me. I, I was pretty much being held against my will, just taking this massive beast to the Ildra camp where he was originally imprisoned. Well, this is it, okay? We got a deal, right? Yeah, it, it's a pretty big place. Are you sure? I've been it's waiting uh for years. <laughs> Finally, I can get revenge. <laughs> is that necessary? I'm supposed to be helping you. Hey, hey, hold up! Where are you going? 
And then, Kurama jumped into battle and started using his flame body ability. He set the entire city on fire. The evokers kept using their magic, but it was barely doing anything. He then started destroying all the buildings around him, showing no mercy. When the Nine-Tailed Fox says he wants revenge, he means it. This truly was a massacre. I got you, buddy. No, no, okay. There's a lot of it. There is a lot of it for sure. Back up. I'm tail whooping them. Yeah. You see, we are a pretty good team, you know. No, oh, okay. Never mind. Okay. Oh, I'm too strong. Once Kurama wiped out the entire village, he used all his powers to kill every illager. Not bad, kid. I'm sorry about what happened to your friend, but I have some unfinished business. I'll see you around. Well, it was over. Grandma was gone, and I returned back home to my fox pack. <sighs> I hate doing this. I, I really, I really can't stand it. You know, it's like, you got a, you got a really close friend, and, and they're just gone. Just like that. Rest in peace, Felix. The baby snow fox. An item frame and a sweet berry, so we never forget him. And in honor of Felix, he would ask for one thing. Hit that subscribe button and enable all notifications. And don't forget to watch my other crazy one hundred day videos. What did I say? Truly inspiring. Although with one sad ending. You know what they say. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. I guess so. But let's talk about what our hero did next. Don't tell me. Hmm. He became a raccoon? <laughs> yeah, right. A funny joke, nevertheless. Just like he showed his true potential across the land, he also set himself to be the fastest swimmer across the ocean. Huh? This is the legend of the buff dolphin. Have you ever swam with a dolphin? These creatures are cute and cuddly, except when there's sharks. This is Hardcore Minecraft, and I'm going to be surviving the next 100 days as a dolphin. If you love dolphins, hit the subscribe button and enable all notifications. On day one, I spawned in as a baby dolphin inside the ocean. Surrounded by a pot of dolphins, we swam through the beautiful coral reef and hunted for fish. Come here, boys. I got you. Here's some fish. There you go. You like this kind of fish? Now that should tame the... Boys, listen up. We gotta eat some more fish, okay? It's as simple as that. As dolphins, more fish we eat, the stronger we get. And with this swarm of tropical fish, we took our chances. But right as I grabbed my first fish, a great white shark almost ate me. Trust me, you don't want to mess with these creatures. They are dolphins' number one enemy, and they'll eat you in one chomp. Everybody, go swim! Swim away! We look like shrimps! It's gonna eat us! No, we all fled the area. I was by myself for that night. Unsure of the mysteries in the ocean, what evil creatures could be out there? On day two, I woke up to a crab biting my fins. Hello, I like money. And I don't know what the zoo's problem was, so I ate him. Dolphins eat crabs? I don't know. I swam to the surface and saw a human on a boat, just fishing. Hey, uh, what's, what's up? That is the most adorable baby dolphin. Uh, I know exactly what you need. Okay, he was looking at me kind of funny. He just started tossing hundreds of fish. Here's some fish! Look at this. I don't even gotta work. I was pulled towards the buried treasure. Now that is convenient. We gotta cut a deal. I'm taking the diamonds, and you can have everything else. For the rest of the night, I looted a bunch of sunken ships, and even got plenty of wood and other materials. The morning of day three started with a thunderstorm. I heard a noise. My dolphin instincts told me that something was off. If you've ever had the fear of getting eaten alive by a shark, see that thing in front of me? That's the Megalodon King. You don't want to mess with him. He will eat you. Okay. Oh, you're going to eat me. Just get it over with. Maybe another day. I've had enough dolphins for today. You, you, you ate my family? Listen, I just ate dolphins. I don't know who they were, but they were tasty. Always saw him. I'm gonna hunt you down, bounty hunter style. Anyways, I know humans trust you. With all this trash in the ocean, it's killing our population, and without any fish, my sharks can't eat. You mean fish trash in the ocean? Yes, exactly that. 
Here's a book a dolphin just like you gave to me. I believe his name was the Mr. Beast Dolphin. The goal of Team Seas is to remove 30 million pounds of trash from the ocean. Probably the craziest thing we've ever attempted. Which means we're trying to raise $30 million by the end of the year. Which is $10 million more than what we raised for Team Trees. We need your help. Now, if y'all don't clean up the trash, I'm gonna start eating some humans. Whoa, hold on a second. Let's find the middle point. No need to jump to conclusions. We can totally do this, okay? And all people gotta do is visit teamseas.org and even donating one dollar will get rid of one pound of trash. And my dolphins and I will clear up the trash here and save the ocean. Deal, you have 24 hours, good luck. We'll be watching. Woo! Now that was a close one. You know, how about this? For every 1,000 views this video gets, I will donate one dollar. On day four, I ate so much fish that I became an adult dolphin. Look at me, I know, I'm gorgeous. Now, having more health and faster swimming. This was insane. I could launch out of the water and jump over anything. So it looks like I got a new ability. And let's test it out on a drowning. <laughs> okay, not bad. No, there he goes. Look at it, just shoving into the wall. This water speed ability is no joke. Now, who's that guy over there? You know the dolphin? Could it be my family? Well, swim over there. Hello? Hey, buddy, uh, hey, are, are you, are you lost by any chance? Well, I guess just follow me. I got you, buddy. And I'm going to call you Mr. Flipper. Now, here's some fish, and I know just the spot to get you some gear. For the remaining of the day, we kept on swimming and searching, even coming across weird types of sea animals. What, 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 even, what even is that thing? I don't know. On day five, Flipper and I finally came across an underwater village. There's been myths about this place. Before it was abandoned and covered in drowned enemies, it used to be like an Atlantis, but with villagers and way smaller. Come on, let's go, buddy. Just to steal everything. No mercy. Look at this. I got a fishing rod. That's kind of cool. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a dolphin fishing. You don't see that every day. And even a backpack to store all my stuff inside. Oh, just be careful. Oh, yeah. They do a lot of damage. Be careful, buddy. I'm gonna keep them away with my fishing rod. Okay, they're gonna kill me. They're gonna kill me. Never mind. Flipper, break all this. No, oh, one heart. One heart. No, 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 no. That was a close one. Grab as much bookshelves you can find because we don't have no underwater cows. And then crafted an iron pickaxe and mined the remaining materials inside the underwater village. And from that entire adventure, we got five treasure chests. That, that's, that's a lot. Flipper, what is that thing? A sunken golem? I mean, he doesn't do anything. Oh, never mind. Okay, he does do something. Come on, get him, Flipper. Hurry up. Let's go. We then cleaned up a bunch of trash around here and even found a coral reef axe. I was intrigued. Apparently, I can make armor and weapons from the coral reef. Day six began searching for a massive coral reef. Once we arrived, there was a weird sea creature that attacked us. This guy literally looks like Venom. Oh, try to kill me. Flipper, take him out, buddy. Get rid of this dude. Trap him in there. Let's go. Oh, wait. Oh, he's kind of fast. Hey, he's, he's not a he's not a bad. Oh, got him. He just dropped fish. That's it, really. And of course, things had to get weird. A turtle swam over to me and said, "Yo, dudes, what's happening?" Oh, uh, nothing. Just 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 mining for coral reef blocks. Follow me, dudes. Oh, uh, uh we're, we're we're okay. There's there's plenty here. Oh, no problem, dude. Catch you later, alligator. Um, I'm a dolphin, bro. Whatever, dude. You know, I don't like that guy. Something sketchy about him. So, I began crafting a full set of coral reef armor. It's better than iron armor and for dolphins. And to finish it up, I even crafted coral reef tools. And there we go. Coral reef sword. Probably don't need this. I think my diamond sword is, oh yeah, way better. Well, anyways, Flipper, we're officially stacked. That same night, we found abandoned ruins. And as we defeated the sharks around and got rid of the drowned, we looted the chests. Yo, I got an idea. What if we create our own pot of dolphins? Yes, that's what we're gonna do. Just grab everything you can and let's make our own base. Day seven through nine was the start of a new history. We found a perfect location to create a giant aquarium ecosystem. Now building one wasn't gonna be so easy. All right, Flipper, just keep on mining sand and I'll keep making the glass. 
we started by creating a giant circle layout using prismarine blocks. And after, building up a glass to create a dome design which would be for our dolphins. For the flooring, we went for a rainbow theme using different coral blocks surrounded with corals to make it pop. We were pretty much recreating my 100 days wither base design, but on a much larger scale and way prettier. After, I created 8 different circle outlines, which in the future will connect to the other ecosystems for designated creatures. Final details consisted of using sea pickles as our light source, and to stay organized, having a big chest room for all the underwater treasure was necessary. Bro, I am so hungry. Now a kitchen with a fridge that dispenses fish. Flipper, I'm telling you, unlimited fish for life. Well, I guess sort of. As we were exploring on day 10, we spotted a submarine that you just couldn't miss. It was huge, and I had no idea what it was doing here. Look at this place. It's massive. Oh, it just keeps going. There's just so many rooms, and there's even like eels. I don't even want to get stung by a saltwater eel. Scavenging. But this place was a bit creepy, although I did find a bubble, which was a useful crafting recipe to capture underwater mobs. Oh, and you know finding Nemo? Well, we actually found him and even Dory, and they were literally traveling together. Uh, hey, Nemo and, and Dory, right? Yes. I'm Dory, and this is Nemo. Yup, that's definitely Dory. Um, hello? Have you seen Crush? Oh, Crush? Yeah, he's at the coral reef nearby. Thank you so much. I love you, I love you, I love you. Ooh, let's go on an adventure. Right, Nemo? She's still gone. Adventure time. No? She's, she's still am, am I annoying? She's still gone. Days 11 and 14 began with the expansion of my aquarium. Remember those circle outlines I built? I started by extending those out. Now, these will connect to eight different ecosystems which will be built out of glass. The first four being 15 by 15 glass squares to hold the larger sea animals, while the other four being glass spheres designed for smaller sized creatures. It seems a bit weird at first, but once the insides are built and filled with sea animals, it's gonna look amazing. Now, with the layout done, these ecosystems exit down from these tubes and connect to the center dome. All that's needed is to label each room. Number one, small fish. Number two, sharks. Number three, octopus. Number four, whales. Number five, Guardians, number six, squids and axolotls. Can't forget about those guys. Number seven, poisonous fish. And number eight, a weird project that you'll find out soon. There's still one more build left. That was my actual bedroom. I first built a glass tunnel leading up and after a big cylinder room made of glass for my bedroom. For the interior, I placed a bed, barrels, and a few other blocks to make this place kind of feel like home. While Flipper was building a weird bed. Uh, is that, is that where you're sleeping? Uh, just call me a moose, bro. What? <sighs> Never mind. On days 15 to 19, there were weird sea mages surrounding my base. Well, this should be fun. Let's see how this coral reef armor holds up. Flipper, I'm gonna push him back and just keep on melee attacking him. Oh, but they're poisoning me. Okay, they kind of poison you a little bit. Just keep your distance and do not get hit by them. Got him. Only three more left. Oh, okay. They kind of hurt a little bit. Just a little bit. Get him, buddy. Get him! Go! Let's go! As we defeated the sea creatures, I was worried about leaving this place alone. Who knows what could happen? So, I decided, why not recruit some dolphins? It's a great idea. And they can keep me safe. Our right, boys, every single one of you gets a piece of cod. And y'all are going to be the first dolphins joining my aquarium. I used the remaining fish that I had left to tame an army of dolphins. And even crafted a bunch of shields. So this way, I could create guardian dolphins. Here you go, a shield for each and every single one of you. Now, y'all are officially going to become Guardian Dolphins. Look at this, you look amazing, beautiful. Once nighttime creeped around, the dolphins fought off the drowned enemies, which made things honestly easier for me. Now, I had one less thing to worry about. Days 20 to 26, Flipper and I farmed some iron and crafted a bunch of water buckets. Today was the start of my first ecosystem, placing down sand for the flooring and mixing in some coral blocks and even seaweed. Now, let me tell you, this whole project was going to be difficult. All right, buddy, we got to find every single creature we want to bring back home. It's a pretty big list, and it's not going to be that easy. Then we traveled through the ocean, taming as many sea creatures that we needed. Finding the colorful variety of fish, such as the tropical fish, was honestly pretty easy. Now, when it got to the coral cans and the anglerfish, this got a little bit more difficult. We had to search the deep oceans in order to find them. And luckily, with all these fish in the same ecosystem, they shouldn't eat each other. Well, that's what I hope. All right, and that should be the last one. Ow, ow, nope, nope, I just want the fish. I'm just here for the fish, that's it. Flipper, let's go back home. We got back home and brought in the lobsters. 
Next was the Nautilus, which looked really cool swimming around, while the anglerfish kept the entire place lit up at night. Just look how gorgeous it looks at nighttime. Amazing. Now, as for the cola cans, they're pretty much ancient, while the pikes were a great addition. For the tropical fish, jellyfish, salmon, and cod, it pretty much made the entire place colorful. And to finish it up, we even added in small details of spider crabs. There we go. The ecosystem is officially complete. On days 27 to 30, there was a massive trash pile right by our place. Now, cleaning the ocean alone was going to take a while. So, it gave me an idea. Why not tame helper dolphins? You might be wondering, what are you talking about, Moose? Let me just show you. First, I mined up a bunch of cobblestone and crafted stone shovels. Here you go. Here's some fishies, and that's going to tame a bunch of dolphins. Now, if I right-click a dolphin with a stone shovel, it should turn them into a helper dolphin. Just look at them go. Cleaning up the entire place for us. I gotta say, it's gonna make a huge impact on cleaning up the ocean. Oh, and all the way back home, I even found buried treasure containing a heart of the sea. I then placed it in the center of a crafting table and surrounded it by shells to create a conduit. The goal was to make a 96 blocks range, so for that, I needed 42 prismarine blocks. Also, it was a perfect shrine to place on top of my aquarium. All right, and let's place this right in the center. There we go. So anyone that goes nearby this thing will be given powers such as haste. Days 31 to 35, a helper dolphin brought us intel about a massive hotspot of trash going into the ocean. Thanks, buddy. So you're saying that this is the source of all the trash in the ocean? Apparently, this place was next to the beach and it was filled with trash. Now, of course, we had to do our job. All right, this should be it. Go, oh, wow, this, that's a mess. Oh yeah. Bro, oh, my dolphins can't even get up here. Just get back in the water. Let's go. The entire beach was covered, and the trail led to a throne made of trash. And sitting on it was the Trash King. Intruders trying to steal my money. He came running at me, swinging a giant bag of trash. I had never seen something like this before. Yo, oh, get back. Okay, he's poisoning me. He's literally poisoning me. Yo, oh, how's that possible? Okay, I'm dying. I'm dying already. I'm already dying. What? Yo, the Trash King is honestly powerful. He throws trash that gives me poison, apparently, and slowly kills me. Going in with my cool refacts. Oh, okay, can't get anything. I'm turning you into trash. Now, fighting him was so much difficult, having to place water buckets all around me. This way, I wouldn't run out of breath, and pushing him away with a water spray ability definitely helped a bunch. This allowed me to keep distance to prevent taking damage. But finally, the Trash King was defeated, and he was gone. Now, all that was left was to clean up the entire place. The whole entire thing. I gotta say, it was a huge victory, and we removed over 40% of trash that same day. Not bad. Days 36 to 40 began with a thunderstorm. There was a pack of sharks surrounding my base. Flipper, they found us. This must be the Megalodon Sharks Army. We gotta fight them off, and luckily, we do have our guardians. As we battle them, one of the sharks dropped a serrated shark tooth used as a core crafting recipe for the legendary Shield of the Deep. While the last shark retreated, we followed it, leading us to the Valley of Sharks. This was a death trap, but I needed that shield. Yo, yo, they got me, they got me. Okay, oh, they're trying to eat me alive. Oh, help, help, Flipper, get my back. Now I got nothing against them. I'm, I'm, I just need their teeth, that's it. Now, if you have a fear of sharks, getting stuck here would be terrifying. So, I grabbed a few bubbles and caught the sharks. All right, so three serrated shark tooth, three prismarine blocks, one heart of the sea, and two shark tooth. And that's gonna make the shield of the deep. Now, what exactly is the difference between a regular shield and this new one? I don't know, let's find out. Last thing left was the second ecosystem. I used sand for the flooring, added in sea pickles, and a few more blocks for decorations. Then, placed my shark pack. Okay, I'm just saying, this is not like a revenge type of situation here against the sharks. I just think that shark ecosystem would be a different experience. On these 41 to 44, I was on a secret mission. You know how they put the man on the moon? Well, I want to be the first dolphin to go inside the nether. And don't forget, I can't place water in the nether. I then mined up a bunch of obsidian. All right, that should be plenty. And built a nether portal outside my aquarium. Well, it's my time to shine. I stepped in the portal and was transported into the nether. Nope. Okay, I'm dying. No, 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 go on, come on. Hurry up. Okay, terrible idea. I'm literally, literally being boiled alive here. I'm, oh. Just to make sure I wouldn't try this again, I placed down signs to remind others just like me. Just, just leave it alone. So, to make up for the fat L, I tamed more dolphins, brought them back, 
and then crafted stone swords. By equipping stone swords on each of them, it turned them into fighter dolphins. Pretty much, it's like a guardian dolphin, but it fights for me and keeps me safe. All right, dolphins, listen up. So your objective is simple. Fight the drowned. Now let's get to it. Day 45 to 50. Flipper found a buried treasure map that looked a little bit unusual. So we decided to set sail that day. Dolphins on a boat. Sure, I could swim faster, but I look like a dolphin submarine. Have you ever seen this before? Hmm? Then, then, then subscribe. What's it gonna take to convince you? We quickly found out that the treasure map led us to a giant sand castle. I guess let's go inside this place. And why is there an army of crabs? Look at this. There's, there's, there's so many of them. Should I, should I be worried? Just grab some water buckets and follow my lead. We snuck into a room filled with crabs. Money, in the center money, was the king crab. Money. What are dolphins doing inside my castle? Uh, we're just looking for treasure. That's it. You're stealing from me? I've been waiting for this moment. No, 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 no. It's not like that at all. Like, oh, 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 Come on, uh, let's go! Oh, I just smashed him through a building. Oh, he's coming at me. I'm poisoned, I'm poisoned. Okay, swim away and heal back up. After defeating the king crab, he dropped a rainbow fish and we looted the rest of the treasure. On days 51 to 52, I began building my third ecosystem. I used stone, sand, sea lanterns, and other blocks to create the flooring. Then added in seagrass and seaweed with a small coral reef hill for my future eels. Just look at that thing. Camouflaging everywhere it goes. This is the element of surprise. Oh, look at him. He looks like a pufferfish. Flipper and I grabbed our bubbles and transported a few octopus. After found some eels swimming around the coral reef. We even found adorable turtles to bring back to the aquarium. All right, Flipper, place down everything that you got. So here we go. I got a couple turtles and a bunch of saltwater eels. I just don't want these guys getting out. Kind of tricky. And they don't seem to try to eat each other. So I guess it's kind of a good thing. And the last one. I got to say, this is a... Oh, one just got out. That's a pretty crazy collection. Very colorful. I gotta say, this ecosystem looks amazing. Did you know that octopus can escape out of anything? Now, it would be pretty sus if it got inside the shark ecosystem. On days 53 to 55, I ate the rainbow fish for breakfast. Jump! That rainbow fish transformed me into this majestic chiseled buff dolphin. I really had no clue what my fish friends were gonna think. I'm like merman, but the dolphin version. What? No, it's just a new transformation. I even learned a new ability, and this one was called Nosedive. So what's this thing do? Oh, yo, I just got launched out of the water. This is perfect for ambushing. I literally feel like Superman. Since I'm a buff dolphin now, I'm overdue on enchanting. Literally haven't enchanted anything, and it's day 50. So I crafted bookshelves and built a library with an enchantment table. Look at this, Fortune 3, not bad. And for my sword, knock back two. Honestly, those were by far the worst enchants I've ever got. And for one more diamond sword, this time for better luck. Not bad. And combine the two together to create a sharpness three knock back two sword. Days 56 to 58, we were swimming with whales. Yo, these things are fast. They literally swim faster than me. There were so many different types of whales in this area. And they all seem to be traveling in groups. But you name it. Humpback whales, even bowhead whales, all here. And for some reason, Flipper wouldn't leave alone the narwhals. I don't get this guy. I don't know what his issue is, you know? Flipper? No, Flipper. Just get away from him. Stop bothering the narwhal. I mean, then again... You know what? I guess we could have a narwhal for the whale ecosystem. There was also a bunch of orcas just swimming together, and a flipper tried feeding them fish. And using a bubble, I transported two of them back to our ecosystem. Due to the size of these giant whales, this ecosystem was going to be a little bit challenging. So essentially, I kept the tunnels open. All right, so here's the orca and the narwhal. I think they should be fine. It's not that crammed, and they can probably travel to the main sphere. These 59 to 63. I spotted a bunch of pirates sailing on a pirate ship in the middle of the ocean. Since I was a buff dolphin now, testing my abilities would be perfect. Imagine a buff dolphin just jumps into your boat. What you gonna do about it? Woohoo! What's up, boys? Okay, they're mad. Hey, you took my fish! They're firing cannons! Okay! Flipper! Buddy! 
I'm holding back. Yo, they're, they're kind of doing some shots. Huh, honestly, that was not that bad. <laughs> Let's break on through. So what do we got down here? Yo, uh, no, oh, fire, ah, fire, fire, whoa, whoa. Yo, these pirates do not mess around. Back in the water, back in the water. Honestly, I thought it was going to be easier. And it's not that bad, especially with my water spray ability. That is just so overpowered. And what do we get? Oh, a notch. Oh, oh that, was, that was a close one. A notch apple. That's amazing. And I got 12 golden apples. Look at these guys with the TNT. See you later. Get out of here, boys. No more. Seriously, pirates trying to kill me. And no more pirates. Ah, some more golden apples. And using my water spray ability. I thought it was funny. Just pushing the pirates in the ocean. Flipper, is that, is that funny? No? Oh, okay. Never mind. On day 64 to 66, I wanted to challenge the Elder Guardian and complete my fifth ecosystem. There was only three more left for completing the entire aquarium. And there it is. The ocean monument. Oh, and we even got the Guardians swimming around. This just really brings back memories to 100 days as an Elder Guardian. We rushed inside the monument and using my garbage pickaxe, I broke as many blocks I could get. Then I stole the golden blocks and went after the sponge. You never know when it's going to be useful. Also captured a few guardians and battled the other one. I'm literally about to break this dude in half. Oh, there they go. One down and like three more to go. Oh, no. Not to the guardians. Yo, oh, that's a lot of guardians. That's a lot of them. Yo, chill. No, no, no. <laughs> Something tells me they don't like me. Yo, I can't. I can barely dodge the attacks. They're going to kill me. They're going to kill me. There's just way too many of them. And where's the rest of the elder guardians? I'm still looking for them. There we go. The next Elder Guardian. Only a few more left. Yo, without my abilities, I'm pretty sure I'll be dead by now. Mining fatigue is by far the worst debuff ever. I, I can't even break the blocks anymore. Look at this. Sir, do you please mind? I'm, I'm trying to do something here. I'm only trying to wipe out your entire population. The final Elder Guardian. You too, sir. Nope. Chill. No. Oh, oh, oh. That was a close one. Okay, have a heart. Never mind. I'm leaving. I'm out. Once I returned home, I finished up my ecosystem by building an ocean monument shrine and welcoming the guardians to their new place. An elder guardian spine. Ah, uh, that makes no sense, but okay. Interesting. Two elder eyes and a guardian eye. I, I, I don't know what to do with this thing, but I guess, uh, it, oh, we have an actual eyeball. Totally makes sense. Day 67 to 70. I woke up to a dream from the king of Atlantis. Moose, come to Atlantis. You need the trident if you want to defeat the Megalodon. Atlantis? I don't know what's going on. But well, we gotta get ready, Flipper. Here's another armor set, and let's get going. With my dolphin instincts, I found Atlantis in no time. And this place was massive. Not only was it visually pleasing, but when we went inside, it was filled with so many creatures. Is that a merpig? In the center was Atlan, and he was king of it all. Welcome. You made it. You see this trident? Long ago, it belonged to a legendary dolphin. That's pretty cool. So, what do you need me here for? I've been having an issue with King Megalodon. With my old age, this is out of my reach. Okay, so I'm guessing you just need my help. Let's make a deal. I'll give you the trident only if you agree to stop the King Megalodon from eating my citizen. Wait, really? That, that, that's it? Yes. Now hurry. Time is running up. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. The Mr. Beast trident. This thing is crazy. As I lift Atlantis, I tested out my new trident. With this defensive setup, I was able to block with my shield and then throw my trident. But before returning to me, I could use my buff dolphin abilities to take out anything in my way. Day 71 to 75 was extremely lucky. The day began with Flipper finding a blue axolotl. Yo, congrats, buddy. Now, that's amazing. Perfect for the aquarium. Uh, you can just use a water bucket, ready? Just stay tall, Don't come back here. Hey. Get, get over here. Axolotls. Seriously. How do you even put a lead on an axolotl? Get over here. Got him. And let me just get a few more axolotls and we should be good. We began building this sixth ecosystem, which will be storing squids, axolotls, and blobfish. So, having plenty of sea plants was necessary. First, we traveled to the deep ocean biome. You know, 100 days as a walrus. Got some big teeth. And found the blobs. <laughs> why, do you, why do you look like that? Come here. I'm gonna capture the blob. <laughs> <laughs> the bucket of blobfish looks so funny while the squids were extremely easy to get and no I'm not talking about squid game to complete my ecosystem. Let's place the axolotls There's the blue one. There you go flipper And now the squids with some glow squids for some light 
and pair them with the blobfish. Pretty killer combo. And altogether, the ecosystem looked uh, pretty funny. Yeah, definitely. Day 76 to 80. I had to leave Flipper behind. Sorry, buddy. I, I don't want you to get eaten by sharks, okay? So have to be a solo mission. I, I know I know you're upset with me. I gotta do what I gotta do. I found the King Megalodon's hideout. But before getting to him, I had to fight off the deadly sharks guarding him. Oh, oh, oh. But still, I am relatively overpowered and my abilities are ridiculous. If I really want, I can just block everything. Oh, it's not working. I thought I could block the shots. I thought I could do it. It's not blocking anything. Oh, there's just so many of them attacking me. Oof, try to the face. That's gotta hurt. Come on. The best way I can keep my distance away from these guys. And combined with my abilities, it's pretty powerful. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Yup, definitely. I gotta say, my abilities are still insane. I can just knock him back as far as I want and take him out. Well, all that's left is the King Megalodon. Well, 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 we meet again. I see you've been helping clean the place up. Sorry my sharks have been getting a little bit hungry. Yes, and we made a deal. I took care of the trash king and even the king crab, but now please, I gotta ask you nicely. The Atlantis king told me to tell you to stop eating his people and especially my dolphins. Come on, enough is enough. Huh? You actually pulled it off? Oh, and about the whole eating thing, I'm kind of hungry. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not food, I'm not food in the room! Stop it, Batchark! Batchark! Yo, why was you catching up? You just catching up to me! Oh, so be it. Yeah. How do I even fight this thing? He's literally huge! I don't get the shot at me! He just shot at me. Okay, I'm swimming. I'm swimming. I'm being chased by a shark. I'm just a buff dolphin swimming away. I need some strategies. Let me try to push him back. Oh, it's not working. It's literally... Oh, it's kind of working, I guess. No, it's really not doing much. He's just too big. My trident is going right through him. Ooh, he's doing some decent damage. Let me see if I can block his attacks. Let me go with the sword. No, I wish it was a little bit easier. But no, it's not. Not at all. I'm going for his body. All right, I'm down. I'm already down. Half health. He's tossing cannibals? How is he doing that? Oh, he's launching cannibals at me. Let me push him back with my abilities. All right, jump out the water. And go in and really try to attack. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Ooh. Oh, he's got me. He's biting me. Oh, I'm about to die. I'm about to die. Nope, 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 nope. Eat the salmon. Eat the salmon. All right, back in. Let's go. Back in. If I just keep swimming around him, I should be able to get as many hits possible. Since when can Megalodon summon lightning? How does that make any sense? Almost got him. Nope. Down to four hearts. So every single time he goes back inside of his cave, I think that's him trying to regenerate health. Let me just push him in there. We got a lot of gold there. That's, that's a lot of gold. I'm taking it. I'm taking all of it. Okay, okay. That, was, that was bad. I got an idea. Oop. Let me just launch him out of the water. Maybe that should stop him. I mean, he's pretty big. Look at this. It's like a giant blue whale on land. Wasn't expecting that. Well, I suppose since y'all have cleaned up the trash, we can leave you guys alone. But be aware, there's another enemy out there, and it's extremely mad. Oh, well, there he goes, just swimming away. But he said something about another enemy. I thought he was the last one. Days 81 to 84, I return back to Atlantis. All right, well, the job is done, and the King Megalodon is gone. Thank you, Moose. Now, follow me. Whoa, this is cool. Nice. That's what you got here. Here you will find all of my ancient tools. Carried down through the years, these will all be yours. Atlan shovel, axe, pickaxe, and sword. These are pretty awesome, I gotta say. They look pretty cool. Since you have defeated the King Megalodon, my gift to you is the Atlantis crown and the royal armor. You are officially the Prince of Atlantis. Thank you. These are pretty sick. There's a crown and the royal armor. So how does it exactly work? Just gotta right click it. Oh, look at me. Look amazing. And there I was wearing a full set of royal armor. Now I'm supposedly the prince of Atlantis. Not sure what to do about that. I, I didn't really ask for this. So to maximize my strength, I swam back home to enchant my royal armor. What's up, boys? That fall damage is, is gonna take some time getting used to. Captain who? Who's Captain? Douchy? What does that even mean? All right, get these dudes out of here. I'm pushing them off, and they're already blowing up on me. 
no, no more pirates. Okay, golden apples and an ender pearl. That's not bad. Gotta say. Oh, another notch apple. I gotta say, there's a lot of good loot here. Look at this. Even more golden apples. Yo, how many golden apples you need? I even found a treasure room inside the pirate ship containing diamonds, gold, iron, and even silver blocks. There is also a chest with coconuts and a cannon. But finally, I defeated Captain Stoutship, the leader of the pirate ship. Later that day, I found a bunch of pufferfish and even lionfish. Now, these are one of the deadliest and most poisonous fishes out there. But with my water bucket, there was no issue. I began building my seventh ecosystem, keeping the design pretty simple and miniature. After all, all these fish were tiny, and just for safety reasons, I closed up the entrance with glass to make sure that the other creatures can't sneak inside and get poisoned. On days 85 to 89, there was an angry pack of piranhas surrounding my aquarium. With my guardians and fighting dolphins, they just didn't stand a chance. Now that's what I call a pack of piranhas. Oh, oh man, they are, they are really, they are really hungry. They are really hungry. Hey, stay back. Let's go! Aquarium, the last thing we need are piranhas eating our fish. That is the worst thing ever. Oh, there's so many of them, and they're trying to kill my dolphins. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, okay, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to take them out. Nope, nope, they're attacking me. What's going on? I'm holding them back. Come on, Flipper. There they go. <laughs> Easy. I gotta say, with all this armor, they're barely doing any damage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're gone. After defeating the piranha pack, it got me thinking. Something is just not right. With the Trash King, King Crab, and even King Megalodon all being gone, what caused the piranhas to attack us in the first place? And to finish up my day, I enchanted all my island tools and even got Sharpness 3 on my sword. Days 90 to 96 was a project. Now, this was just for fun, okay? I want to be the first one to bring an elephant underwater to live inside a giant dome aquarium. I started off by drying my wet sponges then creating a 5x5 square tunnel going from the surface of the ocean to the 8th ecosystem. It was super simple. It's like literally right there. Oh boy. This is gonna take a while. The toughest part was removing all the water using my sponges. Very tedious process. But I even finished my ecosystem. Facing it off the savannah biome using grass and planting acacia trees. Oh, look over there. There's the elephants. All right, so I'm, I'm bringing it all with me. Uh, anybody, anybody objecting? No? You know, I wonder what they're thinking. You're seeing a dolphin on the surface. You know, not, not even an ordinary dolphin. Literally a buff dolphin. Look at me. Yo, okay. Yo, he's mad at me. He's mad at me. Oh, man. Oh, they're upset. But why, why, am I, why am I here? What's going on here? Anyways, once he got the elephants in the ocean, I transported them to the tunnel entrance and slowly pushed them both, landing in water safely. And finally, I patched the hole, broke the tunnel, and that completed my final ecosystem. Days 97 to 99, the thunderstorms kept getting worse, and I heard a loud screech. In the distance, the Kraken woke up. Yeah, I woke up to this? All this uh, trash in my ocean? You know what? I've had enough. It turns out that a giant Kraken has sunk a ship, killing everybody on board. It even unleashed these weird thrashers eating nearby sea creatures. I couldn't let them destroy my aquarium. So I had my guardian dolphins stay back, while Flipper and I got to fight the dolphins to help stop them. Come on, Flipper! Let's go, buddy! Get them all! There are so many of them, and they seem to be getting bigger for some reason. Oh, they're huge! Oh, yeah, they, they are huge! Ow! Ow! Oh, what is that thing? Oh, it's trying to be like... Come on, boys, get him! Oh, that was a tough one. Come on! They, they're crazy! I don't even know what they're doing! They're biting my legs. Do not let them kill my dolphins. Yeah, it's trying to shred me apart. It's literally trying to shred me apart. Oh, this is honestly by far one of the most toughest challenges I've done. Oh, no, you don't. Not today. Oh, no. Come on, boys. We got to hold them back. We can't let them get to the aquarium and kill our other fish. Let's go. Oh, they're going in. Oh, yeah, you know, I, I, you guys got the one. You got the one, okay? There's the small ones trying to escape. Oh, they're going in. They're just, they're just teaming up on them. No mercy. No mercy at all. My dolphins kept fighting the army of thrashers, eventually winning the battle. There was the Kraken, shredding apart a bunch of sea creatures. What are you going to learn, okay? You either keep it clean or you repay the price. Come on, Flipper. We got to get him. He literally just ate our dolphin family. No. Oh, so much damage. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No. No, I'm trying to block his attacks. Come on, get him. Pull him back free. 
Ugh, I'm watching it back. It's working. I'm going here for the trident. Let's go. Go, go for his life. And just do not get him, please. That's the last thing that we need right now. Ugh, ugh. We definitely cannot let him get near our aquarium. We all gotta eat. Oh, come on, come on. Almost got him. Push him back. And... With the final blow, the Kraken boss was defeated. And the ocean was restored back to normal. No more earthquakes to worry about or vicious creatures trying to eat my family. On day 100, I had a few new items left from the Kraken. So what, what exactly does this thing do? Are these weird tentacles? What? Yes, exactly that. I know, having tentacles sticking out of your body as a buff dolphin is pretty weird. Seriously. Now, in honor of my dolphins, I used my pink blocks to build a pink dolphin statue at the bottom of the aquarium. I gotta say, it is beautiful just seeing all the sea animals get together and admire what we have created. With all the threats from the ocean gone, we set off the fireworks. And all that remains is for all of us to keep making a difference every single day by keeping the world clean, free from trash, plastic is that a panda in the submarine you don't you don't see that every day that's for sure what you want uh, apples fish oh okay where are we where are we going okay uh. I wish I was a dolphin or even better a turtle you're slow so I guess it suits you Hey, that's not very nice. I bet our hero was made to be a great buff turtle. Maybe, but that's a story for another day. I know what's next. Wasn't this about the time he turned himself into the buff early? That's right, my dear old friend. Hey, I'm not that old. It has only been a few billion years since we have met. Hmm, sure. Now let's watch this. Imagine there being a competition on which of the three mobs gets added in. But suddenly, you win. While the other two mobs get casted away. And now, well, they want revenge. And they will be going down without a fight. This is Hardcore Minecraft. And I'm going to survive for the next 100 days as an ally. Help my Moose family reach 5 million subs before the year ends by hitting the subscribe button and enabling all notifications. On day one, I spawned in as a tiny baby LA, surrounded by others just like me. You see, everybody here has an addiction to cookies and dancing. I gotta say, this is by far my favorite chocolate chip cookie. It's, it's, it's so good, it's so good. As I watched my friends soar through the skies, one of them dropped an ability. What is this? Chest ray vision. Hmm, interesting. Whoa! And just like that, I was given a new ability. I could locate chests in a matter of seconds. So, for the remaining of the day, I made it my goal to find that chest, no matter how impossible it was gonna be. At least, it's better than chopping down trees. Now, what do we got down here? Looks like a spawner. You up there, spiders, and a chest with some seeds. On the morning of day two, I heard crying for help. So, I flew over and saw a copper golem attacking my friend. Hey, you rusty copperhead, get out of here. Oh, yo, that's got up. That's gotta hurt. You okay, buddy? Psh, don't worry about them. Those golems didn't even get voted in as the next mob. Who wants to press buttons anyways, huh? <laughs> but that copper golem we killed had a brother. He saw and heard everything. I'll avenge you, brother, even if I have to wipe out the LA population. On day three, while flying through the desert, an LA ran into a cactus. Yup! He's dead from a from a cactus. Come on, man. Well, all that remains is this ghost soul. Whenever an LA dies, we carry on their legacy by crafting a bucket of ghost water and drinking it. Yeah, I know, this is pretty shocking. I chugged the bucket of ghost water and instantly became blind. I started getting nauseous and then I, I had a vision. What is that? Buffex? I want them gone. Every last one of them. Evokers and Vexes working together? Huh? 
as you wish. I'll gather the illagers. We will begin hunting. Hurry up, and don't make me summon the Vex Storm. I woke back up. I didn't think much of it at the time. For all I know, it could have been a nightmare, but I was pretty sketched out. There was Vexes out there trying to kill me. On day four, we ate so much cookies for breakfast. You know, this can't be good for us. I think I'm gonna... I became an adult LA. Finally, a bit stronger. And now I can fly even better. With my abilities, I can summon cookies out of thin air and even pick things up with my magnetizing ability. I gotta say, I, I wish I could do this in real life. I would open up my own Moose's Lit Cookie Store. And if I ever drop my phone, I could just instantly pick it up. You just ate all the cake. Oh, what was up with that? I wanted some of that. I then crafted a cookie pickaxe, even an axe, and continued my journey. What are you, what are you doing in here? Uh, are you back for revenge? How'd you know it was me? Oh, he's gone. What? Where'd he go? He's just gone? Huh? Well, what do we have in here? Oh, some arrows and even a bow. And I'll be taking this. Leather boots, leather chest plates, and that will do it. Day five. I left my friends. And as a curious ghost, I wanted to explore the new Minecraft 1.19 world and even find new creatures like this thing. Whatever that is. Ooh. An illager campsite. So what do we have here? Some sort of an ice castle, but there's, there's nobody here. Yo, yo, man. Strays. Are you kidding me? What's that gonna do to me? Come on. Huh? Nope. Not today. Oh, now we got wolves attacking me. Are you serious? Does this just keep going? Oh, it's going somewhere. What is that? He looks just like me. Oh, what is that? No. Oh, ah! whoa. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, I just got frozen to death. There's definitely a lot of chests down here. It's all over the place. No, 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 literally a massacre down there. There was a red baby LA who got caught stealing potatoes from illagers. Now he was stuck in jail. I had to save him. He was part of the family. Come on, buddy. I'm not letting you rot in here. You gotta hurry up. Those things out there, they're gonna kill us. I'm gonna call you Casper. Now, we gotta go before they- Ow! Yo, they try to kill us. Okay, let's go. Grab what you can and let's run. Ignore the raccoons. You don't want to mess with them. I'm telling you, they're evil. I I've seen it firsthand. Let's go in here. All right, break, break, break. Oh, that was a close one. Can we be friends? Um. Uh, sure, buddy. Yeah, I, I got you. Turns out he was separated from his family. I wasn't sure how he got back from the nether, but I made a promise to Casper that we would find them. So there that day, I crafted a full cookie armor set for the both of us. Here you go, buddy. Helmet, boots, and the leggings. Because you got to have your leggings, right? I don't need any of these anymore. Completely useless. Cookie armor. That's where... I got a cookie on my head. <laughs> that's so funny. While wearing it, we were given an ability. Huh. It says haste from the cookie armor. I guess it makes sense. For the rest of the night, we set up a soul campfire and defeated mobs around. For some reason, Casper kept feeding goats cookies. What are you, what are you doing? Go, goats don't eat cookies. Stop. I think it's going to make them go crazy. <gasps> it worked. What? There's a baby goat now. I don't understand. Oh, oh, Casper, bad idea. Bad idea. Oh, man, that's not going to end well. Oh, okay. Day six through seven. Cookies are delicious, but what about glowberries? Casper and I travel to the lush caves. We right away mine up a bunch of iron and move out the gold. Now, being able to fly helped a bunch, especially with getting to the tough spots where diamonds were located at. Casper, have you ever seen a warden before? Wait, what did you just call me? I'm, I'm not your dad. <laughs> what? Come on, don't, don't cry, all right? He's gonna hear us, I'm telling you. This is a warden hideout. And you go near those skulk sensors over there, and it will kill you. Casper? Oh, no! Of course, Casper set off the skulk sensor, nearly getting us killed by the wardens. No, 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 no! Casper, you're gonna get us killed, buddy! No! Oh, just watch your distance, he will one shot you. I'm telling you, he is no joke. Here, get him in the lava. Push him into the lava, it's gonna help us out. Where'd he go? Oh, he's so quick. I've used almost all of my arrows. I don't think this is working. You know, we gotta. Oh, it worked. Never mind. Good job, buddy. I'm gonna drop over here. What is this? Skulk sensor, skulk growths, and music disc. 
we set up camp once again and went to sleep inside the lush caves. You see, there was an enemy watching, upset at us, picking over his territory. Look who it is, the new guy. He stole my base. They're all the same. They destroy what's ours, steal it, and claim it as their own. Yes, you should be mad. You were supposed to win the mob competition. The next morning, I gathered more diamonds and flew out of the lush caves. What is that thing? What is it? What does it want for me? Leave all of my golems and wardens alone. We don't want you here. The king copper Hulk jumped out of here, leaving both of us pretty confused. From days eight through 11, I had a genius idea to keep my lace safe by building the cloud house. Now, getting the resources was super easy. Anything I gave to Casper, he would bring me back stacks of it. First, I started by creating a giant glass platform. After, I shaped it up to look like a cloud. Next, the house layout. Okay, this Loki took me like three hours to figure out. I created an lace shaped house. First, I built a 19 by 19 room shaped just like a square head. Then, created a 15 by 27 body. After, added in the left wing and the right wing. Finally, the legs or tail or whatever you want to call it. I moved on to the walls using birch logs, stone bricks, and other random details to build up by 15 blocks. Oh, and you can't forget about the windows. Finally, it was time for the interior layout. We used birch planks combined with spruce for the flooring. Then a 13 by six bedroom for Casper and I. Across, we created a 13 by six kitchen with space for a dining table and the utility room. This spacious living room was about 11 blocks wide and 18 blocks long, connecting to the six by six trophy room, a five by five enchanting room, wings, which contained four habitats. Any space left over was for farming. Even though we have unlimited cookies, it's just nice to have greenery around the crib. Okay, honestly, I hated it. Casper and I spent so long planning and making it that it just didn't meet our expectations. So instead, I added my face to the front. Ah, yeah, that, that is just much better. Love it. Days 12 to 13, I woke up to Casper and he was freaking out. He, he wanted to show me something. Turns out, all he wanted to show me was his new DJ booth that he built. Casper, that is awesome, buddy. So, the question is, uh, does it work, though? Look at him go. Absolute cabbage. I, I, I mean, I mean, I mean savage, bro. That is amazing, buddy. You, you are number, number one. Casper, number one. But here's the thing. If we're going to have a concert, we need more allays. A lot of them. So we flew over to the forest bomb and it was packed with them. There, there were so many of them. All right, boys, here's some cookies for everybody. One cookie for every single one of you. Here you go. You can have it all. Let's go. Follow me. Casper, how's it going there, buddy? How many do you have with you? Oh, you got a lot. That, that's definitely a lot of them. These guys are going to freak out, especially when they see our brand new crib. And not to mention that we can have unlimited cookies. Who doesn't love cookies? Seriously. I think that should be plenty of them. You know, what if LA's were allergic to cookies? What'd you do about that? How we how we even survive? Casper, what if you were allergic to cookies? What are we gonna do? Is it a koala in Minecraft? No way! Yo, Casper, we gotta bring one of these home. I've always wanted a koala in Minecraft. Seriously. Oh, okay. I, I mean, I guess I guess that works. That'll do it. Bringing the new friends to the cloud house was a very happy moment for us. We worked so hard on making this build amazing, and it's just the beginning. Welcome to the brand new crib. Hey, look at the koalas. Look at them go. Now just gently put them down. All right, it's, a, it's like landing a helicopter, but it's a koala copter. All right, everybody, this is your brand new house. You can do whatever you want. Here's some cookies. We got a DJ booth. We're, we're still working on the interior and the rest of it, but trust me, it's going to be amazing. And this is my bedroom. Do not touch my stuff. Days 14 to 17, Casper was demanding for both of us to get spy glasses. He wanted to be just like a pie for the day. So we went searching for that and I had to find an amethyst cave. There we go, buddy. That is plenty of amethyst. Oh, you're having so much fun, aren't you? 
You know, having an amethyst crib would be pretty cool. I, I think we should definitely add in some decorations, Casper. And that should be plenty. There we go. We got the amethyst shards. Now, all we need is the actual copper. And as I found the copper ore I was looking for, it was actually a copper golem. I, I followed him all the way to this weird structure and looks like it belonged to someone important. But suddenly, we were ambushed by copper golems. Oh, no, no, yo, oh, okay, there's a lot of them. There's just wait, yo, oh, Casper, Casper, buddy, you okay? I'm going in with the bow shots. Honestly, they're not that tough. I, I thought they were a little bit stronger, but they just instantly die. These poor little cute copper golems. Wow, they're not even doing anything to me. You know, I, I, I kind of feel bad. You know, I, I feel like they're just being forced to do this. Oh, wow, the skeleton does more damage than that. So, what is all the way down here? What? Yo! Uh, huh? Some sort of a dungeon? Casper, something tells me that this is an ambush. All right, come on. Let's go, let's go. No, no. No. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, he almost killed me. He literally almost killed me. Yo, they do way, way more damage. Okay, just fly past them. What is all this place? What, what's going on here? They got ancient darts and stuff. We, we don't need... Ow! Huh. A regeneration potion. Perfect. TNT and the pearls. That's pretty good. Yo, watch the creeper. Watch the creeper. Oh. What is this? I just picked something up. It says... Pew pew lasers. Huh? What does this do? Another new ability to my collection. This one was extra spicy. Oh! Yo! Yeah! I could shoot lasers out of my body. I, I mean, I, I've never seen an LA even do that before. Days 18 to 23. Wow. We were in desperate need of a bedroom makeover. So we began building our master suites. I've always wanted to have a bunk bed set up with my brothers. I don't know. Watching movies just inspires me to do weird things. So I moved on to my personal storage room using barrels with an interesting chest design. Of course, small details, the item frames. Yes, now we're talking. While Casper was finishing up his base and I gotta say, it was definitely uh, different. The room just still didn't feel like a bedroom. So I added just a small amount of details, not much at all. All I know is Casper looks like a menace next to the aquarium. Now time for my favorite part, the kitchen. I created my classic countertop design and mixed it in with some kitchen cabinets. And of course, the most important part, the fridge and the stove tops. Moving on to the dining room. Simple table setup using scaffolding blocks with some custom chairs surrounding it. And why not add in some greenery using cauldrons with leaves on top. Lastly, the most useful room. Well, seriously, it's got everything valuable that we own. Anyways, I got the chest fully labeled and set up all the utility blocks that our community can need. This automatic cookie dispenser was my favorite moose touch. I just made that phrase up. It's, it's supposed to mean like perfection. Now this place looks amazing at nighttime. And best of all, Casper, check it out. Unlimited cookies. I mean, we can of course make it rain, but I don't know. It's kind of cool. Pretty cool, right? I think he's loving it. That's for sure. Days 24 to 28. While Casper and I were preoccupied with this weird dungeon, something bad ended up going down. Casper, there's a creeper behind you. What is this thing? Looks amazing. No, oh, no. Okay. All right. I'm making time for mobs. No, no. No. Oh, oh. Yeah, hey, can you help me? Can you help me real quick? I'm literally... One heart. One heart. Oh, no. You... Yo, have a heart! Have a heart! Have a heart! What's going on? An intrusion? All right, let's go. Come on, we gotta hurry. You see, none of us expected any other bobs to just casually fly into our base and steal our LA friends. These new creatures called themselves glares, and they were cute and friendly until they took my family and greased my home. A fire charge? What? Not my couch. Oh, come on. Now, you see, now it's personal. You don't break a man's couch. So I went searching for the copper golems. I came across some weird structures and also found a ravine, which had a bunch of gorillas. That didn't end so well. Oh, oh, gorillas, we strong. Copper golem. No, cookie. Oh, 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 man. Oh, Casper. Oh, no, not the gorillas. Oh, oh, man, this is brutal. And finally, I lured one in with a trap. Spill it, or I'm gonna press these buttons. You see these buttons? Then tell me where the laser at, or else I'm gonna click it. 
Do you want me to do it? I'll do it. That's a quality button. Look at that. Then tell me, what's this got to do with me? Or else this is it. End of the line for you. I'm not playing. I don't know, man. You're kind of holding off on me. You know, it would be a shame if this lava just completely burnt you alive. Tell me the location. Cough it up. It's getting closer. Well, there you go. We've barely done anything. And hey, well, what do you know? It, it feels like the entire world is just against us. Once again. Days 29, 232. Two LA's exploring the jungle on a mission looking for the rarest item in the world known as the cocoa bean. What the heck is that? That is the thickest ant I have ever seen. What? He thick. Look, look at that. I don't understand. I was like, whoa. There's a small one. What, what even is this? Can I, can I mess with this by any chance? Oop, never mind. You're upset. Casper, look over there. That right there is the most sophisticated animal. Something's happening. Oh, that baby panda. That is, I love it. Every, every they, take it, take it all. See, take all my money. It reminds me of 100 days as a panda. There's a cocoa bean right there. That's it right there. The cocoa beans. You know what this means, buddy? Huh? Well, um, I guess, but organic cookies. I don't know. We could actually make them instead of just kind of like popping them out of thin air. That, that just can't be natural. What is that? Oh, a baby monkey. That is the most adorable thing ever. Here's a cocoa bean. Cookies. Nope, never mind. Okay. Uh, guys, what are you doing? <laughs> you're, trying to, you're trying to bring the parrot back, aren't you? That's not how you tame them. You gotta you got feed them cocoa beans, or I think, no, no, you gotta give them melon seeds. That's right, melon seeds. That's, the, that's exactly what they're like. When we got back home, Casper and his parrot were dancing together. That was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. You guys, ten out, leave a like right now. What are you, what are you doing? Just, just leave a like. You're not supposed to feed parrots cookies. No, Casper, not the cookies. Ah. I then began creating my organic cookie farm. First, creating a jungle tree area where I could grow the cocoa beans. I dropped the book by accident, and my LA went searching for one, and within seconds, he gave it back to me. Now, as I opened it. Next, I placed down the sugar canes, and the last part was the wheat farm, just keeping it pretty simple, and created my very own koi pond, but with tropical fish. Our first habitat for the LA's. This was very simple, just placing down dirt and of course one grass block. Next was the tree with some bone meal and just sprinkle in some extra details. Let's go boys, follow me to your brand new habitat. All right, take the cookies. No, oh, okay, chill, everyone's just kind of cluttering me. Yo, yo, please, there we go. What do you guys think? Oh, and he's being swarmed. I don't know, I think they, uh, they, they definitely love it. Yeah, not bad. Days 33 to 35, the new 1.19 update featured the mangrove swamp. So we're becoming swamp adventurers. Don't worry, I lived in Florida, so I'm pretty much an expert. And that was the first swamp we were visiting. It was a bit different than normal, and it was filled with different frogs. Yo, this guy's pretty cute. I like him. Do you eat cookies? I don't think you can feed them cookies, can you? No, no, you definitely can't. Maybe we can grab like one of the uh, lily pads. Maybe he'll eat the lily pads. No, 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 Casper, Casper, help me. No, no, why are they so vicious? No, what? What just happened? Are these eels? These guys are no joke. Bad eel. There's even tadpoles. What do we have here? Look at this place. Some kind of a, a hut. There's a cage here for some reason. I don't know what that can even fit. Casper, did you, did you find anything? I can't fit through there, buddy. It's a little bit small in here. There's potions. Oh, an instant health potion. And what do we have upstairs? Here, a cat. Oh, it's a cat. No way. Yo, bring, let's, let's bring it home. It reminds me of Binks. Come on, buddy. Who remembers 100 days as a witch? But in all seriousness, I was here looking for the green LA. They have a special ability, unlimited emeralds. That means unlimited trading with villagers. Honestly, it just gives you access to so many different resources. Anything I want, I can get it. Who wants some cookies? Come on, follow the cookies. Let's go. There we go. I'm going to tame you and also you. Now, everybody, just follow me back home. Trust me, you're going to love it. Casper even has his own pack of green lace. Look at this. This is amazing. Now, nobody get lost, please. Nope, and they're following him. Look at him. 
getting along pretty good. Oh, they're loving it. Oh yeah, they're, they're, they're loving it. <laughs> Finally, we brought them back home and introduced them to the blue LAs. So boys, what y'all think of the place? And here's some note blocks with some cookies on top. So this way y'all can do your music things or whatever you want to call it. And listen, it's, it's still a work in progress. All right, we, we still got a long way to go. Look at this. There's a green LA playing with a koala. Is he really trying to, just trying to play with a koala? Interesting. You know, I'm going to call you Pickle. How about that? You want me Pickle? I think that's a pretty good name for you. And don't bring home any copper golems, okay? Simple as that. And definitely not creepers. Now, that would be that'd be a really bad idea. I'm telling you. No creepers. Days 36 to 40. Casper has been talking about rainbow cookies. I've honestly never heard of such a thing. We crafted these new boats with chests in them. I don't know. They, they look pretty cool. Look at this. I'm going to lay on a boat. That's, that's kind of cool. I, I think I look adorable. Don't worry, buddy. I got something a little bit bigger. That's going to fit both of us. You okay back there? It looks like you're kind of drowning. <laughs> so we set sail, searching for the rainbow cookies. Well, Casper, here we are, buddy. The Mesa biome. Not bad. What you want? What are you doing? Oh, that way. Oh, oh okay. I got you. I got you. Oh, there it is. The rainbow cookies. Check this out. Hey, nice job, buddy. You know, I never knew that rainbow cookies honestly grew in the Mesa biome. And that is interesting. Let's try these out. Mm, not bad. I gotta say, it's pretty good. It's like way better than this cookie. And it gives you resistance three with strength. I should be able to one shot just about anything. That same night, we were ambushed by Vexus. They finally found us. No, 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 no. That's not good. Everybody, emergency, emergency. It's an emergency. Everybody go hide. Let's go, follow the cookies. I'm gonna get you into the corners and be very careful with the Vexus. Casper, make sure you stay on defense, all right, buddy? Here, uh, you got your spyglass, take some more cookies, and we should be good to go here. Let's do this. These vexes weren't gonna stop us. We gathered our troops and defended the cloud house. Oh, there's so many of them. Casper, help me out, buddy. The hardest part is actually hitting the vexes. Oh, no. oh, I do so much damage. There's honestly not that many of them. It's just they're just so spread out. Come on, Casper. You got it, buddy. There you go. Let me use my laser beam on these guys. Oh, okay. It's kind of hard to control it. Let's go. Get him. Make sure you leave one of them, all right, buddy? This is not that bad. Not that bad at all. I can instantly one-shot him. Casper, you're going in. You're flying all the way up there. As we kept eating our rainbow cookies, the Vexes just didn't stand a chance. And all that was left was one. So you're the last one, huh? Now I want you to send a message to your buff Vex. I'm going to find him. And anyone that steps on the LA territory... We'll have an issue with me. Now go. Get out of here. Lucky guy. Look at him go. He's flying away. All right, come on, everybody. Let's go back inside. Everybody's officially safe. Nothing to worry about. Come on. Let's go. Days 41 to 45. We began with building our second habitat. This was designed after the swamp. Just so my green alays could pretty much feel at home. Now, the entire build was very simple. Adding in a mangrove tree with the water stream, lily pads, and other different blocks that we found in the swamp biomes. I gotta say, this place looks pretty amazing. Yeah, it literally feels like a swamp biome. Yeah. Oh, look at this, Casper. What do you got here, buddy? Got your little pet frogs? That That's adorable. That is amazing. We then moved on to the enchanting room. I gotta say, my cookie armor has been saving my life, but enchants were definitely needed, especially after the vexes. Just too many close calls. Seriously. Just for some small details, a flower pot with a creeper spore. And now for a new set of cookie armor. There we go. I'm breaking three protection, depth strider. Okay, now we're talking. And protection three, respiration. That'll do. Out with the old, in with the new. Finally, I finished up by building the trophy room. I based this room off my 100 days and a dragon video. Very similar style to display my valuables. The trophy room is complete. This shield is massive, by the way. <laughs> so I don't really have anything valuable to be honest with you, but I do have this music disc right here. So this is gonna be a perfect place to put that right there. Now I got skulk sensors. So I guess I'll just put them here. Hopefully they don't blow up. I think my rainbow cookie is pretty valuable, especially the shield. It just looks interesting. Yup, I literally can't think of anything else. Great. Days 46 to 50, our green LA friend named Pickle, he brought us intel 
about the Copper Golem King. At first, I was a bit skeptical. After all, I did get ambushed by the Copper Golems. What if someone here was working for them? Thanks, Pickle. I appreciate it. See you later, buddy. Casper, buddy, grab your gear and let's head out. I got plenty of rainbow cookies. Uh, we should probably plant some as well. And the only thing we need are some golden apples for backup. Let's go, Casper. I quickly followed the map. It led us to a weird location. I'm guessing he's either down here or down here. Casper, I say we split up, okay? You go that way and I'll go over here, all right? Sounds good? Good luck, buddy. Look at this place. It's huge. And there's a chest with lapis and notch apple. Let's go. I gotta say, my rainbow cookies are just as strong as a notch apple. That's gotta be the place. Look at it. Some like fancy looking doors. Got some iron. And that's about it. It's kind of sus. Getting some creepy vibes here. Hello? As I walked into the room, the doors closed and everything turned into copper. In the center, the Copper Golem King dropped down and said, This ends today. Not only did you kill my brother, but you took my spot. What? What are you talking about? You, you literally took the LA's. Huh? No longer will you be the next mob that gets voted in. This is your last day. Yo! Yo! What was that? Just throw it. Just throw copper fireballs or something? What was that about? You know, these, these skeletons are really not helping. Okay, not only do I have to fight this dude, but there are so many skeletons after me. Oh no, where's he going? This place is huge. This is like his entire hideout or something. There he is, he's up there. Oh, no, he's just zooming. He's literally zooming out here. Come on, stop running away. Wait, I forgot, I can literally fly. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Nope. No, 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 this can't be that hard. Seriously, the fireballs, yes. They do a lot of damage. Oh, got him, I got him, there you go. Ooh, got a gapple, got a gapple. All right, break all these spawners. Get rid of this thing. Ooh. Nope. Ugh. This is Copper Golden King going in. There we go. Fly over him and right behind. Honestly, this is going to be super simple. I'm going to just keep flying. It's kind of good, it's kind of good, but just keep flying around him and I'll have him done. In no time. Going in with some arrows. Come on. Lava bucket. Yes. Nope, it's not working. No, it is not working. Just a few more arrows. Just wait for it. Yeah. I'm out of arrows. I'm out of arrows. Can I deflect this fireball? I think I'd probably pull it off. Is there any more spawners in here? What is this? Curse of vanishing. Oh, another notch apple. That's good. What is this thing? This might one. Nope. Nope. No, no, no. Yo, he's going crazy. There's always so many fireballs in it. Yeah. No, no. No, no. no. Come on, rainbow cookie! Rainbow cookie! Let's go! Oh, what is that? How's that even possible? It's holding fire, huh? Another golden apple. I'm breaking three. Yes! Some potions. Oh, some potion arrows. Oh. Yes, another golden apple. Alright. Oh, just being tossed around. I'm literally being tossed around. Come on, rainbow cookie! Rainbow cookie! Oh, that was a close one. Oh, get it back. Maybe the pickaxe can do more damage. I don't know. Honestly. All right, go, 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 more golden apples. Yes, punch one. That's gonna be better. Yes, more arrows. No. Ooh. Yo, those things hurt. They they hurt so much. What is this? I have a cooldown on my weapons? I, I can't use my weapon. What? How's that possible? How do you do that? Yeah. Come on. Push it back. Deflect the shots. Ooh. Ooh. All right, more golden apples. This is brutal. This guy's no joke. He's just so thick. All right, you, you, you sir, are a really thick dude. Nope, nope, come on. This dude is ridiculous. Come on already. All right, I'm done with this guy. I'm just done with him. Come on. Finally, he was defeated. 
I didn't know if I should pick up any copper blocks. I was kind of afraid that somehow more golems could track my location. So I found Casper and we headed home. It's 51 to 54. This is another type of LA that we were searching for. Now, these are called the yellow LAs and they're found in the desert biome. Now, the only tricky part is where they go, these weird sandstorm looking creatures also follow them around. And defeating one is kind of annoying. I gotta say, I have yet to check out a, uh, a desert temple. I feel like it's like the most easiest thing to do because you really just can't mess it up. Golden apples, emeralds and gold, and more golden apples. Oh no. Casper? Casper? Oh no! <laughs> it's gone. I gotta say, these things are pretty annoying. What was that? It's like throwing things at me. What is it? What is it chucking at me? What is this, like Pokemon game? Come on, bro. But killing them is honestly pretty easy. You just can't go near the top of their head. You just kind of keep spinning with them. Oh. Wow. Too easy. Watch out, buddy. Yep. Oh, Casper, he's got me. I'm spinning around. There's still a few more left. Okay. How many drop? What was that? Huh. A Guster Eye. I guess this will do for the trophy room. Grab your cookies. Let's go, boys. Everybody grab some cookies. Here, come with me. I finally tamed them. And before bringing them home, Casper just kept pranking the animals. I don't know what was up with them, honestly. Casper. Ca Ca Casper. Hey, bro. Chill. My God, chill. You, you're literally wasting all of our iron on animals. Ugh, this dude's got no chill. Seriously. As we returned back home, I introduced the yellow lace to the others. Now, the best part was, these dudes, he was resistance too. When just simply being around them. And best of all, the entire community was completely protected. It was like having a guardian with special abilities. Gasper, check this out. The yellow lays are dropping gold ingots, while the green lays are dropping, well, emerald ingots. But emerald ingots? I meant emeralds. At this point, we're gonna literally have an unlimited amount of golden apples. Uh pickle? What what is what is going on here, buddy? What's up with all this stuff here? So, Pickle ended up giving me a, a ghost potion. I'm, I'm not sure what it exactly did, but it looked uh, a little bit spooky. Days 55 to 60. I spent all morning staring at this ghost potion. I just couldn't handle it anymore. I had to figure out exactly what it did. I'm over it. Sorry, Pickle. But this is an emergency. I'm, I'm telling you. As I drank that potion, I became a buffalo. I looked like a muscle builder. I drank a tub of protein. I was shredded and could barely fit through things. Also unlocked four new abilities. Now these were called Phase, Vex Push, Giant Cookie Toss, and Super Flight. Uh, oh, uh, me? Uh, you know, um, I became buff. It's, it's weird. It's going to take time to get used to it. Here, here's the cool thing, though. Don't, don't be scared about it. No, I, I'm not an enemy. I'm not an enemy. Stop it. Stop it, okay? Listen, watch this. I can phase through walls. Have you seen that before? I, I, I've never seen this before. Look at this. I got to do nothing at all. I can just go to anywhere I want. Just, just casually phasing through. This is kind of weird, honestly. And this one is called Vex Push. Everything I look at just instantly dies. You like cookies, Casper? Huh? Well, check this out. It's called the giant cookie. Look at it. You, 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 you can't eat it, but that, that's a big cookie. I can just throw giant cookies. Oh, that's got to hurt. I'm telling you, buddy. We got to get you on this thing, dude. Giant cookies for days. So many cookies. It's raining cookies, bro. Yeah, these go pretty far. <laughs> the entire village is getting bombarded with cookies. Let's have a race, buddy. On your marks, get set, go! I think, I think I won this one. Oh yeah, Casper, you're, you're way behind, buddy. That took you forever, honestly. <laughs> hey, stop, stop it. Stop being jealous. Ah, this is gonna take some time explaining. So, this is me. Is this still your boy, Moose? D don't be scared. All right, I'm not gonna eat you. Or I'm, hey, 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 don't, don't hit me. Who's punching me? Who was that? Was it you? Oh, hey, Pickle, what's, what's up, buddy? Uh, yeah, this happened. You know what, Pickle? You know, th th this, this really didn't help me at all. You know what, Pickle? Here, just, just, just one, just one second. Here you go, buddy. You want a sparkle? E eat this emerald. Boom! Pickle transformed into an LA uh, vi villager. Yeah, I don't exactly know what happened there, but it looks like we're all evolving like Pokemon from my series. I began building the third habitat. 
using sand, I filled up the floor and created a small hill. Then added in cactus and extra details. Now, my yellow LA's finally have a piece of their home. From day 61 to 65, Casper was freaking out again. He should be the front of the house, and it turns out that somebody built a mustache. I, I don't know, on the face of it, literally. Look at it. Casper, did you, did you put that there? Okay, listen, the, the eyes are cool, but the mustache is, uh, it's interesting. Now, please, just stop pranking me, bro. Hey, no, stop it. Well, now that I was a buffalo, I needed armor, and my friend Pickle knew the details. Ghost armor? Well, I guess that's pretty cool. Normally, I just craft it, but I guess that works. So, all I had to do was find the spirit ore, and it was located inside the deep, dark biome. Now, this place is pretty spooky. It's filled with wardens. So, this is the place? Oh, oh, what was that? Oh, oh, Yo, that, that honestly, Loki terrified me. Oh, no. Oh no, that's the warden. That's the no. Oh, dude, he did so much damage. Oh, yeah. He's doing too much damage to me. Yeah, how is he so powerful? Come on. Yeah. Puff cookies, let's go. Oh, no, that thing is still not dead. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, these wardens, definitely no joke. Not another one. Not another one. Nope, I'm holding him back. Come on. Uh, uh. Did we get him? He's still alive? What? Good job, Casper. I literally do not fit inside this place. Now, Casper, please be careful. Are you still messing with the wardens? This guy's got no chill. Come on, get him. Nope, that was me. That was me, Casper. Nope. I think they're mad. Let me use my ability. That should stop the... No. Oh, I just almost died. I almost just died. All right, never mind. I'm trying to push him back. It's, it's really not working. Do we seriously need some better armor? Because this is not doing it. One heart, one heart. Oh, take these cookies. Let's go. You know, I was really thinking that was going to do more damage, but I guess not. There you go. He's my laser ability with some cookies. And that's the last of them. And I'm pretty sure this is the actual spirit ore. Well, I got about nine orbs. I think this should be good. There's so many of them. Well, I was right. We ended up getting ambushed by Claire's. Now, these things are cute, but for some reason, they just hated us. Casper, I don't know what's going on here, but these things, uh, they don't seem to like us. And they're honestly really easy to kill. Like, like drastically easy. I, I can do it with my pickaxe. Seriously, here, have a cookie bomb. As we were leaving, another glare stopped us. I'm only going to say this once. I know who you are. Leave our place and never come back. I just don't know what this guy's problem was. I never did anything to him. Anyways, I brought my spirit ore to Pickle and traded it for some spirit armor. Casper, don't worry, buddy. I also got you a set. There you go. Enjoy. Out with the old and in with the new. Okay, now we're talking. This spirit armor looks stunning. I actually felt like it survived anything. It even gave me strength three with regeneration three. Now that was overpowered. Day 66 to 70 was a very progressive day. During the morning, Casper and I were looking at rhinos, zebras, and elephants inside the savanna biome. Oh, and there was also tigers. Now, we should probably stay away from those things. Ow, Major, you are scary for real. Yo, Casper, you think that rhino over there could uh, knock me out? What are you thinking, buddy? No, don't, don't, don't boom. I, I, I'll try it for myself. Oh, he's kind of friendly. Yo! Wow, that did literally nothing to me. Here, have a cookie. <laughs> we then searched for the legendary golden cookies. Now, these are like golden apples, but way tastier. Because who doesn't love cookies? There it is, buddy. Right over there. <laughs> the golden cookies. This is what we've been waiting for. Now, these are the last cookies that we need to complete our cookie farm. Hey, you want a piece? Here you go. Have one, one for you, and one for me. So I started my cookie farm. First, I planted the regular cookies. Who's gonna question the fact that I'm an LA planting cookies inside of a massive Minecraft base where there's different LA's? 
Oh, and I can also shoot laser beams. If you can't do that in real life, then do it in Minecraft. Anyways, I continued by planting the rainbow cookies. And after, my favorite, the golden cookies. Now all that was left was waiting. Everybody, come get your cookies. Grab a plate and, of course, a cookie. There we go. Casper, you want the first one? I, I don't want your dirt. No, no you, can, you can have the cookies. Just I don't want dirt. My dream of owning moose cookies would come true. Next up, I built another portal and designed it to fit my buff body. I was a little bit worried that my lays would accidentally fly into the portal and get killed. But after designing the place, I think it came out beautiful and really complemented the cloud house. Casper, let's enchant our ghost armor. Protection 3, Thorns 2, that is awful. Unbreak 3, Blast Protection, still pretty bad. Great, the worst enchants possible. And hopefully one of these books can give us a decent enchant. Nope, literally nothing. I don't know what any of these are. Yep, no idea. At least the fire protection actually does something. Day 71 to 77. This was a very special moment for Casper. He was going to finally get to see his family again. This is it. The nether. Um, why is our koala here? Ah, man. I got to say, buddy. This place looks uh definitely very different. Yo, who was that? Along the way, we found really interesting biomes and witnessed interesting things. Well, Casper, check this place out. This looks, uh, looks pretty crazy. The entire place is made of glowstone and whatever this block is. Oh, literally just glowstone. This is all glowstone. You need one of these for the actual crib. The luminous fungus. Watch out for the fog. Watch out for the fog. Yo, yo, I got him. All right. Yo, whoa. Whoa, what, what's going on? What's going on? Yo, they're literally eating me. I'm being eaten by a frog. Yo, there ain't no unspeakable here. What's going on? And what are the... Oh, that poison. I am... Why does everything want to kill me? What was that? He just disappeared. Yeah, be careful, buddy. Don't don't, don't be getting poisoned by these things. Is that a... That's a, that's a mushroom. That's literally a mushroom. It's a, it's a walking... It's a walking mushroom. That's a walking mushroom. What is this? Here. Uh, Casper? Catch this. <laughs> what was that? Now, these spikes look absolutely insane. Oh, no. Oh! And it's gone. Here, Casper, grab all these random blocks, and we're going to bring it... Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Good thing I can fly. What is that? Oh, what is what is that? Ooh. Just push me down. What's that thing jumping around? Is this some kind of a... Like a book? Like a, like a little case? And while traveling through the basalt mountains, I saw this weird giant that was also made of basalt. And Casper just loves picking fights. Oh, yo, be careful, buddy. Arrows don't work on him. He's, he's clearly way stronger than that. Oh, he just slapped me in the face. Hey, are you kidding me? Here, cookie for you. More cookies. That was crazy. And then we have these guys. You know, I, I got projectiles too. Here, I got you. Take some of this. Oh, that's... What is that? Where did that come from? We definitely need some better weapons. We still had to find Casper's family. And since the nether was massive and extremely dangerous, it was hard to narrow down exactly where they were at. We even checked out this weird nether dungeon that had these blaze looking creatures. As soon as we fought them, Casper got trapped inside of a cocoon. <laughs> Casper, you okay, buddy? What was that? That was crazy. That's it. Yes, it that. Oh, there's so many of these things. And they're they're pretty powerful. And it looks like these things right here are actual traps. So Casper, just watch out for the fire. Oh, okay. There's more of them. There's way more of them. All right. Uh, uh, uh. Splash potion of fire resistance. What is that? What is that thing? Why does it have two heads? What's going on? Oh, and I got a wither skeleton skull. Huh, I can farm these. I can probably do the wither fight in no time. Gasper, take out these blazes and let's get out of here. I'm done with this place. I gotta say, if it wasn't for our flying abilities, we would have been in a lot of trouble and had to worry about falling into lava like a noob. Nether hammer. Melt the block. What, what, what does that mean? What do you mean melt the block? What? Is it? Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's not melting any block. At least it's better than my cookie axe. Whoa. That, that thing just literally got melted. And it works on everything. Wow. That's the spot right there. Now, this thing is huge. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen a bastion that big before. Oh, there's the gold right there. 
All right, Casper, let's get it. And finally, we snuck inside the Bastion, looted all the chests, and stole all the netherite that we could get. Even landed a jackpot by stealing the gold blocks. These piglins did not like the fact that we were actually in here. And the last of the piglins. I, th I think this place is uh, just about empty. Here, I got you, buddy. Get some of these cookies. I want this entire place fully cleared out so we have nothing else to worry about. Like, what is that ore over there? It's a little bit red. An end crystal fragment. Hmm, never heard of that. Before leaving the nether, we managed to find the red alays. And these were Casper's family. And he grew up here. Look at this, Casper. Your entire family is here. There's just so many of them. I gotta say, this is a beautiful moment. Look at look at Casper just interacting with his family. I think they're gonna cry. So we tamed a bunch of red alays. And using our cookies, they followed us to the nether portal slowly pushing them inside. Once I got back home, I put my buff armor inside the smithing table. And using my netherite, I upgraded it to the netherite ghost armor set. And finally, I was ready for anything. Having enchanted nether infused buff armor may be practically invincible. Day 78 to 81, we located the deep dark city. And this place was honestly pretty small. Although it was filled with skulk sensors and the warden's minions. Casper. Let's go, buddy. Let's fly in there. Now, be very careful with these things, because... Oh, oh, yeah, they're after me. They're, they're ready. They're ready. Oh, okay. I got a deal. Oh, I'm about to melt these dudes. There we go. I gotta say, the nether hammer is uh, relatively OP. There's so many of these weird creatures around here. It's like a... Kind of reminds me of that mob that was voted out, but like the actual... I guess, the warden version. What do we got here? A notch apple? A warden heart and skulk vines? What does a warden heart do? Can, can I eat it? Nope, definitely can't eat it. Probably shouldn't be eating hearts anyways. Casper, kill every single one of these things and do not leave anybody surviving. The giant cookie ability is about to wipe out the entire warden population and especially his minions. Look at them go. Oh, there's a few more right here. There we go. And the last one left. Wow, I literally just punched that dude to death. I finally found the warden boss's hideout located inside the deep dark city. Casper, there he is. Are you ready, buddy? Casper and I were ready. Both of us stacked with ghost summer while the warden was clueless. I can hear you. Wait, what? Is he, is he talking to us? Well, you finally found me. First, you raided right my home. And now you're here on my hideout? Well, it wasn't supposed to go down like that, okay? That, that, that was mainly Casper. And, and first of all, your warden attacked us. I had to defend myself and my friend. It doesn't matter. I'm going to avenge my fellow wardens and my friend, the King Copper Golem. Ah. Oh, he does a lot of damage. He does a lot of damage. Watch out, buddy. I'm going in with a pickaxe. That doesn't do anything. Nether hammer it is. Oh, I'm sorry, Casper. My bad, buddy. Watch out. I'm going to throw some cookies at him. There we go. Cookies. Got him in the corner. Let's go with the kill. Oh. Oh, 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 almost killed me. Almost killed me. Now that, that guy is, that thing is tough. I don't know what he's made of. I'm eating my golden cookies. Oh, I'm almost dead. I'm eating my rainbow cookie too. That is, that is difficult. That is, oof. What if I can like face to the wall? Does that work? No, I can't hit him then. Never mind. Don't do that. Oh, I am the warden now. What? Casper, be careful, buddy. I got him. I got him. Keep me distracted. Come on. Let's go. I'm using my cookies! In a matter of minutes, we destroyed the warden boss. Now, we had one less enemy to worry about. Although, those glares had me a little bit concerned. Days 82 to 88, we were ready to take on the Ender Dragon. At nighttime, I farmed the Endermen for Ender Pearls. Crafted my eyes of Ender and located the stronghold. Now, this place was completely revamped. So this is the main area. And, oh, it's gotta be that way. Now this has to be the library. 
Yeah, it is huge, and there's a book in here. Is there any chest in here? Oh, there it is. I'm going through. I'm doing it. Okay. There's literally nothing here. There was just so many rooms. Do you even know where we're going? And I was honestly lost and kept finding items that I wanted to take home from my trophy room. Casper, check this out. It's an Ender Eye banner. Or an Enderman banner, I guess. I don't know. Oh, that's pretty cool. Just a couple more banners. There we go. And there's literally nothing in these chests. Oh, oh, Casper's mad. Casper's mad. This is what happens when Casper does not have patience. Blow it up, buddy. Oh, well, that was us. Casper, what are you, what are you doing? Why is there a cookie trail? I'm guessing he... Oh, he's found it. Good job, buddy. And finally, I reached the end portal and placed my eyes of Ender. By completing the entire thing, it opened up the end portal gateway. And as I jumped inside, I was teleported to the end. There he was, the Ender Dragon. Yo, Casper, look at that majestic beast. He's literally about to get one-shotted. Honestly, this is going to be really funny. I just wanted to see how quickly I could actually defeat him with Casper. I mean, after all, we can fly, have crazy abilities, and insane armor. What are you guys doing? Can, can you guys... Please, come on. Come on. I'm dropping the cookies on the crystals. The best way to take them out. It's like literally dropping like a nuke. Look at this. There you go. No problem. I wonder what this Ender Dragon is thinking right now. It's just raining cookies. This guy does not even stand a chance. Casper, I think all the end crystals are gone. Now let's go after the Ender Dragon. I'm going in. I literally can't reach him. For some reason, I can't reach him, but the cookies are hitting him, and so is my laser ability. Come on. Stop running from me. Ooh. Okay, we need a new plan. We gotta wait for it to land, because we simply can't hit him right now. I'm eating my golden cookie and the rainbow cookie, and I'm going in. There we go. That didn't really do much. I was honestly expecting more. I'm dropping the cookies. Get him with the arrows. Yes, it's working. This dude is freaking out. And he can't even move anymore. We got him in a trap. I'm going in with some melee hits using my hammer. Okay. Oof. You know, the crazy part is he hasn't done a single damage to me. L literally nothing. Not even a heart. Now, that, that's that's got to be something to be ashamed of. And the final hit. That's it. Let's go. It's got to be with Cookie. Casper got it. And just like that, the inner dragon was defeated. And all that was left was his dragon egg. The XP started raining, and I gathered it. I collected the dragon egg and headed back home. I then remembered that I need a better living room. Seriously, this, this place needs some decorations. Although, I did like the open feel to it. All right, so my egg is definitely my most valuable item now. So we're going to switch this out. We got the dragon egg right there. And then we're going to move this over right here. Perfect. Hmm. I feel like I'm missing something. Days 89 to 94. We traveled to the end city searching for the elytra wings. Pretty much on a valuable item to put on display inside the trophy room. Along the way, I spotted weird towers I've never seen before. Oh, Casper. What is that? Is that a drone? It's literally a shulker drone. I, I've never seen something like this before. And what exactly do they do? Can they kill me quickly? Nope, never mind. They can't do nothing. TNT. Can I activate it? Is it a button? I'm so confused. W what is this weird contraption? Is it working for you, Casper? Maybe I can break it. Nope, I'm not even making a dent. No, no. Shulker. Shulker. No, oh, I go. I gotta say, the end is uh definitely we very weird. I I've, I've never seen any of these things before. And we're still barely scraping the surface. Ender slimes. Ender slimes. No, no, no ender slimes, please. No. Oh, I'm about to die. I'm about to die. Okay. Now, those things right there, you, you don't want to go near them. All right? These things apparently give you the ender flu. So, in six minutes, I could probably die. I don't know. But it's trying to latch onto my face. I don't. Casper, there's some sort of a weird eye thing coming at me. There's so many of them. You, you see, you think they're chorus plants, but they're actually these weird chorus squids, I guess. And they got giant eyeballs on them. Look at that thing. I killed off a bunch of shulkers and stacked up on shulker shells. Now, these would make for great decorations. Casper, we're on a mission. We got to find the best loot inside the end city. You know, we, we need those electro wings. But before we do that, we got to clear out the entire area, which shouldn't really take much long. 
I mean, we're literally just breezing through it. Make sure you grab these end rods right here, because they're gonna look amazing inside of our base. Oh, there's more enemies here. More enemies. All right, there we go. Easy. Azure berries. That's pretty neat. There are just so many shulkers everywhere. What's going on, buddy? You need something? I got you. What you got over here? Ah, two chests. Good job, Casper. Oh, we be stacking on diamonds. Not bad. And we have mending now. That's pretty nice. Casper, there it is, buddy. The end city ship. And it looks like it's surrounded by these weird golems. Oh, he just sent it. Good job, buddy. I like that. That was, that was awesome. Now, what are these things? It looks... No! Oh, whatever that thing is. I don't think it likes me. But can it survive my cookies? I think so. Wow, I can actually survive it. Oh! Yo, what? He just threw me off the ship. That was crazy. You want some of this? Huh? You want some of this? You really want some of this? Here, have a laser. Enjoy. Nope, doesn't work on him. Have a cookie. Or some Vex push abilities. You know what? Just get off the boat. And the dragon head for our trophy room. Awesome. And there it is. The elytra wings. There we go. And right after, Casper and I traveled to a new biome called the Azure Forest. And I gotta say, it was pretty nice seeing something different in the end. This biome definitely made the end feel a little bit less boring. That is by far one of the most adorable things I've seen in the end. And there, there's not a lot of things in the, in the end that's adorable. But th that is... Hey, dude, dude, Casper, you gotta stop killing things. You, you... Wow, no chill. And what is that? Is that a flying frog? I, I, I just saw a flying frog. Ah, that's not a frog. That's literally just a bug. Now, this entire biome consists of these azure berries and... Oh, there goes there goes Casper. Just build it. Wow, you can just you can just keep building up. You're, you're, you're still going? What? How's it... I am so confused right now. I hate to say it, but I'm sorry, Casper. We're gonna bring that thing with us and we're gonna build it inside of our place and save for these trees. There we go. Then we came across the Crystal Crag. Now, this place was made of crystals all around and it was filled with these Ender Stalkers. Casper, I hate to break it to you, but I don't think they wanna be friends. Like literally, oh, definitely not. I mean, they don't do anything. They, they, they seem to be pretty friendly. Now for these crystals though, these, these look pretty cool. As we located a place called the Catacombs, we went inside, and as we walked in, it was filled with glares. It turns out they were one step ahead of us. And look what we have here. You fell for my trap. And I bet you weren't expecting to see me. I, I'm so confused. I, I have so many questions. How did you even get in here, and how did you even find us? Well, I'm the spy. I can see through the shadows and every step that you've ever taken. No offense, but you really don't stand a chance here. We are both decked out. This ends here. Once we're done with you, my glare army will take over your precious cloud house and bring the entire place down. No, oh, it's on! No, oh, there's so many of them! Oh, he summoned so many! Okay, this whole place is just filled with glares! That's a lot of glares! And now there's enemies after me. All right, come on. Come on, Casper, we got this. They're not that strong at all, and they're not doing any damage at all. It's just extremely tedious. I'm literally Hulk smashing this entire place. Okay, that was pretty cool. Good job on the TNT. Okay, there we go. Pull them back. Okay. You see, the glares, it didn't know one thing. As a buffalo, I had a lot of abilities, and using my Vex push ability, it was a massacre. By killing the glares, they dropped the map, which contained the location of the buff Vex. Casper, it's time. We get revenge on the Vexes. Let's go, buddy. And what do we got down here? What is what is this? Some kind of a weird potion? A dragon breath potion? Huh. Interesting. And what's supposed to be in here? Looks like the glare was working on something. Casper? Buddy? Where'd you go? Hello? What's down here? Go! Oh! You scared me. I, I, think, I think I lost for a second. What's all this? There's some like decent items. Oh, a new music disc to complete the collection. I gotta say, it's some pretty good stuff here. Casper, just grab everything from the chest. I don't really need it, but I'm looking around what this stuff is. Is that a shulker? Oh, oh, we're stacking it. Oh, it's just so many. And before calling it a night, I placed my electric wings inside the trophy room and got ready for the buff fix. <sighs> Casper, I think it's time. We get revenge. You see, this is the map. Now, while I was inside the end, I saw a marker on the map. So that means that I think the buff X is there. It's gotta be. I'm telling you. You know what? Say less. It's on. 
Days 95 to 99, we raided the Buffex's mansion. We breezed through the entire place, wiping out all the Vindicators and the Evokers. Finally, reaching the Buffex's room. Now, I had my Vex push ability ready to kill off his army of Vexes. Casper, this is the room. Come here. Hold them back for it. <laughs> they have destroyed my armor. I've got these three ghost armor sets. Seriously, look at this. It's about time we meet face to face. I see you've unlocked some new powers. Yeah, something like that. You see, we're both ripped here. It's like two bodybuilders are about to get into the ring. Looks like you haven't met the Vex Storm yet. They've been waiting to shred you apart. Too early, buddy. Yo! Oh, so many! Oh, oh. Oh, it just doesn't stop! There's so many of them! I have an idea. I guess we're taking this to the skies. So be it. But those vexes are not gonna do anything against me. Oh, what is he doing? What is he summoning? What was that? Every single time he summons his patch of vexes, they don't do anything. I can just instantly wipe them out. Oh. Let's go! And with my super fast flying ability, he can't even catch up to me. I can phase through anything, dodge all his attacks, and they just pretty much be invincible. What are those? Meteors? Is he throwing meteors? Fire meteors? Come on! Oh, my weapon's gone. My weapon, how did my, what? Oh no! All right, this is getting tricky now. My, my, my entire sh weapon is gone. All right, more time it is. That's fine with me. There's no problem. I'm getting here with the arrows. Come on. Nope, I'm not making any shots. Ooh. Come on. Got him. Wow, that was, that was honestly pretty close. No more vexes. My enemies were gone. Nothing to worry about, especially not the copper golems, glares, and wardens. Rest in peace. You know, I always did wonder though, from what dimension did the vexes come from? That would be a interesting story to hear. On day 100, I built an LA dance floor using sea lanterns combined with chisel glowstone under the floor with different colored crystals on top, outlined by gold blocks. After all, this place had to be premium. I even put speakers surrounding the entire area and added in pressure plates connecting to dispensers with fireworks inside. Come on, boys. Follow the cookies. Let's go. Everybody, follow me to the dance floor. Okay, you too. Come on. Right over here. Get over here. Let's go. Everybody over here. It's not that hard. There we go. Just get the cookies. There you go. And, uh, Casper, is that a... Here, I got you. Perfect. Perfect name for the koala. And finally, celebrated the completion of the cloud house, making your rain cookies while dancing. But most importantly, we celebrated the support that y'all have shown us. And if you're bored, watch my other movies by clicking the 100 Days playlist. Thanks to PKXD for sponsoring the Moose family. You can download it from the description and even redeem my code, which will give you some pretty exclusive rewards. If you help me reach 5 million subscribers before the year ends, I will drop one of my biggest movies. It's gonna be amazing. A beautiful moose movie. I'm telling you. And I and I know for a fact that y'all wanna see it. What's this? Do not click pickle. Huh? No! Not going to lie. That looked like a lot of fun. But I really thought our hero would have been through more arduous trials. Well, don't speak too soon. How about we look into what the Mater Shifter did next? The Legends of the Buff Copper Golem. Ooh, I heard this one. This is where he met the Iron Giant and became good friends. You could say that, but this was a significant turning point in our hero's journey, but not for the better. Imagine being an adorable copper golem and your only task is to press buttons until the world is taken over by the Pillager King. And now, it's all up to you to save the world. This is Hardcore Minecraft, and I'm gonna be surviving the next 100 days as a copper golem. And if you think that copper golems are cute, hit the subscribe button and enable all notifications. On day one, I realized that that was a piece of copper ore in the middle of nowhere. 
after a player came around, mined it up, and headed back home to craft himself a copper block. Bro, copper is so lame. What am I going to do with this? You see, he was very intrigued with making iron golems and trying Minecraft hacks. And he had a genius idea. Why not take one copper block, place a carved pumpkin, and finish it off with the lightning rod? And boom, the copper golem was created. What the heck am I doing here? And who exactly are you? Oh, hey there, buddy. My name is Shark. Oh, uh, hey, you, you want to be friends? I'm literally just starting out here. That's the point. You and I together will build the best village out there. You see, I was just a tiny copper golem and, and low-key adorable and completely clueless of what the world would bring. Day two rolled around and we instantly became friends and had an amazing time exploring the world, pranking villagers. What? There's nothing wrong with that. No! Oh, I'm being eaten by an alligator! Shark! Oh, oh, feed me copper. I'm, I'm literally oxidizing. Please. Now, let me explain to you the oxidation bar. I can't consume any types of food, and over time, I start to oxidize because I'm made of copper. Therefore, slowly changing my color to green. So pretty much, it's like a ticking time bomb. The best part was, I had unlimited copper. So no more oxidizing for me. No, no, I can't swim, I can't swim. No, get me out of here, get me out of here. No, whoa, are you trying to kill me? Shark, come on, bro, now I'm turning green. Don't ever push a copper golem in the water. Worst idea ever. And suddenly, we heard the pillager horn announcing a raid. An army of pillagers swarmed the village surrounding the entire place. While the iron golems tried stopping them, there was just too many of them. And this army was led by the one and only PBK, also known as the Pillager King. Ha! Villagers in their golems. Pathetic. Oh no, what's going on? I'm gonna die here. Don't, don't, don't give me my location. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. They swarmed the entire place, slowly destroying the entire village. And I was helpless. Let's be honest, I, I literally stood no chance against them. Shark, we gotta stop them. These, these ravages. Oh, I actually got one. Wow, that's amazing. Come on, let's get him. We got this. And don't forget, I'm not really that much of a help. Ooh, ooh. Never mind, run away, run away. No, nope, I'm okay. Run and don't look back. My best friend protected me and told me to run from the Pillager King, leaving him all by himself. I was on my own. I didn't know if my best friend was alive anymore. Days three to four. I made it my goal to get revenge on the Pillager King. After what he did to my family, I couldn't let it slide. A golden apple. Great. What, 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 what am I gonna, oh, it's raining. Are you kidding me? Seriously, when things just couldn't- Oh! No, I'm in the water. I am not having a good time here. I'm oxidizing a lot quicker as well. Oh, no. Okay. I wonder if this golden helmet will help me. Possibly? Being so handsome wasn't exactly easy. Now that I was on my own, I had no resources except wood and a pickaxe. And from the rain, I kept turning green, slowly running out of copper. I'm really down to my last two pieces of copper. What exactly am I supposed to do now? Oh. I guess I'll take this with me. Wait a minute, there's a village right there. This should be good. You gotta have something here. I'm down to my last piece of copper. Oh, actually, now nah, bro, yep, completely gone. It's probably best if I go mining. After mining up a bunch of copper ore, then created furnaces and smelted them into copper bars. Next, I got a bunch of honeycombs. Oh no, okay. And began crafting myself a wax tool set. First, making the wax pickaxe. Look at this. This pickaxe breaks multiple blocks at once. It even works on dirt. Then I crafted a copper axe, sword, shovel, and a copper hoe. No, 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 no. Ooh, that was close. Honestly, perfect time to test out the wax sword. It's, it's not bad. Kind of like using an iron sword. No, you don't. You want some of this? Huh? I don't think so. At nighttime, while I was exploring, I found a weird portal guarded by these weird mobs. Have you ever seen whatever this thing is? On day five, I had a vision of a massive golem inside of a weird dimension. What am I doing here? And, and who exactly are you? Wh where am I? My name is the Iron Giant, and I was just like you once, created in this world by a kid. Him and I were so close, so I always watched his back. We ruled over all the golems, and after 80 years, he passed away. 
I spent all my time finding ways to bring him back, but instead, I ended up trapped here. Wow, that's, that's pretty deep. You know, you and I are kind of the same, except it's been five days without my best friend. Moose, carry on the golem legacy and create a place for all golems to gather. H hold on just a second. I, I need some more answers. I just have so many questions. It turns out there was more than a hundred golems in this world. That's a lot of golems. And I made it my goal to find them or summon them along the way. Oh no, oh no, no more that, no more that. Okay, okay, go up. Towards, towards, oh, the one heart, one heart, one heart. All right, eat on up, eat on up. No, 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 have a heart. Oh, that was so close. That was so close. This guy is, this guy is evil. I'm telling you. Uh, wait, what's this? Check this out. Unlock Golem Punch. Oh, looks like the perfect ability to test out on this sheep right there. That's a zombie sheep. No, don't, don't, don't feel bad. I'm telling you. Is there anything? I think it's, it's kind of working. Oh, maybe not. Come here, chicken. Oh, it just got launched. Oh, that's kind of cool. So anything I hit, they instantly just get lost away. At nighttime, I crafted a wax helmet, chest plate, leggings, and boots to complete the full wax armor set. Okay, I gotta say, I look pretty funny. This will definitely take some time getting used to. This should prevent my oxidation bar from going down so quick. And it's honestly not that bad when it comes to fighting mobs. It's, it's like it's like having iron armor. Pretty much the same thing. On day six through seven, I found a pillager outpost inside of a snow biome. With a piece of TNT and lava, I snuck inside and blew the place up. Oh, gotta go, okay. All right, that, that was my first time getting revenge. As a copper goal, I gotta say, that low-key felt pretty good. Except, things didn't really go my way. I got ambushed by more pillagers that were way stronger. But before nearly dying, the cutest looking golem saved my life. There's just so many of them. Yo, this, this strong old thing, it's going in. He's, he's really going in. He's like a little ninja. You know, look at him go. Oh, I'm launching him away. Y'all can't stop the golem army, baby. That's how it's done. All right, this, this guy tricking. All right, they're, they're kind of getting me down low. I got your back. Watch out, buddy. You, uh, uh, what's the, with the TNT? What's with the... No, 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 no TNT. No TNT. Oh, man, this guy's a savage. Look at him go. Oh, no, that, will, that will definitely do it. I still couldn't believe it. This tiny dude made of hay could save me against pillagers. So I decided to call him Simon. What, what are you doing? You, you can't be pouring the copper on fire. Simon, come on, buddy. Oh, Simon, what are you, this man's a savage. Okay, no, oh, no, no TNT. No more TNT for you. What, no, I'm not a noob, okay? I just have barely any good gear, and I mean, I guess you're not really wearing armor either. So yeah, I don't know. Adventure time, L let's do it. Let's go on an adventure, let's go. That same night, we began the Moose and Simon's adventures. This world was filled with very dangerous creatures, but I'm telling you, nothing could stop us together. On day eight, we explored this weird pillar, and on the top floor, there was a chest containing name tags and other items. Ooh, 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 Simon, what was that? Oh, oh, uh, is this supposed to be happening? I don't know, we gotta go, Simon, let's go. I just fell through a tree. Oh, you don't see that every day. Oh, that's a lot. You should you should run, Simon. What? What just happened, Simon? What'd you do? Did you put more TNT? No more TNT. I told you no more TNT. Are you trying to launch yourself? Oh! Okay. All right, I'll just let it be. Let's go. Friends, are you, are you sure? I mean, I guess you're right. We began searching for a place to settle and came across a village, which will be perfect. After all, we never had anything against humans, and they've always treated me nicely. Simon, no killing villagers and no TNT. We, we live here now, buddy, okay? Remember, we want other people like us. We gotta, we gotta be nice. Don't, don't throw hay at them. What are you doing? <laughs> here, I got you. I'll join in. Hey, catch this. In honor of 100 days as an iron golem, I'm gonna be calling you Billy. There we go. All right, buddy. You're officially Billy, and you and I are gonna be best friends. Well, I guess all three of us will be best friends. Yeah. Now, all we need is Lexi. We'll be back, okay? 
Oh, uh, oh. Wow, you really outsmarted you. You, you literally outsmarted you, Simon. And your name will be Lexi. All right, there we go. Perfect. Oh, y'all y'all never seen a copper golem before that can blink? Huh? Well, what's up with this? Why is everybody staring at me? Our two new friends, Billy and Lexi, were going to become head managers of the village. We began by trading with them and then slowly leveling them up. Our goal was to create an economy with the villagers, which would have all the supplies we need for the future. Billy, you got, you got some pretty good deals and all. I, I just want to, I just want you to hook me up. Something good, bro. These, these are just not it. You know, like we're, we're all, we're all homies here, but, but what's up with all this chain mail? Here you go, buddy. This is all yours. All for you. I, I don't want any of these. All right, uh, just, just can, we, can we return it? Got a return policy? No? Okay. Oh, you see, now we're talking. Look at this diamond armor. All right, not bad. I, I like it. There we go. And it's better than my wax armor set. And here is my emergency bell, just in case we need it. While the villagers were sleeping, our home was raided by zombies. As our iron golems fought them off, Simon found a statue which looked exactly like a pillager. And next to it was a sign saying, you're next from PBK. On days nine through 10, golems and villagers are meant to live together. And as a copper golem, I guess I'm adorable enough to be loved by everybody, but still not enough to get voted in. I cry every time. Yes, a golem sidekick. That's exactly what I'm saying. So we began building the golem safe house. The whole point of this was to have all types of golems live together in the same location while defending villagers. We started on the basic construction layout. This building is the first thing that enemies should see when they go near the base. Anyways, I filled in the build using occasional planks combined with red sandstone and orange terracotta. I finished up the body then move on to the left arm and the right arm. The entire build was based off a giant copper golem with his hands in the sky, waving it like he doesn't care. To finish up the copper golem's head, I built a lightning rod and both of the eyes. Simon, this looks amazing, and we legit look identical. Yeah, I, I can kind of see it. Yeah, look at that. Are you jealous that it's not you up there? Is that why you're throwing wheat at it, bro? Is that what you're doing, bro? Whoa! How, how your eyes be doing that? It was time for the interior. You can't have this place looking dull. I first fill in the floor all around, still keeping the entire open look. Now, I just didn't want this place to feel crammed and still have space in the middle, leading down to our future copper mine. So, I split the room into four different places. First was my bedroom, then Simon's bedroom, the open chest room containing all of our utility blocks, and a kitchen. You, you can't forget about the kitchen. Okay, I know, we don't need a kitchen, all right? But having a ton of buttons would give our future copper golems some more activities to do. Simon, I feel like we're still missing something. Oh yeah, I forgot. You're normal, and you don't need copper. What are you doing? You're not supposed to you're not supposed to eat it. Well, I guess it's nice to build two different food dispensers. Now this one was for my copper golems, while the other one was a bread dispenser for Simon. Look at him. He's loving it. Days 11 to 14. Simon and I found the copper jackpot. And in a matter of seconds, we mined everything up and headed back to the base. I placed down a bunch of chests, added in the item frames, and labeled each one. Now for the blast furnaces, I filled it with coal and began smelting my copper. To finish the utility room, I added an anvil, smithing table, and other blocks for decorations. Oh boy, Simon, he's the one in charge of the pumpkins. Wait, what, what, what happened here? What is this? Why is there so many flowers and lanterns and... Are you... Hey, chill, bro. Are you throwing pumpkins? No, don't, don't throw... Ow! That actually hurt me. Seriously. What's all this? That, that's, that's definitely a pumpkin farm. Yeah, that, that's a lot of pumpkins. It, it's, it's definitely ready. We sheared the pumpkins, then crafted a bunch of lightning rods, and began creating an army of copper golems. Welcome to the family, boys. This is the copper golem house. All right, the rules are simple. No blowing up TNT, and uh, I just just don't cause any trouble. Uh, Simon, I think we're going to need some uh, more buttons. A lot more buttons. Yeah. Simon! No, Simon! No, no, what are you doing, bro? Are you, are you kidding me? What, bruh, why you gotta do that? So I finished up my kitchen by extending the countertop, adding in stoves with a sink, a fridge and cabinets surrounding the entire place. Now, the most important part was filling it up with buttons. Simon, they're definitely going crazy over it. 
That, that, that's, ow! What the heck, man? Come on, bro. That's a lot of buttons. I can see how this would low-key get annoying. Days 15 to 20 was one of my most clever projects. We began building the copper mines, digging all the way down to bedrock and expanding my slab staircase to the bottom. Listen, I hear you. Mining is boring and nobody wants to see it. And that's exactly why I was building this place to have it fully automated for us. Also, I was really annoyed by my copper addiction and wanted unlimited copper for everyone. Now, I kept the mine organized in three different levels, which can be accessed through the staircase. Each level was a mining site for a specific ore. And obviously, the bottom level was mainly for diamonds, which is kind of useless to copper golems. To make this place feel a little bit more lively, we built random railroad tracks on each level and placed a ton of minecart chests. And why not add in a bunch of barrels in random areas? Or how about stacks of hay bales spreading throughout the cave? For the final details, lanterns. Lots and lots of lanterns. Who doesn't love lanterns? Come on. Simon, this looks extremely aesthetic, you know? Now, let's expand our golem army. Simon covered up all the pumpkins while I crafted a ton of lightning rods and the copper blocks. Then we began creating our copper golem miners on each level. And these guys, they mean business, okay? They will mine any type of ore just for us. Now, if you place a chest nearby them, they actually bring back the resources and place it safely inside. Talk about automation. This is honestly a game changer for Minecraft. Simon, do you think that this is enough copper golems? I, I think we just need just a little bit more. I mean, there's not only like, you know, 55 of them or something. Oh no, my boys are dying. Okay, all right. Do the honors, buddy. Go ahead and hook them up. There we go, perfect. Everybody, get digging, okay? I need every single piece of copper and every single piece of diamond inside this massive cave. Nope, I said no TNT! Oh, come on! No, stop stop with the TNT. You, you're not helping here, Simon. Oh, and one of my copper golems ended up falling into water. Do you know what happens to a copper golem when we touch water? We oxidize, change colors, and slowly die. Days 21 to 25, I checked up on my golem miners. And let me tell you, they were going in. These guys were putting in work. I had so much resources and automation was officially complete. I decided to craft a ton of copper golem guards. This way, I could stop all the zombies that have been eating my villagers. After all, I can't have my best friends Billy and Lexi getting eaten alive while they're sleeping. Oh, look at this. My copper golem guards just killed a zombie. They're definitely putting in work, but I gotta say, of course, the iron golems, the big brothers, do way more damage. Oh, why are you killing him? What are you doing? Oh, man. What is happening here? They're still going crazy over this. There's too many buns. Oh, and what's going on up here? You know, I'm definitely getting annoyed of all the button pressing. So I began building a pretty simple bedroom. Since I'm a golem, I don't really need like a fancy bed to sleep in or a bunch of chests and furnaces. I pretty much use most of my space to build these displays for my future achievements. I gotta say, I've been going through all my honeycombs and I'm down to my last 52 pieces. It's still a lot, honestly. And what is this? A craftable golem. Interesting. Simon, what are you doing, buddy? Are you making everything out of hay? Now, as for Simon, he was making a hay wonderland. Or whatever you even call this place. Look at it. It looks like the inside of a barn. Simon, be honest with me. Did you ever own your own farm? Wait, seriously? Uh, that's kind of cool. You know, I got an idea. We should definitely make one just for you, buddy. Okay? That'd be awesome. At nighttime, our base was visited by these weird mutated beds that could walk in, probably eat you alive. You don't want to mess with them. I'm telling you. Yo, oh, what is this thing? Oh, I literally, I, I can't even move correctly. It's literally seven against one. Oh, oh, no, 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 what's going on? What's happening? Oh, yo, something's going on my screen. It's like I was having a nightmare or something. Days 26 to 30. Simon and I crafted spyglasses and went bee hunting. Oi, crikey, look over there. Simon, you see that? That's a bee right there. Simon, don't, don't go near the bees. You're supposed to be spying on them with spy... Oh, just... I, I mean, 
I, I guess that works. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, they're gonna be mad. They're gonna be really mad. I don't think I'm gonna do this. That, 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 was, that was probably the queen bee. Like, they're, they're already getting upset. We gathered a bunch of bees and brought them back to our house. Now, this was kind of tricky, honestly. I then built a custom bee habitat using glass blocks with some beehives, honey blocks, and honeycombs inside. Then added in copper blocks around the building for the accents. Simon, did you know you can actually wax copper blocks? Hmm? Watch, if you just right click it, it actually changes the color of the copper blocks quicker. That's why it looks a little bit different here. What is this? Just throw me a coin? A copper coin? What's this for? Are you throwing coins at people? Don't, don't, don't be throwing coins anywhere, okay? <laughs> I, I just don't understand this dude. Where, where does he get all these weird items from? He's throwing coins at me. Stop, stop throwing coins at me. Simon, get the door open. I'm on the way. The bees are on the way. I can't believe this is working. It's just, just literally one flower. All right, this is your new place. Everybody go inside. This is called the... Why is there a cat in here? What? This is called the copper beehive, okay? Everybody get in. Come on. Come on, I need more than that. There's, there's only like three of them. Let's go. Everybody in here. Come on. All right, buddy. That will do it. To knock out two things at once, I placed a ton of sugar cane surrounding my beehive. Well, it was nighttime. You would think that copper and iron golems would have this place guarded, but no. That does not apply for the pillager king. He showed up to my base and teleported inside my house. So you're the one in charge here? You remind me of an iron golem I once knew. What? How did you get in here? My pillagers have been waiting to smelt some copper golems. I'll be seeing you soon. Oh, you won't be smelting nothing! Where, where do you, where'd he go? And just like that, he's gone. Days 31 to 34, with the pillager king showing up to my base completely unnoticed, I was embarrassed. Simon? What are you doing, buddy? What's up with the hay? <laughs> What's going on here? The, the hay smoothie? Uh, no, I'm, I'm okay. Oh, oh, you literally got a blender. I'm just upset. It almost got everybody killed. You know, buddy? Better base defense? You know what? You're right, buddy. So, we began building giant walls about a few blocks high surrounding the golem safe house. I used a similar design that I did for 100 days as a dog to ensure I could keep the basic mobs out of the base. Next up was adding lava all around, which was very tedious. My copper golems helped me out. I know, it's not much, but it gets the job done. Ready, Simon? What are you, what are you doing? You're supposed to be breaking in here. Oh, okay, that's a that's a pretty solid piece of bacon right there. Look at that. All right, buddy. Three, two, one. Go, Simon, go. Break it, break it, break it. No, 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 not, not like that. You, you have to kind of... Uh, I guess that works. That, that's, that's fine. You know, and everyone with Simon. I'm telling you. While Simon was distracted, giving random villagers wheat and bread, I planned out a nice gift for him. Pretty much cleared up some space and built a simple layout for a zoo. Come on, Simon. Follow the pathway. You're almost here, buddy. Down the stairs. And welcome to Simon's Zoo. What's up, buddy? What do you think? Are you excited? Here, let me, let me, let me complete the pathway for you. There you go. Oh, come on. You're, you're welcome, buddy. Let's go hug it out. Come on. Bring it in. Hug it out. Let's go bring it out. That, that's not hugging it out. <laughs> that's just beating me up, bro. And the best part is you can actually design it just the way you want. So all of this can be your zoo. Just please don't mix any tigers with the other animals. That that wouldn't be a good idea. Oh. You just, you just kill the chicken? Oh, that was a cow. Oh. All right. I'm out of here. Ace 35 to 39. Seven and I travel to the jungle biome. Searching for the bamboo hills. Simon, look over there. What, what is, wait, what is that thing? Is that a zebra and a, I don't even know. Go get him, buddy. Show what you got. Oh, oh, he's sending it. Wait, what? I didn't think about that. That's genius. Yo, oh, not the water. Not the water. Okay, all right, that was a bad idea. I'm just gonna take the safe road. Yep, this is the safe road. There we go. Wait, are you sure about bringing them back home? Are you, are you sure about that? Okay, I guess it's happening. Oh, what? You could have three of them in the same boat? That just doesn't make any sense. Here we were, inside this massive bamboo biome. Simon, go. Simon, go. Simon, go. There's a tiger. There's a tiger, Simon. Get, let's get out of here. We gotta go, bro. Who's that? Now, this is my favorite part. You're chopping down the bamboo. It, it is so satisfying. And while I was doing that, Simon was making friends. Just look how cute he is. He's just so adorable. Everything he does. Look at you, Simon. You got yourself a new friend, huh? 
Well, I got my own friends as well, and uh, I, I think they're pretty cool. I got Toucan Sam over here, and these guys. All right, everybody, let's go. Follow me. This is gonna be a little bit tricky, but we should be able to go home. Just please don't drown. And while we were returning home, we found a pack of evokers destroying a village nearby, searching for the copper golems. Now, of course, we couldn't let them slide, especially with what they did to our families. Hey, Simon, let's ambush them. Go, 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 get them, come on, buddy. Oh, that does a lot of damage. That does a lot of damage. Oh, that's a lot of TNT. Oh. You know, we're supposed to be helping the village, but I, I, I guess that, I guess that works too. Get him, buddy. Oh, you know what? Just, just carry me while you're at it. There you go. Totems of Undying. Perfect. Here you go, buddy. This is a Totem of Undying, okay? Whoa, that was weird. So never, ever let go of it. Uh, no, that's not how it works. That, that's, you're not supposed to use it like that. What was the point of that, Simon? <laughs> I don't understand. Here, I got another one. Don't worry, I got another one. Enjoy. <laughs> Please don't use it. In back of my house, I fortified my entire safe house with bamboo. Some find this method uh, relatively ineffective. Well, I think it's just genius. It's just a great way to mess with the mobs and prevent them from getting in. As for Simon, he was being a zookeeper, working on a zoo, building his new pet, a habitat to live in. I gotta say, I'm just glad to see him pursuing his passion instead of just blowing things up with TNT and throwing cactus at me. Days 40 to 46, we needed more eyes on the base, and adding in new golems to protect our base wouldn't be perfect. So, we visited the copper mines and gathered a ton of gold blocks. Then sheared some pumpkins and began building an assembly line of gold golems. And finally, summoning them with the car pumpkins. Welcome to the golem safe house. Now, there are other golems just like you. So, everybody, just have some fun. And don't forget, you see a pillager, they are your enemies. Okay? Uh, I mean, I mean, gold is weaker than iron, but there's a lot of them. Look, look, look how many. Over, over 20 golems. All right. Simon did have a fair point. Maybe gold golems weren't exactly the best solution, but there was a new stronger ore known as titanium. And my miner golems discovered it inside of her mine. Titanium. Simon, that's it right there, buddy. Now, let's mine up as much of it possible. And there should be plenty here anyways. Just get all of it. Trust me, buddy. You do not want to miss it. And this way, all golems will be getting upgrades. After smelting all the titanium inside of our custom copper forge, we created a ton of titanium ingots. So, I made myself a titanium pickaxe, sword, axe, and a shovel. Then moved on to crafting a full titanium armor set. Out with the old and in with the new. I gotta say, I look pretty good. It's kind of like I'm wearing iron armor, but just a little bit stronger. And my favorite part is the new weapons. Days 47 to 51, we were searching for sweet berries inside the Mega Taiga, and Simon found a sleeping pack of foxes. Just look how adorable they are. Just like the 100 days as a fox. Simon, I found a moose. No way. Hold on a second. Let me go near him. I'm gonna try to feed it sweet berries. This, this might work. Hey, buddy. Are you on a sweet berry? No! Whoa! Whoa! No, 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 We're friends. We're supposed to be friends. We're literally, we're literally the same, it's the same thing. No, no, I'm not even gonna, oh! Oh, Simon! Simon, I'm, I'm being attacked by a moose. I don't, I never thought this would happen. I'm actually really sad now. Once I came back home, I put my sweet berries to use by creating a massive base defense, placing a few rows of sweet berries in front of my walls. All right, so for my strategy, some mobs will actually ignore where they're walking and casually walk into the sweet berries, which will slowly kill them. Well, Simon, it doesn't really get better than this. I mean, we literally have this place on lockdown. I'm telling you, we got golems on the inside. We have bamboo blocking the enemies. And I can just look at an enderman and he still can't do nothing. What you gonna do? Can't go in the sweet berries and you can't even get past the actual bamboo. And the worst idea would be him going in here. Oh, yep. Yeah, we got a goner. Oh! When least expecting it, I heard a loud horn indicating a raid was on the way. This was the work of the Pillager King, and he truly wanted us to fail. I just couldn't understand if he was scared to take all of us on at once. Get him, Simon! Come on, we got him, buddy! That Pillager was the one calling the reinforcements. Somehow, even with their defenses, a few got inside the Golem safe house, but didn't make it that far. Our golems killed them in no time. Oh, they're already here. Get him. Come on. Y'all got him. All right. Wow, that was that was really easy. 
We literally don't even gotta do anything. Is that another golem? No, oh, that golem does a lot of damage. What kind of a no, oh, no, no, no. What kind of a golem is this? Uh, 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 okay, he's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill me. Okay, all right. No, oh, what is that thing made of? I can't even go near him. Simon, help me out, buddy. Uh, uh, thanks, bro. You, you literally just saved my life. Hero of the village. And finally, the raid was over. It barely even left a dent on our place, and our villagers were still safe, and the golems were barely harmed. Days 52 to 56, I woke up to wax my eyebrows. Oh wait, I don't have any eyebrows. Simon, get over here. You're next. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming for your eyebrows. I'm coming for your eyebrows, buddy. You better run. <laughs> So, as we checked up on the village, it turned out that Billy and a copper golem engineer ended up creating a robot, famously known as Wally. I guess pressing all those buttons helps. What is going on here? What? what? Wally? You, you like turtles? I, I think this thing is broken. B Billy, what are you doing? What, what about you, copper golem engineer? What's happening here? What kind of experiment are you guys making? No, oh, no, oh, what is that? What was that? Is it gonna kill me? Oh, just jump boost. Never, never mind. After a few days, Wally felt like he was at home, helping out the local villagers. And that's when things got bad. A few copper golems were captured by the Hydro King. You already know that copper and water don't mix. And if he even were to use his tsunami abilities, he could possibly defeat me. Who does this guy think he is? He stole my copper golems, and now he's trying to destroy my place? I gotta hand it to you, this place is beautiful. Perfect place to borrow some copper golems for my experiments. Experiments? What are you talking about? What, what experiments? Oh, you don't know. Copper golems are perfect for our redstone contraptions, helping me create more water minions. That's just messed up. Copper golems are not just made for pressing random buttons. I'm only gonna tell you this once. Let them be, or my other golems will show you the way out. What exactly are you going to do against water? Punch me? <laughs> In a matter of seconds, the Hydro King summoned his water minions and left. Okay, all right, that's not good. That is not good. I can't, I can't even go near the water. That, that is just not fair at all. Seriously, ow, ow. Go in it, go in it. Oh, oh no, 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 I'm not just going in. That is the worst idea ever. Is that a pink trident? Simon, get him, buddy. You're the only one. Whoa, who is that? What just happened? There's only a few more left, Simon. This is it. Yes, that will do it, buddy. Yep. And the last one. Oh, let's go. Days 57, 62. This place felt a little bit sad. So, to cheer everybody up, we started building a copper coaster. You're probably thinking, what is a copper coaster? It's just like a roller coaster, but it's fully made from copper. So it's kind of expensive. And it's the perfect attraction for all of our copper golem friends. To make sure that it will be perfect, we built lower parts of the roller coaster, take you around the village, and hire inclines with big drops so you can see past the walls. You ever seen a copper golem inside a minecart? It's the most adorable thing ever, especially when they got their hands up. Just for the heck of it, we surrounded this entire place with rails, which should prevent some of the mobs from getting in. Okay, I know. This works good for creepers, and it's a very old-fashioned way of defending our base. Anyways, just for extra protection, I gathered a bunch of diamonds, crafted some diamond blocks, and began building my army of diamond golems. Welcome to the family, boys. I gotta say, diamond golems look pretty cool. At this point, this entire place is gonna be pretty overpowered. Alright, that should be the last of them. With the combination of our copper, gold, iron, and diamond golems, we were becoming extremely powerful. If I was a skeleton, I wouldn't want to go anywhere near this place. It's just a bad idea. Terrible. Day 63, 67, the Hydro King was back, and he declared a raid on the Golem safe house. He fired his water tornadoes, turning the walls into water. Okay, I, I was not expecting that at all. Everybody on defense, get on defense right now. Golems, I need you in the front. The Hydro King or whatever you want to call this dude, he's destroying everything we own. Copper Golems, get inside the house right now. Here's a button, go. He summoned his army, and this place was filled with drowned enemies. You see, these enemies weren't normal. Some had magical powers, and others had different melee attacks. 
This will be the last day. I'm gonna capture all your copper golems and expand my army. Simon, we gotta stop them, buddy, before they wipe out all of our copper golems. Oh, don't get in the water. Oh, oh, not the baby. Not the baby drown. That's the worst. Oh, they are throwing so many things at me. All right, come on, buddy. You got it. Okay, all right. A lot of damage. A lot of damage. Oh, I'm out of that. I'm out of that. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, really? It's always gotta be the baby that's trying to kill me. My golems defeated the minions in no time. The Hydro King was extremely powerful. His abilities damaged my golems. While he was distracted, I snuck up on him and attacked him from behind. This ends here. Wait, oh, you can just fly now. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, whoa, whoa, two and a half hearts from seriously? Nearly one shot me. Well, what is that? That's a tsunami. No, 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 no. Not the tornado. Oh, no, it's trying to suck me in. Come on. Trying to kill him. I'm barely doing anything. About to die. About to die. No, I'm being sucked in. This thing is just way too big. Way too big and way too powerful. I can deflect the tornadoes. Oh, quick. Something I can deflect it. Oh, oh man. That, that hurts so much. Seriously, hurts way too much. Get him, boys. We got this. There's just so many of them. I'm telling you, that's it. He's going to die. I'm down to four hearts, and my armor is nearly broken. Finally, I defeated the Hydro King. And with a big threat down, my copper golems didn't have to worry about being in danger anymore. On day 68, I paid a visit to the copper golem engineer, and he said that he had a new experiment for me and handed me a copper wrench. So what exactly do you want me to do with this thing? So I tried using the copper wrench and, well, ended up eating it. I became a buff copper golem. No longer was I size of a block. I looked like a better version of Iron Man. And I have three new abilities. Hulk Smash, Golem Launch, and the Boulder Toss. So how does this exactly work? Whoa, no, watch out! Oh, uh, I, I didn't mean that. My, my, my bad. Ow! I'm, I'm sorry, bro. I didn't know that was gonna happen. And this is called the Golem, whoa, the Golem Launch. That was the coolest thing ever. And this one, oh, Simon? Simon? Oh, you're alive. I'm, I'm so sorry. I, for a second, I really thought I killed Simon. This one was boulder toss. And yes, I throw giant boulders that blow things up. It's pretty crazy. On day 69 to 79, I was ready for my ultimate form. So I grabbed my lightning rods, then the gold blocks, and crafted the legendary lightning sword. And of course, the remaining lightning tools. So I moved on to the buff lightning armor. Now, there's been legends about the set of armor. Apparently, it's infused with electricity, which makes you run faster. Yo, so Simon, I'm like the better version of the Flash. Even though I'm extremely heavy, though. You know, don't let that fool you. I was testing out my jump ability and accidentally ended up jumping onto a Sky Village. I honestly didn't even know that this was the place, but it turns out that it belongs to the alleys. And not just one, but a whole army of them. Now, if you've seen my 100 days as an alley video, you would know not to mess with them. I'm, I'm being serious. Simon, this is the perfect time to test out my lightning sword. Ready, Simon? Let's ambush them. Let's go! Ready! Wow. You know, this is kind of weird. I was literally an alley, but here's the thing. They don't like copper gums. If, if you watch the video, you, 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 you would know, I'm telling you. You gotta open them at the they're really bad. They're really bad. Oh, oh, they're, they're super bad. They're super. This is exactly what I was saying. This is, this is exactly what I was saying. Look, look at this. What I told you. Do not mess with an alley. No, no, no. Simon, I need you. I need help. Simon, I, I really. Oh yeah. They, they're, they're really mad. They are extremely mad. Back up. I want to do this. Oh, I'm really baseball bad these dudes. Thanks, Simon, so much for helping me out. You know, I, I, I totally, totally needed your help. Here. Have a oh, did you see that? That was crazy. We stole the loot and then opened the door to a Steve character named Turbo King Slayer. Oh, uh, hey, hey, what's up, buddy? Hi, how are you? No, I'm, I'm, I'm doing pretty good. Here's some copper. Enjoy. Here, take this. Oh, okay, uh, yo, thank you. I appreciate it. Netherite. Wow. Have fun. Oh, 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 where, where are you going? Oh, 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 oh just, just heading out. Just look at him soaring through the skies. I gotta say, this is a pretty good guy, you know? And, and it gave me free netherite. Who, who even does that? 
on days 80, 86. After Turbo King Slayer gave me some netherite, I began infusing my buff armor. I upgraded my helmet, chest plate, leggings, and boots to the full netherite lightning set. Simon, I look insane. I I I'm telling you, if, if I was a speedster, it would be game over for the Pillager King. So, for the rest of the day, I went to the mines and used my lightning pickaxe, which summoned lightning when breaking blocks. I've literally never seen that before. I then mined up some lapis, crafted bookshelves, placed my enchanting table, and began enchanting my armor set. And of course, I, I made sure to have the best enchants on all my gear. But officially, I became the most powerful copper golem in the world. On days 87 to 92, we were raided by the Pillager King. Within seconds, the raid horn went off, and the pillagers swarmed the entire village. There's so many of them! That, that's a lot! That is a lot of- Oh man, that's way too much. Oh man, all the back. Right. I'm more worried about my armor set breaking. Come on! Honestly, I can just easily run around them and take them out. It's pretty simple. Yeah. While we were occupied defending the village, the Pillager King was killing my golems. This dude was extremely powerful, and the golems could barely put a dent in him. You really think your golems stand a chance? My magic spells make me invincible! <laughs> oh yeah? Well, I'm bulletproof. Just look at me. Oh, this is gonna be fun! Let's launch this dude! And I'm getting revenge for what you're doing to all my golems! Okay, alright. Really? You can just teleport like that? that? That's just not fair. What are you doing? How is he doing that? I can't even get out of this. I literally can't get out of this. Oh, what was that? I can't even get to it. What am I supposed to do right now? Come on. Get him with a Hulk smash! Go behind him! Get a few hits! And he's gone! Go! Golem jump! Dodge the attacks! Blast him up! And then Golem launch him away! Go. Yep, yep, this is really coming! That, that, that! Honestly, doesn't hurt that much, but I can't move! Wait! Oh, now we got Phantoms too! I kept fighting the Pillager King, but my buff abilities and attacks were barely doing anything. Every single time that I thought I had him, he kept teleporting away from me. Enough of this! I'll see you soon. The Pillager King stole Simon, and then he grabbed Lexi and Billy, and went after my Copper Golems. As he left his army behind, my Golems finished the battle. On days 93 to 95, I was desperate and helpless. My best friend Simon, my family, and my copper golems. They were all captured, and, and not to mention all the casualties. I just don't know what to do. The, the, the Pillager King attacks us one more time, and we're dead. That's, that's everything I worked for. It's just gone. And suddenly, I had another vision. The Iron Giant told me a way I could stop the Pillager King. Moose, the golem's lives depend on you. As long as the Pillager King has his staff, he is invincible. But there's another way. Wait, so you're telling me that, that he wasn't kidding? What am I supposed to do? I literally can't get any stronger than this. You must release me. Both of us together can overpower him. Come to the Iron Dimension. <gasps> I was willing to risk it all. So I created a portal to the Iron Dimension and I went inside. And I gotta say, this place was filled with dangerous enemies. There was literally nothing here, but just wastelands. And there he was, just standing, looking at me. So I, uh, I gave him an ender pearl. So this way, he could throw it and teleport to the portal. And finally, I released the Iron Giants. On days 96 to 99, I geared up and located the Pillager King's hideout. This place was extremely confusing, and it was filled with pillagers and prison cells containing my copper golems. Now that's just messed up. Boys, don't worry, don't be panicking. I'm gonna let you out, all right? Let me just take these pillagers out. Come on. Hey, don't worry. The Iron Giant is here to help us out. 
Look who finally decided to show up. Just like I planned. You see, your friends make you weak. Well, what did you expect? We're just gonna casually leave them and just let them die? That's messed up. What, what, what kind of friends would we be? It's funny you say that. Cause both of you are never leaving. You do realize that it's two against one? You really don't remember me? You imprisoned me in that dimension. Wait, what? You didn't tell me this. Oh, aren't you that giant that was guarding that villager? You will pay for this. No, oh, man, he's upset. That's the wrong person to get mad. What was this? He's summoning vexes. I totally forgot they could actually do that. Oh, not today. Oh, that, that's just, what's, what's going on? That, that's, that's new. That is completely new. I'm stuck inside of a, how is this even possible? Oh, oh. Going in. Just keep holding him off. I gotta keep attacking these these, these vexes. Come on. He's so so annoying. There's just too many vexes. Way too many today. I gotta see. The iron giant is still on him. He's just going in. He's literally not even letting go. Oh, take this. Oh, get him. This is our chance. Come on. Oh. He's summoning pillagers! Oh, come on! No! I got you, buddy! The Iron Giant is my best bet at taking this dude out! Alright, I'm losing a lot of health. Right, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take the pillagers! There we go! Come on! Dropping the meteor! Oh, the vexes are down! With both of us attacking the pillager king and more and more attacks we landed, he slowly became weaker. This is our chance! To finally end it all, the Iron Giant swung his hand, causing a massive explosion, killing the Pillager King. All that was left was the Pillager Staff just laying on the floor. And suddenly, the Iron Giant quickly picked it up and left. I just couldn't understand where he went. On day 100, as I went to release my Copper Golems, I was teleported into a room made of bedrock. Simon, Billy, Lexi, and, and even my copper golems. Guys, I, I'm so happy to see you. I, I, I thought you were dead. I'm, I'm gonna get you out, okay? D don't you worry. <laughs> Me too, buddy. I, I, I miss you, man. I was just so worried about you guys. I literally went to a whole other dimension and released this giant just to save you. Something just didn't feel right. I was confused how I even got here or why the Iron Giant wasn't in the prison like the rest of us. And then suddenly, he walked inside the room. Well, it looks like the Pillager Staff works. I'm glad the King is out of my way. Hey, it's good to see you. You, you, you finally found us. Now, do you mind just releasing us? Sure, but first you must join me. Together, we can rule all of the golems and take over the world. Wait, what are, you, what are you talking about? That wasn't the plan. We were supposed to stop the king, release my friends, and then go back to the safe house. You're blinded. There is no we. I'm carrying on my master's legacy. This is your final chance. What, what, what do you mean? We were supposed to save them. Not make them work for us. Just, just let us out. Come on, we, we, can, we can figure this out. So be it. The Iron Giant used the pillager staff to destroy everything I had. He massacred my copper golems, then killed Billy and Lexi, and swung his fist, blowing up Simon. No! Why would you do that? Th that was my family! The Iron Giant disappeared, and all that was left was a piece of hay. Who would have guessed this could have happened? Such a tragic ending. I really thought he was a good guy. I mean, he seems so friendly and trustworthy. You don't even know the half of it, but I'd rather not spoil it for you. So, what did he do next? Let me guess, he became a buff iron golem? No! Well, he did become an iron golem once. But it's not as important as the next one. A buff chicken! Say what? A chicken? Isn't that kind of... Lame? You may think that, but our hero became one heck of a shizzled bird. Just watch. 
Just imagine being a tiny adorable chicken, but everybody in this world wants to eat you, including these pack of wolves, and especially these foxes. There's only one way to stop them. This is Hardcore Minecraft, and I'm gonna be surviving the next 100 days as a chicken. On day one, there was a flock of chickens, and they loved eating seeds and laying eggs. As the flock ate more food, more chickens were born into this world. The flock kept expanding, and that's exactly when I was born. Now, not only did I look different, but I was starving. So, I broke some grass, just like every chicken would do, got some seeds, and began feasting. Listen, every chicken's gotta eat. You got a problem with that? Yeah, what's going on here? I, I feel like I'm a part of a chicken initiation. Yo, oh, okay, the bear is trying to eat me. Yo, oh, no, back up. Stay back, okay. Oh, he can swim. He can literally swim. No, no. I'm telling you, I don't taste so good. What is this? Huh. Chicken kick and chicken speed. It turns out my flock was teaching me the arts of chicken kung fu. It's like regular kung fu, but you're a chicken that can kick and run extremely fast. As I kept training, I got pretty used to my abilities. But there was another eye chicken who was learning the same thing as me. And his name was Philip. I gotta say. He's, he's very different from the rest of us. Wait, what did you say? Are you kidding me? Have you seen yourself in the mirror? You, you look like a tiny version of Chicken Little. Oh, you wanna go, bro? Huh? You wanna go? For the rest of the night, we continued fighting. Once we both got tired, we gave up. So, we went back to our nest, ate some seeds, and finally went to sleep. On day two, while my flock was searching for food, we came across the Mega Tiger. Now, this place is dangerous enough. Why do you think there's barely any chickens in here? We don't dare step in these territories. Philip, you find a squirrel, buddy. Here, try, try to feed it some wheat seeds. Oh, I, I don't think he likes that. I'm pretty sure that squirrels do not eat any of those. Oh, no, Philip, don't kill him. No, Philip, leave it alone. We're just innocent chickens. Anyways, we were in the clear, and the chickens were enjoying their food while I was searching for the legendary seeds, which apparently gives you special powers. And that's when Philip decided to steal some sweet berries. Yo, Philip, where you been, buddy? Uh, Philip, where exactly did you get these berries from? <laughs> oh, okay, okay, fair. Seeds are kind of lame, but chickens don't exactly eat sweet berries. You know, I'm kind of confused how you're eating sweet berries. Boys, that chicken is not normal. I'm telling you. Well, it was all fun and games until the foxes showed up. And they were extremely mad. I mean, I would be too if my food supply was gone. All because Philip decided to sneak in and steal it from them. And suddenly, they found my flock and raided us. By using their pounce ability, they dove in the air and ate my chickens alive. Philip, we gotta go, buddy. Come on, let's go, hurry up. We gotta go. The last thing I wanna do is become fox food. Just keep running and don't look back. Go, oh, come on. Well, Philip and I ran for the night. These vicious foxes wanted to shred me apart and turn us into meat. <laughs> On day three, we set up camp and farmed for some feathers. I had just enough to craft myself a full set of bird tools. Do you know what bird tools are? At first you might think, how's that possibly gonna stop anything? But I'm telling you, they are no joke. Look at this. This pickaxe breaks a three by three area wherever I mine. Yo, Philip. While we're here, let's kill some zombies and let's just get some quick diamonds. And there's just so many diamonds. Look at this. Everywhere we go, just instant diamonds for us. And it's super. Oh, oh that was so close. You have a heart. You have a heart. Never mind. Dab up. Dab up. Nope, not today. Oh, no. Philip, it's the raccoons, buddy. That's not good. I'm telling you. Raccoons being cute? What, what, what do you mean? No, Philip. No, those raccoons. I'm, I'm telling you. They, they hit me. Get out of here! Bad raccoons, get out of here! Who would ever be afraid of raccoons? Don't they just like dig through trash? But no. These mischievous animals love causing trouble and making a mess. Oh, Philip, where, where are these raccoons coming from? And why is there so many raccoons? It's just literally an army of them. Get out of here! Bad raccoons! Oh, they're attacking me! It's a massacre! It's like, it's like a bears and the moose is all fighting together! Go, oh, watch out, buddy! We gotta go! Go, oh, man! What do you want from me? I don't get it! I thought to myself, 
When will these raccoons just stop? I I've been dealing with them since 100 days as a panda and a fox. They will scavenge through literally anything just to steal something. Look at him. He's stealing a book. Why does he need a book? R raccoons don't read. On days four through five, Philip and I just couldn't catch a break. As we were searching for a village, the foxes caught up to our scent, and they found our camp that we were staying at. So we set up a quick trap, placing down an item frame with a chicken inside, and then we ran as fast as a little feet could run. Philip, don't look back! No, oh, don't look back! We gotta go! There's like a portal over there or something! Right there! You see it? They're still down to us! Oh, get in front of the get in front of the cougar thing over here, or the, or the jackal, or, or, or whatever that even is. Uh, panther. Uh, uh, take him out, buddy. No, oh, no. Everything started killing. That is not good. Philip, what you got for me, buddy? What is this? A clock. Not bad. And a crocodile egg. Eventually, we found a small structure that we could stay at and quickly crafted the bird armor set. First, I made the boots and the leggings, and most importantly, the chest plate and the helmet. As I put the armor on, not only did I feel stronger, but I was given a speed boost. Come on, Philip, catch me if you can, buddy. <laughs> yo, I'm way too fast for you, bro. If you catch up to me, I will give you all. Okay, you almost got me. You almost got me. I will give you unlimited diamonds and even seeds. I'm like a submarine, but I'm a chicken. Well, at least now we had a chance against those vicious animals and deadly creatures in this world. Anyways, we found fellow chicken friends surrounding a village, and they said that this place was apparently safe. So I, I took the word for it, okay? Though, we kicked out a villager from his house and transformed his room into Moose's chicken coop. Philip, looks like you uh, brought some friends here, buddy. Welcome, boys. Hey, listen, no, no, no villagers around. You, 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 you get out of here. Mad villagers, get out of here. Hey, you, you better stay away, okay? I don't want any trouble. Here I go. All right, boys, y'all can sleep here, and, I, and I'll just, just get one of these spots right here, okay? No, oh, Philip, you, you killing every villager. Philip, you got him really mad. The iron, no, even the bears are mad. You old man, that's a great way to die. Get him, Philip! Philip, get him! Ooh. What are we doing? Oh, not the. Oh, man, that's just a massacre. What did I tell you? Get out of my house! Only for chickens! You too! Uh, I think we're gonna need some more chickens. On day six, while my chickens were sleeping, I had a nightmare. Everything around me was dark, and all I could hear was weird sounds, almost as if I was in the nether. And suddenly, something came closer. It, it turned out to be a. A weird bird of some sort. Such an innocent chicken, completely unaware of his surroundings. Hold on a second. Who, who even are you in? What exactly am I doing here? What, 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 what even is this place? This is just a dream. I'm the Phoenix Lord, guardian of the nether. The Phoenix Lord? I've been here hundreds of times, and I'm telling you, I've, I've never seen you before. That's because I'm only seen when I walk to you. I was once a chicken just like you. I was blessed by the nine-tailed fox and given power from the sun gods. First of all, how are you a chicken? And, and are you talking about Kurama? Cause I've, I've dealt with him before. I'm telling you, that, that, that guy's no joke. He killed my best friend. His name was Felix. I must go. I wish you the best of luck. Be careful against these new mutants. I woke up panicking. The phoenix was talking about new mutants. But what does a mutant look like? Whatever that meant, I had to figure it out in the upcoming days. Everybody, wake up, boys. Okay, we, we got an emergency right now. Come on, get up. Get up. Let's go. I don't want you guys to freak out, but there are mutants coming for us right now. Philip, wake up, buddy. Come on, get up. Oh, what? No, no, I'm, I'm not crazy, Philip. I'm being serious. Of course, nobody believed me until we walked outside, and our entire village was flooded with raccoons. There was so many of them. I quickly ran over to the bell and hit it with my fist, alerting all my chickens about the raccoons. Everybody run! Okay, I'm, I'm gonna keep pulling them back! No, 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 come on, no, hurry up, buddy! Grab the chickens, let's go, get them out of here! Are y'all kidding me? These raccoons wanna kill me? Philip, just head to the woods! I'm gonna keep pulling them back! Ugh. As everyone retreated, Philip did the honors. He grabbed some TNT, placed it inside of our building, and completely blew the place up. Honestly, I couldn't imagine how mad these villagers were. 
On day 7 through 10, as we were escaping, we ended up losing nearly all of our chickens along the way. These little creatures are just so fragile. A few got attacked by bears, while others were eaten by wolves. Ouch. One even walked into a ravine. Now, how is that even possible? And some got cooked alive in lava pools. Oh, 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 hold on. There's, there's literally a jaguar here to try to eat our chicken family. This is honestly... No, 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 back up. I'm going in, buddy. I'm jumping over him. Hitting him with a kick. I'm down on one heart. Okay, one heart. That's not good. That is not good. You see, Philip, this is our issue. Our, our, our friends are dying, and we're down to literally nobody. Great. And that's all that's left of our friends. So, I wanted to create a new flock of chickens. But I had to think big. I found a small hill and began building a barn on top of it, which eventually will be surrounded by a massive farm known as the Paradise Farm. First, I created the basic structural layout using white concrete, birch wood to give the build more depth, even spruce fences and trapdoors, combined with diorite walls leading up to the diorite blocks. Then, I used the classic red concrete for the first layer and red concrete powder for the second layer. That should complete the detailed look. After all, it's gotta be red. Next up was the roofing, using birch planks to fill in the design, paired with slabs and stairs, making the roof just a little bit fancier. For the front door, I kept it pretty simple. Oh, and for the windows, I placed glass blocks on all sides of the house and added in hanging lanterns to keep this place lit. And this will be the official path to the farmhouse. I gotta say, it, it looks pretty cool, except it's kind of empty inside. Now, on to my favorite part, the interior. First, I dig up the floor and built the flooring with birch planks mixed in with some oak planks. Then, I added in oak lock pillars with a fancy design to make the barn look a little bit more realistic. I even divided the first floor into four animal pens, using hay bales for the floors and birch fences to keep them enclosed. I wanted the whole barn experience. That includes an area for horses, cows, pigs, and even sheep. Now, for the outside, we had a plan for other animals that we come across. Philip, this might be our best idea. I, I, I'm telling you, look at this. Who doesn't want a pet turtle? And the barn just by itself is looking pretty crazy. Philip, oh, what, what are you doing? You're just, just casually taking the turtles for a walk. Oh, oh, the, never mind. Anyways, I moved on to the second floor by creating a staircase on both of the sides using oak stairs and building the flooring using oak and birch planks, but still leaving space in the middle to see what's happening downstairs. I labeled each place with a birch sign for the enchanting room, seed farm, Kitchen plus the dining room, storage room, chicken habitat, and two bedrooms for Philip and I. Since chickens are messy, I even left the toilet area for them. This is mainly for Philip's problem. He just doesn't want to talk about it. My chickens, welcome to the Paradise Farm. We have literally everything you can imagine. Unlimited food, resources, and even a place to stay. Oh, and, and we got toilets too. And turtles. Who doesn't love turtles? Well, look how cute they are. Look at this. On days 11 to 14, everything was going great. Now that we had our own farm, all we needed was a bunch of chickens. Oh, and of course, space defense to keep them safe. We headed out to the wheat field and began recruiting chickens, informing them of a new place where all chickens can live in peace and harmony. So we brought them all back to our farm and led them inside the barn. I then built a small area to explain the rules. Turn, hunt! Chickens, listen up. This is Captain Moose speaking. Sergeant Philip will demonstrate. Rule number one. If you see a raccoon, you gotta fight it. You get me? Okay. Rule number two. Foxes equals run. What that means, if you see a fox, you run. Because he will most likely jump over you and eat you alive. Rule number three. Never ever betray a moose. I'm telling you, it's a bad idea. Hey! And finally, rule number four. Don't let the other animals out. Never mix a chicken with a vicious animal. It's just not gonna end well. Philip! Philip, what is that? No, 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 Philip, Philip, oh, no! Philip, what, where'd you even get it from? Philip, are you kidding me, bro? No, oh, man. As everybody started settling in, I was honestly kind of worried. If you accidentally punch a chicken, it just dies. I really needed some reassurance that they will be safe. So I began building an underground area. 
I dug the entire place out with my bird pickaxe and designed a simple underground mine. This is where I'll be storing all of my minor chickens. And since they don't have hands to hold pickaxes, I needed a different type of chicken. By pushing my chickens downstairs and giving them iron ingots, they were instantly transformed into the iron chickens. You, you know what this is? Hmm? Every 30 to 60 seconds, instead of laying eggs, they lay iron blocks. Th that's right, for perfect for unlimited iron golems. My boys have been going to town. Look at this, four blocks of iron. It, it's just, it's just everywhere. At this point, we're gonna literally have everything made of iron blocks. Philip, this is by far one of our best ideas. Now the question is, you might be made of iron, but can you eat it? Nope, I guess not. Can you? Nope, never mind. As nighttime rolled around, a raccoon snuck inside of my base through the chimney. I didn't even know that was possible. He then transformed into this weird creature and quickly picked up my chicken, running away with my friend. On days 15 to 19, I declared war on the raccoons. These sneaky animals, I just knew they were gonna find a new way to sneak inside and steal from us. So Philip and I crafted a bow, then a few buckets and filled them with water. We even found a spot nearby and began building a few blocks up, placed out a bunch of water patches and covered them with spruce trap doors to begin our massive pumpkin patch. Now, this farm right here was crucial for our iron golem defense and especially the future of our chicken community. Ooh, look at this. I gotta say, buddy, I like what you're doing with the spruce fence setup. You know, how about this? How about this, buddy? We're gonna call this place Phillips Pumpkin Patch. There we go. Perfect. And here's some lanterns, so it's super lit. Oh, come on, bro. We already got fruit flies here. Oh, get out of here. No, Ben, get out, get out. Get and Philip just help me shear a few of these things and let's go to collect them so we can have our iron golem farm. Well, now that we had a massive pumpkin patch, we need to make this place look way cooler. So we started a wheat farm. The most annoying part was filling up the entire place with these one by one water patches and placing these trap doors on top. The final part was prepping the land with my bird hoe and planting hundreds and hundreds of seeds. I even brought a few chickens outside to help me plant my seeds, which didn't exactly work that well. They're not exactly the smartest. So Philip and I ended up doing the most. Now this is my favorite part right here, seeing all the seeds grow. By far the most satisfying part. <laughs> no, no, Philip, no, no flint steel. Okay, no, none of that. Okay, come on, you cough it up. You give, it, give it to me. This is dangerous, but I gotta say, our place looks absolutely amazing. Look at this. There's just so much wheat. Unlimited bread for days. On days 20 to 24, I visited my underground mine. And let me tell you, my iron chickens gathered so many iron blocks. There was literally stacks of it. I could even make an iron throne and become a king. Anyways, I headed outside and began placing an army of iron golems. This would ensure to help keep my place safe for many unusual mobs. Even though they don't exactly stop animals from attacking us, it's still good to know that we're safe from enemies. Yo, Philip, what do you think about all my iron golems? I, I think it's I think it's definitely plenty. You know, we're, we're gonna keep, oh, look at this. There's my chickens right there. We're, we're gonna keep all the chickens safe, including these guys right here. Philip and I headed out. We found copper and amethyst inside of a cave then smelted it and quickly crafted spy glasses. But as we returned home, there was a raccoon just staring us down. Oh, I'm thinking what you're thinking. Let's educate this dude to give us some information. Yeah. We ran after the raccoon and he quickly booked it. Ended up following him to a weird location. And this place kind of looked like a trap. And suddenly that same raccoon transformed into this abomination. If I saw this thing in person, I would literally give him the keys to my house. I'm not, I'm not messing with that. I'm, I'm just saying. Of course, out of nowhere, a raccoon army just swarmed us. While Philip held them back, it gave me a chance to talk to the mutant raccoon. Oh, I got you. You should have seen your faces. Who exactly are you? And why are you so ripped? What? You've never heard of me? I'm kind of a big deal. Think about trash and raccoons. You gotta be joking, right? We, we know you stole our chickens from our farm. Now tell me where he is and nobody's gonna get hurt. I just need the location. 
Seriously, I'm the raccoon king, leader of all the raccoons and hoarder of trash. By the way, that chicken was very tasty. Listen, buddy, I don't care who you are. Chickens and raccoons are at war. We're coming to take what's ours. As soon as I attacked him, he picked me up and threw me. Philip and I quickly ran away. I gotta say, that mutant got me very paranoid. What if a raccoon just followed me home and was watching me? I just couldn't pick any more chances. And that is exactly why I began building giant walls surrounding my entire farm. Now all of this will help keep my iron golems inside, my chickens safe, and make it easier to watch over the farm. I even made sure to label some areas for the future projects that I planned. For example, my habitat area, windmills, and silos. Overall, my paradise farm was looking very relaxing. I, I would totally vacation here. On days 25 to 34, in the morning, I started building a modern bedroom. I wanted this place looking real sleek. First, placing down my beds and creating a custom bed frame using lecterns. Then barrels for the side tables with flower pots on top. I even added carpet on the floor so my tiny feet don't get too cold. And why not add in a small office area using bookshelves combined with a lectern, planters, a chair, and other things to make it feel complete. Finally, the armor stance. This way, I can keep track of all my armor. And I gotta say, you gotta love a fresh new design. I totally didn't spend 10 hours looking through my Instagram trying to figure out how my interior should look like. Well, Philip uh, had a different idea. He went with a rainbow triple bed design, keeping the room looking very colorful. I gotta say, a great addition to the building. Anyways, I moved on to the storage room, making the design pretty clever by having barrels at the bottom and chests on top, and it just thinks they're designed to make a blend in. For the first row, I placed my furnace, smithing table, cartographer table, and loom. I finished up with the second row using a grindstone, stone cutter, and an anvil. My goal was to make this place look like a modern version of the giant sky village that I built in 100 days as an alley. And that's exactly why I began building a beautiful kitchen using beehives for the countertop shelves, while for the center countertops, I used barrels, pressure plates, and trap doors. Then I created the refrigerator, a sink, three stoves, and decorated the place with some small details. So this design really caught my eye, using a lectern and a trap door to create a stove vent. Also, I thought it was pretty funny to have a dining table built using stairs surrounding my trap doors and placing item frames on top, then turtle legs and a cake. Now, for the moose touch, using melons with pumpkins, a flower pot with a fern inside, and stacked with some leaves to create a, a tree. Oh, and check this out. Three birch trap doors with scaffolding blocks, adding in another flower pot and finishing it up with some chairs to complete the design. I bet you, you haven't seen this before. Yo, Philip, just look at our chickens over there. You know, they're just enjoying their breakfast. I gotta say, this place looks definitely pretty good. There was still a few details this place was missing. So I planted a few oak trees and even placed a bunch of scarecrows. But what? There's nothing wrong with scarecrows, even though they don't actually get scared of them. Yeah, we're just missing some lights. And by placing tons of lanterns, our paradise farm was finally lit up. I feel like it's essential to have a tractor on a farm, so I came up with this. It's simple, but completes the look. My front porch was kind of lacking, so I built a lawnmower, which fit the style pretty nicely. Just look at Philip having a good time. You really can't have a farm without some machinery. It really does complement the vibes. Onwards to days 35 to 44, we were searching for powerful items, which should help us stay ahead of the foxes. As I walked through the swamp biome, I came across this strange castle, and next to it was this abandoned witch hut. Yo, Phil, you think this place is run down? It looks like it's abandoned. Almost like somebody lives here or something. We went inside, and a boss appeared. It flew up in the sky and started dropping explosive projectiles. The name was Swamp Jaw. It was pretty much a flying skeleton shark. You don't see that every day. Oh, Philip, watch the explosives. Yo, those things are no joke. They're, they're, they're literally no joke. It's, it's just going through the walls. Watch out. All right, try again from the top. Here we go. 
Oh, I can't even reach him. I literally can't even reach him. I'm getting it with some. Oh, where is he? I hear skeletons. I hear his minions. Oh, come on. Let me see if I can get him from the top. We just gotta keep the strike, okay? Let's just keep him down there. There we go. This is the spot right here. Oh, perfect. This dude's got no idea what's about to hit him. Get him with the bow spam. Yes. Well, Swamp Jaw was finally defeated. Is that all he dropped? Just, just teeth? What, 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 what am I gonna do with this? Eat it? Hmm? And next up was filling up my animal pen. I collected a bunch of cows. Then Philip got the pigs. After we found some sheep nearby us. And finally, slick up to these horses and tame them. Come on, boy. You come with me, boy. Let's go. I'm gonna name you Papa Moose. We brought them back to the barn and placed them in their animal pens. Come on, Mr. Sheep. Now, you guys are the last ones. You just get inside. Oh. Wait, Philip. Come on, man. Now we're missing one. Get it. Nope. Nope. You, you gotta go. You gotta get inside there. Stay. Don't worry. We still have two more. Let's go. You're, you're almost here. There you go, boys. Everybody get some wheat. Enjoy. And for you, you get the, uh, I guess the, the carrots work. Philip, is it like your new horse? You know, I mean, I, I got a horse, but you got a, you got a pig. And that should be the last of them. There we go. Are you sure about this? You want to park a pig next to a horse. I gotta say, if you don't got iron chickens, you're missing out. They are a great investment. And since it was so helpful, I brought a few more chickens down to the mines and gave them golden ingots, turning them into gold chickens. Chickens, listen up. You see, now everyone here has to make as much gold possible. And together, we're gonna have unlimited, uh, I, I was gonna say golden apples, but yeah, those are kind of useless for chickens. I already have 15 gold. Yeah, that's, that's not bad, you know? But at least we can improve our gold throne here. Look at this. Tons of gold everywhere. All right, Philip, just spend it all. Make everything completely gold. To celebrate our accomplishments, I began building a chicken statue in front of my walls. The whole point is to honor my fallen chickens and tell those raccoons and foxes that we are ready for a fight. And with the stacks of gold blocks, I built a gold throne to signify a crown on top of the chicken statue. It looks kind of funny. It's finally official. Philip is now the king of the chickens. Look at him. He's having a pretty good time. I gotta say, this thing looks uh, definitely pretty funky. All that statue really did was cause an invasion. You see, the foxes weren't exactly happy, and they came running from the mega tiger biome next door. They swarmed the paradise farm and began attacking my chickens. My iron golems just stood there. It was up to Philip and I. Philip, let's get them. Oh, there's a lot. Yo, yo, I'm about to turn it to me. No, I'm out of here. No, no, thank you. I'm not about to get you alive. Get out of my way. Yo, oh, there's so many. There's so many. Okay, we gotta go. I'm at a one, one and a half hearts. Philip, get my back. Get my back, buddy. No, 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 no. no. Okay. Honestly, once you get the hang of it, it, it's kind of easy. We can just easily dodge and weave. No, no problem at all. No. The battle was over, and all that was left was feathers and food for the foxes. Days 45 to 51, I started off my morning by digging out a massive hole, then changing out the flooring using stones combined with cobblestone to complete the look. I filled it up with water and added in seaweed, kelp, and lily pads. For the outside, I lit the place up with lanterns and planted bamboo. While I finished building the boat dock, Philip ended up making his own jet ski. Yo, Philip, hop on my boat, buddy. Let's go. Well, we're gonna go on a... <laughs> I'm not sure where we're gonna go. Okay, all right, all right, I'm messing this up. This is, this is not happening. What are you doing? What's even happening? Yo, oh, I gotta say, the jet ski, uh, it, it kind of works. Well, it was time for an armor upgrade. The next tier of armor was called the Angelic Set, which needed angelic feathers, only crafted using one feather in the center, surrounded by eight diamonds. I then crafted the angelic boots, leggings, chest plates, and helmets. There I was, looking majestic. Have ever seen a chicken look like this? I don't think so. It's about time I have some full iron bars. Now, let's test out my abilities. So I also have haste to repair. Oh, okay, the, the haste to is definitely... There's, of them. There's, there's, there's more than one. There, there's definitely more than one. Yeah. Yo, the donkey. The donkey. I'm gonna save you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Oh, I didn't save you. Philip, Philip, kill the crocodile. Yo. Oh, oh, that's pretty good. 
And with the armor set equipped, I do get a haste 2 bonus. So that means I can technically mine quicker. Oh yeah, definitely way quicker. Definitely way quicker. To test my armor, I traveled to the freezing snow biome. Coming across interesting animals. As I finally set up camp, Philip found a yeti. I'm not even kidding. Philip was really considering bringing back a yeti to the house. I don't really know what was going to happen. So I gathered snow and headed back home to build the ice habitat. Now, these right here are diamond seeds. It grows in the snow biome, and when you eat them, it gets special effects. Anyways, I began building a square glass room. Then, placing a bunch of snow, building a cave, and adding in some trees with a small frozen lake. Our yetis are ready for the new habitat. Yo, Philip, are you sure that's safe? That does not look safe at all. This guy looks kind of dangerous. Yo, 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 get in there, get, get back in there, get, see, this is exactly why you don't keep a yeti. While we were distracted, another raccoon snuck into our base, this time through the mines. But luckily, I managed to stop him in time, and turns out, the immune raccoon was planning on raiding us with an army. His raccoon minion gave us his location, and we headed out. This is a place, a massive junkyard. I mean, kind of easy to get inside of here. It's just so much trash. Look, look, look at this, just fill with trash. Oh, I see a raccoon and a bear. Oh, there's a lot of raccoons. Okay, oh, not the bear. Stay away, stay away. No, back up, back up, nope. As we searched the place, I found the mutant raccoon. That traitor gave away my location. Well, either way, you don't stand a chance against me in my raccoon army. The mutant raccoon started throwing giant trash piles, trying to squish me. Yeah, I know, this dude's crazy. No, too many raccoons. I, honestly, I'm sick of it. I, I, I've been dealing with too many raccoons for I don't even know how long. Seriously. No, oh, there he goes. There he goes. Okay, gotta try to keep him off me. And so getting him with the bows. No, oh, what is that? What was that? What was that ability? Nope. I think he's trying to pick me up. No. Oh. If I just keep chicken kicking him, I should be able to knock him back. Just like that. You gotta watch out for those fireballs. It is extremely powerful. How does a trash raccoon shoot out fireballs? It just doesn't make any sense. Run, 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 run. Oh, no. Don't no, do that. Don't do that. Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> This was a bad idea. Using my chicken speed ability, paired with my ninja kicks, I finally defeated the mutant raccoon. And all that was left was a bunch of raccoon tails. Days 52 to 60. Philip and I were on a secret mission. With the raccoons finally being gone, there was just one more predator left. The fox pack. We searched through multiple pack of foxes until I finally found the one. This place contained a fox headquarter, which is where the mutant fox hosts meetings. Inside of it was a room with test tubes and an item stand containing a golden egg. Come on. Come on. Yeah, this. Oh, come on, Philip. You got one job. <laughs> I'm breaking in. Okay, here we go. Hi, right, buddy. Let's get it. Okay. Oh, I think they know. They, they definitely know. Nope. They go. They go. Nope. I'm, 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 so, I'm so sorry. Nope, not that. I'm really sorry, no. Get out of here. There's a crocodile outside. There's literally a... Okay, no crocodiles. No, thank you. No, back up. No, Philip, chill. They're gonna eat you alive. All right. It's just you and me. Get out of here. Nope. This, this was... This was a little bit... Okay. They're honestly really annoying. Seriously. And what do we got here? Look at this. It looks uh definitely very special. It seems like a, a prized possession. All right, buddy. I'm taking it. Here we go. A golden egg. Huh, what exactly is a golden egg? The foxes, with a phenomenal hearing, they spotted us in no time, swarming the room with their army. Philip and I tried our best holding them back, but they kept jumping on us and trying to eat us alive. For the moment, I was really worried. What if they called for reinforcements? I'm telling you, if the mule fox shows up, it's game over. Hey, Philip, how you doing over there, buddy? Oh, okay. I'm kind of glitching out. There's, there's a lot. I, I don't even see you. It's, it's literally a swarm of foxes. That is, that is a ridiculous amount of foxes. Okay, all right. I'm going in for the kick. Wow. You know, that is the most overpowered thing ever. Before leaving this place, I found a map, and it's got the location of the immune foxes' hideout. I'm telling you, I would love to challenge him, but I need a bunch of upgrades. So, I returned home, and turns out, Philip was building a weird shed. I wasn't exactly sure what he was up to, 
But once he went to sleep, I snuck inside the place and found some questionable things. There was a pack of vicious wolves inside. I don't know what this dude was up to, but Philip was definitely suspicious. From day 61 to 69, I ate the golden egg and instantly transformed into a buff chicken. No more will chickens be considered weak. With my transformation, we finally had a chance against those foxes. You know, I'm really wondering, what are the chickens gonna... Th uh, oh, uh, hey, hey, Philip, this is kind of awkward. Ah, uh, so it it's not what it looks like. Oh, all right, it's exactly what it looks like. <laughs> what? what? No, no, I'm not gone. Philip, it it's it's literally me. It it look, look at me. It it's me, bro. What, what, what are you talking about? Philip, yes, it's still me, Moose. Come on, it's it's not that hard to tell. Seriously, you know, I've just been working out. That's, that's about it. Right here, hey, take some of this. Yeah, you gotta go to your diamond seats. Way, way, way better for you. And then you can do this. You can just, just jump over anything. I was given new abilities. First, being super jump, which makes me jump extremely high in the air and fly for a short amount of time. Oh, Philip! I'm literally skydiving. Look at this. This is this is crazy. Wow, I, I never thought this day would come. Look at me, I'm, I'm just flying, you know? You, you, don't, you don't see this every day. That's right, I'm like Superman. Are you throwing eggs at me? Don't, don't throw eggs at me. Oh, okay, I'm good. Well, this is explosive eggs. Every egg I throw instantly blows up. If I'm in need of reinforcements, I can summon my own flock of chicken guards, protecting me from anything. In my last one, Feather arrows. Who needs a bow when you can throw sharp feathers? Turning all enemies around. How mad would he be if I just threw an egg at him? You know, I'm just gonna find out. Catch! Oh! Um, hey, buddy. Uh, oh, there, I'm, I'm sorry. I was just kidding. I was literally just kidding, buddy. <laughs> One, Philip, you got a problem with my explosive eggs? Call me when you can do this. Psst. Have you subscribed? Now, to test my strengths, we traveled to the desert biome and found this massive pyramid. It definitely looked promising. Philip, first one to loot the entire place wins. Let's go. Okay, what are we got on this place? Oh, we got some. We got some enemies. They're not bad. Get him, chickens. You got this, guys. And let's just die. Get a small interest over here. What is this? Some target box? Oh, wow. Literally, creepers don't do anything. This place is completely gone. There's, there's just nothing left in here. And that should be every single spawner. Got some diamonds and a golden apple. Look at this. A secret chest. Oh, with a notch apple. No, no, no. Stop it. You're, you're going to kill me. Philip, what was that? Are you also able to throw eggs? That's one. Honestly, the pyramid wasn't that bad. But I still had to complete just one more thing. And that was called the legendary raven armor. This set is no joke. One that wields the armor gets blessed by the ravens. No, so first I located the ravens and began fighting them off, collecting the raven feathers, and began crafting the raven boots, leggings, chest plates, and helmets. As I equipped the raven armor set, I looked like a true samurai with insane raven wings. And wearing this legendary armor, I was given speed one, strength three, haste two, and fire resistance. So I'm pretty much invincible. Look at this. They don't do any damage to me anymore. Like, seriously. And then in terms of durability, I'm still pretty good. Now, once I enchant my gear, I'm gonna arm wrestle the immune fox. I'm, I'm gonna embarrass that dude. I'm, I'm telling you. As we were heading back to the Paradise Farm, Philip found a bunch of ducks. <laughs> ducks for a pond? I, I mean, that's, that's a pretty good idea. And plus, you already have the lead on them and such, so I guess we're good to go. All right, buddy. Here, I'm gonna lead the way. Follow me. Let's go. Just, just, just watch out for the alligators. The, the last thing we need is, you know, getting eaten by that. Oh, they are, they, they are, they are looking to feast. They, they, oh, no. What, what, is it? what did I just say? This is why we can't have nice things. This is, this is literally why. As we got back home, we had the perfect spot for my duck habitat, the pond. Look at them. They're loving it. And just to be safe, we built a small fence surrounding the entire pond. You know, I gotta say, it's honestly a great way to prevent my ducks from being eaten. Oh, nobody wants duck meat. Mm, not good. On day 70 to 78, today was the day to finally take on the mutant fox. 
So I finished building my enchanting table and enchanted my raven armor. It's kind of crazy. I, I went 70 days without any chance. I can't tell if I'm a noob or not. Before heading out, I quickly built a massive silo. Yeah, this was one of my last remaining buildings before completing the farm. Philip, don't you do it. Don't, don't, don't jump on it. No, nope, no, nope, that's not. Wow. Huh. That was pretty good. Nice job, buddy. I grabbed the map to the Mew and Fox's hideout and followed it, leading us to this massive redwood tiger biome. And there it was, the fox campsite. And right behind it, a massive fox skull built inside the hill. This totally looks like a lair for an evil villain. Philip, get ready for the foxes. They're, they're, they're coming for us right now. We're about to cause a big commotion. Oh, there's a lot. There's gonna be a lot. All right, come on, chicken army. Here we go, boys. Hold them back. Philip, where are you, buddy? Make sure you're safe. Get rid of this entire camp. Oh, I just killed a chicken. That's not good. All right, I'm just gonna go for it. That's it. I'm going it. Use my feather arrows. We're all going down. Wow, that is honestly way too easy. Literally, anything I aim at just instantly dies. Look at this. I'm so sorry, chickens. I'm so sorry, guys. You, you okay there, buddy? They're, 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 kind of, they're kind of killing you. Philip stayed outside, preventing any foxes from getting in. While I walked inside, give me the foxes. Please. Look at you! I see you've been trying to match me. It's not going to help. Really? Match you? Are you are you kidding me? What do you mean match you? I, I, I've been doing this for so long now. For thousands of years. It's been part of the food chain. Don't you understand? This is our job. So you're telling me your job is eating chickens? Seriously? Exactly! Chickens lay eggs while foxes eat chickens. The more we eat, the stronger we get. It puts us ahead of our competitors. Wolves. Well, I think it's about time we change the tradition. Chickens eat foxes. Uh, let's go. What was that? How did he do that? No. Oh, okay. What the heck? I can't even reach him. No. Oh, okay. That's not good. That is not good. I don't know how he's doing that, but. All right. I'm going in for the feather arrows. Well, luckily, I can fly, but let's see what happens here. No, oh, he's just breaking the floor, and he's summoning his fox minions. All right, no, I gotta say, he, he, he's, he's kind of quick, and he, oh, no, he does damage. No, I, he, he does a lot of damage. That is not good. Okay, I'm going for him. Let's go. Uh, get him with the feather arrows. I'm holding you back. Come on. Uh, uh. You want some of this? As they fought the mutant fox, he swung his tail, spinning in a 360 degree, pushing my army of chickens back. I kept summoning more until the mutant fox used his crunch ability, shredding apart anything in front of him, causing a bleeding effect. No! Oh, he's eating my chickens! No! I don't even know how he's... Oh! How the is he doing that? He's, he's literally shredding apart everything. I can't even move. I, I can't even move. No! No! No, literally! He's about to push me through a wall! I'm trying to get him! Come on, feather arrows! Now hold it back a little bit! There we go! It's working on him! Listen, those arrows are... They're, 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 they're no joke! I'm telling you right now! They are literally no joke! Oh, come on, bro! This dude is serious right now! Take this! Ugh. That, that, that fox tail ability is just ridiculous! It just... Come on, I can't even hear him! All right, fine. Two, two can play this game. Oh, you keep moving me back. I'm going to keep using my feather arrows. Then what are you going to... Oh, never mind. Well, the mutant fox got weaker. He summoned an army of foxes rushing at me and my flock. My chickens stood no chance. Dude, there's so many foxes. This, this guy is crazy. Right, back up. Come on. There we go. You see, this is what happens now. You, you, you want us to have... You want your foxes dying to my feather arrows. When you kill my chicken army, this is what you get. All right, now I'm over it. Nope, not today. Ooh, come on. My secret weapon. Explosive eggs. Oh, take this. Wow, oh, that'll definitely do it. Explosive eggs. That is the worst thing that can happen to you. Finally, the mutant fox was gone. The chickens have won. Defeating the raccoons and the foxes. No longer... We had to worry about being hunted. Well, I, I mean, there's still a bunch of other animals that want to eat us, but listen, this is a good start, okay? We, we, we took a W.
on day 79 to 86. I had another vision in the Phoenix. You have come very far. As a reward, I bless you with the knowledge of the Phoenix Pickaxe and Phoenix Sword. Uh, yeah, thanks. So, how do I exactly make it? And what's the point of this whole thing? These can only be crafted with the legendary Phoenix Feathers. Search the mountains to find my Phoenix friends. Wait, so am I supposed to fight them or they're just gonna give it to me? Once you possess the Phoenix tools, only then can you find me for your final test. Uh, what test? I will see you soon. Every chicken's dream is to become. I woke up in my vision. I spent days traveling across the world, finding mountains and gathering the Phoenix feathers until I finally had enough. So first, I crafted the Phoenix sword and with it, I could set enemies on fire. Next was a Phoenix pickaxe, which allowed me to smelt anything I mine in a five by five radius. I gotta say, mining has never been easier. It's just like simple, effortless, look at this. Especially getting stone, it's super easy. And there we go, some stone bricks. At nighttime, there was a flock of chickens walking around outside my barn. In some weird way, a zombie infected a chicken, causing an outbreak of zombie chickens. This was low-key painful to watch. <laughs> Philip, what, what's going on, buddy? <laughs> what? Z zombie chickens? Oh, this can't be good. This cannot be good. These are the dangerous zombie creatures. Are you kidding me? Oh, oh, they're trying to bite me. No, oh, I, I, I don't want to turn into a zombie. That, that wouldn't be good. Let's get him. Oh, there's so many other. Honestly, pretty easy to take them out. Not on my watch. Get out of here. The little baby one. Oh, come on. They got the... Bro, they got the baby too. Philip, he does not like you. And in no time, the zombie chickens were finally gone. But what did remain were these ruby seeds. Golden seeds. Oh, gold gold seeds. Okay. Okay, no, no, not bad. Tastes pretty good. Oh, regeneration two and health boost two. I think it's best if we start planting them right in front of our house. Like right over here. That's, that's a pretty good spot. Golden seeds for days. To finish up my third habitat, I built a nether portal and traveled to the nether. Now, I was looking for a very rare species of turtles. These are called cinder shells, and they're only found in volcanic areas such as the nether. But first, I mined up all the blocks that I needed for the cinder shell habitat. Then, brought them back home and began building a glass box. For the flooring, I used nether rack, then added a lava stream, and even planted these huge crimson and warped fungus, or whatever they call it. And just to finish it up, a few more blocks to complement the habitat. Well, it was officially complete, and I gotta say, I, I think it looks pretty good, and the cinder shells are even loving it. On these 87 to 94, it was finally time to meet the phoenix. I hopped inside the portal and began searching through these different biomes. But all I found was advanced piglins that wore armor and had these camps over here. Piglin hideouts. You know, I guess that works. Who knows? Maybe they can give us, you know, a hint or something. Let's go. Okay. You know what? They're kind of friendly until you hit them. You see, that's kind of, that's kind of where I messed up a little bit. But honestly, they don't really do that much damage. And they're barely doing anything to me. I mean, then again, I do have some crazy armor on. Now, this is my favorite part. Picking them all out at once. It's, it's just so easy. Literally the easiest thing ever. But the question is, where exactly is the Phoenix? What do we got here? A golden stick? Hm. Yup, absolutely nothing. There was only one more possible location that we could check. And that was a piglin ship. Oop, I got it. All right, let's get it. Nope, oh, not today. Get off the ship. It's officially mine. Hello? There's still building over here. What are you, what are you doing? Come on, buddy. Any moment now. Hop on board. Grab the gold and everything we can get. We're looking for the Phoenix. And what do we got down here? Let's see this. Fire resistance. I guess it's not bad. Okay, there's more. There's more. I got it. Easy. Is that it? What's this? A piglin gem. Huh. I climbed on top of the watch post and found an item frame with a Phoenix feather. Now, this was kind of strange. Why did the piglins have a phoenix feather? It, it, did, it, did it power their ship? I don't even know. And suddenly, the phoenix flew out of the lava and said, Well done, Moose. You're finally here, and you brought your friend. Ah, there we go. Finally found you. Really thought that it was going to be impossible. I'm telling you. Now, my chickens, you are finally worthy of the secret phoenix fire. 
Oh, yeah, the, the Phoenix Fire. Um, what, what, what does that do? Does that like make us fly and summon flamethrowers? You know, that, that'd be really cool. Flying flamethrowers. All you have to do is release me from the nether. And once I can feel the sun, I'll unleash my sun power, blessing you both. Wait, what do you mean, release you? We had a deal. I, I thought you were here because you didn't want to be found or something. The Phoenix used her sacred powers and lifted Philip in the air, slowly choking him. No, Philip! Let him go! This just has nothing to do with him! I'll, 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 do, I'll do what you say, okay? You foolish chickens! You do what I say! Now I have to set an example! Without any hesitation, the phoenix chucked Philip into the lava, slowly killing him. Wait, wait, no, 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 no! Philip, can you hear me? No, 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 this can't be happening! Not, not this again! Are all you chickens this naive? You really think I needed your help? I was imprisoned here by a powerful sorcerer, and you are my way out. Philip, this one is for you, buddy. Ugh. Okay, he's got lightning strikes. Uh, no, where's that thing? I, I, can't even, I can't even get to it. No, let me try my feather arrows. It's working. What you gonna do now, huh? All right, gotta eat, eat some gold seeds. No, throwing fireballs at me. That, that's not good. Okay, the Phoenix flew over me, dropping meteors on the piglin ship. I quickly escaped and used my flying ability to get on land, but she was resilient. Bombarding me with these explosive fireballs, I could barely keep up. No, oh, that's a lot of fireballs. No, I don't think about this. Using feather arrows to deflect the fireballs. That, that, that definitely. Oh wow, oh, I, I can't even see anything anymore. It was working while it lasted, and now it's just a massacre. Come on, I'm trying my best here. Oh, not good, not good, gotta go. I got an idea, let's fly up in the sky. Two can play this game. There we go, got a few hits on her. Come on. Oh, they're not happy. Oh, not, not the zombie piglet. Not the zombie piglet. Great, that's, that's amazing. Now they're mad at me too. Seriously. Come on, I'm deflecting the fireballs. It's, it's working. It's working! It's hitting here! There we go! Come on! Ugh. Chicken army, go! Let's go, boys! What is the boy? No! They're, they're just getting me up. They're just burning alive. Everyone's becoming fried chicken. The Phoenix charged up her sun powers, and using her flamethrower ability, she engulfed me in fire. I got an idea? Let me use my explosive! Whoa! What? 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 Where's that from? What just happened? I don't think my explosive eggs are getting close to her. Funny enough, I actually believed that I was winning. But instead, the Phoenix reached her final stage. She summoned her meteors and used her flamethrower on me. And out of nowhere, fire tornadoes came after me. Honestly, if it wasn't for my golden seeds, I'd never become a fried chicken. Since when was there fire tornadoes in Minecraft? Yeah, that's, that's crazy. You know what? I'm going for the explosive eggs. No, oh, it's just going to be raining explosive eggs. No fire tornadoes. My best bet is to fly up in the sky, fly around, and keep shooting feather arrows. That's, that's all I can really do. There she is. Combine them together. There we go, explosive eggs. I think it's working. It's literally... No! No! Okay. That is crazy. No! Not the lava! That was so close. Way too many tornadoes. With the final swing, we defeated the Phoenix. Well done. You might have defeated me, but there are others in this world much stronger than Kurama and I. And just like that, the Phoenix was gone. She was saying something about others just like her. It, it honestly got me curious. Kurama was definitely the strongest boss that I fought. The question remains, what powerful forces are out there waiting for me to challenge them? Days 95 to 99 started off very peacefully. I was building a massive windmill for the Paradise Farm. And that's when a familiar face returned. <gasps> that Philip? Philip, you're, you're alive! Yo, what a relief, buddy! Yes, the, the plan did work. You know, I gotta say, it was kind of sus, and, and you, you almost had me. You know, you're, you're probably confused. You see, before going into this fight, we thought about the circumstances of us being betrayed. I, I mean, it, it's it's not like I haven't dealt with this before, right? 
So, just in case of emergencies, we both had golden seeds, which would pretty much keep us alive. <laughs> okay, fine. I'm, I'm not being boring. <sighs> Whatever. There was just one more thing left on my bucket list. To find a godly item capable of linking worlds together. So, I traveled to the end and quickly battled the Ender Dragon. First, taking out his end crystals. Then, bombarding him with explosive eggs combined with red arrows. Ooh, no, Philip, I hate to be that guy. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Finally, the dragon was defeated. So, I grabbed the egg, went back home, and built a small shrine, officially completing the Paradise Farm. On day 100, I was here with a dimensional carver, possessed by the Void Worm. No, oh, no, oh, they're infecting everything. Philip? Just stay away from them! They're, they're, they're really, really bad for you. I'm telling you. They'll, 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 they'll give you they'll give you a virus too. Alright? You don't want that. Oh, they are, they are just all over the place. Get out of here! Look at this! They even drop capsid blocks. By placing a capsid block and adding in this mosquito larva, it created this mysterious worm. Oh, Philip grabbed it and he threw it right into the void. But by doing so, it summoned the Void Worm. And once again, thank you to Dragon Raja for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to download the game by clicking the links in the description down below. You got it, really? Whoa! Look at that! Look, look at this! Whoa! There's, 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 there's two of them? What just happened? He's, no, he's still for it. Okay. Go, go for his head. Make sure, make sure you go for his head. It, it, it shouldn't be that difficult to kill him. But close for it. It should be powerful. Oh! Okay, uh, we, we have an issue. But they, they, they split up. They can, they can split up apparently. That is not good. Alright, I'm, I'm flying in there. Here we go. Come on, he's almost dead. Oh! Wow. Well, that was honestly surprisingly easy. The Void Worm was finally gone. I grabbed its remains and crafted the legendary dimensional carver. With this item, I began mining into the air slowly creating a breach to a new dimension. So, Philip and I went inside the portal. Did that chicken just turn into a buff samurai? Yes, that's not even the craziest one. You have to see what he does next. Has he ever become a buff, Glare? He did. Kind of. What do you mean? Let's say he turned into a mutated version of himself. Imagine being an innocent glare in a world controlled by the Iron Giants. It's been 10 years since the Copper Golems and the Elaze have been defeated. Now, the plans to overtake the Metaverse and cause the end of reality. This is Hawko Minecraft, and I'm going to be surviving the next 100 days as a glare. If you think the glare should be voted in, then hit the subscribe button and enable all notifications. On day one, I spawned in as a glare, trapped inside of a dark room, surrounded by others just like me. I tried breaking out, but had no luck. You're probably wondering how I got here. Well, ever since the Iron Giant stole the Pillager Staff, he killed the Copper Golems, then Billy and Lexi, and after, Simon. Now, he's taking control of all animal factions and imprisoned them inside this place. Hello? Is anyone out there? Can anyone get me out of here? There's, there's so many other animals though. There's, there's even foxes, LA's, and copper golems. So, for the rest of the night, I waited for my chance to escape. Then, on day two, the Iron Giant walked in with an ally and his army of minions. Oh, there he is. And why is he with a, an LA? Hey, why are you working for him? Get me out of here. Come on, what are, you, what are you looking at? Boss, the glares are ready for testing. Perfect, everything is going according to plan. You see, there's one advantage that the glares have amongst others. We always stick together. Glares, attack! And suddenly, my army of glares, led by Walter, rushed in attacking, taking out the Iron Minions, causing the Iron Giants to escape. Walter, come on, break me out of here, buddy. We gotta go. There's just there's too many of them. 
unfortunately, we were overrun and we had to escape. So I quickly grabbed some wood, crafted a pickaxe, and tried breaking through the wall. But turns out the entire basement was covered in obsidian. Does anyone have an idea? What are we supposed to do? Quick, head upstairs. Head upstairs? All right, let's go. As we got upstairs, we walked inside of a massive laboratory, and each room was labeled containing a specific animal. Walter, what, what is this place? Now, honestly, I've never seen something like this. It turns out that all these animals were being experimented on. The first room had the dolphins. Next was the chickens, foxes, and sheep. Then the cute pandas with the mighty goats. Also the trio, consisting of iron, snow, and copper golems. Everyone's favorite, the dogs and cats. And lastly, the witches with the frogs. Wait, Walter, oh, hold on a second. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I know that fox over there. We gotta help her out. Come on, buddy. We're breaking you out. It's too late for me. Run! Find Felix in the sand universe! Wait, no. How did you get here? And, and what sand universe? You'll find out soon. You're the key behind the multiverse. The multiverse? What? Moose, we have to go. Walter broke through the basement entrance, and we escaped the building. But the question remains, why does the Iron Giant need all the animals for the multiverse? On day three, I was extremely upset. Not only did the Iron Giant hurt my glares, but this started a rivalry. I made it my goal to kill him and defeat any faction that stood in my way. Besides, glares never got along with the Copper Golems, nor the Alays. In order to get my answers, I had to find the animal factions and ask for help. But without more recruits, it was gonna be tough. Uh, Walter, are you sure this is the way? It, it looks kind of sus. Oh, alligator. Watch out, buddy. Trust me. We have unlimited wild melons. I mean, if you say so, buddy, just, just lead the way. This place is definitely pretty big. Uh, so, uh, I'm, I'm guessing your diet just only consists of watermelons. I'm not really sure that's healthy. We went inside the jungle, surrounded by dangerous animals. And luckily, our disguise helped us camouflage and navigate the vast conditions until finally coming across a camp owned by the Glares. Oh, look at this. Oh, uh, there, there's, there's a lot of them. What's up, guys? Uh, how are you doing? You guys even got pet monkeys. Oh, and you definitely love watermelon. You know, I think that I could definitely make this work. On day four, after thinking that we were safe, we were swarmed by the Iron Minions. They somehow found our trail and just surrounded us. Walter, there is so many of them, and they're shooting lasers at me. That, that's not good. No, no, I'm not dying. I'm literally, I literally can't do anything. I, I can't do nothing at all. There's still way too many of them, and then they're still attacking me. Come on, hold them back. No, no. Oh, towards, towards, towards. No, the lasers. Not the lasers, not the lasers. You know, it'd be really nice if I could shoot lasers. That, that, that would honestly be a massive game changer. I'm not the one heart. All right, come on, these melons are just not cutting it. How can you guys live with this melon diet? We stood our ground. No longer will we retreat. So I mined up some iron, crafted shears, and began shearing the jungle leaves, creating giant walls made of leaves surrounding the entire camp. Now, the, the whole point of this was for better camouflage, of course. More leaves equals camouflage because we pretty much well, were made of leaves. Well, that's going to do it. Now, Walter, with your permission, I declare this camp the Glare Outpost. The Glare Outpost? I love it! Seriously, our first creeper. Don't do it! Don't, don't, don't you dare do it! Oh, of course. Great. Phenomenal. I began searching the deep caves, looking for more glares to recruit. Now, in order to grow the outpost, we needed weapons and tools. And of course, you, you can't forget about the army. Watch out, buddy! Come on! What? What is it, buddy? I think I found a trail. I mean, that, that that works. Just just lead the way. Everything shot to kill me. This is the trailer you're talking about. I mean, someone's definitely been here before, but where did they even come from? Huh. We searched nonstop until we were surrounded by a ton of new mobs. Nope, that's not good. I'm poisoned and my axe broke. And I'm also being attacked by skeletons. Oh, I have a heart. I have a heart. I got you, buddy. Oh, not the lava. Not the lava. Fire, 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 fire. Oh. Oh, that's not good. That is that is awful. What even is this thing? Oh, 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 what? I got a fire charge. There we go. Oh. oh. Luckily, we got saved by other glares. I wanted to recruit them, but they had some other plans, bringing us to the secret underground settlements. And this is the place 
where I met the other glare. You are the chosen one. Vixen has told me. Wait a minute. So you knew Vixen? She, she's a part of the Fox Pack, though. All animals are one with the multiverse. You have a lot to learn. Now, take this gift to help guide you. Oh, uh, you're giving me your watch. Uh, so what exactly is this? With this legendary item, you can transform into anything. So how exactly does this work? Just, just gotta click it. Oh, uh, that one, two, three, and four? You must be gifted morphs from other animal factions. Uh, you, you're losing me here. Honestly, uh, Walter, you see this? Look at this. It's, it's a watch with numbers on it. And, and what animal factions, what, what, what are you talking about? What, what, what do you mean by all this? Tomorrow, I will explain the rest. Now go and sleep. So, I went to bed. I just couldn't stop thinking about what the other glare said. All animals are one with the multiverse. I, honestly, I, I'm, I'm not sure what that means, but the one thing that I knew, that this was bigger than me. On day five, before heading out to find the golem safe house, the other glare told me a secret. Beware of the iron giant. He's traveling through the multiverse, searching for the keys. Destroying anyone standing in his way. I grant you my wisdom. Oh, the thanks. I don't know why I need 65 levels, but anyways, that kind of explains why I capture the animals. But what about the keys and what are they for? You see, there are four keys known as the time, galaxy, mine, and the life key. One who possesses them all can create anything finally we showed up to the golem safe house and this place looked a little bit different after all it's been years wow just like i remember it i gotta say it's it's worn down though remember what yo yeah it's it's nothing buddy just 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 don't worry about it let's check billy's house real quick oh man this is honestly sad to see billy's completely gone oh they even broke his place seriously of course the zoo is ruined. Where did all the golems go? E even the villagers and why is there so many cobwebs? And this is Lexi's library. That is just so sad to see, honestly. Seriously, these raccoons, get out of here. Bad raccoons. Now, if I remember correctly, this was the scientist's room. Or the laboratory, I guess. Hello? Is anyone in here? Inside was a copper golem scientist. Honestly, I, I can't believe they you're still alive. Everyone's gone. And just tell me what, what happened to this place. They were too strong. The Iron Man just took over, killing all the golems and leaving us to die. No, that, that, that can't be. You, you're telling me that all the Iron Golems, including the Copper Golems, are just all dead? I, I knew about Billy and Lexi, but even the, even the villagers. But there were so many people protecting this place. Our savior, the above Copper Golem, never came back to protect us. <sighs> the death of the scientist just really hit the spot. I just couldn't stop blaming myself for all that happened. On day six, I snuck inside the copper mines and stole all the copper miners' valuables. After all, this place was kind of run down and only a few remained. Honestly, it was kind of sad to see. Anyways, I crafted a full diamond armor set and then the tool set. Walter. Here you go, buddy. I got a gift for you. Take this. That should cover you, okay? I'm, I'm honestly really upset at the Olays. Uh, they're, they're working for the Iron Giant. C can you believe this? Don't worry. I'm going to avenge you. Every, every single one of you, I'll, I'll make this right. Here's some copper for you. What are the odds? As soon as I said that, I heard an explosion. The first few layers of the wall was breached by the Iron Giant. He walked inside and swarmed the place with his minions. Searching for me and Walter. Where are my prisoners? Walter, we gotta go. Come on, let's go. No, there's so many minions. No, okay, they got me. They got me pinned. Come on, take them out, buddy. No, right. There's shooting lasers at me. Oh, there's way more. There is way more. Oh, the Iron Giant's here. The Iron Giant's here. We gotta go. Oh, I'm about to die. I'm literally about to die. No, 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 no. Walter, where are you, buddy? Come on. There's way too many of them. And the Iron Giant is destroying everything here. No, towards, towards. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Have a heart, have a heart. We can't let it destroy everything that we have built. Whoa. We retreated, leaving behind the golem safe house. There was nothing that we could do. On day seven, I visited the cloud house. The good thing is that I can fly. Wow. Just like I left it. I, I gotta say, this place is honestly in some mint condition. I mean, other than the cobwebs and all, but nothing's really missing. It's just like only a few things. Ah, and this. Now, this just brings back some good memories. You know, th 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 that's where Casper was playing music. Yeah, we, we, we're just like, you know, ha have, having a good time. Wait a minute. Yeah, Pickle? Hey, Pickle! You're still here? Turns out Pickle was still alive. Don't you get it? Without glares, there's no balance in this world. We were created to keep balance to the pillager staff. Pickle, I, I understand, but what does the glares have to do with anything? The, the, the pillager staff was stolen by the Iron Giants. Is this some sort of like a prophecy that I'm missing? There's been rumors about multiple metaverses. If all four keys are found, the holder is given power of the universe. Pause. Okay, this is kind of getting confusing. In summary, there are multiple versions of each animal factions throughout these various universes. Such as maybe like 30 different versions of Walter or me, or, or who knows, maybe even Flipper. And yes, each one of them has its own life. There's no time. You must watch the LAs. My family has been taken under the control of the pillager staff. Well, there you go. The LAs work for the Iron Giant. And yes, they did kill the glares. And I'm just here trying to save the universe. From these eight through nine, I began building the glare outpost. I know, y'all y'all hate me building, so I'll keep it quick. In the center, I built a massive jungle tree. Then, added in branches and jungle leaves for the top. I placed a bunch of vines and lit the entire place with hanging lanterns. Underneath the center, I built an underground room with the glass blocks for a 360 view. This is for the portal and enchanting room. You know, Walter, I gotta say, this place is it's, it's a pretty big tree. You know, and, and I'm pretty sure the glares are gonna absolutely love it. Look at this. We even got a secret underground place, but it definitely makes the glare outpost look amazing. This really, hey, hey, stop it. What, what are you doing? What, 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 what you doing? This really makes the glare outpost look amazing. Now, for the outside, I shoveled the floor and created a giant circle surrounding the entire tree. Then, added in a bunch of water, placed some sugar canes, and of course, the watermelon farm. You can't forget about the watermelons. After all, Walter and the Glares, they love watermelons. It's, it's literally their favorite thing. Walter, what are you doing, buddy? Look at him. He's setting it. Oh, oh. I don't even know how he did that. I have, I have no idea. I moved onto the interior, building a massive ladder from bottom to the top. At the middle of the tree, I built the flooring. I split the room into three sections. One bedroom, one living area, and one storage room. And that concluded the Glare Outpost. Days 10 through 12, our glares got intel that the Iron Giant located the Mind Key. If you were to get access to it, his mind will be drastically enhanced, allowing him to predict what's to happen. We need to hurry. We need to create and ignite the Sand Universe portal. Hold on a second. Walter, did you even think about how to make a portal to the Sand Universe? Well, what does that even mean? So, I followed Walter, and he led me to this weird dungeon which supposedly contains the relics to create the portal. Hey, Walter, are you sure about this place? You know, it just looks a little bit creepy. I, I, I wonder why. There's a bunch of Steve heads everywhere. Hey, get back over here, Walter. Where are you, where are you going? Oh, there's a watermelon here. Oh, what's up, buddy? Uh, I don't know about this. This looks kind of dangerous. Dude, this place is crazy. Look at this. What is all this? Oh, there's more. There's way more. No, no, stay back. Don't, don't, don't curse me, whatever you got. No, I don't want that. I don't want all this. Break this waters. This, this is terrible. What is this? They don't even drop anything good. Just, just literally blocks of coal. You, you, you might as well give me a rock. I destroyed all the mobs inside. Then, through the chest, and finally, made it to the end. There is a pillager trying to cook me alive. I, I don't understand. I'm, I'm not tasting. Okay. Oh, no. All right. All right. What? No. No, come on. With the poison. No, no. No, no, no. Don't kill me! Don't kill me! Go for his legs! I right, just just chop this thing down. Well, whatever it is. Oh, what's going on? I'm trapped. I'm trapped in here. Okay, we're gonna need a new strategy. What does this do? An uncraftable potion. Oh, oh, that definitely did something. I'm gonna get here. Let's get him. Dig it out. 
He's almost dead! One more left! <sighs> About time. Seriously. So, this must be it. Let's see what we got. A scarab and a sand universe portal. Huh. Interesting. With a blueprint to build a portal and the scarab to activate it, I was ready for the biggest challenge of my life. I came back home and built the portal using sandstone and adding in some water. Then I threw the scarab inside the water, which activated the portal to the universe. And the last thing left was the shrine for the glares. You see, legend has it that if we complete the challenges, we receive these new abilities, which apparently are blessed by the glare gods. On days 13 to 14, I completed the shrine's first challenge, which consisted of feeding the entire outpost with watermelons. Who would have thought that it was going to be that easy? Now this is called Glare Flare. Woohoohoo! Let's go! And by activating my ability, I pretty much catch on fire. I'm, I'm literally a glare on fire now. Let's see how it holds up against some mobs. Oh! I gotta say, it, it does some pretty solid damage over time. And it seems to get way slower as well. Look at this. As soon as I got back home, our outpost was swarmed by an army of mobs. He must have known that we've been spying on them this entire time. Nope! Walter, where you at, buddy? There's a lot of them. They're swarming the building and killing all the glares. My, my damage is deep inside Morgan. I, I, I can't put them on fire. Oh, no. No, no. There's too many. There's way oh, too many of them. No. Oh, Walter. Walter, where are you? No, it's not good. Everybody's currently sleeping. There is way too many of them. The Iron Giant must be on to me or something. They, they, they just keep hitting me with lasers. No. Oh, I'm down to three hearts. No okay. game. No okay, game. Bad. Back here, back here, Walter, Walter, oh, yes, buddy, come protect me. You know, so, so much for the shrine. I, it it, it would have been great to have some better abilities or something. My glares held off the Iron Minions in their army of mobs. In using Glare Flare, I slayed the enemies, and Walter was just, he was just going at it. I, I, I mean, this dude was a natural born warrior. These 15 to 20. I hopped inside of the portal and was teleported inside of a desolate land called the Sand Universe. These conditions were extremely harsh. Be careful. There are many enemies hidden here. Yeah, I, I can kind of see that. I mean, there's, there's only this one guy right here trying to literally kill me for no reason. I, I didn't even do anything, Matthew. And, and, oh, of course, you got reinforcements now. While, while we're being ambushed, where's this guy? Where's this guy I think he is? I want some of this. Okay, all right, you know what? On, on second thought, they're doing a lot of damage. Ooh, okay, all right, no, 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 oh, have a heart, Walter, have a heart. Nope, nope, stay back, stay away from me, stay. Wait a minute, I got an idea. Let's just do this. Oh, I thought we were going to fall through. That'd, that'd be way cooler. Crazy enough, this place used to be peaceful. Peaceful? Huh, I wonder what happened. We explored the universe looking for any sign of life. And being able to fly was honestly extremely useful. But still, no sign of the Iron Giant. Instead, we located this one spot. Hey, Walter, I think someone's in there. It it, it looks like a, a chimney of some sort. So we dug out the sand and got inside the entrance. And it turns out this place was the Fox Den. This place is so run down. It's honestly really sad to see. Perfect place to grow my watermelons. Uh, I don't know about growing watermelons here. It's probably not a good idea. Now, who's down here? Nobody? Hello? Wait. Felix? You, you're alive? It, it's been... I, what? I, I, thought, I thought you died. Of course I am. But I'm not the same Felix, you know. I'm guessing you are here to protect the mine key. I'm, I'm not understanding. What, what, what do you mean that you're not the same Felix? Do you have the, the mind key? Yeah, so that, that was kind of confusing. It, well, it turns out that Felix was from an alternative universe. One that is different from the same Felix that was my best friend. And that's when the Iron Giant showed up. He started destroying everything around, searching for the mind key, releasing his minions to attack the Fox Den. We must go. He is here for the key. Yo, oh, no, that is not good. This is this is gonna be really bad. I'm trying to hold him back. There's just too many of them. Oh no! Oh! Oh no! 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 No!
I can barely see outside. It, it's just covered in sand. It must be a bad sandstorm. Felix jolted, and we followed. We had no time to spare. We snuck out from the back and hit it to a temple. Inside, we got attacked by this weird pharaoh. Oh, there, there's, there's so many mummies. I've never seen this many mummies before. All right, come on, everybody. Take them out. Don't, don't, don't hold back. Get them. Okay. And they give you the wither, wither effect. That's, that's not good. Break the spawners. Break the spawners. Hurry. Oh, no. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, there we go. Is it another floor? Oh, not a maze. I, I can't stand mazes. I'm, I'm telling you. Come on, another dead end. Hello? Oh, there you go, buddy. I see you, Felix. Oh, where's, where's Walter? Nope, nope. Now more mummies. Stop, more mummies. No, 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 I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Okay. All right, I gotta eat. Oh, have a heart again. Okay. Oh, no. That's not good. Oh, oh, Walter. What's up, buddy? There you go. We finally found you. No. Oh, that was so close. That's not good. I'm, I'm, I'm super low on health. Great. There's arrows in every single corner. What about down here? Is that, is that it, buddy? Are you sure? I'm, I'm, I'm you, you first. I'm okay. You know, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna stay right back here. There we go. And what is this place? So, oh, great. Thank you, Walter. Thanks, thanks for pushing me in poison. I love it. Uh, this, this just seems like a trap. I don't know about this. The Pharaoh turns over. No, no, what was that? No. Yup. You know, just, just keep, keep her away from me. Ugh. Come on. So many mummies. Come on. Get it. Okay, I'm regenerating. I'm regenerating right now. <laughs> just, just, just kill her already. Come on. Take, take her out already. Ooh. 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 Felix, you could have told me that there's a Pharaoh living in this place. I, I nearly died. Yeah, that that would have been terrible. And finally, I picked up the mind key. On this 21 to 24, you were hiding out inside the temple. Moose, take this. With the morph ability and the mind key, you can become anybody for five minutes. Wait, what? That, that, that's kind of sick. So I just got a... Oh, Buff Fox. New morpher unlocked. I interesting. This is sick. So we have one, two, three, and four. But what, what, what about the rest of them? That you must find out on your journey. We need to go. I sense him. The Iron Giant clashed in the ceiling. He pushed Felix back. It almost killed me. I quickly transformed into the Buff Fox and rushed the Iron Giant. Even with my strength, I just couldn't stop him. Come on, wait, where's he going? Oh, I can fly? I'm like Superman, but the fox version of him. Let's go. Oh no, where's the mind key? Where? Did he take it? No. Ooh, ooh. Felix, he stole it. He stole the mind key. This is not good. No. Walter distracted the Iron Giant. Then Felix ran in and using his ability, he held the Iron Giant back. Run, I'll hold him off. This is my destiny after all. Felix, I'll, I'll make this right for you, buddy. Oh, I'm running. Walter, we have to go, buddy. Let's go. Hurry up. All right. Come on. You know, it, it is kind of difficult to fly as a fox. I ran and finally found the portal to go back home. Walter, break the portal. We got to get rid of this thing. Well, that didn't really go our way. No mind key. No Felix. Just Walter and I trying our best to take the outpost. So, in honor of Felix, we built a small statue. One that we will forever remember. And for the extra details... I planted glowberries for the interiors of the wall. And I gotta say, it, it came out pretty cool. It, it looks really awesome at nighttime. On these 25 to 29, I upgraded my gear. First, I scouted out the lush caves, mined up the moss blocks, then got my iron ingots and crafted the reinforced moss helmet, chest plate, leggings, and boots. And there we go, reinforced moss armor set. I guess you can call this an upgrade for a glare. It, it matches the theme, sort of. I looked like a ninja wearing some sort of a chainmail moss armor. But honestly, the camouflage was pretty good. My low key reminded me of a scarecrow. Next up was crafting the full reinforced moss tool set. Now that's a my full safe. And these weapons were overall stronger. And the pickaxe did this. Well, we won't be needing a diamond pickaxe anymore. I think it's gone. So how does this hold up? against some strong mobs. Since, since when do Wither Skeletons have actual, I don't know, bows? What's up, boys? How you doing? Oh, all right, there's a lot of them. Whoa, 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 what's happening? What is going on? All right, you know, I'm, that was nice looking at. That was 
You know what? We're just gonna go for it. Go ahead. Down to us. You know, it's, it's, it's a lot of mouths, but definitely not bad. No, I'm out of here. As I came back home, the shrine awarded me a new ability called Hurricane. Phase 30 to 36. Once again, we were raided. When we finally thought that we had some peace, it came crashing through the walls. Come on, everybody. We, we, gotta, we gotta stand our guards and we have to fight them right now. No, there's way too many of them. There is way too many of them. No, this is not good. Oh, no. Try to take them out. There's, I can't even, I can't even see what I hit. There, there's just too many of these guys. Oh, no. No. Not the fireballs. This is not good. Come on, glares. I need some backup right now. Yes, Walter. You got it, buddy. I'm trying to hold it back. I got an idea. Here we go. I'm going to get to the buff box. And I'm going in. I'm going to hold it back, buddy. Take, take care of all the minions. The glares held off the minions as I casted my hurricane and glare flare abilities at the Iron Giants. Is that all you got? It's over for you. I finally control the mind key. I'm always going to be smarter than you. The other glare flew in from the sky and casted a powerful spell, causing the giant to get damaged. Seriously, you're still alive? Elder glare, you don't stand a chance against me. This ends here. Live the glares or be cursed forever. The giant launched in the sky, landing on top of the trees. He swung his hand, causing an explosion with lightning. They kept fighting each other. And then the other glare casted another spell, engulfing the giants in flames. You'll pay for this. My ally minions will come for you. And just like that, the Iron Giants teleported away. On days 37 to 45, I woke up to a thunderstorm and the Iron Giants created a portal to the jungle universe, home of the pandas. Looks like he must have located the galaxy key. Walter, I don't like this. S something is going down. We gotta go. Soon, he will have the galaxy key. All right, buddy, I hear you. Let's, let's get going. You see, the galaxy key gives the holder power to control space. Anyways, Walter took me to this underground foundry. Oh, they're trying to kill me right now. That's not good. That is definitely not good. Okay, all right. They're the kind of strong. I need backup, Walter. Destroy all the spawners while you can. I'll keep it distracted. There's just... Oh, man. These, these dudes are no joke. Oh, I got an idea. Trap them right here. And then just... There you go. Push them in. Oh! All right, well, Walter. Are you sure about this? Walter has no chill at all. He's just dropping the TNT on them. Here, I got you. I'll, I'll drop a tornado. Oh! Oh, man. Wow. It actually worked. Not bad. We should, we should probably go. Very end was this hidden item needed for the portal. Oh no, what are those? Whoa, whoa, nope, nope, that is, that's just deadly. Okay, one heart, one heart, this is not going my way. So we're exactly, uh, oh, oh, that TNT? Back away from me, I'm dropping my tornadoes. Oh, that's a bad idea. Now that was a, that was a close one. Oh, I, I think, I think you got the handle, buddy. You definitely got it. Okay, you definitely got it handled, I'm telling you. Walter is Pete's crazy. Finally, I defeated the last few enemies. And looted the chest containing the infused redstone and this weird item called soul and steel. So we got back home and built the portal using infused redstone, then activated it with the soul and steel. The portal to the jungle universe was finally ready. On these 46 to 54, we jumped inside the portal and headed to the jungle universe. I'm not exactly sure how this is a jungle universe. You know, I, I, I was expecting jungle trees here, but I guess everything's destroyed now. Along the way, we defeated mobs and found an ability called Leaf Throw. Hey, Walter, check this out. Leaf Throw. I know for a fact you can't do this. Look at this. I have my own, I guess, sniper or something. Who needs a bow when you have Leaf Throw? As we traveled through these conditions, we finally located the Panda Village. This place was honestly pretty run down. Look at this. I got my first baby panda. There you go, buddy. Here's some more. Some more bamboo. So, does this thing still work? Oh! Oh, it does! Yo, Walter, we, we, we need we need one of those. But, but for watermelons, I'm telling you. Look at this. 
<laughs> Everyone was happy. Oh, and of course, you broke the whole thing. Good job, buddy. And now, the baby bat panda was the one in charge. Just look at her go. She's still got it. Hello, welcome to the jungle universe. Isn't it crazy? It's the end of the world. What are you talking about? Just stop joking around. You're gonna freak out. Walter, I'm telling you, you, you don't want him getting mad or, or, or losing it. Why you look so ugly? Here, take this. Panda morph. That, that's kind of cool. So can I not become a panda? With the click of a button, I transformed into the buff panda. This honestly gave me some incredible memories from the past. Well, this is going to get pretty interesting. Or they, they definitely still damage me a lot. I mean, after all, my armor is kind of weak. There we go. Launch him up. Get a little boost. Throw some fireballs. There we go. Now we're talking. And spin around, hitting the enemies. This, this is pretty good. Not bad. It's still a lot of damage. Okay. Here. Have some fireballs. That's going to help you a lot. Ow. They, they definitely hurt. All right. Now back to my glitter form. Oh, no. He's coming. The Iron Minions surrounded the trees. They found a location. There's so many of them. You better hurry up. Because at this rate, I'm telling you, he's going to be here in no time. The Iron Giant is, is going to be a lot of trouble just for the three of us, I guess. All right. Ugh. I totally forgot about the bamboo. This is honestly the best part. You eat this, and you're instantly powerful. Look at this. Now there is no issue fighting anything. You just got to go in there. And with the help of Baby Bat Panda, we took them out. Oh, no. This is not good. Oh, he's here. He's here. No. Oh, gotta go. No. Oh. He's coming for me! Go hide! Everybody! No, 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 no! Where, 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 where's the galaxy key? Tell me! Hurry, hurry up! We don't have much time! What key? Are you talking about the blue spinny thingy? No, no! It's him! It's not good! He, he's gonna destroy this entire place! No! I'm trying to... No! That's not good! I can sense your weakness. Baby Bat Panda flew up in the sky and attacked the Iron Giant. As I used my abilities, we held him off. He was too strong. As long as he could sense the keys, I'm telling you, it would be impossible to prevent him from getting it. You're just a big old meanie. Take this. They both fought hard, but the Iron Giant used his pillar staff and made the Bat Panda disappear. No! What? What did you do to her? That's not good. No, baby Bat Panda. No! Okay, we gotta go, Walter. We gotta get out of here. It's, there's no time anymore. This place is destroyed. You can't run from fate. Now that I have the galaxy key, there is nowhere in space you can hide. Well, I managed to escape and headed back to the portal, teleporting us back to the glare outpost. It was only a matter of time until the Iron Giants would come for us. On these 55 to 60, we came home feeling helpless. So to cheer my community, we added a few more details to the glare outpost. First, building an interior with a bedroom for Walter and I, including a chest room with all the utility blocks. And finally, the living area, which had some space for a small kitchen. Oh, and can't forget about the automatic melon farm. Probably the most useful creation I can make for my glares. Now everybody gets watermelons. It's all fun and games until Walter eats the whole thing. Oh, and so I never forget the achievements that we accomplished and began building the glare vault room. Now, yeah, I kept the design relatively simple. It sort of does look like a giant vault door. And, and, I, and I plan on storing something inside. Just a few more diamonds. There we go. Gotta hide, of course, my iron. Some ancient debris. And let's place two different maps. There we go. One right here. Another one right here. And uh, why not add a third one? There we go. And some extra valuables. Jungle Universe and San Universe Portal. Oh, uh, how'd you get in here? And might as well place some copper, because who, who doesn't love copper? And this completes the vault room. Pretty cool. Now, let me tell you about the inside. I placed these display stands, and for every faction that I visited and communicated with, I thought it was a pretty good idea to put an animal statue inside here. On day 61 to 62, I woke up to the Elder Glare. Booze, it is time. For your reward, you must save the universe. Huh? Uh, uh, I'm up. I'm up. Ch chill. Dude, how did you even get in here? Hey, seriously, you got me locked in here already. What's, what's going on here? Don't, don't you know to never wake up and moose? So I followed him to the shrine. It was given a new serum. 
So, what I do with this thing? Am I about to become like Captain America or something? I drink the mutant serum and transformed into the mutant glare. Honestly, I look very ridiculous. First, I got two massive hands and I don't even know where the chains come from. And my smile, it, it, it's gorgeous. Or maybe I gotta visit the dentist. I don't know. It looks like I got two new abilities. Particle shield and invisibility. There we go. Now, let, let's see what this does exactly. Hey, Walter, do I look a little bit intimidating? It, just, just a little bit? I, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of terrifying. I, I, it looks like I'm gonna eat somebody. Look at this. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna use particle shield. There we go. And now I have a ton of health for about a couple of seconds. So I, I, can, I can take pretty much any hit I want. Okay, but this, this is still kind of strong. So this is still difficult playing as a glare. And then I can go invisible, just like this. Now combined with my tornado ability or hurricane ability, whatever you want to call it, and my leaf throw, I'm definitely very powerful. On day 63 to 70, the Iron Giant located the Abyss Universe. His plan was to wipe out the chicken population. You know, who would have thought that the chickens 10 years from now would be the ones guarding the life key? I'm not hitting on chickens. I just wasn't expecting that. Walter, you, you, you okay, buddy? What, what, what's, what's going on with you? Huh? Moose, he's advancing. I sense it. He's searching for the life key. That's not good. Walter, we gotta hurry up, buddy. Here, grab all the nether that you have from the dungeon, and I, I'm, I'm gonna craft the enchanting table. Just get everything ready ASAP, buddy. We gotta hurry up. We don't have much time. Come on, cough it up, buddy. I'll, I'll give you I'll give you watermelons. I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to be off. 30 netherite. That should do it. If the Iron Giant gets a hold of the life key, he can revive any dead characters and bring them back under his control. Even as a mutant, I just couldn't get too comfortable. So, I began crafting the legendary shadow armor. Only the mule glare can wear this godly armor. Here you go, buddy. And, and enjoy, Walter. Power is upgraded. So, I'm stronger now, apparently. I mean, the armor's already crazy enough. And, Walter, I gotta say, I, I literally look like, I don't know, some, some kind of an evil dude. Here, you can have my old armor set. Take this, buddy. Enjoy. It looks like I have some new abilities. I have speed, strength 3, and resistance. Now, for my weapons, they're extremely powerful. I can one-shot most things, you know? And, and, and my axe is way stronger. Look at this. It's crazy. Of course, with my glitter flare, my tornado abilities, they just don't really stand a chance. I'm, I'm not even getting knocked back. I can just, just take it off. No and if I'm ever in trouble, there we go. Portal shield. That is too overpowered. Walter, I'm, I'm going to let you handle that one. Now, this looks really cool. It's like a scythe. And for my pickaxe, I can break through anything. In a matter of seconds, this building will be destroyed like it's no issue. Really? Anything is, is going to stop me? Seriously? I'm out of here. Oh, go oh, Walter. You got a TNT obsession. But I like it. I, I think it's really cool. Now that I was ready, Walter showed me one of the final trials. The Swamp Temple. Inside was a hidden chest containing unstable blocks from another world. Uh, Walter, have you ever heard of a an elder? I, I feel like someone's calling us a grandpa, bro. I don't know. Oh, oh, what is this? Wow, that is super... Okay, I don't fit. I do not fit. All right, that's not, that's not good. Definitely don't fit through this place. I'm, I'm way too thick. Ow. Hey, at least there's lava. Now, that can be pretty useful towards the enemies, I guess. I found him, buddy. Here, here, come on, come over to me. There we go. There's a lot of them. Take these zombie things out, and we, we gotta find this elder. I, I'm guessing that's probably where the uh, the loot is gonna be. Get out of here. Bad zombies. You're, you're, you're messing with the wrong glare. There we go. There's a lot of them. There's a lot. I'm breaking the spawner. Hold on a second. There we go. And what do we got here? Nothing. Great. This is it? Hey, are you sure? Oh, I see him. The Elder. All right, buddy. Here we go. Let's just not mess anything up. No, oh, he's coming for me. There we go. Wow. No way it's that easy. Here, you know, let's give him a chance. Let's, let's just give him a chance. Here you go. I'm only going to use a leaf throw. Seriously, that's the best you can do. Really. Get out of here. Ah, and this is what I've been looking for. Perfect. Unstable Obsidian. And... The Abyss Portal Activator. I gotta say, I absolutely swept through this place. And behold, the recipe for the Abyss Universe. I placed the Unstable Obsidian to craft the portal and used the Portal Activator. Ahead of us will be either death or redemption. 
on day 71 to 77. I enchanted my legendary shadow armor and went inside the Abyss universe. I was instantly ambushed by these glowing enemies. No, no, what's going on? No, oh, we're being ambushed. We're literally being... No, no. Ugh. Try to hold it back. I'm flying up. Dropping some tornadoes. Seriously? Who, who sent their army? What, was it you? Was it you, Marcus? I, I can't kill Marcus for some reason. Ugh. Walter, hold it back, buddy. Hold it back. I'm using my particle shield. Now they can't stop me. And I'm taking him out. All right, we're gonna need some backup. Just in time, my old friend Philip came through a portal using the dimensional carver. Boys, you look like you need some backup. I got you. All right, don't worry, I'll take care of him. No problem. Oh, no, I, I guess they don't get affected by my... Oh, great. That's that's amazing. You know, uh, they just somehow got me invisible. It makes total sense. I got him. Don't worry, buddy. There's so many of these wolves. Come on. I'll take you to the chicken farm. Philip, it's good to see you, buddy. What what happened to this place? Seriously. I'm guessing you're a different move from another universe. Wow. This is honestly really confusing. Well, life happened. The buff chicken disappeared. And the Iron Giant caused chaos across all universes. We followed Philip and ended up in a familiar place, the Paradise Farm. I have a surprise for you. Here you go. Oh, what, what is it, buddy? What are you? Oh, is this what I think it is? No way. Now I can officially become the Buff Chicken. You must carry on the legacy of the chickens. Well, if you say so, buddy, because I'm ready for battle. Let's get this. And my feather abilities, let's go! But now I'm officially a flying chicken. And I can summon tornadoes. And even a glare flare. That is so overpowered. You literally don't gotta do anything. When things couldn't get any worse, the Iron Giants raided the Paradise Farm and acquired the life key. No! He has it! How, how can we let him get it? No, no. No, no. This is not good. This is not good. Philip? No! We were distracted. I could have let everyone down. You have no idea what I can do. Maybe I'll bring back the Pillager King and he'll be under my control. The Iron Giant slammed his staff and summoned three deadly bosses. I got things to do. Let's see how you survive against my army. Everyone, we gotta work as a team. I'll take on Fortuna. Walter, you have Swamp Jaw. And Philip, you have the Bell Ringer. I'll show them my karate skills. I'm gonna TNT their face. Let's take them out. Get them, boys. Ugh. You know, this, this shouldn't be that bad. Let's go. Using my glare flare ability, I'm going for this Fortuna guy. The only thing is, he flies pretty fast and it's just a little bit more difficult to kill him. Seriously, I can't even see this dude. There's just so many things in the sky. I'm using my leaf throw ability. There we go, it's working. Swamp Jaw's down. Oh, I got my particle shield ability activated. And he's dead. Wow, that was literally a one shot. Last one is a bell ringer. He does not stand a chance against us. Walter, are you good, buddy? He's definitely messing with you a little bit. All right, just one more hit. Come on. Yes. There we go, boys. The Paradise Farm was saved. Now, as for the universe, I didn't know what was going to happen next. On day 78 to 82, I upgraded the Glare Outpost. I built a mini temple design using cobblestone and mossy blocks to complete the look. The glares looked extremely bored, so having a new place would be a nice change. And might as well upgrade the camp, adding in a few tents with barrels and beds inside. This place feels uh, much more lively, especially with the new tents, the new places the glares can actually, well, hide at. And of course, look at this, automatic melon farm. That just makes everyone's day better. Walter, what do you think, buddy? I think this place is definitely looking amazing. For the inside of the place, I added a secret alien control room. I don't know why I call it that, but it's the perfect room for copper golems. It would literally click on all the buttons. Walter, I present to you the very first copper golem to join the glares. Welcome, buddy. This is it. This is where, this is where you're going to be living at. Just, just click all the buttons and have some fun. I was about to say close them in, but that will do the trick. Just in case you want to betray the glares. All right. Here you go. Take, take a bamboo. I don't know what you're going to do with that. Now, for the outside, I added some landscaping and planted some bamboo. Then, brought the pandas. I have a feeling that pandas and glares could get along pretty well. I just think they're so cute. On these 83 to 90, 
the Iron Giant advanced into the cursed universe. As he conquered the dimension with his minions, he ordered the alleys to raid the Glare Outpost. Final ability unlocked. All right, let's see what we got. What is this? It's like a mini glare. Unlock glare army. Oh, okay. And it's about time I can summon my very own glares. Officially, I have my own guardians now. Everywhere I go, they follow. Look, Walter, some new friends. Just don't blow them up with some TNT. That, that, that'd, be, that'd be kind of bad. Yeah. They swarmed the outpost from the skies and began attacking my glares. Walter, they're here. We got to hold it back. Just do not accidentally kill one of the glares. That would be really bad. There we go. I'm going to hit them with a tornado. There we go. I'm trying to hold it back, buddy. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of them. Yeah, they're, they're all flying. Oh, no, this is not good. Okay. Uh, maybe I can, like, snipe them with my lethal ability. Let's go, Glare Army. Take these LAs out. I knew we should have never trusted them. And then they're trying to destroy our melon farm. Not today, boys. Not today. Walter, I need some backup. They are all attacking right now. And they're slowly killing off all the glares. I'm trying to hold it back. No, no. Come on, buddy. You almost got him. I'm using my leaf throw ability. Hitting them with the tornadoes. Trying to push them away. It's not doing much. Oh, back up. Stay away. Of course, we got phantoms now, too. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's next? We're just going to have flying iron minions. I'm using my particle shield. There we go. You almost got him. There's only a few left. Let's go, boys. Yeah. This is crazy. This is honestly insane. The worst part is they just destroy my armor. Seriously, this armor is expensive. As I defeated the alleys, they dropped these home blocks, her soul, and a blueprint. Those items are needed for the cursed universe. So, this is it. The last universe. So, I began building the portal and activated it using a cursed soul. You see, the last key remains inside of this universe. If the Iron Giant gets it, he will destroy the entire world. On days 91 to 97, the Iron Giant located the Time Key. It was in the hands of the Royal Pillager, a descendant of the Pillager King. He lives inside this Pillager Tower, the tallest building in the universe. So, we quickly hopped inside the portal and was teleported to this cursed universe. As we breezed through the enemies, we searched for an old friend, a wise cat that lives with the witches. Binks, it's, it's been a while. You, you you probably don't remember me. I'm guessing you're aware that the time key is, uh, well, in danger. Moose, I know it's you. Did you forget that I have Master Witchcraft? Uh, not sure how that works. So, you, you could see me through different universes? You can say that. I'm afraid it's too late. The giant already has three of the keys. But what do you mean, too late? You, you have to help us. Come on, please. You're our only hope. I suppose. There's only one thing that can counter the pillager staff, and that's dark magic. Yes! You know, Walter and I need as much help as we can get, okay? Take this. With the witch powers, you should be able to break the giant spell. Now go. Binks, thank you. We, 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 we will stop him. Mark my words. My old nemesis, I can sense you. For the first time, we arrived to the Pillager Tower before the Iron Giants. We quickly rushed up the floors, defeating the Pillagers. But right before we could make it to the top, the Giant showed up. Fools, you can't stop a Titan. The Time Key belongs to me. The Iron Giant used the staff and slammed it to the floor causing the entire building to instantly disappear. He grabbed the time key and walked through his portal. Once again, we were unsuccessful. Day 98, we arrived at the Iron Castle. It was filled with these Iron Minions, but that didn't stop us. You know, honestly though, they, 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 really, they really don't do much to us. These guys are completely weak. Notice, the pillagers did more damage. Come on guys, y'all should be ashamed. We went upstairs and walked inside the Iron Giant's room. Welcome. Come take a seat. Let me show you my collection. Is this some sort of a sick joke? No, not at all. These are my greatest possessions. You might remember them. 
Wait a minute. How did you get those weapons? You have... You have all of them. What? Doesn't matter. Did you know that there are consequences for living in different universes, Moose? Moose? What is he talking about? Yeah, it's, it's nothing. Just, just don't worry about it. He's trying to get you to turn against me. Why don't you tell them all? We worked together when you were the Copper Golem. What is he talking about? Have you been lying to me? Moose is the one that let me free. He is the only reason I have the Pillager Staff. Walter, just ignore him. Get away from him. He's just stalling, I'm telling you. Now, let's get him, buddy. Go for his legs. He's, he's the weakest towards his legs. Go wash the laces, buddy. Wash the laces. No, 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 man. Watch out, buddy. Do, do not go near him. Enough of this. I have seen all 9,356 possibilities. You don't stand a chance. I transformed into the buff witch. And using my potion sphere, I broke the iron giant spell. What? How did you do that? Walter, his shield spell is down. Let's go for a slice. Come on, buddy. There we go. It's working. I'm going to combine it with my tornado ability. Come on, buddy. Almost got him. Oh no! You gotta go! Watch this attacks, buddy! You thought that was going to stop me? The Iron Giant summoned his army of minions, but I easily countered it with my glares. Then I morphed into the panda and spin kicked them away. I quickly switched into the buff fox and tail whipped them back as I unleashed my punches. I kept damaging the giant. Come on! He's almost there! He's almost... Let's go! We almost got him, Walter! Just keep slapping him around! Yeah, dude, I can definitely tell! He's getting extremely annoyed! Ugh. Come on! Once he was weak, I became the buff chicken! Walter! He's getting a lot slower! This is our chance, buddy! Let's go! Do not let him go! Use everything you got! No! Oh. Oh, what was that? I can't see! I can't see anything! Oh, no! He killed all the glares. With the final blow, the Iron Giant exploded into pieces, falling on the floor. Walter, we did it, buddy. This is it. The, the Pillager Staff and the keys are finally ours. We can finally bring the world back to normal. Well, that's what we thought. No, no, no. How is this possible? This can't be! You don't get it, do you? I control the four most powerful parts of the universe. Time, galaxy, mind, and life. And I control all the morphs in the universe. Look at this. Hmm? So, so, so what? Who, who cares? It's over. There are more powerful beasts in this world, and I must find them. The Iron Giant swung his hand, instantly killing me. To be continued. Thank you, Simon. You have gained my trust. Thank you so much for 5 million subscribers. I don't understand. Was our hero just defeated? I thought he was the one. Well, you can't win them all. But fear not. This was not the end. I hope not. So with the Iron Giant having all four keys, what happened to the universe? That's right. Now, what follows is one of the biggest turning points and what changed the multiverse forever. You mean the Great Marriage? Just pay attention. It's been a full day since the Iron Giant has defeated the Mune Glare and acquired all four of the universe keys, giving him the power of life Time, mind, and galaxy. Now, the Iron Minions have become the most advanced faction, and it's all up to the buff cop golem to save the day. This is Hawkeye Minecraft, and I'm going to be surviving the next 100 days as a golem. Thank you, Simon. You have gained my trust. Now it is time for me to rise above the titans and harness the power of the multiverse. Time, galaxy, mind, life. 
With all four keys at my disposal, I'm merely the most powerful titan. But I will go where no one has dared to go before. Do you know what that is, Simon? No, my lord. To become a savior, true god of power. <laughs> On day one, I woke up as a buff copper golem and I couldn't move my body. I was fully oxidized and powered down. And that's when it hit me. This is where the iron giant killed my copper golems. Lexi, my best friend, Simon. It, it, it sounds like this place is about to collapse. It suddenly, a portal opened up right in front of me. I just knew that it was the end. But to my surprise, it was Walter. And he was here to save me. Walter, but what are you doing here? And it, what happened? Moose, there's no time to explain. I have to get you out of here before they show up. Who? What are you talking about? And then a ton of portals started opening up all around us. The Iron Giant had sent his minions to take us out for good, but I wasn't going down without a fight. And luckily for me, Walter brought some copper bars. You know, let me tell you, these are amazing. I have never felt more alive. So I broke out of my prison. Now that I was back to full power, I used my golem toss to get rid of the iron minions crowding me. But there was one problem. We were drastically outnumbered. So Walter opened up another portal and got us out of here safely. Then on day two, Walter took us back to the copper golem safe house. And I could barely recognize this place. There's no telling how many years have passed since the iron giant attacked. Moose, I have to go back to the glare outpost. The fight is not over yet. What? What, what do you mean, man? L let me help you. Don't worry, we'll be fine. Your fight is here. Wait, before you go, can you tell me what happened after I... I will, in due time. For now, I need you to get stronger. And just like that, Walter was gone. But I couldn't stop here or stay in the same place. If I was to get stronger, I needed to build an army, and while I was figuring out where to start my search for the other copper golems, evil plans were taking place in a not-so-distant universe. Where are the allies? Are they done yet? No, my lord. I regret to inform you. They've rebelled and fled their prison. Strange. Allies have never dared to defy my authority before. Rest assured, they'll be tracked down and be imprisoned, and their leader? Punished for his defiance. Good. I won't tolerate any more delays, Simon. You know what happened to those who disappoint me? Nothing to worry about. I have everything under control, my lord. Oh, yes. I have everything under control. Allays? It's time. <laughs> On day three, I heard the Iron Minions just walking nearby. So I quickly fled to the caves, hoping to lose their trail. I made myself a stone pickaxe and quickly gathered a bunch of resources. Coal, starting from cobblestone, tons of gold, titanium, and last but not least, copper. So I quickly smelted them into copper bars and ate them. You know, that, that was a close one. You know, losing my items absolutely sucks. Everything was going smoothly, or so I thought. And suddenly, I got attacked by some lava-looking monsters. Now, these creatures look like creepers, but if they were made of lava and had these really ugly teeth. So, I quickly crafted a lightning sword and started slaying them. Oh, no. Okay, it's, it's a spinning fire. I mean, how's it even possible? Even though they were fairly easy to take out, they just wouldn't stop spawning. And I wasn't about to waste the entire day with these annoying mobs. So, I used my bullet possibility, packed my stuff, and I zoomed out of there as fast as I could. On day four, I was scavenging across the land for materials and other golems to join my cause. When suddenly, it started pouring rain. I couldn't believe my luck. Oh no, oh no, 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 this is not good. I quickly ran over to a cave and took cover. But not long after, a bunch of iron minions just started popping out of nowhere. And there was something different about them. This is getting ridiculous. How many are there? I had to get deeper into the caves to avoid them. I wasn't strong enough to fight them all by myself. 
Nope, I found a safe spot to hide and lay down to get some rest. That same night, I had a dream. I was inside of a temple and it was dark. I, I couldn't see anything around me and then all of a sudden, the other glare appeared in front of me. Moose, I'm, I'm so, so glad, glad to see you. Elder Glare? Is, but what is what is happening? You must fulfill the prophecy, Moose. Come, Come find us. us. Well, I, I, I don't even know where to look. Then I woke up, and I was starting to get a bad feeling about this whole thing. I needed to find the Elder Glare as soon as possible. So before I left the cave, I made a bunch of lightning rods. And using gold blocks, I crafted a lightning pickaxe, a shovel, and an axe. Then I proceeded to make myself a new set of lightning armor. On days 5 and 6, I was adventuring through the swamp biome when I noticed a little snow yeti getting attacked by slimes. So I took out my lightning sword and saved him. Hey, little buddy, are you okay? It looks like you're melting. Hey, don't call me little. My name is Frosty. Uh, I'm, I'm, so, I'm sorry. Okay, man. I lost my way back home. Would you help me? Yeah, of course. I got you, buddy. It turns out that Frosty isn't even from here. He asked me to help him build a portal back to the snow universe. But there was only one problem. It required ice blocks, and I didn't even have a silk touch pickaxe. Oh, I had to get creative. We went up to the snow mountains, and turns out that we the copper golems and coldness don't get along. Our body movement slows down in snow biomes. I can't even move. I'm slower than a turtle. So without wasting much time, I found the closest patch of ice blocks big enough to carve out a 3x3 hole and placed a snow block in each corner of the portal. And to finish it up, I filled the hole with water, opening the portal to the snow dimension. Once I got everything done, we went to the frozen portal and to the snow universe. Frosty then we to his camp, where I met Crystal, the Ice Queen. I rule this world. It's been some time since the last Copper Golem joined our community. Wait, what, what do you mean? Long ago, Copper Golems found their way into our universe. While escaping the tyranny of the Iron Giant, the punishment for their escape was harsh. My lord, the prophecy says a Copper Golem will be your undoing. There's a simple solution for that. Round up and eliminate all copper golems alive. That's just the problem. They've they've escaped to another dimension, my lord. We can't find them anywhere. And you let that happen? <clears throat> they think they can escape me? Soon they'll know there's no escape from my power. Shall we muster our forces? Look for their hideout and destroy them? No need. I have the thing to do with their defiance. Let them hide. I'll make them wither. I don't understand. There are many things the likes of you will never understand. From today on, no more copper golems will be created. Their whole existence will be eradicated, just like their false prophecy. <laughs> the ice cream told me how the Iron Giant had used his powers to make it impossible to summon new copper golems. It turns out that these copper golems and myself were the last ones alive in this whole multiverse. What do you mean you won't fight against the Iron Giants? We are the last of our species. We must remain neutral in this war if we are to survive. But still, you, you can't give up. I'm afraid there isn't anything we can do. Only the meta shifter can bring peace to the multiverse. I was just really disappointed. And what's worse, the cold here was making me move even slower. But the other copper golems seemed to be doing just fine. So they showed me a way to fight the weather, which was just as simple as crafting my armor and titanium together. You know, the best part is I'm now resistant to the cold and lighter, meaning I can move faster. Look at me. Have you ever seen a copper golem move like this in the snow? Huh? On day 8 through 9, the ice queen had a secret that could help me on my mission. She said that before the snow golems became a neutral faction, they were led by a champion. But he was captured by the Iron Giant and melted as punishment for his defiance. The Iron Giant kept his head as a trophy. What we didn't know is that it still has a portal seed inside of it. The only thing is that portal seeds only work for a limited amount of time. So I need to get in and out before the clock runs out. She gave me a portal gun to open the portal seeds. It was my ticket to getting back the Morpher. It was an opportunity too good to miss. So, I made my way to the castle. As I came out of the portal, I spotted two Iron Minions guarding the area. Luckily for me, they didn't hear me. 
Who are the Iron Giants was anywhere to be seen. I'm telling you, if I get caught, it's game over. So I found the Morpher, picked it up, and made my way back. When suddenly, as I turned around, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Simon? Simon was alive and he was working for the Iron Giants. Anyways, my cover was blown and the Iron Minions were attacking me. I had to get out of there before I got captured. It was only one heart left. I barely made it out before the portal finally closed. On days 10 through 11, I was back in the Snow Globe base celebrating our victory. I thank Crystal for her help and she has something else that she wanted to give me. Take this, the Snow Golem Morph. I trust that you'll use it when the time is right. Why not join us in fighting the Iron Giants? I could use all the help that we could get. Long ago, we suffered great losses in this war. Our factions have come close to total extinction. That is a risk we are not willing to take again. They found us. Quick, the others need your help. You need to buy them some time to escape. You got it, I'm on it. I went outside to defend the camp from the army of Iron Minions. At least until some of the golems could escape to safety. That's when I met the Lightning Golem. With his smash and spin ability, he was overpowering the golems like it was nothing. Well, it looks like I'm not the only one getting some allies. So I equipped my Morpher and tried to use the Snow Golem Morph. But I was limited to only having four. So I had to make do with the ones I already had. Starting with the Fox. Come on, tail whip! Oh, come on! Yes! It's working! We were getting overrun, but I needed to buy more time for the golems to escape the camp. I knocked back the enemies and faced the lightning golem head on. So this wasn't working. I wasn't doing any damage to him. And with his spin and smash abilities, my health was rapidly getting low. No matter how many minions we fought, they just kept attacking. And as we were outnumbered, we really had one option. Retreat. <laughs> On days 12 through 14, we were on the run, looking for a way out of the snow universe and away from the Iron Minions. Let me just tell you something. Being orange in a world where everything is snow doesn't make hiding easy. We needed to get out of there and fast. You see, this right here is our only ticket out of here. Everybody, come on, get inside. We went through the portal and back to my world. I gotta say, it feels so good not being cold for a change. Well, we were safer now, but the snow and copper golems needed a place to live and I needed a new base. I'm sorry that your home got destroyed, guys. The Iron Giants might have you tracked down. You're right. The Iron Giant will not rest until he's found every single one of us. We will help you build a new base here and fight, Moose. Seriously? That would be amazing. Thank you so much. It seemed like everywhere I go, destruction follows. But I didn't have time to feel sorry for myself because the Ice Queen had more leads for me. I have another lead for you. You need to build a portal to the spirit world. The spirit world? That's where you'll find the answers to defeating the Iron Giant. What the ice queen said was true, and this will be a major step in winning this battle. But first, I needed to build a new base. I first started by digging out a 50 by 50 radius for a large lava pool. And yes, I know, this will burn, but honestly, I'm going with the flow. Bridging out to the center, I built the walls using cobblestone, andesite, and stone bricks. I made sure the walls had a walkway for a patrol force. And that way, we won't get attacked by surprise. As for the tower tops, I used copper blocks. And in honor of all the fallen copper golems, I added a copper golem head on the courtyard. Then I built a blacksmith station and a storage deposit on the sides of the courtyard to keep our soldiers armed and to store all the important resources that we gather. And I still felt a bit guilty about the snow golem's base getting destroyed. So I built an icy throne room for crystal in the main building. Interior is always the hardest. All the walls I built with dripstone, combined with diorite for the background. Now, for my favorite part, the kitchen. I used chains and stone brick walls for the oven vents. And next was the bedroom. First up was mine, so I used warped logs, bookshelves, and leaves. And then I figured that I should probably build Frosty a room too, especially because I'm growing fond of the little guy. For his room, I used chisel ice bricks for the walls, packed ice blocks for the floor, and I even made him a nice and comfy bed made with stone blocks. Look at it. It's literally a castle. Let's call this the Copper Fortress. On day 15, I set out to gather the materials that I needed for the spirit portal. First, I built the portal to the nether to get some soul sand and soul blocks. I can't remember the last time I was in the nether. It, it, it's been a while. As I was mining the blocks, I saw something weird in the distance. It was piglins and hoglins apparently living together. Now, that is not to say the least. Nope, I mined up all the soul blocks that I needed and then I went back home. Well, at 
Anyways, it was finally time to build a portal to Spirit World. Now, I didn't really know what to expect on the other side, so anyways, I went through it. And as I passed through, I was met with a enchanted forest. It was all kinds of spirits, foxes, pandas, and chickens. So it even glares. As I entered the enchanted forest, I was approached by an alley holding a copper bar. I had the feeling that he was trying to tell me something. So I followed him to the forest and came across what looked like an altar. Wow, check this place out. Wait, wait who is that at the top? Again, I couldn't believe what my eyes were seeing. It was Simon, and, and the last time I saw him, he was working for the Iron Giant. Hey, I, I thought you were, I thought you were working for him. How could you do that, man? We, we were supposed to be brothers. That's not me. That's Simon from another universe. An evil one. An evil Simon? I, I mean, I, I guess that kind of makes sense. So does that mean that you're dead? Yes, but I still have one thing left to do before I can rest. And what, what exactly is that? Simon said that I was the chosen one, just like the Elder Glare once said to me. He said that I need to fulfill my prophecy, and I must find the glares within the ancient ruins in the overworld, and get a hold of the Metamorpher. Only then, I will be able to restore balance in the multiverse. I fulfilled my duty! Now, I can go and rest in peace. Goodbye, Moose! And just like that, Simon levitated up in the air and slowly disappeared before my eyes. Farewell, buddy! I'll avenge you and, and, and everyone who suffered. If anyone was a true hero, that will be him. So I went back home to the rest of the golems and built a statue out of hay to honor my best friend, Simon. On days 18 to 21, I went to the ancient ruins following the map that Simon gave me. After going in, I found a huge door and right inside, there was a diamond ancient golem standing in front of the ruins. Welcome, Copper One. I've been expecting you. You've been expecting me? Why? It's not important. All of this was foretold. I... Uh, okay? You must pass our test to prove your worthiness. He, he didn't look like he was going to give me any answers. So once inside, I met another ancient golem. And this one was made of obsidian. Welcome, Copper Golem. For this challenge, you must go through this maze and survive. Find your way out, as it's your fate. This maze was made with obsidian, with little vines coming off the sides. If I wanted to break through using my pickaxe, it just wouldn't be so easy. Nope, I went through the maze and fought these skeletons. You're calling this a challenge? Give me a break. After going through the maze, I met the ancient diamond golem once again. And he was guarding yet another portal. Nope, I went through for my next challenge. On the other side, there was another ancient golem waiting for me. Yeah, 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 I know. I'm, I must complete the challenge. It's my fate and all that. I understand. I was honestly getting pretty sick of everybody just talking about my fate. But I had to focus on the challenge. I had to parkour this bastion all the way to the top. If I took one wrong step, I'll be done for. Me. And finally, I reached the ancient shrine within the ruins. At the entrance, there was Walter just waiting for us. Hello, Moose. I've been expecting you. Walter, what are you doing here? I'm here to speak to the Elder Glare. Hey, what's with those weird golems outside? Ah, uh, yes, the ancient guardians. They are as old as these ruins. Their mission is to guard this place until the meta shifter comes. Oh, I see. As for the Elder Glare, I'm afraid he is no longer with us, but he knew you would come. You mean he's gone? But Now come with me. I have something to give you. We walked inside the shrine and found a secret village filled with glares everywhere. It turns out that they've been living inside this place for hundreds of years. And Walter has been the one keeping them safe. You can see that he became the new Elder Glare. Moose, take this. It is time for you to fulfill your destiny. Walter gave me the metamorpher. And unlike the old one, I was no longer bound to only four forms. I could finally turn myself into any faction. So I became the buff snow golem. Okay, all right, my, my bad. I guess the glares don't like that. Though the Elder Glare is no longer with us, his wisdom still guides our path. Your destiny will take you to other universes. I finally understood what my purpose was, to become the Meta Shifter. When the Iron Giant first rose to power, the animal factions were among the first to rebel. So they were made an example for all who would consider defying him. What did he do to them? He wiped them out completely from our universe. There's not a single one of them left. I was shocked. I knew the Iron Giant was evil, but to completely exterminate all animals from the universe, he's got to pay for all this. I said goodbye to Walter and the glares. 
And as I was leaving, I noticed these three ancient golems following me. Hey, why are you following me? Our purpose was to fight for the meta shifter. Okay, uh, that's kind of cool. Well, anyways, come with me and let's go to the Copper Fortress. 20 with the 25, although this fortress looked impenetrable, I didn't want to risk it. Nope, I started to work on upgrading our defenses. First up, I set up some TAT cannons. Nothing too complicated, just some black stone, dispensers, redstone, levers, and the most important part, the TNT. Then I prepared some cobweb piles in strategic places to slow down invaders in case of an attack. I rigged some TNT traps around the perimeter of the fortress with some gravel and pressure plates. The best way to take out a whole bunch of enemies is to throw them in a pit and blow them up. I also set up some poisonous arrow turrets. They probably won't outright kill anyone, but it will deal enough damage to finish them off. Last but not least, I need to do something about this wall doesn't matter how strong i make it it just seems that the iron giant can just cut through it like it's nothing so i had an idea how about lava walls i got on top of the walls and filled it with lava and boom anyone trying to get across or over it will be melting once everything was ready it was finally time to go to the parallel universe that walter spoke of he said the way to get there was by building a lightning portal which is basically a platform made with copper blocks and four massive lightning rods Eventually, a storm came, so I stood in the middle of the structure and hoped that it wouldn't blow me up into copper nuggets. Kids, don't try this at home. I opened my eyes, and all I could see is white. As the light dissolved, I found myself in a world that looked just like mine, but felt different. It was a mountain with four animal faces. Pretty cool if you ask me. Maybe I'll do the same back home using golem faces. I walked into a village where cats, dogs, sheep, and goats all lived and worked together in harmony. Look at this adorable kitten. Hey, kitty, kitty, kitty. Come here, buddy. Bruh. That's rude. You can't say that to me. Oh, uh, my bad. I'm just new here. Sorry about that. I went to the center of the village before I got surrounded by warriors from all the species. And they had never seen a copper golem before. But luckily, a sheep priest stepped in. There's no need for violence. He's the copper one that the Elder Glare spoke about. Uh, yeah, but whatever he said. Come, copper one. There's much to discuss. Turns out, the Elder Glare had already been to this universe. Now that is thinking ahead. Anyways, the sheep priest told me that the universe had been preparing for my arrival and that they only needed some time to get their army ready. But for now, they had the morphs that I was looking for. The sheep priest walked us to a room with three other priests, one from each animal faction, and they all handed me a morph, starting from the sheep, then the goat morph, the cat morph, and lastly, the dog morph. And with all of these, I was holding the power of nine different factions. I have never felt this strong. After speaking with a priest, it took me to a house so I could spend the night. And you would think that the animals would have this village guarded, but no. That doesn't apply to the Pillager King. Ah, uh, uh, the, the zombie Pillager King. Uh -huh. He kind of did this to me before. So, you're the chosen one. The Iron Giant thinks you're some kind of a threat. What? Uh, uh, how did you get in here? My horde of zombie pillagers have been waiting to shear some animals. I'll be seeing you soon. Yeah? Well, you won't be sharing nothing! The village was being raided by the zombie pillager king. Within seconds, the raid horn went off, and the zombie pillagers stormed the entire village. No, oh, this is not good! There's so many of them! When we were occupied defending the village, the zombie pillager king was randomly killing sheep. This dude was extremely powerful. The animal warriors could barely put a dent on him. You really think you stand a chance? The Iron Giant's curse makes me invincible! <laughs> I kept fighting, but my buff abilities and attacks were barely doing any damage. I'm tired of this. You're not much of a chosen one, to be honest. <laughs> the zombie pillager king had teleported away. Suddenly, the sheep priest told me something that would help me get rid of him. He and his zombies have been plaguing us for a while now. Yeah, but why? One day, we heard a huge explosion under the city in the old mines, and they just started raiding us. The old mines? I think I have an idea. Eventually, I found him. The zombie pillager king was in a room at the very bottom of the mine, and next to him was a bunch of ender crystals. That must have been the source of the explosion the sheep priest heard. The iron giant must have found a way to bind souls back to the bodies through the crystals. So, you have found our little secret. Uh, 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 come on, you're, you're entering my personal space. I wonder if you'll still have a sense of humor once you're zombified. Yeah, how about no? 
You're going down. I started fighting with the zombie pillager king, but my theory was correct. I couldn't do anything to him. He was basically immortal until I destroyed those crystals. And what's worse, on top of his teleporting and summoning more zombie pillagers, the king could shoot me with fireballs coming from his staff. You really think that a bunch of zombie pillagers are going to stop me? The army tried cornering me, but I turned into the buff goat and used my charge ability to move fast and do some serious damage before I was surrounded. I then tried to make a beeline for the crystals, but the zombie pillager king hit me with a couple of fireballs, so I had to take cover. Okay, this is not good. I, I got to think of something. Ran out of ideas? How disappointing. <laughs> That's kind of funny. You know, coming from the Iron Giant's lapdog. I'm nobody's lapdog. <laughs> it looks like I hit a nerve there. He went insane and started shooting his fireballs everywhere. All I had to do was get in front of the crystals, and before too long, he had blown up all of them. The Pillager King had lost all of his powers, but before I took him down, he had something else to say. Finally, my soul is free. And finally, with the defeat of the zombie pillager king, all of his minions started dying and the village was safe. This victory was all I needed to get my confidence back. And with these morphs, I was ready to go back home. Once I got back to the fortress, I wanted to talk to Crystal. Before I could get to her, a series of explosions started happening from the outside. Oh, what is that? I got to the higher ground to check out what was happening. It was a huge army of iron minions surrounding the fortress. The TNT cannons and the poisonous arrow dispensers were also taking a lot of the minions down. But the army was so massive, it barely made a dent on their numbers. Something about this just feels wrong. I agree. This attack is a distraction of some sort. <laughs> it was the iron giant. He looked like a demon, and he was flying over, blowing my defenses with his titan ability and summoning his iron minions inside the fortress. <laughs> I've waited far too long to end this rebellion. Go, Moose. I'll stay back. Gather your allies and fulfill your destiny. Go! What? No, I, I can't leave you alone. The diamond golem had no chance against the demon iron giant. As we tried to get away, we were ambushed by iron robots. So I became the buff panda and used the spin kick ability, while the nether and obsidian golems used their golem toss abilities to keep the others busy. Come on, this way! I gave the portal gun a crystal and asked her to get the other golems out of here. Making a fortress was a mistake. You guys gotta keep moving. Staying here is way too dangerous. Take this! You'll need it to get more allies and morphs. We're all counting on you. Immediately, I turned into the buff snow golem. And using my snow abilities, I led them outside far away from the fortress. Hey, over here, come and get me. Once far enough, I ran into a cave to lose them. It was getting rather dark till I couldn't even see a thing. And then all of a sudden, I started falling into the void. I woke up somewhere dark and I could barely see anything. This place was filled with these skulks everywhere. There's only one place like this, Sam. That's a deep dark. Uh, how did I even get here? I brought you here. What do you want from me? Did you save me? I have a challenge for you. Survive, and I will aid you with the Warden Morph. I really didn't like the guy, but I wasn't about to refuse the chance to get the Warden Morph. Are you ready? Yeah, let's just get this over with. The King Warden summoned a bunch of skulk zombies to attack me. They tried swarming me. It was a close quarter fight, so I needed to be really agile. I quickly turned to the buff cat and started taking them down using my cat slash ability. You can't even kill me and you definitely can't touch me. What's the matter? Too slow? It ended up being easier than I expected. And at the end, the King Warden actually kept his word and gave me the morpher. Thanks, but why did you help me and what are you up to? For no reason. But who knows what the future holds? And just like that, I was teleported back to the overworld. I made my way to the Copper Fortress and found some Iron Minions just still lingering around. I turned in to the Buff Warden and unleashed all of its power. I could use the Warden Rush ability, which made me faster and launched my enemies a hundred blocks up. <laughs> I hope you're not afraid of heights. Oh, that's gotta hurt. After getting rid of them, I checked out what Crystal had given me before. 
and it was a map to an inactive volcano. Apparently, this is where I'll find some gilded blackstone to build a portal to the space dimension. On days 47 to 52, we followed the map, leading me to an island. And as I was getting closer, I started to hear hammering, but there weren't any villagers. Are those anvils? What is going on? I heard the sound from the inside of the mountain. Nope, I mined all the way through and found myself in a crafting room surrounded by copper golems. Who are ya? What are you doing here? Hey, I have no trouble with you. I'm just, I'm just looking for some Guild of Blackstone. How do you know this? Did the Iron Giant say to you? What? No, no, he's my enemy. I, I, I'm just trying to take him down. You must be him. Follow me. And that's when I met Roberto. He's the leader of the Rebellion faction. We've been expecting you, Meta Shifter. Everyone who opposes the Iron Giant is a friend of ours. Turns out that over a hundred years ago, there was a group of copper golems that stood up against the Iron Giants. But they failed, and they hid inside of this mountain. They mined up and became master engineers, developing powerful weapons. Wow, now that looks insane. So, what is it? These are called mechs. And once they're fully ready, they'll be a weapon against the Iron Giant. These copper golems are literally on another level. With their power and numbers, we can definitely stand a chance against our enemy. So I asked the leader to join forces, and he agreed. Suddenly, there was a big explosion, and Messenger came running into the cave. He said that the Iron Giant's army had finally come full force. Oh no, the mechs aren't fully ready for combat yet. Roberto, I got this. Let me and the boys hold them off. You just gotta get things ready for us. The Iron Minions had broken in, and along with them was the Nether Monstrosity. This guy looked completely terrifying. He was shooting magma all around the place. Where are these golems coming from? We were surrounded and being attacked from all sides. So we had to divide our forces. Oh no, our golems are being overrun. I quickly morphed into the buff dog and saved my copper golems just in time. Using my bite ability, I dealt some real damage to the front line of minions. Whoa, who was that? Well, at this point, the dog morph wasn't gonna cut it. We got a problem. This is definitely not working. So we retreated back and luckily Roberto had some good news. It's ready! Hurry! You know, now this will definitely do. Here we go. I hopped inside of the mecha and bombarded the enemies with my lasers, shredding apart the iron robots. Mechas, now this is the future. Now, the nether monstrosity was extremely tough. He engulfed the entire place in lava. And as a copper golem, I ain't trying to melt into no nuggets. Take this! You see, not so nice, is it? I destroyed the last of the iron robots and caused another monstrosity to retreat. And just like that, we won the battle. On days 57 to 61, we were ready to go to the space dimension. Let me tell you, having other copper golems helping me out made a huge difference. And the portal was ready in no time. Frosty, this is it. Watch my back. So, there we were. In the middle of nowhere, just a bunch of planets and meteors floating around in the never-ending void of space. Wow, this place looks amazing. Oh, whoa! Watch your step. I'm pretty sure if you fall down there, you're just gonna fall into the void. We walked around for a bit and then spotted this huge ancient moon castle. As we got closer, we could hear the sound of something hitting the metal. As we walked inside, we made our way to the central chamber. And there, we met the owner of the place, Mighty Titan, known as the Ancient Blacksmith Forger. Look at this, we got a big guy. Who dares? Calm down, I'm just here for an upgrade. You, you are the copper one. Turns out, he was exiled by the Iron Giant, and he wasn't his biggest fan. He said that he would craft me the strongest armor in the entire multiverse. But first, I need to get some of this Methonium ore. So, off I went, hopping from one space rock to another, and mined as much as I needed. Have you ever seen a moose mining space rocks? Hmm, I, be I bet you haven't. So, hit the subscribe button, moose to the moon. When that was done, we gotta watch the Titan Forgerer do his thing and make this legendary Titan armor. I bless you with the Titan armor. This will truly put you ahead of the gods. Thank you. Great gift, but hopefully I don't die. So I equipped the Titan armor. And if you thought that now that I was strong, you ain't seen nothing. It turns out, Methonian is a mysterious material that can deflect all elements. 
Super sweet, right? It was time to go back and start planning our attack. But not before the Titan Forger said that I need to form an alliance with the Pig Tribe. Yeah, I'm talking about the Piglins and Hoglins. So we went back home and opened a new portal to the Nether. As we crossed the portal, poor little Frosty was suffocating in the Nether. So he went back and waited for my return. As I wandered around the Nether, I was unexpectedly ambushed by the Piglins. Oh, uh, I come in peace. <laughs> Yeah, uh, sorry, bro. I don't speak bacon. I need to uh, meet uh, your leader. Yes, your leader. Then you're in luck, chosen one. So the hoglin leader took me to the main camp. As I looked around, I saw tons of hoglins and piglins. This time, they were surprisingly friendly. I asked for their help, and they said they were willing to help, but only on one condition. I gotta defeat their leader. Well, I guess we have a challenge then. I followed them to an arena. And right there in front of everyone, I had to fight this big piece of bacon. The nether rumbled in excitement. It was go time, and I was hungry. Now, the Hoglin chief wasn't messing around. And as soon as the fight started, he used his horn rush ability against me. Nope, okay. If it gets me with that ability, I'm done for. I needed to be on my toes. So I turned into the buff box and kept dodging him as he charged me while using the tail whip ability as counter. Only thing is, I wasn't really making a dent on him. Are you kidding me? It's like I'm not even hitting him. So I decided to change my strategy and fight fire with fire. I turned in to the buff warden and took advantage of the crazy amount of hearts. The Hoglin Chief kept charging at me, slowly damaging me. But finally, he fell into my trap and I used the warden rush ability. Honestly, he stood no chance. From all the damage I dealt to him, the Hoglin boss was weakened enough to be knocked out of my final punch. To my surprise, the Hoglin actually liked that I totally beat up their leaders and even threw us a big party. Apparently, they knew about the prophecy and someone capable of beating their strongest was part of it. The next day, the Hoglin boss spoke about a legendary battle axe. Another part of the prophecy, he mentioned that it was located somewhere in the Nether Bastion. And this isn't your typical bastion, but the hunting grounds of the Winter Storm. He's been plaguing this big tribe for years. So I decided to give them a hand. When I got there, I was almost immediately attacked by the Wither Storm. It's like this thing knew that I was coming. He hit me with some of his Wither Skulls, instantly damaging me. I needed to get out of his line of fire if I wanted to survive. No, I gotta hand it to him. The fight had barely even started, and he almost took me out. This is bad. Okay, I, I, I face stronger enemies, but this is really bad. There was no way that I could get close to him without getting hit again. I turned to the buff chicken and used the feather arrow's ability to hit it from a distance. Come on, feather arrow! Take this! Okay, I gotta keep staying away from him. After doing some damage, he became invulnerable and tried to regain health. So I decided that it was time to close the distance and finish the fight. I turned into the buff panda and went right at him with a speaking ability, all while dodging his attacks. See you later, Wither. Now, this must be the chest. Now, was this little bit amazing? I got myself the legendary battle axe and the wither morph. Ah, I gotta say, it honestly brings back so many memories. Just look at me. You know, I hope they don't freak out when they see me. The Hoglin leader rewarded me for finally granting peace to him and his tribe. He promised me that if I ever needed their help, I could always count on them. Though I said my farewells and headed back to the overworld. On day 72 to 73, I was back at the Rebel Faction base, and I remembered that when I ate a copper wrench, I became the buff copper golem. So what if I did the same with Methonium ingot? Oh, I asked one of the copper blacksmiths to make me a Methonium wrench. Here it is, the Methonium wrench. Well, time to see what happens. Now this is what I call superfood. I transformed into the Titan Golem, fused with the power of Methonium. I was this huge four-armed ancient golem. On top of being bigger, faster, and stronger, I now had control over lightning. So I went outside to test out my new abilities. I now could shoot lightning bolts and summon lightning storms over my enemies. Now this is insane. I'm like Zeus, but the moose version, or I guess the copper version. Did you get the point? I also have a copper punch ability where I use all four of my arms to punch my enemies fast, dealing tons of damage and knocking them back. On day 74 to 80, I saw a dolphin jumping in and out of water in a world of hostility and destruction. 
dolphins somehow still managed to have grace. So peaceful. Hey, Moose, I think the dolphin wants us to follow him. I think you're right, but... I have an idea. For a little guy that only eats snowballs, Frosty was surprisingly smart. You see, when you feed dolphin fish, it leads you to treasure. So I'm open to the buff dog, and off we went. Following this random dolphin to a random treasure. But it wasn't treasure that we were going to. Instead, the dolphin took us to this massive city with huge axolotl and dolphin heads. Hey, Frosty, I know that place. It's Atlantis. Okay, but what's those things? They look ugly. Okay, hold on a second. They're not regular fish. They're actually axolotls. They're like curious creatures and they must live here. That one looks even uglier. As soon as I turned my head, an axolotl stopped and stared at us. And let me tell you, I got some bad vibes from this guy. This guy seems friendly, but still really ugly. Bro, do you have something against axolotls? They're just fish. I have a shrimp allergy. Ah, uh, makes sense. We didn't have a lot of time. It was literally the end of the world after all. So we swam inside and we were greeted by an old friend, King Atlan. Wow, this place is massive. Moose, who is that? Moose, old friend. I'm glad my dolphin led you here safely. Honestly, I'm just glad that you're still ruling Atlantis. Thanks to you. I have something to tell you. Uh, what was that? Dolphins, go up there and check what's happening. I'm sorry to have to ask more from you, my friend. Don't worry, I'm on it. I left the room in a hurry. I needed to find out what was happening. I couldn't afford to lose the support of King Atlan. So I followed the guards outside and we came across some aggressive axolotls. I was out of my elements, but I couldn't stand there and do nothing. So I helped the guards fight the axolotls. I couldn't let them get inside of the room and hurt King Atlan. But before we took them all out, the mean looking axolotl that I met before interrupted the fight. And next to him was evil Simon. Simon, what are you doing here? To find the Iron Giant is a bad move. I'm just looking out for the axolotl's future, am I right? Evil Simon had manipulated a section of the axolotl into starting a rebellion against King Atlan. Don't let this guy fool you. The Iron Giant is evil. What I hear for a debate, you know what you have to do. Take this as a show of what the Iron Giant can do for you. Evil Simon handed some sort of a tropical fish to the axolotl. And as he ate it, it started to transform into a hideous, mutated axolotl. What? What did you do to him? I'm just unlocking his potential. <laughs> I quickly equipped the legendary battle axe to defend myself. It was a tough fight, but I didn't want to risk morphing into something more powerful and breaking the dome. Axolotls might be able to breathe underwater, but I can't. Whoa, this guy's as powerful as he is ugly. Come on, Frosty, stop provoking him. I was in a pretty tough spot, but luckily for me, my reinforcements started showing up, and the rebel axolotls had to surrender. The coup had failed. You have saved Atlantis once again. Thank you. I couldn't let you down. All Atlanteans owe you, Moose. Well, um, you know, I came here because... Yes, I know. You do? King Atlan explained that he knew about the multiverse. And since we helped him save Atlantis once again, it's only right to have the axolotls and dolphins stand by us in battle. And he also gave me this dolphin morph. I still had something else to do. I needed to track down the other guardian and ask for his morph. King Atlan pointed me to where I should go and gave me something to bring to the other guardian. A clam? Seriously? It's not just any clam, trust me. You'll need it when you meet the elder guardian. So I turned to the buff dolphin and went on my way. Eventually, I reached an ocean monument, which of course had a lot of drowned and guardians wanting to attack us. But I wasn't there for them. I needed to find the other guardian. Talk about a bad location for a living space. After defeating a couple of drowned zombies, I was greeted by the King Elder Guardian, and he ruled this part of the ocean down to the last coral. He said that he's been expecting my arrival. However, he couldn't just give up his morph unless I was to complete one of his challenges. If you want the morph, you'll have to find the three clams that open the vault. It's in these locations. Wait, like this clam? Ah, I see you already have one. Good. Well, having the support of the Atlanteans will certainly help fulfill your destiny. Now, look for the other two clams, and my morph will be yours. 
He gave me two maps. The first one took me to the deep sea. And I had never been to a place like this before. It was like a another planet. I found a sunken ship and the first clam was inside it. But nothing is ever easy. And as soon as I went in, a bunch of drowned enemies started attacking me. I'm really starting to get tired of you guys. Those drowned enemies never stood a chance. So after taking them down, I went on my way to find the second clam. Now, how on earth am I going to open a vault door with clams? Meh. Well, I guess I'll cross the bridge when I get there. The second map took me to the coral reef, and it was a beautiful place. But even though it was colorful, it, it didn't mean it was dangerous. And all of a sudden, I was attacked by a white shark. I tried defending myself, but that thing must have had tons of hearts. No matter how many times I hit it, it just wouldn't go away. <laughs> what, what are you even made of? So, I decided to avoid attacks with the superior agility of the buff dolphin and focus on finding the clam and getting out of there. I finally found the clam and swam out of there. That shark is gonna have to find someone else to eat. So I got back to the Elder Guardian and gave him the clams. You've done well. The vault is now unlocked. I went inside of the vault and got the Elder Guardian morph. Now this is a powerful morph. I'm getting stronger and stronger by the day. Oh, I went outside and found some drowned enemies to test my new laser beam ability. And I gotta say, it is crazy powerful. Just with one shot, I could take down almost every enemy I face. And just like that, the finale is getting closer and closer. Soon, I'll be able to gather my army and face the Iron Giant. I went inside of the portal and was teleported to the end. Instantly, the dragon attacked me, engulfing me in flames. He rushed at me, throwing me onto the battlefield, and all the enemy around surrounded me. Honestly, I was just confused about what was happening, but the inner dragon was ferocious. What's wrong? Can't handle a little fire? I struck him with my lightning bolts, but it was rendered useless. It turns out that lightning and fire just doesn't have any effect on him. So, as the dragon kept his distance, I used my abilities to hope jump onto the platforms, inflicting some serious damage by smashing his crystals. Then, using my bullet toss ability, I brought the beast down to the ground, enriching him by throwing a series of rapid punches. Come on, what's wrong? I've been running out of fuel so soon. The dragon let out the loudest roar that I ever heard. He was angered beyond reason. He quickly flew up in the sky and covered the battlefield with a shower of meteorites, nearly taking me out. I just knew that he was reaching his limit. So I quickly turned in to the buff chicken and used my feather arrows to help finish the job. And finally, I transformed back into myself, destroying him with the final hit, my legendary weapon. You have proven yourself worthy. Take this and put an end to this war. Ah, yo, ah, see what you did there? Just put an end because that, this is, uh, you know what? Uh, never mind. Moose, you must be prepared. You still have so much to learn the truth about the Metamorpher. Let's just hope it's not too late. Wait, please, just tell me more. We need your help. I can't interfere beyond this dimension. You are on your own. And just like that, I officially unlocked the full power of the Metamorpher, finally being able to morph into the Buff Dragon. The road here has been hard. You've all lost so many friends. You were exiled and forgotten. No more. The rule of the Iron Giant ends today. We will be free again. Free of his evil spirits and powers. We're almost there. We're the strongest army in the whole multiverse. And we'll prove to him that he's not invincible. Are you with me? On my signal, attack. With the sound of a horn, all rebel forces had risen. Rage powered through everyone's veins. We marched to the Iron Giant's castle, and all the way at the top, there he stood, the giant himself. He too was prepared. We took down most of the first layer, but just as soon as we were done, twice as many minions came out from the sides of the castle. Oh no, there's too many of them. Don't let up. We have to hold the line. Moose, use the Titan Golem power. 
Yes, that's a great idea. I turned back to the buff Tiny Golem and summoned a thunderstorm. It took down a lot of them, but they kept attacking. How is there still more? Just everybody stand your ground. Wow, thanks. I, I really needed this. The minions might not be powerful, but their numbers meant it was really hard to break through them. Everybody, get the makers in position. The Rebel Copper Golems saved us just in time. He engulfed the battlefield with lasers. Just keep pushing. We're almost at the wall. Just as we were getting more confident, the giant sent in a secret line of defense. It was a bunch of mini iron giants, bigger and way more powerful. Wait, what are they doing? Oh no, meteors, watch out. We marched into the castle, but suddenly we were cut off by an army of iron cyclops. You go, Moose. We'll hold him off. Just finish this. While Crystal and Frosty held the Cyclops, me and my ancient golem guards went deeper into the castle. As we made our way to the central chamber, the lightning golem and the nether monstrosity made their appearance. We're more than capable to hold our own against these things. Our best bet is for you to go for the Iron Giant himself. While the nether and obsidian golems held them off, I made my way to the Iron Giants. I could feel his power lurking in the room. I quickly locked eyes with the giant as soon as I reached his throne room. I'm gonna give you one last chance to surrender. <laughs> Do you really believe you stand a chance? But haven't you heard? I was chosen to overrule you. Fool, you can't even comprehend what would happen if you struck me down. You're about to get a sense of what real power looks like. With the power of the galaxy key, the giant knocked me back so hard, punched me into different dimensions and his powers will be not my imagination. And just when he's about to take me out, a couple of dog and cat guards came to my aid. While they created a distraction, I quickly regenerated and turned into the buff Elder Guardian, flooding the room with my abilities. The Iron Giants took the guards out in one swing, but they bought me enough time to line up my laser beam ability and hit him. Except the giant didn't seem phased by it. He started flying while keeping his distance and shooting at me with his spells. I'm getting bored over here. Is this all you can do? You're getting bored? Or are you just struggling to take me out? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <laughs> I quickly turned into the buff Wither and used my Wither Skull ability to bring him down. Although it looked like I weakened him, it didn't take him too long to fly back into the castle. He was using the Mind Key to create an illusion of himself. So I had to figure out which one was real. Enough of this. Stop playing games with me! I can do this all day! Ha 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 ha! What did you hope to accomplish with that petty move? Not gonna lie, it's been fun playing this little game of ours. It's about time I put an end to this. Felix? No, not this again. I'm gonna make you pay for all you've done. As I broke free from his time spell, I rushed towards him with all my powers. When all of a sudden, he punched me so hard and knocked me back. Sure how you broke free. Not that it matters, your time is nearly over. The Iron Giant switched back to his laser guns and sprayed the battlefield with his lasers. I used the Dragon Morph to quickly get off the ground and attacked him with a shower of meteorites. Then it seemed to have done the trick. I landed and morphed back to my copper self, whipping out my legendary battle axe to finish this off. You stubborn little golem. Simon, it's time to show our little friend what I'm really capable of. It is time to put our secret plan to work. <laughs> as soon as Simon pushed the remote, the Iron Giant started powering up, but something was wrong. He was producing some weird energy, almost like he was leaking power, and suddenly he was breaking apart. Simon, what is the meaning of this? I took the liberty of making some small adjustments to your latest upgrade. You little... You thought you were so powerful. You never even noticed weak little me planning your downfall all along. You see, you wanted to become the most powerful being in existence. 
only problem is, your body can't sustain this power. Even gods can be killed. Evil Simon had betrayed him. Though I doubt, he did it out of the good of his heart. The Iron Giant was getting more and more unstable until his body just gave in. After the death of the Iron Giant, all of his minions started to shut down, while his monsters slowly disappeared and his spells lost their effect. It's finally over. Yeah, we're alive! Victory is ours! <laughs> the prophecy has been fulfilled. We had won the battle, but turns out the Iron Giant wasn't exactly completely done with us. His energy got released by his defeat, and everything started to shake. I thought the castle was going to collapse, but something even bigger was collapsing. The world was changing before my eyes. The animal world, space dimension, the spirit world, they were all bleeding into my own universe, and the multiverse was becoming one single huge metaverse. Honestly though, I wasn't exactly sure what this meant, but what I did know, that this is a brand new world, and there's a lot of factions they are gonna have to learn to live together. They all think I'm just a little straw golem. Too weak to even hurt someone. Fools. I will show them what ultimate power looks like. Alice. You know what to do. <laughs> well, that explains a lot of things. This is what defined the new metaverse. That's correct, but it's certainly not the end. But wasn't the Iron Giant defeated once and for all? Yes, but the Giant were merely a pawn in the grand scheme of things. His decision led to his downfall and creation of an unstoppable force, Simon. Let's look at the next chapter in our hero's journey. The Legend of the Buff Axolotl. Imagine being a cute axolotl? For the next 100 days, in a world controlled by the mutant Axolotl, he plans to spread a virus, transforming all life forms into mutants. If he succeeds, he will have full control of the underwater kingdom, known as Atlantis. This is Hardcore Minecraft, and I'm going to be surviving the next 100 days as an Axolotl. On day one, I spawned in as a baby axolotl in the depths of the lush caves. Surrounded by a group of other axolotls of all different kinds. We swam through and walked above the surface whenever and wherever we wanted. We the axolotls are an adorable passive faction, almost friendly with everybody, except for the squids. We absolutely hate the squids. I don't know why, we just do. Take this, you dumb looking squid! Don't let any of them live. I know, savage, but if there's something we love doing more than anything else, then we'll be swimming with bubbles. I don't know what all the fuzz is about, but let me tell you something. This is extremely satisfying. And as the days came to an end, it was time for us to regain our strength. So together, we prayed and hunted for tropical fish as one big family. Come on, get the boys, get all the fish you can. Tonight, we feast, my friends. And just as we caught the last fish, our elders warned us about a cave. One that led to a mine shaft full of dangerous mobs. Okay, now that's a bad idea. With only four hearts, I'm just gonna die. So we celebrated the day's catch, and we settled down for the night. On day two, I met Bluey, a rare axolotl. He didn't seem afraid of anything. He was popular among the others. So Bluey told me about a secret place, one only our elders knew about. Come on, Moose. There's something I want to show you. Uh, okay. Uh, where are you taking me? He led me to a cave that our elders warned us about. What they didn't say is that this is the same cave that also leads into the open ocean. It was huge compared to the lush caves. You know, these fish right here could feed all of us for months. We started exploring and hunting different schools of fish. And suddenly I started to feel a little bit weird. And boom, we turned into adult axolotls. Yes, look at us. We, we don't look like shrimps anymore. After a long day of adventuring, Bluey and I were heading back home. When suddenly, we ran into a group of drowned. I was about to make a run for it, but Bluey wasn't moving. Bluey, buddy, are, are you okay? 
Shut up and trust me. Just play dead like me. The drowned spotted us and hit me with his trident. I quickly stopped and played dead. Surprisingly, it worked. Turns out that playing dead not only makes hostile mobs lose interest, but it also grants regeneration one, healing over time. Well, what can I say? This is one broken ability, but I'll take it. After returning home, our elders delivered some bad news. They said that the tropical fish have stopped spawning in the lush caves, making our food more scarce by the day. Don't worry, guys. I got you. Here, take some of mine. I, I got plenty. But don't ask where I got it from. On day three, Louis wanted to go back to the cave, but this time he wanted to explore the mine shaft. Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. There, there could be mobs in there. Come on. What are you? A sea chicken? We'll be fine. I couldn't let him think that I was a coward. Besides, we already explored the ocean and how bad could it be? When we got there, we saw all sorts of things. There was bridges, spider webs, and even some minecarts with chests. When suddenly, some zombies and spiders found us. Even worse, we were almost out of air. Quick, Louie, we gotta run. Come on, this way. We managed to dodge their attacks, but not before a creeper suddenly fell in front of us. The explosion caused gravel to fall and block off the exit to the ocean. At the last second, we barely made it back into the water. Maybe exploring the caves wasn't a good idea after all. The next day, Louie and I returned to the mine shaft to gather some wood, then crafted ourselves a stone pickaxe and shovel to dig our way through all the gravel. The path was clear once again. Louie and I reached the ocean and quickly began hunting for more food. Yo, Bluey, over here, quick. The others are counting on us. And finally, we had enough tropical fish to last us for months and save the others. Just when we were about to return home, we were attacked by one of the biggest sharks I've ever seen, King Megalodon. Well, 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 what do we have here? A pair of small shrimps. <laughs> I don't think the plane dead is gonna work this time. We should go. What's the rush? I didn't even get to taste you. I don't know what was up with that guy, but we had to get out of there fast. And luckily for us, the axolotls are known to be fast swimmers. Louie and I managed to lose him but not before realizing that we were completely lost. And what's even worse, the night was falling. Who knows what kind of deadly creatures could find us appetizing? Uh, Bluey, does that rock over there look familiar to you? We had no choice but to take shelter for the night. And hopefully, our axolotl friends could manage without us. On day five, we ran into a group of turtles. We asked for directions to the Lost Caves, but they had no clue what that was. However, they offered to take us to Atlantis, a huge city deep in the ocean. After what seemed like ages, we finally arrived at the ocean's capital. There were all sorts of factions, from the smallest turtle to the fastest dolphin. Uh, excuse me, do, do you know where the Lost Caves are? No? Uh, okay. Uh, how about you? Do, do you know? We were about to ask a pot of dolphins. They were swimming towards a checkered banner. Bluey, are we in a race? If we are, you bet I'm beating you. Oh, you're on! The dolphins and I lunged forward. We glided to the racetrack, and before I knew it, I was in the lead. Let's go! We reached the final lap, and sure enough, I won the race. The crowd went wild, and everyone was congratulating ah! me. I gotta say, even Bluey was impressed. That was awesome. Moose, I didn't know you had it in you. And that's when one of the dolphin guards greeted me. He told me that my prize was none other than meeting King Atlan, ruler of Atlantis. But I couldn't shake the strange feeling that I'd met him before. On day six, Louie and I waited to meet King Atlan. This castle was enormous. It was decorated with what had to be the finest materials in the ocean. After we were escorted to the castle, we finally met King Atlan. Welcome to my castle. Hey, I'm Moose, and this is my friend Bluey. Moose, you say? Hmm. Yeah, and haven't we met before? Met before? No, I don't think so, young axolotl. Hmm, strange. Anyway, I hear you made the dolphins make a run for their money. Or should I say, swim? <laughs> the king was actually pretty friendly. I could see why everyone loved him and told him about our troubles back home. And surprisingly, he was willing to help. I think I can help you, but I need you and your friend to do something for me first. 
It was a skeleton infestation inside the pearl mines, and King Atlan needed us to clear it out. So, in return, he would help us get more food back to our village. We were ready to fight, and King Atlan gave us an ability to unlock called Water Blast. Bet you can't hit that squid. Oh, yeah? Watch me. Yeah, look at me pushing him away. And he's dead. Then we crafted ourselves a new set of tools, starting with a seaweed axe, sword, pickaxe, and shovel. We also crafted ourselves a new set of seaweed armor, starting with the helmet, chest plate, leggings, and boots. So we went into the pearl mines. And let me tell you something. I never seen a place like this before. It wasn't long after trouble found us. This place was infested with skeletons, but not just any skeletons. There were axolotls. Hey, skeleton freaks! Stay away from Bluey! Taking them down wasn't easy, but we managed to beat them. And little did we know there was a bigger threat. It was a huge clam, and he didn't look happy at all. making all that noise who dares step in my turf what more axolotls there's no end to his madness his madness listen i don't know what you're on about but we are here to chase you out you have no idea what you're doing it's a shame i'd have to take you out this guy was tough he was taking hits left and right but we could barely make a dent on him then he started spawning his minions and there were killer clams everywhere their vast numbers were dealing tons of damage but we managed to defeat every single one using our swords king clam opened his mouth and rushed towards me next he sent out his pro bomb ability and let me tell you, this ability was no joke. One direct hit, and we'll be good as dead. So we dodged his attacks and quickly made our way out of there. You know, this has to be the biggest L I've ever taken. Even though we failed our mission, King Atlan was compassionate and asked us to stay a little longer. He even gave us a small piece of land. So we went exploring. We found a wrecked ship off a small island, and this was perfect. Have you ever seen a base built inside one? Me neither. So we started off by hollowing out the boat, making our way underground. After mining out the room, adding in the walls, and splitting up the rooms, I built a kitchen and even added a massive table so my actual friends can feast. Oh, and let me tell you about the storage room. This is where I keep my secret fishy supplies. Just don't tell Bluey. Anyways, I moved on to the top floor and claimed my bedroom. While Bluey was uh, working on something weird, he really takes the squid hatred to another level. Bluey, what is this? Are you making an evil plan? Don't question my authorities. Yeah. So it was time for the enchanting room, making it look magical with Azela flowers, which I got from a lush cave underneath. Moose, we need a water slide. Good idea, Bluey. And just like that, we created a mini axolotl water park with diving spots, water slides, and waterfalls. As for the outside, I built an area just for the Axolotl village, adding a walkway with a small pier so we can go fishing. I caught a shark. No, Bluey, put that back. It's, it's gonna eat you. On day 16 to 18, we heard about some lush caves under Atlantis. And if my instincts are right, that means that we can find more Axolotls to come with us to our base. So we decided to go check it out. Now, if I'm right, we should find an Axel group just like ours. We found a cave entrance and made our way down. The rumors were right. There was a lush cave under Atlantis. But the only problem was there was something seriously wrong with it. What even happened to this place? I've never seen a lush cave just look so dead. There weren't any fish around, and the whole place just felt a little bit off, like it was somehow corrupted. Anyways, we found some axolotls, and they were stoked to come with us. Come on, follow us. We got a base near Atlantis, and trust me, it is way better than this place. We turned back to camp with our new friends, and just as we arrived, we met a dolphin countess from Atlantis. She had heard we'd been to the Pearl Mines, and wanted to ask for help saving Atlantis from another threat. Something is wrong in the kingdom. Shortages, pollution, people's discontent, corruption. I knew that I wasn't crazy. There was no way the kingdom wasn't aware of the fish disappearing or the corrupted lush caves. I needed to look further into this. Hurry, go to the royal temple. You'll find the answers there. The countess pointed us in the direction of the temple and we went on our way. I can smell it. There's just something rotten in this kingdom. 
At last, we made it to the royal temple. But something seemed off. There was a herd of drowned guarding this place. Why would King Alan have these instead of the royal guards? Hope I defeated the drowned and snuck into the temple. And nobody inside even noticed us. We just kept a low profile and hoped not to get caught. Now, once we got to the second level, things started getting a little bit more difficult. This place was more of a dungeon than a temple. There were traps everywhere. So making a way around them was a bit of a challenge. Louie, watch out, buddy. Are you okay? Louie was hurt, but we were too deep to give up. We kept going and stumbled into something we'd never seen before. These were axolotl zombies. First the drowned and now this? Something is seriously wrong here. The final room was just ahead. But as soon as we walked in... Oh, come on! <laughs> well, we found ourselves stuck inside of a cage surrounded by evil witches. They took us to another room. I needed to find a way out so I could warn King Alan of this betrayal. But before I could do anything, the leader of the evil witches revealed herself. It was the Countess we met before. Why are you doing this? I, I, I thought you were loyal to the king. We've been keeping an eye on you two. It's been interesting, to say the least. We were completely paralyzed. It seemed like this was it for us, but something weird happened. Something in him was awakening. Boy, what is happening? It's the one we've been waiting for. He's resistant to our magic. Whatever it was, it broke the spell and freed us. With our air nearly running out, we ran and found a dark place to hide inside the temple. I, I can't see a thing. There's gotta be something to light up this place. As soon as Bluey placed on a torch, the light revealed the biggest mutant monster I'd ever seen. It seemed like they were harvesting some kind of a food source from it. If I'm being honest, it looked kind of disgusting, but we had no time to waste. We were still being hunted, so we found our way out of the temple. And thanks to our swimming abilities, we outswam our pursuers. There was something off about the castle. This place seemed deserted. There weren't any of the royal guards around. I was starting to think that we were too late. Hello? Is there anyone here? Hello? Where did everybody go? As soon as we got to the throne room, we found King Atlan surrounded by his elite guards. Sir, we got bad news. It's the temple. It's full of drowned zombies and evil witches. <laughs> How naive can you be? Huh? What do you mean? You weren't supposed to make it out of that alive. <laughs> what is this? I'm afraid you two are the ones who've been tricked. Kingdom are no more. Atlantis fell a very long time ago. The only thing left are ruins and shells of its past. <laughs> what? No, you can't do that. I loved crushing every single member of this worthless city, especially the so-called king. He was so pathetic, begging for his life. <laughs> Why are you doing this? These are helpless animals. And the only reason for all of this is your little blue friend. No! Moose, you need to run away now. Just just hang on, Louie. Uh, I'll be back for you. I promise, buddy. I'm afraid it'll be too late then. <laughs> we had been tricked all along. Everything we had done for the king had been a ploy. My best chance was to run. While well, on the run, I found the armory, and inside was the legendary axolotl bow. I quickly fired at my enemies, slowing and poisoning them with every hit. I quickly swam back to the city to rally the rest of the axolotls and finally escape this place. But that was too late. My base was already ransacked, and there was nobody left behind. No, where is everybody? I know he took them. 
I had hit rock bottom, but I couldn't dwell in self-pity, so I gathered what little I could find and left. At least they missed these fish buckets. More seaweed tools. I guess that will come in handy later. I went to the closest cave I could find, and while gathering resources, I noticed something. I was being followed. It was a puffer fish, and it looked kind of goofy. Oh, uh, hey, hey uh, what can I do for you, little buddy? Okay, well, I shall call you Puffy. Then, as the night approached, I left the cave and searched for a safe place to settle in. Somewhere not too far from the castle, I needed to keep watch for any potential threats. On days 40 to 43, I went exploring far away from Atlantis, and Puffy just kept following me. I have no idea why, but I was glad that I wasn't alone. Puffy, be ready for anything. You never know who could be out there hunting for us. I kept running into abandoned ruins. What could these places have been? So I went inside the ruins and found a chest with pearls inside. If we find enough of these, I can craft us pearl armor and a tool set. Trust me, it'll come in handy. Next, I came across a ruin surrounded by drip leaves all around. And once inside, I found a secret entrance to a lush cave. It looked like a ghost town. There was not a single axolotl in sight. So I kept going further into the cave. Whoa, whoa. Hello? Anyone, Anyone here? here? What's the deal with the creepy vibes? Finally, I found the entrance to a temple. Inside, I found a chest with an axolotl totem. Wait, wait a minute. Could it be? I used the totem and the sticks to craft the axolotl staff. And legend says that whoever wields it holds the strength of 1,200 axolotls. A, a little excessive, not gonna lie. Huh. Oh, is it a myth or the real deal? Oh! Oh, this, this thing's amazing. So I went back and crafted myself a new set of tools, starting with the pearl pickaxe, sword, axe, and shovel. Next was my favorite, the pearl armor, starting with a helmet, chest plate, leggings, and boots. Look at me. Have you ever seen an axolotl more blinged out? It should invite me to the Oscars. After a lot of planning, I was ready to launch my rescue plan. While keeping my distance, I spotted some of the witches entering the castle through a back door. You don't see that every day. The first step of the plan was getting rid of them. I needed a distraction, and luckily for me, I had Puffy to help with that. Wow, good, good job, Puffy. Now, please stay outside. After finding my way into the dungeon, I started exploring. There were skulls all over the place, and the ceiling was full of dripstone. I finally got to the entrance of the place where Bluey was being kept, and there was a huge guard keeping watch. This guy must be in charge or something. I needed a way to take him off fast and quietly, and then it hit me. Well, it, it almost hit me. Jeez, that almost crushed me. I took out the axolotl bow, aimed it at the dripstone, and shot it down. Yes, bullseye. As I went through the doors, they had Bluey trapped inside a special cage. I could feel his unhappiness and pain. Then suddenly, a group of guards and witches swarmed the room. A blue axolotl, huh? They say only one in 1,200 is born every 100 years. You'll never get away with this. I will not allow it. Such defiance. <laughs> There's nothing you can do. Once we get a hold of the blue axo core, our master will reclaim the forbidden power. <laughs> it turns out the blue axolotls have a special bond to ancient Atlantean magic. When a blue axolotl dies, they drop a special item known as the Blue Axicore. It's the key to accessing unimaginable powers. <laughs> no, Puffy, what are you doing? I told you to stay outside. Ouch! Stop it! Ouch! We have an intruder! My cover was blown. They quickly closed all exits and surrounded me. But I wasn't about to die. I took out the axolotl staff and started blasting them away. Just hang in there, boy. I'm, I'm gonna get you out of here. I fought as hard as I could, but there were too many of them. And it didn't take long enough until I got overwhelmed and captured. When I woke up, I was trapped inside a cage. I tried freeing myself out when suddenly King Megalodon entered the room. You again? Do I know you, little one? Your kind all look the same to me. Whoa, bro, that's not cool. Turns out 
King Megalodon was the pit master of a fighting arena. This must be the way the Mewen King gets rid of his enemies. The floor opened from underneath me and I swam into the arena. I didn't have any other choice but to fight till the death. The axolotl zombies swarmed the arena, attacking me from all four sides. I just can't believe that these ugly things used to be axolotls. I was not about to get eaten, so I used the traps in the arena to my advantage, quickly dividing them. Then, one by one, I started slapping them away with my tiny fists. Whoa, what do you know? Little Axolotl has spirit. I like that. Let's see how he fares against tougher enemies. These were new. No wonder why Axolotls are going nearly extinct. The Mirror King must have turned them all into monsters. I'm so sorry, but anyways, I'm going to have to kill you. Aren't you a lucky one? Enough is enough. It's time I put an end to this little game of ours. There was just no way that I was going to beat this guy with these tiny muscles. Have you met my friends? He started summoning sharks to come after me, and they really packed a punch. The Megalodon used his big chop ability. He was being reckless. He even took out some of his own. What's the matter? Too slow to keep up. Ugh, I'll teach you a lesson. He desperately continued to charge at me, destroying everything in his path. Then boom, that was it. That was my way out of here. Look at us. Thanks for the help. See you later, buddy. <laughs> hey, come back here. We're not done yet. No! Ugh! I didn't know where this hole was leading me to. It was either swimming or getting eaten. The hole led me to a small pond in a really dark cave. I stumbled around for a bit, and then I saw a light in the dark. It was a glow squid. Man, I hate those things. I can't believe this squid was my tour guide. Anyways, I followed him, leading me to a lush cave unlike any other I had seen before. It was your usual azalea bushes and spore blossoms. But what really stood out is this place was unnatural. There were these huge mushroom trees, and the cave was filled with green spores. I had no idea what, but I kept moving forward, and there were glow squids all swimming in the same direction. The cave opened up, and inside of it, a mushroom shrine. Suddenly, I heard a voice echoing in the distance. Hey, Moose. I couldn't believe it. It was a green axolotl. Wait, how do you know my name? Let's just say we share the same spirit friends. He asked me to find the forbidden fish hidden within a secret garden. He said this fish would unleash my true potential. Beat the seaweed dungeon and prove your worth. So I made my way to the seaweed dungeon in search of the forbidden fish. On days 55 to 57, I found the seaweed dungeon. This place gave me weird vibes. It was a mix of a forest and a lush cave all together. In the middle of it, there was a maze that went on and on, as far as I could see. Ah, I'm getting tired of mazes. Getting lost was the least of my problems. This place was filled with dangerous traps, and these hideous things guarding the place. If only I had a wolf axolotl, now that would be fine to see. Finally, I reached a large chamber with a seaweed portal. This time guarded by Andrew Axolotls. They were tough, but I managed to beat them and get inside of the portal. As I came out the other side, I found my way into the secret garden. It had lots of ponds, spirit animals, and a shrine. I had this strange feeling that I'd been here before. Upon arriving at the shrine, there was the forbidden fish sitting on top of a large pillar. So I ate it and almost immediately turned into a buff axolotl. I could feel the power coursing through my body. This was definitely the power of 1200 axolotls. Not only was I much faster and stronger, my health and stamina went through the roof. I also had a whole new set of abilities, a buff water blast and a whirlpool ability, which let me pull my enemies into one place. Now that is very powerful. Oh, my bad, buddy. My new abilities were amazing. It was exactly what I needed to fight the Mewen King. But this place still held more surprises. It seems my instincts were right. We've been waiting for you. Wait, hold on a second. How did you even get in here? Follow me. There's much you need to learn. 
as it turns out, the green axe model was an ancient spirit, and that seaweed portal had actually brought us to the spirit world. You see, the world isn't the same anymore since the collapse of the multiverse. He told me the whole story. It turns out we live amongst other factions that were originally from separate realities. So you're telling me that Atlantis used to have its own universe? What? Yes, and your past life was a great friend to King Atlan. And what led to the multiverse to collapse? Legend has it, a great evil army led by the Iron Giant tried to defy the natural order, but a single copper golem fought back, defeating the Iron Giant. His powers collapsed all reality, unifying the multiverse into one. It turns out, the mutant axolotl tried to topple King Atlan 100 years ago, but the Copper Titan saved the world and was never seen again. But that changed today. By eating the forbidden fish, you've carried on his legacy. My final battle against the mutant king was drawing closer and closer, but still, I needed to build an army if I ever hoped to beat him. On day 61, 64, the ancient axolotl summoned a portal, leading me back home. He gave me a map to the prison where other warrior axolotls were being held. I gathered the fastest swimmers from my lush cave and made a group of elite fighters. After some combat training, we were finally ready to head out. A prison break would be no easy task. So, after watching closely, the plan was in pursuit. Warriors, are we ready? You know what to do. Phase one was pretty simple. Placing pearl bombs all around the prison. And yes, without being detected, of course. This should do it. Get back, boys. It's gonna get messy. Step two, blowing up the walls, causing the guards to come out in the open. Last but not least, pull them away and clear the path for me. Holy boost milks, I'm coming in hot. I dashed in with all my might kicking out most of the mutants with a single blow. What can I say? It ain't easy being chiseled. Once inside of the prison, we were ready for phase two, which was basically punching my way through, bringing the axolotls, and causing a riot. Quite simple, right? All right, maybe not so simple. I found the prisoners and broke them out. Everybody, come out and make a stand. Today's the day you fight for your freedom. The axolotls quickly overwhelmed the mutants while defeating some of them in the process. I was immediately cut off by Naga Mirmidin. A warden in charge of the prison. Huh? Where did you come from? My axolotls swarmed all around him, but he was casting some sort of a force field. Moose, his aura is draining our powers. We need to break it. There has to be a way to take him out quickly. Listen, Moose, you need to drain it. Whoa! Ah! That's when it hit me. I trapped him using my whirlpool ability. And then I engulfed him with my water blast, cracking through his force field. After that, escaping was a piece of cake. Warriors, welcome to your brand new home. I gotta say, I was extremely happy to see my axolotl family stronger than ever. The prison break was a success. Everyone was in high spirits and happy to meet our new members. Look at this, an axolotl dance party. But the Mirror King knew about our base, making it vulnerable for an attack. So we started fortifying by building walls all around the island using a mixture of different sandstone blocks. Okay. This place low-key looked like a giant sandcastle. Anyways, I had a great idea. What if we dug up holes all around the place and filled them up with pufferfish? Well, it's too late. We already did it. Puffy, I entrust you with this mission. You and your puffer friends are our last line of defense. Get in there. Now that we have a sand fortress, it was time for me to swap out my armor. But for that... I needed a few things. So I went hunting for drowned, collecting a bunch of Nautilus shells. And with the help of my dolphin friends, I found four hearts of the sea. It was just enough for the legendary scuba armor. I crafted the boots, leggings, chest plates, and helmets, then proceeded to make the scuba sword, shovel, and pickaxe. I'm officially the first buff scuba diver. That's an axolotl. You, you get the point. Over the next few days, we had scouts go back and forth, keeping check on the Mew and King. He 
was also building an army of mutants. We were outnumbered almost two to one. Suddenly, we were attacked by a herd of zombie axolotls. Everybody, it's zombie hunting season. Let's eat some brains. Uh, I, I mean, I, don't let any of them get away. We quickly took out the intruders. But in the process, we lost a few axolotls. This attack made me realize just how vulnerable we were. I needed to equip my troops with better armor and weapons. And luckily for me, I knew just the place. We arrived at the Pearl Mines, the same place I was sent to by the so-called king, except it seemed deserted. While the miners gather materials for our troops, I explored deeper into the mines. I gave you a chance to survive last time. I don't do second chances. Someone was stalking me from the shadows. I had a pretty good idea who it was. King Clam, I know it's you. Listen, I'm not working for the king. I was deceived. I'm fighting against him. Please join me. I don't do well with others. Show me your strength and I may consider it. The king wanted to battle, but I was in a small axolotl like before. My body was filled with rage. So predictable. That won't work this time. There's no need to fight. We have the same enemy. How could a puny axolotl come back so strong? Fine. I'll join you. And just like that, my axolotls were armored up and the mighty clam was waiting for my call. Have you ever heard a clam tell a sad story? Once upon a time, he along with King Megalodon were allies of Alanis. He was good friends with Alan, but at some point, something in him changed. He started acting evil. While King Megalodon went along, instead the clam rebelled against him and had one request to retrieve the Poseidon's key, one that will unlock the power of the sea. So I went on an adventure. Following the map he had given me, it led me to a bottomless abyss deep in the ocean. This is honestly giving me horror movie vibes. What are these underwater ruins doing here? Suddenly, the water around me started to vibrate. A beast in the abyss was being awoken. Yo, that thing is huge. A massive sea serpent jolted at me and tried to swallow me. My gut was telling me that this was the guardian of the key. His scales are just too strong. My abilities and my weapons just don't have any effect on him. I have maneuvered him around the ruins letting him crash into the pillars. Finally, I found the entrance of the underwater dungeon, which led me into a massive amethyst lair. I think I jinxed it. This place is for sure haunted. Suddenly, a cursed spirit appeared behind me. He stabbed me and nearly killed me. I was weak, blinded, and could barely run. Ugh, show yourself! You don't stand a chance. Who dares enter my empire? Oh, uh, hey. Have you harmed my pet serpents? No, I'm not here to hurt anyone. I'm just trying to restore order. Lies! You are here for my riches. Wait, King Clam sent me. You need to know the truth. The King of Atlantis has fallen. What is this nonsense you speak of? You mean to say my brother is gone? Yes. The only way we can stop him is with your key. Very well. You shall pass. The curse finally wore off. My illusions were no more, and I could clearly see the path. I walked up to a massive wall covered in weird scriptures. What could this all mean? Wait, is that the wither? Hmm. I bet this is how it all started. As I touched the wall, everything went dark, and my health started draining. Uh, what is going on? Hmm, that must be it. I picked up the Poseidon's key. My map started to glow and revealed a new location to travel to. I had a feeling this wouldn't be the last time I would meet Poseidon. On days 81 to 85, I made it to the seaweed forest. And deep inside, I found an ancient shrine. There was a stone door. 
the key unlocked, a royal chamber full of treasures and ancient looking artifacts. At the other end of the room, there was a buff golden axolotl sitting on an Amos' throne. Welcome, Moose. My name is Zalotl, god of fire and lightning. Wait, how, how do you know my name? The multiverse has its ways of balancing good and evil. Our meeting is just a mere reflection of what our future holds. Follow me. I'm not quite sure what he meant, but one thing I've learned is that the universe has a funny way of sorting things out. We entered an ancient arena, and in the middle, there was Poseidon's trident sitting on top of a pedestal. He challenged me to a test. If I laid a hit on him, I would pass. This is gonna be easy, an axolotl wrestling match. <laughs> The axolotl god wasn't messing around, he moved real fast, and no matter what I tried, he kept dodging me. Is this all you got? I tried using my whirlpool ability to hold him in place, but he appeared behind me and ignited me with fire and lightning piercing through my armor. Quickly, I fired my bow, but he was still faster than the arrows. What was that for? I've seen blind turtles shoot better than that. With his arrogance, it bought me just enough time to run circles around him and slay him with my final move. Not all challenges are to be met head on. Pick any artifact from my treasure. You might find something to aid you in your journey. You did well. Dope, I took his generous offer and looked around. And fortunately for me, I found a totem of undying. Let's go. Now this will come in handy. Today, we'll strike the mutants. Where would hurt them the most? The mutant star. Honestly, I don't know what else to call it. So I rallied some of my elite fighters and went back inside this so-called royal temple. But there was a problem. The sister of the Naga boss was standing in my way. I took the initiative and lost the trident, barely leaving a scratch. I tried to keep my distance, but she kept throwing her spear at me, just barely missing. So, that's how it's gonna be. Well, who could play this game? Take this! I saw an opening and threw my trident at her, but instead of killing her, she just disappeared. This is kind of anticlimactic. Nope, oh, not good. Turns out, it was an illusion. I was trapped and getting hit from all sides. Enough of this! I froze her in place, ending her with the power of Poseidon's trident. I stepped inside the star's room, blocking my eyes on this monstrosity. And I knew exactly what I had to do. Hey you, two on this! Up into pieces, the temple started collapsing. This was the end of the mutant's food source. The mutant kid was severely weakened, but it didn't stop him from coming after us. Once again, we were invaded by the mutants, but this time it was led by the witch. Axolotls, they're growing desperate. Let's show them how strong we have become. Our forces managed to stop them right in their tracks. But the witch caught us off guard. She threw her deadly splash potions, blowing up our defenses. She tried to weaken me with her potions, but not that it mattered. She stood no chance. <laughs> That's it. King Clam, do you want a snack? Don't hurt me. I can help you defeat the mutant king. Start talking, because he really wants some breakfast. The witch told me about the multiverse war, which caused chaos after the collapse, leaving the uncharted mutants to advance and create their new forms of life. I see. So, who created the mutant king? No one knows, nor is alive to tell it. You have 10 days before the ritual. Why? W what do you mean? Save your friend before the next full moon, or else he'll be sacrificed. Thanks, I guess. Clam? You know what to do. No, please, no! The word to defeat the king? Ah! We're going to be needing the help of the Dolphins faction. 
the OG protectors of Atlantis. On days 90 to 94, we made ourselves into the Mewitt's castle. It was time to rescue our friends and defeat the king once and for all. Go, 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 go! Find the dolphins and set them free! We exterminated every mutant crossing our path until finally making it to the dungeons. As we entered, we heard a loud growl coming from the distance. No, no, what is that? It doesn't sound so friendly at all. It was King Megalodon, but a mutated version of him. He charged at us with his chop ability, killing some of my comrades. We crashed head on, but this dude was like a tank. He took my critical hits like it was nothing. Hello, old friend. Did you miss me? King Claim used his tongue to slow him down, enough for me to pierce through his skin with my scuba sword. The Clam engulfed the field with pearl bombs, putting an end to the mutated Megalodon. I got you, boys. We can use all the help we can get. We managed to get the upper hand. The dolphins joined the raging battle, and while they handled, the mutants were looking for Bluey deeper inside the castle. I bolted towards the throne room, and there he was, the Mewing King himself. So look who's decided to show up. Not that I'm surprised. <laughs> I can't say the same thing. Honestly, I thought you'd be long gone by now. Anyways, tell me, where is Bluey? Is he okay? Why don't you ask him yourself? <laughs> My friend, he was dying, and the only way to save him was to defeat the Mewing King right before the next full moon. Joel, pay for this! This was it, the final battle that will decide the fate of Atlantis. It's all in or nothing. What, too good to fight your own battles? Let's see how you do under pressure! Guys, no one told me there was a party. This is gonna be a blast. <laughs> Not too shabby. How about taking a crowd three times the size? He summoned more of his minions, but it didn't matter. King Clam and I charged head on. We were completely unstoppable. I used my water blast to clear the way and then combined my whirlpool ability with King Clam's pull to pin down the Mewen King. And for the final touch, King Clam threw a bunch of pro bombs. Nope, I honestly expected more of a fight. Bruce, I got this. Go after the imposter. <laughs> I had completely underestimated him. He posed a bigger threat to our world. I'm getting tired of your games. He used his toxic screen ability to narrow down my vision. Talk about a toxic personality. What is this? I, I can't see a thing. No, no. With this advantage, I couldn't stay still. I had to do something. I'm taking poison damage. Gotta do something quick. What's wrong? Is the little axolotl having trouble breathing? <laughs> I needed to clear my surroundings. So I used a whirlpool to take care of it. This is Bluey. What? No. What's happening to me? His mutation was acting up without the starfish's nourishment. His body couldn't sustain his new powers. Finally, the battle was over. I ran back to free Bluey. And after feeding him some of my fish, he regained his strength. Thanks, Moose. I'll never forget what you did for me. Buddy, don't even mention it. I'm just really glad that you're finally safe. Oh, anyways, we left the castle behind. 
and met up with King Clam to celebrate our victory. And just like that, the Mini King was no more. All the Axolotls returned to the lush caves to carry on with their peaceful ways. The Dolphins went back to Atlantis to rebuild their kingdom with the help of our friend, King Clam. As for Bluey and I, in every faction in the ocean, had their happily ever after. Or so we thought. Please, forgive me, master, please! You're absolutely useless. All the power handed to you, gone to waste. I really tried. Everything was going just perfectly fine. But there was this axolotl. He couldn't get his tiny nose out of my plans. Silence! This failure is no one else's but your own. Now you must pay the ultimate price. <laughs> no, please, no! no! Allies, get ready. The time is nearly here. Boy, have you ever seen 1,000 axolotls? No, but that would be awesome. Okay, what about 1,000 shirts? Uh. After two years of waiting, our first drop is live. Get your 100 day shirts to show the world you have survived 100 days, just like us. What about the moose plushies? Yes, but we also have 1,000 moose plushies. So if you want to support us making more moose movies, go to moosemerch.com and get yourself 100 day shirts and plushies. Psst, the plushies can talk. <laughs> so small, yet so strong. Axolotls are fascinating creatures indeed. You can say that again. However, I can't believe Simon betrayed our hero like that. His best friend. You are just as naive as always, my dear old friend. Hey, I'm not that old. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Now sip it up and get ready. You're in for a surprise. Ooh, I know what's next. This one is my favorite story. Imagine being a winter storm for the next 100 days, banished by the gods to the nether for nearly destroying the entire world. Thanks to Master Legends for sponsoring this video. On day one, I was all alone and everyone hated me. As my hunger went down, I started consuming souls. I had 30 hearts and I could summon wither skulls at my enemies, withering them away. I hunted the nearby mobs and made them like a snack. You know, this might look evil, but I'm telling you, it's, it's really not that bad. Oh, I unlocked a new laser ability. That's right, as the wither storm, I can fly while using lasers and destroying anything I want. On day two, I was hunting a nearby hoglin. Every wither loves pork chops. I'm telling you, it's like the best snack. And suddenly, I was attacked by a massive fireball. It blew me up. Causing me to almost black out. In the distance, there was this mutant ghast that just looked so hideous. I will destroy you, Wither. This is my dimension. You, you, you sir, need a dentist appointment. Take this! You okay? I am not about to die today. Come here, I need a snack real quick. And take this! Here's some Wither Skulls, buddy. Take some of this! Nope, I fired my Wither Skulls at the ghast. Deflecting his fireballs. And just like that, he ran away. On day three, I needed five gold blocks to upgrade my laser to knock back tier one. So I flew over to the nearby bastion. Honestly, I, I really wish that speedrunning was this easy. You can just fly and collect any block you want. With the new lasers, my knockback strength doubled. So I had some fun testing it out. That's a long way right into the lava. Oh, yeah, that dude is 100% uh, dead. Oh, and I met a wither skeleton named Jack. He apparently was a fan of my work from 100 days as a wither. Lord Wither, you are the most menacing soul. Let me help you. 
turn, we become a team. All right, so here's the thing. But being a wither, I gained a reputation of some sort. And everyone knows of the wither storm as the one that just destroys everything. Okay, we ain't that bad. Come on. I had to kindly uh, deny Jack. Nah. What? Okay, fine. How about I show you? how to get out of the nether. You see, now we're talking. So, long story short, I have to consume every faction leader's soul and then eat their heart. Wow. I never thought I was gonna have to say that. On day four, I ditched that wither skelly. Haha, <laughs> can't catch me. Honestly, I really didn't want to have any responsibility for him. And besides, I was trying to leave the nether, not make new friends. Although, de destroying the factions and collecting cool items for my collection was, uh, very fun. Wait a minute. That doesn't belong to y'all. That's a wither chest with a limited storage. I'll be taking this. Thank you. I spotted a massive castle near the lava, surrounded by ghasts. Apparently, this place was known as the Ghast Lair. That piranha-looking ghast. I'm coming for you. This one is for vengeance. What do you know? Jack the Wither Skeleton was back once again. How did you even find me? Hold on. I know how you can get more buff. Trust me. Consume all faction leader hearts, and then you can become a titan. Oh, that sounds really fun. So, I went inside of the ghast lair. As I traveled through the place, I fought off the piglin guards and the mini ghasts. At the very end of the room, there was two massive double doors. And finally, I made it to the ghast lair. The king was in the center, powering all the ghasts. You dare disturb my peace? Listen, this is only payback for what you did. Now, I'm hungry for some souls. You gasped, fired his fireballs right at me. So I rushed towards him, deflecting his attacks while taking out his minions. Eat some wither skulls! Surprisingly, he caught me off guard and tried strangling me with his tentacles. Can you believe this gasp? Seriously? I was trying to go easy on you, but here's my vision storm. Yeah, that poison doesn't taste so good. Suddenly, he used a heat wave ability, which pushed me back. As he spat out a bunch of fireballs, I quickly deflected them back, and he just simply spun around. What? Since when do gas do that? With just a few hits, I weakened the mutant gas. This is exactly why you never mess with a wither storm. Huh, look at this. A new ability called Shadow Sneak. I'll be back. I will rule this dimension. While the mewing gas ran away, I had a new trick up my sleeve, or tentacle. I used my shadow sneak ability, which allowed me to travel through the shadows across the nether. Well, you don't see a wither storm traveling through the shadows every day. It, it's definitely different. So I officially became Detective Moose, making sure my rivals wouldn't know when I was following them. The mewing gas arrived at an abandoned laboratory and started speaking with a mysterious figure. I want him gone. Go find the gas staff and regain your power. I did what I could, but my powers are weak. The mutant blaze keeps the gas staff secure. Then we must start a battle. Send in the gas to cause a distraction. Now that I was one step ahead, I escaped the laboratory, making sure that nobody saw me. I then snuck into a structure and stole their iron blocks, giving myself a quick laser strength upgrade. I began searching for the Blaze Fortress. As I flew over to the Lava Ocean, I spotted a new dungeon. I took out the Leviathan Guards and broke through the front entrance. Seriously, more of these guys here. What are you trying to do, catapult me? I really need a snack. They're guarding all of this for some kind of a book, apparently. 
alter a nether star belongs to summon the inferno. Wait a minute, they talk about killing a wither? No, I, that's messed up. Uh, I'm out of here. This ain't happening on my watch. I'm taking this place out. Don't I destroy the entire place. And finally arrived at the Blaze Fortress, the hottest place on Earth. This place was notoriously protected by the mutated Blaze and contains a nether reactor. Oh, there's some Blaze right here guarding the reactor. So I'm guessing the staff should be around here. And there it was. The gas staff was contained inside the center of the nether reactor. At the very top, it was guarded by a massive fire golem. I attacked the fire golem, smacking him with a couple of the skulls and lasering his face. You shall not pass. The fire golem tossed the massive boulder, blowing up a part of the nether reactor. Now that just wasn't so smart. You might as well just give me the gas staff and I'll be on my way. And suddenly, the mirror gas caught us off guard and fireballed the reactor. I saw my opportunity. I flew behind the golem and grabbed the staff from the reactor. You won't get away with this. On days 14 to 15, I arrived at the entrance of the Blaze Fortress and withered away the guards. There he was, the mutated Blaze, waiting for me with his massive army of Blazes. They even had wither skeletons in cages. I don't know why, honestly. My army will make you perish. Attack! Oh, that's a lot of Blazes. Okay, it's feasting time. Come here, boys. Everybody needs a snack. I literally can't see anything. There's too much going on right now. You really think this is gonna work on me? Come on, here, take some lightning. How about that? Is that fun? Actually, the fireballs was just as easy as it looked. This mutated blaze really tried giving me an entire speech about a prophecy, about this cursed one consuming all souls from the world. He just wouldn't stop talking. I think he was just covering up how he really felt about me withering away his army. The mutated blaze used his signature fire punch storm. <laughs> Firing his fist right at me. Not bad. Honestly, you should try going for my face. He even tried using his mega fireballs. So I countered it with my gas staff, making the blaze just look extremely weak. I'm so fed up with you. He tried to fire blast me, but I absorbed his fire damage and knocked him back with my laser. I stopped his powers with my wither skulls. The mule blaze collapsed with his flames slowly starting to extinguish. You fool, you doomed us all. I've been consumed into the food chain and the Soul Reaper slowly awaits for your visit. I'm just getting started. The gas staff is finally mine and ain't nobody stopping me from escaping the net. I consumed the blaze heart, which gave me an extra heart. Look at this. I unlocked a blaze shield ability, so fire damage uh, should heal me now. Just look at me. I'm like a wither submarine. So I was just curious what the other hearts would give me. I began building my wither fortress. First, by building the subscribe button. Now, I'm ready to claim my power and topple over my opponent's factions. I even upgraded my laser whip to a tier one using a diamond block that I got from the blaze fortress. Then I started building the body of the wither using a bunch of obsidian and mixing in some crying obsidian for the actual build. Next, I built three wither heads and added the eyes with the teeth. The hardest part was adding a bunch of tentacles. They kind of freaked me out, even though I got them. Imagine if it went through your nose. Huh, maybe the nose doesn't make it look so scary. Now, my favorite part, we all love a nice trophy room to store our precious collections. This is a great source of motivation to feel proud of what we work for. My most valuable item is literally an ancient debris. What, what, what am I supposed to do with this? Finally, I built the room just for the upgrades, starting with an open area with three slots to place the base upgrades. Translation, each upgrade that I get makes our fortress stronger. Then, I turned this area into an enchanting room. Oh, and can't forget about the finishing touches. The next upgrade was the laser explosion tier one, which needed one netherite block. 
Don't pump it away and destroy the piglins and consuming some souls. Don't buy travel to the piglin castle and spot of the city. This time, uh, I tried a more peaceful approach, but yet a funny tactic. I would have scold their front entrance. Suddenly, the piglin chief showed up. I hope you're not seeking any trouble. We are peaceful. Unless we are hungry, then it's a massacre. I come in peace. I'm just looking to make some quick gold. Very well. Then build us an automatic gold trading farm, and we shall help. Joe, I managed to convince the piglin chief and began building an automatic piglin trading farm. First, I built an open area for the redstone magic, combined with the hopper system. Afterwards, I added the glass and the carpets, and fill the top chests with some gold, and watch the farm go to work. Just look at all these ender pearls. This kind of gives me some ideas. After a few hours, the piglin chief was stoked. After all, this dude loves getting rich. Just like how I really wanted his netherite blocks. He even took me to his vault room to create a piglin farm inside. Moose, we appreciate you helping innovate this city. Of course, any time, piglin chief. I, I got you. I was starting to feel a little bit guilty. Anyways, I kept the obsidian blocks for myself and turned the iron nuggets into blocks. On days 25 to 29, the piglin chief gifted me a whole main side of his fortress. I gladly accepted and checked it out. Meanwhile, I was planning on sneaking into his room using my ender pearls. Afterwards, I snuck out and tried to find his storage room. Instead, I came across Alex and Steve trying to steal another eye block out of his chest. The piglin chief broke through the wall. Crossbowing Alex. I guess that's why no one messes with the piglin chief's valuables. Well, this was my chance to catch him off guard. But timing was everything for this trick. Then, the next morning, the Wither Skeleton Overlord visited. He was called here by someone looking for traitors stealing souls. Uh, how do they know I'm here? I mean, I am a wither storm, but someone must have ratted me out. Luckily, the piglins kept me safe. I guess we were all on good terms for making them all rich with the piglin chief's gold. But unfortunately, the wither skeletons threatened to harm the citizens unless someone talked. Start talking, or else you will all wither. Where is the wither storm? Oh man, this is not gonna end well. Where's the piglin chief? He started slaying the piglins, and I just stayed there, hiding inside of the shadows. I low-key felt bad and wanted to help them out, but I just couldn't blow my cover. The next morning, the Wither Overlord was gone. I took out the Wither Skeleton Army and made it my goal to claim revenge on the piglin chief. He did absolutely nothing to help the piglin citizens. And that's when the piglin chief showed up. Pick up the gold blocks, piglins! I need it in my vault now! Hold on a second. Is this what it's about? Gold blocks? Of course. How else am I supposed to get your bounty? Wow, he really thought that it was smart to put a wither storm inside of a cell made of iron bars. But it worked out perfectly. When no one was looking, I sneaked out of the cell and appeared inside the bank vault. I lasered the gold and the netherites. Then upgraded my laser knockback to tier 2 and laser explosives to tier 1. Trust me, you don't want to get hits with that. Anyways, I snuck out and went after the Piglin Chief's secret netherite. Now that would get him extremely mad. Five netherite blocks and one fire force mill block. You gotta love some free things. Days 35 to 38, I snuck past the piglin sheep and traveled back to the wither base, placing the fire force field block to give my base some fire protection. Then I upgraded my laser explosives to tier two, using the netherite blocks from the piglin chief's collection. Now to start some ruckus. This should get the chief's attention. Oh yeah, oh, oh this, this place is literally about to get blown up. Oh man, 
my house. As I blew up his building, I spoke out to all the piglins, letting them know that their chief was a coward for not defending them. Piglins, no more shall you deal with the chief's greediness. It's time to stand up for yourselves. Oh, and he, here's some gold. Enjoy. The piglin chief ran out of his building. You fool! You stole my valuables and destroyed my castle! He charged right at me with his heart ribbon and kicked me. Don't I quickly counter his attacks? And charged my wither skulls right at him. Hey, Piggy, you're looking like a snack. What, like, like literally a snack? I, I, I'm gonna eat you, bro. I was really getting on his nerves. And my wither skulls kept weakening his hoglin. And then suddenly... with the boom. Would you look at that? The Hoglin Hardcore Heart. As I ate it, I was given the Hoglin Heart, which thou gave me Piglin's Grace. If I'm under 50% health, I instantly get regeneration too. Now that's overpowered. It's time to celebrate. As the Piglins cheered for our victory, I went back home and started the level two upgrade. I expanded my Wither Fortress first building out the massive walls surrounding the wither statue. Next up was adding eight sections, which would be for giant watchtowers holding our future minions. There we go. And 999... <sighs> More to go. Come on, you know me. I always get it done. Honestly, placing this much lava wasn't that bad. This I can levitate and fly. For the finishing touches, I created the wither trees and wither roses to complement the build. Well, of course, this started getting some attention from my enemies. Apparently, there was an actual bounty on my head and people were coming after me. Hey, I finally found you. Stay back. I don't trust any wither skeletons. I know exactly what y'all did to the piglins. Suddenly, we were attacked by hundreds of magma cubes. That is a whole lot of lava cubes. Get him, Jack. Get all the lava cubes. They attacked my fortress, but barely managed to make it through. Looks like you have angered the magma king. They have a very close relationship with the blazes. You see, now that is amazing. We're literally one step closer to finding him. Before I could take on the Magma King, I needed to be more resistant to his attacks. So, Jack showed me a crafting recipe to the Magma Armor. I quickly crafted the Magma Helmet, chest plate, leggings, and boots. And equipping the armor gave me some Red Ranger vibes. Thanks to Monster Legends for sponsoring this video. Monster Legends is an awesome free-to-play mobile game that is available on all devices. You can collect over 900 monsters with different elements and rarities. You can even breed them to get new species from eggs. You need to collect food, gold, and gems to get tailor your empire and reach new levels. Catch your new baby monsters, feed them to evolve, level them up, and boost their powers with runes, relics, and talents. Rank up by challenging your friends or other monster masters in the battles to win trophies and rewards. And my favorite feature, YouTuber Island, where you can find monsters based off some of the biggest YouTubers. Find your favorite YouTubers, take out the monsters, and test their skills. Download the game now using my link in the description or the QR code to get a special free starter pack of 50,000 food, 300,000 gold, 10 gems, and the epic monster, Kari. Thanks to Master Legends for sponsoring this video. On days 47 and 52, I went searching for the magma facility. I spotted it on top of a magma plateau. I summoned my wither skulls and started destroying the building from the outside, taking out the support beams. An army of magma cubes rushed in. Now this is payback for invading my fortress. Huh, what'd you expect? I was gonna drop off a gift basket. I took them out without a problem. Magma cubes are secretly weak against lightning strikes. As I made my way into the magma facility, I found a magma mining rig and stole it for myself. This was the power source for all magma inside the facility. Oh, I don't, I don't think they like that. Okay, 
so much for protecting the magma facility. These magma slimes tasted like food snacks, and I even found a blood sprayer souvenir for my fortress. I traveled down the magma tunnel, and it led me to the entrance of the Magma King. I stepped inside the Magma King's room, locking my eyes on the mutant magma cube. This dude was massive. It actually didn't look like a cube, but the bigger they are, the harder they explode. Did you really think you could invade my brother's blaze fortress and get away with it? Yes, and I got a souvenir. I am the king of magma, and you shall be my snack. Your snack? Oh, you are a funny guy, man. The magma king fired his flamethrower, causing me to heal. Hey, Bozo, withers are immune to fire. So I fired back with my storm vision ability, striking the magma and poisoning it with my acid rain. He sent out a flurry of punches, then used his lava spray, summoning mini volcanoes, and finally smashed the floor with his magma crush ability. But everything the magma king tried had no effect on my defenses. With my magma armor and my abilities, I clearly had the upper hand. Quickly defeating the mutant magma cube. And all that remains is the Overlord's heart. I picked up the Magma Hardcore Heart and consumed it, getting another heart on my hotbar. I now have the Magma Defense ability, which damages anybody that attacks me. So I traveled back home and added my new souvenir to the trophy room. Then I placed the Magma Mining Rig inside the upgrade room. Honestly, I'm not exactly sure what this thing does, but it does look cool. Oh, it gives me magma blocks. That, that, that makes sense. It was time to avenge my piglin friends by tracking down the wither skeletons. You would think that they will be at another fortress, but the wither skeleton overlord created its own base called the Skelly Fortress, which essentially is a cosmic force where all souls are lost and inflict damage onto those that get, well, withered. What this pretty much meant was, he's strong, I'm strong, and this is going to be a big battle. On day 61 to 64, I started off by upgrading my laser strength to tier 2, using 25 iron blocks, now giving me a 50% increase, nearly plus 20 damage. I flew over to the Skelly Fortress, and the walls were encrusted with end portal frames. The fortress was huge, and there was overlapping bridges. It was like a modified, upgraded nether fortress, but more sinister and filled with armies of wither skeletons, waiting to wither away their preys. Wow, look at this place. Yeah, I don't want, I don't want to die here, that's for sure. And that's when I met Jack. He escorted me throughout the fortress, showing me the place around. This entire community was under one ruler, the Overlord. Hello, father. The Witherstorm is here for you. Oh, hold on a second. It turns out that Jack's dad is the mutant wither skeleton and the overlord of the nether. Now, honestly, I was not expecting that. Good job, my boy. You brought the Witherstorm right to me. Jack, how could you, man? You betrayed me. There is no betrayal here. Simply an offer. Join us and we will rule over the world. Together, we can overtake the overworld. Can you believe this? They asked me to join them and be a part of the Wither Skeletons. At first, I thought they were joking, but they were being legit. We will even give you your own throne. And, uh, a staff. A Wither Staff, yes. Wait, a Wither Staff? Oh, yeah, bro. I'm, I'm not a join. So, I agreed. Who doesn't want a throne with a custom staff? But the catch was, we had a battle first. If I win, I become the Overlord. If the mutant Wither Skeleton wins, well, I gotta join him. So we had an honorary Wither Showdown inside the Shadow Arena. Lots of Wither Skeletons showed up to spectate. Are you ready? Fight! The Goat Horn went off, and the mutant Wither Skeleton joined the battle. 
mutant charged in. Slashing away with his wither axe. He was relentless, dealing tons of damage and knocking me back. Wow, uh, not bad, honestly. But who can play this game? Take some of this. Bruh. He summoned an army of wither skeletons. There was hundreds of them attacking me. I needed to do something quick. So I used my lightning storm, zapping away every skeleton. Yo, keep them coming. This is honestly really fun. And it's super easy to take out the skeleton force. Now I just need some, just need some quick food. Ah, much better. I tried using my storm vision, but it had no effect on the overlord. Instead, he absorbed the abilities, powering himself up, and then striking me with his shadow fury ability. Luckily, I was immune to his attacks. He really couldn't wither me, and dodging his melee was pretty easy, making him look like a fool. I fired my gas staff activated by laser explosives, engulfing him with a flurry of lasers, destroying the mutant with her skeleton. Moose, the wither storm is the winner! Thank you, everybody. I, I appreciate it. Now, Back to business. A wither skeleton. Hardcore heart. I ate it like a snack and then gained a new wither skeleton heart, giving me the skelly force ability, allowing me to summon 10 wither skeletons. I picked up the withered axe, dealing a whopping plus 36 damage. Now this thing is very powerful. Come here, skelly. The only issue was this didn't sit well with Jack. His father was gone, and now I was the ruler of the Wither Skeletons. On day 68 to 72, I was finally able to leave this dimension. I unlocked the Wither Portal ability, allowing me to summon another portal, or an end portal within seconds. So, I traveled to the overworld and started to feel motion sickness. And suddenly, I morphed into the Titan Witherstorm. I even unlocked three new abilities, which you'll have to watch till the end to find out what they do. But the prophecy was coming true. Now, my mission was to conquer the rest of the overworld factions and consume more souls. Okay, I wouldn't be a Titan Witherstorm without destroying an entire village to show my dominance. This is for your greater good. I, I'm, I'm so sorry. I could sense a faction near the jungle, known for their bamboo. I split into five wither storms and smell their way to the pandas. Well, I made sure to waste no time. I arrived at a massive treehouse inside the jungle, except this place uh, felt a little bit familiar. Apparently, it was run by the rich, fat panda. Yeah, this dude is balling on a budget. I spied on the panda faction using my spyglass. As I watched in the distance, I saw the cute pandas getting along so well with their families. All they really did was eat bamboo, sneeze, and roll around. Suddenly, the rich fat panda walked in. He started beating up the pandas. So I kept watch on him, and turns out he is an underground panda mining factory. They hit a jackpot in this location and has made the fat panda very rich. It turns out, he keeps a stash of all the valuables they get every single day. At the end of the night, he stores it inside a secret room and brags about how rich he is. Fluffy, it feels great to be rich. We keep this up and in no time we will conquer those flying pests, the LA's. Well, once he finally left, I followed him to a secret laboratory. Inside, he gave the scientist all the valuables his pandas collected for the day. This should be enough. Keep them coming, boys. These nukes are just what we need. Five more to go, and our world domination plan should be ready. Perfect, we start the copper golems first. There were massive nukes stored inside the facility, and each of them had a giant Rich fat panda face as the logo. All along, this dude was paying his scientists with all the hard work the pandas put in. Well, that was all the proof that I needed. I might seem dangerous, but the pandas are so cute. And no faction deserves to be wiped out. Only their evil leaders. Or, or if I'm hungry. 
Welcome to the Panda Faction! We are a humble community! Well, that's awesome to hear! We even have cute baby pandas! Look at them rolling around! I attacked the rich fat panda, sucker punching him through his village. So that's how we're going to play? The rich fat panda pulled right at me. He spin kicked my face and unleashed his kung fu panda moves. I'm telling you, bro, this dude really has some skills. He even deflected back my lasers with his attacks. I'm telling you, bro, he was very dangerous. <laughs> Yo, not bad, honestly. But now it's uh, my turn. I summoned my storm vision, poisoning and stunning the panda. I quickly split into five titan wither storms and attacked him with my tentacle claws. He was extremely mad. He started rolling around the battlefield trying to damage me. Seriously? Did you really think that that would work? Boys, back to formation. Take this. Finally, I fired my wither punch ability right at the panda, putting an end to the battle. Wait, don't kill me. I'll help you. Now, why exactly should I trust you? I know of an artifact that will make you even stronger. Days 81 to 85. I followed the pandas to a weird location. It told me the artifact was somewhere around here. So I went searching and then I realized the panda was gone. This will teach him a lesson to never mess with the panda. He dropped giant nukes, blowing up the entire place. Can you believe this panda? Oh, I don't know. What if I survived? Now this is war. I flew back to the panda city and stole all the rich fat panda's valuables. Come on, Fluffy. You're coming with me. I'm taking you to safety right here. This is going to be your big mama. Okay, there you go. Enjoy. Then I upgraded my laser strength to tier three. Now dealing plus 30 more damage. Next, I upgraded my laser width to tier two and three. I found the rich fat panda and sent my skilly force after him. What did I say? Never mess with a titan weather storm. The rich fat panda collapsed on the floor. I picked up his nunchucks and ate the panda hardcore heart, giving me the hungry panda buff, which doubled my hunger bars. The panda citizens were nice enough to fill me in on a secret invasion the rich fat panda was planning. He was using his nukes to destroy the copper golem faction. I followed the map to the copper golem fortress. This place was a reminder of 100 days as a copper golem filled with happy little golems. Just look how cute they are and they love pressing buttons. It turned out to be an ambush. I was led right into a trap. I will eliminate you. The copper golem transformer was waiting for an enemy to arrive. Now, whoa, 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 what's going on here? Uh, are we having a laser tag battle? Here, try some wither skulls. And how about some wither punches? How does that feel? Yo, where are you going? Hold on a second. He launched to the top of the fortress. So I quickly followed him. I'm gonna run you over. What? What? How are you gonna do that? The copper golem transformed into a car. You don't see that every day. He started firing a bunch of his laser turrets, which barely did anything to me. Watch me zoom. I wasn't sure what was going on, but this was one of the funniest battles I've had. So I find my ultimate attack combined with Wither Skull's punches and lasers. All I really wanted was simply his heart. Wait. You want my heart? Why didn't you say so? I only need batteries. He tossed me his copper golem mechanical heart and I consumed it, giving me the copper bless health boost. The next morning, the copper transformer and I became best friends. We were having fun destroying villagers together and flipping cows. Moose, together we will turn the world into our amusement park. Honestly, that will be amazing. But unfortunately, I gotta head back to the nether and take care of my base. I understand. Until next time. Oh, and one more thing. Destroy the lay faction for me. Thank you. Bet. I opened a portal to the nether and went back to the wither fortress. I upgraded the place by adding two more wither heads to the build, then building claws on all the tentacles. Now, to add to my collection, the nunchucks right here. Of course, whatever, whatever this is. The alchemist and this thing, the spider dude. And some extra valuables, the map with the spyglass. 
the hunt for the next faction began. I opened a portal to the end and traveled through, beating my long lost enemy, the Ender Dragon. I struck all the Ender Crystals with my thunder and then wither punched the dragon, causing him to land. He used his dragon breath right in front of me as I stood there absorbing his flames. No, your breath smells like a swamp. Finally, I split into five wither storms and shredded apart the dragon, causing him to explode. I ate the Ender Dragon heart and was given the dragon's charm buff, increasing my flying speed and knockback resistance. Ace 92 to 93. I arrived at the Cloud House. These tiny fairies have access to the craziest technology. Just check out the laser force fields. I need that for my base. I really hope this works. This is my end valley. Well, that was easy. I blew a hole into the house and flew inside a room full of rainbow alleys. This place looked like Skittles. It reminded me of 100 days as an alley. And that's when the DJ alley showed up in front of his DJ booth. Yo, alley! I've been working on this song for a while. Watch me kick this Witherstorm's face. What did you just say? The music was very slow paced. He looked like he was having fun. Occasionally, he did knock out a few of his own. Am I at a concert? What, what, what am I supposed to be doing here? You know what, bro? Why don't we spice things up? Let's see if you can keep up with it. Oh! And that's when the music started to change. He started throwing more discs. I kept dodging them while firing back with my lasers. So I used my explosive lasers and blew them up. While I was busy with the alley, something sinister was happening. Tonight, you grow strong. Stand still. You'll only sting for a little bit. I defeated the DJ alley and he collapsed onto the floor. He disappeared and all that was left was the alley heart for me to consume. I was given the soul of debility. I felt bad for these fairies, so I gave them diamonds. Then stole the laser force field upgrade. And suddenly, I started hearing explosions. The mutant gas was outside, firing his fireballs. I launched my wither skulls right at him. And randomly, the mutant gas started acting weird. He transformed into a more corrupted gas. There was one more faction left. Before I could conquer the overworld, I broke through the floor and dug my way into the deep, dark cave. I arrived inside the ancient city. I ate the souls of the warders around me and stuck into the shadows, finding the location of the mutant warden. The warden let out his sonic boom, roaring through the room. He could sense my presence. Come out of the dark, Wither. I can hear you. Well, you probably know why I'm here. The prophecy never fails. I've been waiting for this day. I emerged out of the shadows and sent out my wither punches and then used his warden screech at me. I flew over him and lasered him down. I gotta say, out of all my opponents, he was very tough. I kept attacking, but he was sucking up all the damage. He rushed towards me and used his warden toss, launching me up in the sky. I poisoned him with my storm vision, then snuck into the shadows and finished him off with my ultimate move. I swallowed the warden heart and could now use the warden screech ability. On day 97 to 99, that the wither skeleton had advanced. He teamed up with the mutant gas to betray me. I wasn't aware until later, but he gave away the location to my wither fortress. Luckily, I arrived back just in time to place down the laser force field, giving my base the ultimate protection. Now, it was time for payback and to finally put an end to all of this. I went back to the gas layer and swallowed the souls while destroying the city. I stepped inside the layer of the corrupted gas. A worthy rematch. Your friend told me about your secret. I can't believe that he betrayed me. Can you blame him after what you did? 
The corrupted gas used his giant flamethrower and let out a loud roar and launched from my ultimate wither skulls. The gas was confused. The gas was scared and he used his heat wave ability, pushing me back. What's the matter? Is that a gas here? I see. The gas cried out loud and summoned an army of gaslings. So I wanted to screech them into nothing. It was time for my ultimate form. I screamed and we charged at the gas, treading him apart. How is this possible? No matter. I will spread my corruption and destroy this world. You're just a puny little guest. You're gonna need an entire makeover once I'm done with you. Together, we combine our attacks, causing a massive explosion. His body started shaking, blowing up into pieces. I walked over to the ghast heart and picked it up. This is the final heart. I was blessed to become the ultimate weather storm with immortality. On day 100, with all my hearts, I was the most powerful titan in the world. Nothing could kill me. Now, my ultimate prize, this soul dimension. The soul weeper was waiting for me at the top of the mountain. Welcome, Curse One. The prophecy finally comes true. So, what's next? I'm officially the most powerful thing in my universe. There is one thing. The soul heart with it. One can consume every single thing in the universe, making them the most powerful titan. That kind of sounds like me. Out of nowhere, the Reaper let out a blue particle. He started consuming my soul. This must have been a challenge. So I used my Wither Eat ability and countered him. Ah, nice try. Wonderful. That's all you need, Reaper. Now carry through. What do you mean? Still the foolish moose, always forgetting what happens. Stuck in the same loop. The deal is done. I now have the body I need to rule the world. Stop talking. I was once a chosen one, but now a cursed one. Simon used some magical force. Hey, Golem.